who, if you're lucky enough like I have here, to get five in a row and then more. I mean, gosh, I've probably got about 20 Burmese rubies here. At in fact, shall I count how many rubies yes, I've I was, got? Yes, I was going to ask you to do that. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 25 Burmese rubies. I would pay way more than 14 dollars you, you would, 25 for. would be what, imagine... Well, you might I'm, get more. Imagine if you get a strand home and you've got more. Because we just pick any strand at random. Yeah. The warehouse doesn't go through each strand. They aren't gemstone trained. No. They don't know what no. they're looking for no. in terms of rubies oil site, for sure. Absolutely. You need to absolutely check out your baskets. My producer in my ear is, is now saying, I don't know what I've done. I don't know why I did that. But it's happened. It is a thing. You need 14 to. Fourteen ninety nine though. It's mad, isn't it? For those rubies alone in there, that is. If we were giving you a little pot of rubies on their own, how many did I say? Twenty five. Five rubies, and I said to you fourteen ninety nine. They'd be sold out in a heartbeat if there were a thousand of them. You've got that plus more here. They're from Burma. They're not heated. Yeah, They're no completely heat and utterly rubies. natural. It's the first time that I'm aware of that we've ever offered them for sale. I've got someone with seven in a basket. Well Alison's got three. Anjum's got two. Um, I've got Yorkshire with two. I've got Richard in Dorset with six. Richard, very smart. Well done mate. to those collectors. Well done. SEG P43. One more for you. Two more for you, sorry. Doop -doop -doop -doop. I love these. Oh, my gosh. These are so symbolic. So absolutely perfect for wish bracelets. And look at the ruby in the heart. I've got a pure Burmese ruby heart. Oh, my gosh. I need it. Do you know, I bought my daughter for her birthday, part of her 18th birthday. Oh, my God. Look at that ruby heart. I bought her a Bur Burmese ruby pendant from Gemporia. Yeah. And with my staff discount, it was tiny. I mean, like, it could have gone on a charm bracelet. I mean, it was tiny. Uh, and it cost me, with my discount, £85. And, and, and I'm telling you, it was probably about, pff, not even quarter of a carat. It, it would have been weight. heated. But look still at this. extremely rare. But look at this. Look at this. Get, that, get Ruby it for your daughter, hearts. Jay. Oh, my gosh. You absolutely need to. Do you know what? I Burmese love Ruby hearts heart. as well. Yeah, you're right. And you know something? That hearts are so symbolic. And oh, yeah. for our jewellery makers, a lot of heart jewellery sells quickest because of the sentiment so yeah. let's say if you're going to buy somebody you go to the artisan fair or the pop-up shops and you're looking specifically for somebody's birthday present you go with hearts because there's you know the sentiment behind a heart Absolutely. mother's day hearts sentiment behind thinking of you a heart doesn't matter what the occasion hearts are always appropriate yeah aren't they yeah i love you you know it doesn't matter what it is i mean you have to get that look at that heart. ruby heart i need that in my life look at look Look at that one. Wow. That is juicy. I mean, it's, it's gem crystal <gasps> ruby as well. Look at that one. Oh, my. I am there for this strand. I love it. I love it. You know, Just don't, little earrings. Right, don't do anything silly with this one, Liam. He's yeah, done I'm it. Try and make amends. Too with, late. With, with your previous... It's happening. It's happening. There are 60 carats. I think these are great charms for charm bracelets as well. I mean, the fact well. that we're saying that. The fact that we're saying that. Mm -mm. Ironically, you'd probably pay more for a single charm on the high street. Yes, then, I think then you're probably. Gonna end up paying for the whole I mean, you're not going to find parcel. Burmese ruby charm no, in just the high street about, jewelers, you know, like, are you? Yeah. Seen the Disney ones. They're like mass produced. Um, that's in a high street shop yeah, beginning yeah, with yeah, P. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're going to buy like a mini mouse. Yeah. It'd be like fifty quid. No, Liam's just found fifty-nine points in a heart. So just over half. It's not Burmese. It's not Burmese. It is a ruby. It has got, what's it, what else has it got? It's got gold and it's got other stuff with it. That's a cubic zirconia, £458, little tiny heart. Right, Liam, I don't know why you're doing this, because it's not even having any effect on what you're going to do with the price, is it? You're doing this research, you're going, oh, wow, they, they are expensive. Yeah. Oh, look, I shouldn't have done this after all. Yeah. And it's premeditated. We all know you're going to do it anyway. He's going to do it. He's done it. He's pressed the button. There's nothing. There's no turning back. Twenty nine ninety nine. And OK, so over a centimetre, you've probably got two and a half hearts, if that helps. You've got 38 centimetres on strand because this is going to take me quite a I long time. I can't believe some of the, the I mean, I, I also love the the rubies that have that cascading red through them. Yeah, me too. You know, that, that, that again, there's sentiment with that. It's through it, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely wonderful. 
Look at the colour. If you don't get these, I do not know for you. You've got to... Oh, there you are, Richard. Valentina, Alison with three. Valentina, Carol. what a lovely name. What a gorgeous name, isn't it? And Jim, keep it in the bank for the next child. Two for you. Uh, Michelle, Norma, Maker and Kent, two for you. Lancashire, Richard, uh, Anita. Barbara in London. I've got two Barbaras. Uh, I've got Anita in Bristol. I've got Jackie in Northumberland. I've got Anjum in Essex. Bristol, you've got yours. What's a lie? What is he doing now? I lied, says Liam. Tell Dave I lied. <laughs> Dave, I'm telling you, he's lied. Let me give you What's the strand. He lied bit. About? Dave's taken the strand off me. He loves it. What's he lied about? Uh, the price he lied. Oh my god. Don't go mad, he said, and please try not to swear. Live on air, but he we've taken this down to nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Under twenty pounds. You have got absolutely I, I stacked just, there. I literally just had to get this and have a look at it myself because I'm just looking at this and I can't believe that we're doing this. Someone's got the price wrong somewhere. I'm not blaming Liam. If it says he can do it, then he absolutely should. But again, like we, we mentioned, he's just not for saying this. he's he's not saying we're not giving this away. I need to just reiterate that. Yeah. To you. And just uh, that, so, just yeah. what's between my <laughs> fingers now. That strand. That ruby is lovely, isn't it? That alone. Beautiful. Good morning, jewellery makers. How are we all? Oh, I've just been watching. It's the loveliest little sight. Just outside the studio in our garden, we've got a little bumblebee hive. And they all go burying into the grass. And underneath there, I've just been watching these bees busying themselves around. Oh, and talking about busy, we've got the most amazing Thursday morning show because I am going to be joined by the fantastic Jake Thompson, who is going to be bringing you arguably the rarest colour. I'm sure you'll probably correct me on that and sort of say, L, it, it is the rarest, but we'll see. Colour of your Oregon sunstone in today's show. It's utterly beautiful. I mean, I've seen the recordings, I've seen the gemstones that you have lined up today, and they are truly, truly unbelievable, an absolute spectacle for the eye. Not only that, you've got your viewers' joys coming up this hour, so you know that's very interactive. Anything that you want me to bring to air, I absolutely can do. Uh, just give me a message, drop me a message into the studio. Um, there are two items actually locked and loaded on the website that actually aren't at that original, uh, sorry, at their original price um, or finishing price I should say the rose quartz rounds are going lower than what you're actually seeing on the website currently showing at 9.99 FYI but they're going lower than that um, and also your rubellite well, now rubellite it, I agree with you, Liam. Liam has just said I think that's one of the biggest deals of the week um, because rubellite you know Pareba Indicolite, Rubellite, those are the three rarest colours to actually get in your tourmaline and that's coming up at a viewer's choice. So that's going to be unbelievable, absolutely exquisite. In fact, I'm going to show you the piece of jewellery that's been created um, by our in-house designers here. Um, so here we go. Isn't that stunning? Isn't it absolutely stunning? A really simple tennis style bracelet. That's coming up within this hour, jewellery maker, so not too long to wait for that. Um, but you know I love an interactive morning, so come and say hi, come and say hello, tell me what you're up to. 78070, start your text with JM Studio. Shall we get cracking with your early bird? Shall we? Shall we just get straight into it? Because we've got so much to actually squeeze in this hour, just this hour alone. Um, and later on in the show, by the way, in the 12 o'clock hour, we've got the most amazing Sapphire Showcase, which you don't want to miss out out on um, natural Burmese and Larimar rounds I have to show you that piece of jewelry sorry look at this look at this beautiful Larimar this is coming up in the 12 o'clock hour today as well it's it, uh, it's the most incredible color of Larimar isn't it and it's going to the most insane price tag at 12 o'clock today but let's get cracking it's your early bed
Are you ready? Because this strand is truly beautiful, absolutely stunning. And we all know the affiliation to your rose quartz. It's a wonderful, so quite sentimental and emotional gemstone that has beautiful, delicate hues of peony pink, of powder tones, really, really beautiful, semi-translucency. So you're not looking at a, a, a gemstone of complete clarity, like say your diamonds, you're looking for a gemstone which has this wonderful soft haziness. As long as it holds on to that perfect, Japanese blossom pink, then you have exceptional quality. This strand I know for sure, by the way, referencing my, uh, my schedule again, Liam, that's incredible for this strand. Is that what you're going to or are you gonna shock me? You're Oh my goodness me, it's going so low for this quality. The kind of strand that all you need to do is, is maybe um, knot it or pop it onto a stretchy bracelet, pop a few of your spacer beads or charms in there and you're gonna create the most beautiful wearable piece of jewelry. But also, I mean, we've spoken quite a lot recently about um, one of the uh, benefits of being a jewelry maker, of course, is the fact that you can actually create two gift. So this would be an absolutely wonderful gem Stone. If you've got somebody that maybe you want to show your support, your love, your friendship to, because it covers all of those emotions. Um, and that's not just now. That's, that, that's feelings which dates back right the way to ancient Egyptian times, Greeks, and also Romans were the first really to introduce its beauty and adornment, but also um, sort of uh, to widely use this gemstone um, as sort of an, an amulet, if you like, of emotions. A gemstone that was a symbol of love. Um, and it's still considered that way today. Look at that beautiful powder pink. Like I said, you're not looking for a fuchsia. You're not looking necessarily for candy floss pink. You want to have that lovely, delicate blossom flower, um, bl blossom, what's it called? Japanese blossom color. $9.99 would be absolutely amazing for the quality of this beautiful rose quartz. But um, let's get this Thursday morning underway, shall we, Jewelry Makers? Because it's going to be truly, truly incredible. I'm super excited to welcome Jake into the studio. Um, super excited about today's show. Let's make sure your viewer's choice is exceptional. We're going to put that 60 second clock onto your screen. Um, you have uh, 50 carats. I'm just looking for the length on, our, on my graphics right now. Um, in terms of length, 20 centimeters. So that's more than enough if you wanted to create that, um, that bracelet, maybe a matching pair of earrings. More than enough if you wanted to knot it and create a really beautiful um, uh, front decolletage necklace piece. Perfect if you wanted to include it maybe in your knotting techniques because you do tend to have quite generous drill holes in your quartz gemstones. In 30 seconds, this is going low, low, low. Please come and say hello. I'd love to say hi. Um, already we have got people who are multi-buying. Uh, just a beautiful, delicate gemstone and one which we normally gravitate to um, quite frequently, especially if we are thinking about creating for our nearest and dearest. It's considered so romantic and elegant and um, that it is that perfect gift uh, as a token of your love and affection. Um, Liam says, don't be complacent, this is going so low. And I hope that we have got enough. It's already low, I agree with you, Liam, for this level of quality. We have got a big quantity and we are pricing it to sell out on your viewers' choice as well. Hello to you, Sadari. Hello to you, new customers. Hello to you, Debbie. Hello to you, Lorraine. Hello to you, London. Hello to you, Penny. Hello to you, Barbara. Hello to you, West Midlands. Four pounds and 76 pence. Immediately, I've seen people actually up their quantity order. I don't blame you for that at all. I mean, this would be absolutely perfect if you multi-bought, if you wanted that full neckline piece or maybe really involving, um, a sort of involving uh, sort of suites of jewelry as such. Hello, Penny. Hello to you, West Midlands. Paula, you're there as well keep on dialing through what should our text topic be to be today um I mean, I was taught, I, like I said, I, before, the, before I came on air, I always check on our little bees. We've just got a couple of boards, a couple of boards, they're almost like wood chip, aren't they? Boards that are laid down in the garden just outside the studio. And they've been there for quite some time. And literally there's a little hive, a little hive of bees. What do you love doing with the exception of jewelry maker? Because obviously we know that's true. We, we know you love your jewelry making. What other passion have you got? What, give, what puts a smile on your face every morning? Um, what brings you joy? What brings you sunshine? What brings you happiness? That's a good text topic. Um, ah, yeah, Paul has just said, Liam. Liam brings me happiness and joy. Yeah, it's true. It's true, actually, Liam. It is true. You especially on our TikToks. Uh, Margaret, Essex, Joe, Deborah, congratulations. Hiya, Sylvia, Rosita, Carol, you're there as well. Yeah, what brings you joy in the mornings? 
Well, not in the mornings, just any time. Any time. What makes put a smile on your face? <laughs> Keep it clean, otherwise we can't show. It's family show and all that. £4.76 only. Michael, Paul. <laughs> Behave yourselves. Come on now. Come on now. Perfect six millimetre rounds. Would you complement this with your rose gold? Would you team it with your silver or would you use it with your yellow? The reality is it's going to complement all of those. Hello to you, Michaela, darling. Please, can I see seven? Uh, sorry, Kaylee. Of course you can, Kaylee. Yes, no problem, my darling. I'll do that for you now. In fact, you know what, Kaylee? It's going to look absolutely beautiful alongside this strand. Um, now, what do you mean it's wrong? Liam hasn't dropped the price on this one, Kaylee, so it's actually going lower than what you're seeing on the website. Um, that was, yeah, great find. Amazing. Lab uh, this is your lava kite, of course. You get flashes of wonderful, uh, uh, almost like labyrinths. Beautiful phenomena effect, but instead of being your spectrums of colour, you get this pure, vibrant sheen of silver um, <coughs> that glazes across the gemstone as you sort of orientate it towards a source of light. You see that? Beautifully faceted, natural as well. It will go perfectly alongside your rose quartz, don't you think? Um, make sure you check out your baskets because it has gone lower than what, uh, uh, what was originally on your website. Something that will complement <clears throat> lots of the gemstones that we actually have coming up today. I also have this amazing strand uh, of uh, rose quartz and angelite that's coming up. Um, hello to you, Katie, saying I enjoy taking photos uh, out in nature. I'm no pro, uh, but love taking pictures regardless. Oh, you don't have to be a pro. And like I said, if it makes you happy, then that's all, that's, that's all that matters at the end of the day. Um, hello to you, Pamela. Uh, could I see number 25, please? Got our craft fair on Saturday in Wigan. Looking forward to it so much. Love to you all. Good luck, Pamela. I'm sure you're going to do amazingly, amazingly well. Um, okay, let's do 25. That was for, remind me. Oh, the reindeer pendants. I bought these when they were launched. They're very cool. Um, this is basically a clearance deal. Um, reindeer or stag, which is uh, the guardian of the forest, looks after all the animals within the forest. That's what they believe. Um, yeah, it's not just a Christmas thing, you know, we see stags quite a lot, in fact, funny enough, I was on a certain website last night, um, and they, ha they do like sort of uh, hurricane lamps with uh, your stag horns or imitation stag horns, they're really lovely, yeah, 3 99 so you're not just getting the one, obviously lots of anchor points. Lots of anchor points for you to uh, attach your reading thread or Wyworks on to. <laughs> 3 99 gets you all three of them. Of course, you can actually resin into these if you wanted to actually turn it into kind of like a stained glass effect. That would really look um, incredible, wouldn't it? A stag with multiple colours. Um, three of them in total. Uh, three of them in total from 42 millimetres in their width and then obviously you've got 33 in their height. Three of those for your clearance deal. Uh, moving on to... Let's do 17 for Kaylee, shall we? Um, amazing find, Kaylee. Oh, how have we found this? How have you found this? Okay, last of stock. Um, we have reordered the satellite beads, by the way, but that's it's more likely to be around October time that they actually land. Um, <clears throat> we launched, we've had some pretty pretty exciting showcases here at Jewelry Maker, haven't we, um, of your satellite beads. Um, they're, they're just the beautiful uh, angles, the precision of each facet, especially if you team that alongside Lava Kite, which, of course, has got those beautiful... Uh, uh, flashes of iridescence within the gemstone itself, totally naturally. If you love Labradorite, you'll adore Lavakite. Um, two different gemstones, totally different gemstones. One actually has got sort of the flashes of uh, spectrum colours within your Labradorite, Labradorescence. Lavakite is all about that beautiful, mysterious silver. Nine ninety nine, but these are last in stock. So to be, tr I'll be, I'll be completely frank. You probably will not see many uh, satellite bead opportunities um, at this present moment because. W if you do, then no, uh, just assume that they're going to be very, very limited because I know the actual collection has come pretty much to its end until the new sort of uh, order actually comes through. Wayne is on the ball, though. $9.99 only. They look fantastic, by the way, in your knotted style jewellery. Um, notice how they actually separated these with a little glass bead. Um, if you don't want to use glass, you can absolutely replace it for a gemstone. 
that would look amazing. Or just a knot, maybe with your nylon cord. Hello, Amanda. Um, in Essex, my garden is my other passion. I love it this time of year. My plants give me so much pleasure in seeing and hearing the birds. That sounds wonderful. I like a spot of gardening, you know, Amanda. I'm not very good at it, but I have a go. I have a go. Like I bought, so I went to the garden centre the other day and Tom was like, why did you buy these things? Because they all die. I was like, well, got to try, haven't you? Got to try. Um, okay. They don't all die. I could... Um, Liam says he planted flowers and the squirrels ate them. Oh, really? Naughty squirrels. Are you sure it wasn't slugs? Definitely squirrels. Look at the quality of these pearls. Oh, my goodness me, with the... With, with the um, Laramar that's coming up later on. Look at the quality of those pearls. I was going to say, please tell me our graphics actually say high luster. Um, beautiful, round pearls. Also, can I show you this lovely sapphire strand that's coming up? We have 10 of this pearl opportunity left in the entire business. Uh, these are Burmese sapphires that I'm showing it with, you with. Um, again, just alternate the two. I think would be absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Quality, they look absolutely exceptional together. I mean, that's the, the kind of stuff that if you just restranded onto your silk or, or, or beading thread, um, alternating those two gemstones, and it's positively regal. High luster, which basically is, is referencing the, um, the return of light on the exterior of the gemstone. The higher the luster, the higher the quality of the pearls. Should not be at 29.99. Um, okay, Liam is saying, oh, we've got to go faster, okay? I can go faster, Liam. Let's do it. Let's do it. Last of stock, then he's saying, okay, in your beautiful Mayuki beads, these are your lovely silver lined dark cornflower blue. Cornflower blue, really pretty colour. They're lovely. Again, they'd work beautifully with your pearls, wouldn't they? Um, last of stock opportunity. So when we have new SKUs, when we have new orders coming through, um, basically, rather than actually, you know, change all the SKU numbers so that they match, we'll just bring them to you at a clearance price. Morning, Gemma. Morning, Ellen crew. Uh, my cockapoo brings me joy. Have a great day. They are the cutest. They are so cute cockapoos, aren't they? That's a cocker spaniel cross with a poodle. Um, one of my neighbours used to have a cockapoo. He was huge. And he used to just sit on the decking because I could see sort of a little bit into the garden. He used to just sit on the decking just looking, looking around. They're the cutest. So cute. Yeah, doggies do bring joy, don't they? And cats and all animals. <clears throat> I love all animals, to be fair. Okay, some beautiful moonstone. Um, our next door neighbour's got two lovely cats. And in the gap of our, in our fence... They sit there and you can see this much of their noses looking, peering through the fence. And then there's, there's Brutus and Bo, my dogs, sat on the other side. They just have a little face off. It's quite cute. Um, just saying hello to each other. So it's not true. Not all cats and dogs don't get on. Um, this is a double trouble opportunity of your wonderful moonstone. Wowzers. Look at those. Aha, I've just spotted this one's a, a damp. This is a studio sample, but I've just noticed our strand's damaged. Don't worry, you won't get a damaged one, obviously. Um, so here we go. Um, beautiful, beautiful moonstone. It's a buy one, get one free opportunity that you're getting here. Let's have a look, show you the, 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 the iridescence. Look at that. Yeah, it's perhaps been stropped, uh, dropped here in the studio. Look at that rainbow. Luce, did you drop it? Oh, she says she wasn't in yesterday, so not guilty. Um, when you have a full rainbow of uh, Schiller inside your moonstone, it, that's what qualifies it to be rainbow. Moving on, it's a buy one, get one free opportunity. Moving on to number 36. Love this strand, absolutely love it. It's reminding me of the... Um, uh, the multicolored tiger's eye that we had in the satellite beads, um, that piece of jewelry that I might have borrowed. I might have borrowed it for an occasion. No wonder you have problems in your garden, Elle. If you can't tell a slug from a squirrel, <laughs> made me smile. True. It's very, very true. Yeah. I mean, do squirrels eat plants? I didn't think they did. That's the point. Do they eat everything? I know they strip the bark off trees and stuff like that, naughty squirrels. They've obliterated one of the trees in, our, in Ivy House. Um, apparently, they've pulled down Liam's what? Do you want to finish that sentence, Liam? His bird seed feeder. Yeah. They rip the bottom off his off 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 the nuts. They ate all the nuts. Right. Okay. Should we move on to this? 
There we go. Squirrels are out to get Liam, aren't they? Look at the beauty of this. <laughs> He says there's about six of them. Are you sure they're the same squirrel? Are you sure? Same group of squirrels. He knows them, knows them by face. Look out, look at this beautiful selection of your lovely tiger's eye. Um, again, that chatoyancy seems to be magnified by the beautiful presence of vibrant colors. I love multicolored tiger's eye. Um, I'd be knotting these. I think they'd be really beautiful in a really lovely long line necklace, $6.99. Uh, moving on to gorgeous pyrite in your stars. Wish bracelet. We're coming to the end of the school term, aren't we? It's only gonna be a matter of weeks before all the, all the, all the kitty winks um, escape for the summer. You're going to need to be quick on this one because it is only limited, uh, very limited. So I'm thinking little wish star bracelets maybe for their friends because um, they might not see those friends for about eight weeks. So that might be a nice little idea. Um, also really lovely actually in your adult jewellery, gents jewellery for sure. Pyrite is a wonderful, quite a dense gemstone that brings you this lovely um, like antique gold, completely and utterly naturally. Four pounds and 41 pence only to get hold of your lovely natural pyrite. Moving on, again, um, lots of items are already looking very close to selling out, so please don't hesitate. Let's bring you now, uh, uh, that's over here, that's over here. So many, so much goodies. 23, is this before Jake actually arrives? Okay. Keep it between us, Liam is saying, before Jake comes, okay. Gooseberry garnet, look how beautiful this gemstone is. But you're actually getting a triple trouble of different. This will go amazingly along, alongside your Oregon sunstone. So you have a pair, a large oval, and then three of your rounds. And your gooseberry garnet, uh, gooseberry grossula, sorry, totally and utterly natural. Um, so you've got your seven by fives, you've got your nine by seven, and then you have your five millimeter rounds. They're all completely and utterly natural. With garnets, you have wonderful refraction, so lovely light performance, um, that beautiful almost uh, uh, sort of, uh, um, almost like, how do I, how am I, how am I phrasing that red color? It's a, uh, Oh, it's like a warm red, isn't it? A really beautiful warm red. Totally natural. So that's basically working out at five pound per opportunity. Um, those of you that do your gem setting, those of you that do your ring mounting, those of you that do your silversmith work, um, this will be perfect for you. Hi, I'm Maureen. Morning, Al. Mine is being gently woken by my dog and the first couple with my dog beside me. Ah, oh, yes. I like the fact that your dog wakes you up gently. My doggy doesn't. They don't, they don't, they jump all over me. So it's like, morning, you're awake, oh yay. It's like they haven't seen me in about a month. Um, it's like I was just sleeping. Um, okay, let's bring you now. They get very excited, don't they, doggies? All they want is love. That's why I think dogs are the best species on the planet. Uh, moving on to, uh, oh, <gasps> Need, want, love, beautiful Amazonite. Again, how have we actually got this still in stock? Eight millimeters in your star cut rounds. Aren't they fantastic? Just crying out to be uh, a beautiful, maybe uh, Marla style necklace, all your stretchies. You could do all of the techniques that Mark demonstrated yesterday with me. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? You could actually run that wire all the way around. Um, I said stretchies, didn't I? Macrame, you could do macrame, knotting for sure, again alongside those pills that you saw a few moments ago. How on earth are we at $6.99 for natural Peruvian Amazonite? We, just to give you a heads up, we actually supply, I won't say who, a certain very high end brand, this very gemstone. Yeah, one of, uh, uh, we actually supply them with the Amazonite. So that's an indication of the quality that you're actually getting. Uh, do make sure you check out on those. Moving on to one of my absolute favorites, beautiful Malachite. Is this a double trouble? Because I'm feeling quite a lot of weight here. Totally natural, one of the most distinctive of all your green gemstones. You have these beautiful shades of lighter and darker green and then wonderful progressive bands um, and concentric circles. Totally and utterly natural. 
very, uh, very popular throughout the ages in actual fact. And I've noticed a surgence of malachite inspiration, not just in jewelry and gemstones, obviously, but even in your interior design. Wallpaper, um, jewelry boxes uh, are actually using this color and patterning. Six pounds 99 for a double trouble opportunity. That's two 84 centimeter strands. I mean, these would be amazing as tree of lives, wouldn't they? They'd be beautifully, ro beautiful rosary link, because then you're actually going to separate the gemstone, see even more of those sort of visual patterns, those lovely patterns, the uh, concentric lines that you see within malachite. I'm drawn to these at the front here. Can you see that? Uh, a beautiful gemstone that can form actually in stalactites. So it's really, can you imagine seeing stalactites of malachite? Six pounds and 99 only. Um, okay, let's move on to, oh, this is beautiful, Liam. Oh, I've said it before, I'll say it again. There is not a single gemstone that I have seen in your sources that doesn't look incredible. Look at this cut. That's natural. The definition that you get from your uh, saucer or bicone shapes, look how it highlights the beauty within uh, this natural garnet opportunity. Purple garnet, no less. Um, again, one of the rarest varieties. It's actually a hybrid variety of your garnet. Uh, and it's very sought after by your collectors and connoisseurs. Yeah, so you have this a, a sort of a presence of red, but then flashes of beautiful, vibrant purples coming through. $9.99 for one of the rarest varieties of your garnet. Purple I put alongside your demantoid, your zavarite, your color change, um, because, uh, because of how seldom we actually see it here at Jewelry Makers. The final few of these available, though, they are last of stock opportunities, and that is the only reason why you're seeing it under £10. That's the only reason. Uh, that you're actually getting at this at this price tag so absolute clearance deal look at that not just your refraction and brilliance you're actually seeing surface luster from the quality of um, the actual facets are you ready then jewelry makers because we're about to bring you an amazing star by a beautiful beautiful gemstone which is full of an amazing optical effect that's called play of color Opals have been considered the queen of gemstones, many refer to, but one of them, certainly one of the most popular for centuries. This beautiful gemstone forms from silica, which becomes trapped between cracks and crevices within the host rock. And that ancient silica is what produces um, the play of colour. The more play of colour, the more sought after your opal is. Now, it's a gemstone which looks incredible in a cabochon. It looks absolutely beautiful in your facets, but it also looks absolutely stunning as Mother Nature intended without a single facet, just merely polishing um, these beautiful organic shapes. It adds texture, play of color, just this most exquisite uh, visual beauty, selection of colors that you could possibly, possibly wish for. I can't actually remember the last time that I saw Ethiopian opal in uh, your chips and nuggets, especially with a strand of this length. I'm going to double it over, and then I'm going to double it over again, and I'm going to twist it. Just because, remember here in the studio, it doesn't favor opal. Because we have too many light sources in the studio, it almost drowns our ability to, uh, to see play of color performance in the gem. That being said, take a little look at this. See those flashes of green, the flashes of blue, the flashes of red, which is actually one of the rarest colors to acquire in Ethiopian opal. If I double this over for one second, if I can, if it's going to behave, stay where you are, and then maybe shelter it slightly from some of the light sources, which is more accurate to what you're going to be getting at home. This is more accurate to what you will visualize at home. Imagine, again, this in your chipper hemo. There we go. Look at how, that's the same strand that I actually have here in the studio. 
Um, it is a location called uh, the Wello location, which I know is quality like this. It's a combination, a very rare combination of transparency, almost liquid like transparency that they refer to as hydrophane, which is allows us not just to appreciate the play of color on the surface of the gemstone, but right the way into the heart, which has sent shockwaves across the opal world. And even Australian miners, opal miners, are actually saying Ethiopian opal is the variety that you want to get hold of today. We're at $24.99, not for a 15 centimeter strand, not even for a 38 centimeter strand. This is 80 centimeters of natural Ethiopian opal with all of those beautiful beautiful irregularities, those beautiful textures and shapes and angles, and of course that blaze of firework colors um, in your natural play of color. Remember I said the more play of color, the more desirable, the more valuable your opal is. Because these haven't got facets, because they're so beautifully co closely compact together, imagine that, by the way, in some bead embroidery, how amazing that would be. Uh, because they are almost shoulder to shoulder, they're actually allowing each other all the more to perform, aren't they? You see more presence of the blues, more presence of the ultraviolets, more presence of your greens and purples and reds. On a normal day, this is absolutely where we should be. This is where we should stop. It's, a ve it's almost a metre. When did we start doing Ethiopian opal in metre? Um, it isn't a metre, but it's not far off. Liam says this is this week, he says. This is the first time he's actually seen it um, to this length. Yeah, I agree. But we're not even going to stop there. We're going to take this opportunity to a viewer's choice deal. Imagine this. Dotted in between maybe a few of your favorite gemstones. Sapphires that we actually have coming up a little bit later on. You will not believe how low we're actually going to be taking this. Goodness me, Liam, I've just checked. I've just looked um, at, uh, at, your, uh, the, at the actual star by sheet. 80 centimeters, that's the equivalent of almost three strands, three of our usual strands here at Jewelry Makers. It's going to go so, so, so far. Again, I want to show it alongside this sapphire, and I may be going to twist it around one another because you can imagine it then in this beautifully textured uh, style piece of jewellery. Imagine that, jewellery makers, natural sapphire teamed with natural hydrophane Ethiopian opal. Imagine that as a combination in your creations, be that chippy hemo, be that fed onto a 0.25 wire or beading thread even. If you want the sapphire that's coming up in the 12 o'clock hour today, if you want the Ethiopian opal, it's right here right now. We have 20 seconds before we're going to drop it to an absolutely astonishing, absolutely incredible, incredible deal. No way near no way near where we're actually finishing today flashes of reds blues um, wonderful purples amazing greens oranges you've got it all it's a bonkers deal Liam is saying 80 centimeters not yeah, not 15, which we certainly have brought this quality to you before in a 15 centimeter strand. We've brought it to you in possibly a 38 centimeter strand. 80 centimeters that you're actually getting here for 12 pounds and 99 pence only. It's purely because you're watching during your viewers' choice jewelry makers. I have, let me just check. I have quantity, but they're being snapped up super quickly. There's so much potential with your chips and nuggets because they create texture to your designs. They'll work with your bead embroidery. They're going to work with your chippy hemo. They're going to work with your rosary linking. They're going to work incredibly uh, with your wire work, of course. What about a tree of life sculpture or pendant created out of Ethiopian opal? Please don't forget that your opal will look staggering when you have it in your own hand. Remember here in the studio, there is actually over a hundred light sources in this room. Over a hundred. Now that might benefit um, your ability to see me and some other gemstones. Opal is one of those that goes, no, it's too bright. It likes just one single light source. That's where you see that spectrum, that wonderful um, uh, uh, firework display of beautiful colors. Do you see the hydrophane quality? Do you see that transparency, which allows us to have the play of color, not on the surface, but even into the heart of the gemstone. I'm gonna leave that those final few with you. Good luck, good luck, good luck. And I'm gonna move on to loads of requests coming through now if you loved the rose quartz earlier on this would be a perfect combination you're actually getting two um, two strands in different shapes I've got your coins and also your lovely pairs again it's that perfect peony pink that you're looking for 
Yeah, peony pink, they only bloom for a very short window, don't they? One of my favorite flowers. But this is the color um, that we're actually looking for. They go perfectly with your rose quartz rounds that we had a few moments ago if you wanted to sort of mix up those shapes and sizes. Top to bottom drilled pairs, which means just a head pin through the center, um, little loop at the top, and hey presto, you've just made yourself a pendant or maybe something to attach to earrings. And then those lovely delicate flat coins, which will lay perfectly, almost caress the skin, um, depending on where you're wearing it. 12 keep dialing through um, another request for number 13 fabulous double treble oh now one of our fantastic viewers was actually messaged and forgive me it was a few days ago um, actually messaged in saying more layout bars you want some more of these well last of stock opportunity this is amazing because the work has actually been done for you oh I wanted to show it on the bust because it's two it's gonna be a bit tricky don't forget the rubelite is a couple of auctions away but look, all you need to do, that's a bit unconventional. You get the idea, obviously they're doubled over. But when you actually undo that strand, it's gonna sort of stretch very, um, very Egyptian in its inspiration. It's gonna stretch across the decolletage or whichever place you wish to use it. They are top drilled. If you want to use that drill hole, fantastic. If you don't, then you can actually uh, hide that with maybe your bead, bead bezeling, wire work, um, or of course your gallery wire, that would work. Um, but we had requests actually for more of your layout bars. Um, so here's your opportunity in your beautiful soda light. Right, let's bring you, sorry, what was that? Um, Irene is requesting number 27. Eh, sorry. Look at me, just going back and forth. There we are. Amazing how light. Beautiful, beautiful how light. We don't see much of your how light. What are you doing? Goodness me, four millimeter rounds. This is totally natural. Um, a very, very, very popular gemstone in uh, Chinese culture. Um, whenever I look at how light, I see it's one of the purest white gemstones that we can actually offer you. But also you get this really lovely, uh, like Italian marble. If you've ever been to Rome and seen the Trevi Fountain when the water is sort of rushing over um, that high polished marble, it's really reminiscent of how light as a gemstone. Stone. One pound and 99 pence only. Again, we have people who are multi-buying on this. I don't blame you. I'd be stocking up too. Maybe use it alongside your lava kite that you saw earlier on. Um, okay, moving on to... Ah, now what were we saying, Liam, yesterday? That we don't see carved flowers. Absolutely. Okay, there's seven of this bundle. Um, Hand-carved, double-carved as well. Uh, roses. So we had this strand yesterday in Mookite, yes. Sold out in seconds um, and they weren't $9.99 each. You've got three strands here of your double carved flowers. Mark was raving about them because they're so perfect with things like your macrame. Do you see that little, along the girdle, you have this sort of indentation, this little valley, which will house your wire or your cord, um, always keeping them actually sort of pointing the right direction. Um, if you wanted to use them in earrings as well, because they are double carved, you're always gonna have that constant beauty. You actually have a mixture of your gemstones here in your howlite, your poppy jasper, and also your uh, snowflake obsidian. This seven of this bundle so please be extra quick checking out um yeah and the mookite flowers yesterday were not 9.99 each again this is a viewer's choice opportunity clearance deal um check those out good luck to you all hello deborah elizabeth avon hello to you london barbara uh, west midlands good luck to you all i've got new customers getting involved as well super 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 versatile i'll leave that with you because there was only a few of them moving on to sorry uh Oh, these are fabulous. I have to tell you, this is probably one of my favorite pyrite opportunities I've seen. It's one of those gemstones that actually has been quite elusive, but you know when you see it in its most simple form like this, look at how beautiful these six mil rounds are. It's a wonderful dense gemstone, so if you like to feel the presence of your gems, then pyrite absolutely is the way forward. That's completely natural. Um, historically, it was referred to as fool's gold because they thought this was a gemstone that was literally the, the, the actual precious metal. Um, it has this really beautiful sort of 
like aged antique gold. Um, very, very, very lustrous gemstone. Amazing if you got hold of the Buddhas recently. Pyrite and the Buddhas would look absolutely beautiful together. I love the simplicity of this because more often than not, we have pyrite in sort of shapes, um, sort of different like triangles and rectangles and carvings. I really love the simplicity of the six millimeter rounds. Liam, have I got quantity of these? Only 25 left. We did, but they've all be already been snapped up. Goodness me, that's £5.99. I'm glad you're loving as much as I am. Imagine that with just a, um, I don't know, a, a red uh, silk in between. Imagine that with, um, like I said, your Buddhas earlier on, or simply macrame, maybe for your gents' jewellery and ladies' jewellery. Um, on the verge of selling out, there's only nine of those left. Uh, let's bring you now some more beautiful Amazonite. night. Remember what I said, if you see your satellite beads, assume and it would be the correct assumption that they are last in stock. Do you want to know how many is left? 20. Um, these are your satellite cuts, which we launched this year. It has to be one of the cuts of the year. Um, we have got them on reorder, but it's looking likely to be more around October that they're back in stock. Um, you know it's my favourite gemstone here at Jewelry Maker. The quality of our Amazonite, I think, is second to none. It's an, a, a wonderful natural variety of your feldspar family. Um, it has this really beautiful tranquility, I think, this really lovely tropical essence to it. Um, wonderful textures within the gemstone itself. Uh, a bit like jadeite, you know, we talk about the texture within your jadeite. Uh, Amazonite, I think, has got real similarities. Look at that glow. There was 20 of these left jewelry makers within the entire vault, that's it. I'm not saying we're not gonna be getting the satellite bead back, because we definitely are. In fact, I know, I know Wayne has actually already ordered them. But of course, uh, with shipping and all of that, it's probably going to be uh, October time so I would definitely definitely be stocking up if this is one of your favorite new launches Deborah hello to you Linda Amanda Patricia Margaret hello to you Lorraine Werner new customers they look fantastic in your Marla necklaces as well you could even use them as the little marker beads you know where um, if you look at this piece of jewelry that our in-house designers has created they've used some large rose quartz um, as the marker beads if you wanted to you could actually pop uh, your satellite bead in there instead because the idea is that you actually feel your Marla necklace that's as important as the beauty of it that was only last weekend that piece of jewelry and we're bringing it to air um, in the 12 o'clock hour if you wanted to do something similar um, the, that strand the rose quartz and the angel light is coming up in the 12 o'clock hour yeah um, but in eight millimeters they're six but we have got them in the larger size um, but you could yeah that was a sellout yeah exactly but we have got the eight mil in the 12 o'clock hour so make sure you're with me for that um, this is very limited now satellite collection has gone it flew out the door and we had it in pretty much every single gemstone it was one of Wayne's babies um, we had it in tiger's eye we had it in uh, could we had it in jadeite, we had it in angelite, we had it in rose quartz, we've had it in labradorite, all sorts. Last remaining quantity, do check out those baskets. You've got, I've got eight of these left and you've also only got 15 minutes before the top of the hour and everything, if it's not confirmed, if it's not checked out, will disappear. Um, okay, are you ready? So I'm going to bring you a really beautiful collector's opportunity, jewelry makers. Um, Rubellite is regarded as one of the top three varieties of your tourmaline. Tourmaline is um, more often than not completely natural. It is a gemstone that we refer to or historically they believe fell through a rainbow and that's how it absorbed certain colors. But every single one of those colors has a completely different chemical composition. What you're about to see is, as Wayne, uh, uh, Wayne sorry, Liam said, probably one of the deals of the week because of the top three varieties, most expensive, most sought after, you're about to get one in a viewer's choice. Firstly, this is completely and utterly natural. Now you can get pink tourmaline and you can get rubellite. There is a difference. To qualify rubellite with that title, it has to be able to maintain a strong distinction of pink and red under all light conditions. So here in the studio, you're going to see pinky reds. 
At candlelight, you're going to see pinky reds. Incandescent lightings, you're going to see pinky reds. That is what qualifies a rubellite as a rubellite, and it is regarded as one of the rarest and certainly one of the most sought after. Do you see what I'm, to, where, what I'm referring to? Pinks and reds. Rubellite has uh, deep pink purplish uh, tones and is without doubt one of the biggest tourmalines in the market. It is well known for maintaining its color under differing lighting conditions, as I said, and this is the one representation of its uh, qualification. Color is the most important factor um, when valuing your rubellite gemstones. The more saturated, the deeper the reds and pinks, the more valuable your rubellite is. And since most tourmalines are, are significantly included, and yes, you can see inclusions here, I'm just going to address that, there are inclusions in this gemstone. Um, tourmaline is actually a type 3 gemstone. If you were to look at tourmaline in your Bulgari, if you were to look at uh, rubellite, sorry, in Bulgari, if you were to look at it in your uh, Shopard or your Cartier or your any of those big, big brands, Boodles, that work with this, uh, this variety of tourmaline, you will find a presence of inclusions. It is an expectation, much like your, uh, your emeralds. So they have the Jardin that we actually refer to in emeralds as well. Some of the most affluent designers in the world, Katerina Perez, Chopard, Van Cleef & Arpels, Harry Winston, Bulgari, Tiffany's & Co, I could go on and on and on, will favour Rubellite because it has one of the most vibrant and beautiful distinctions of that pink above many other gemstones. To say that I'm actually bringing you Rubellite in a viewer's choice hour is absolutely incredible. To say, oh my goodness, I, I'm just gonna announce this, Liam, yeah? Should we, do, should we just announce it? To say that I am bringing you, not, one, not just one of the top three rarest varieties of tourmaline, but one of the most sought after natural colored gemstones on the planet at a single figure price tag is absolutely astonishing. Whilst I had, and I'm gonna say this, had past tense because already we have confirmations. Whilst I had quantity, these are not hanging around. Look at how beautiful that color is. Imagine, imagine, now this one here, this bracelet that we're actually showing you um, is actually in the sapphire, but Um, but if you were to just dot your beautiful little uh, precious metal spaces in between and recreate what is a really lovely tennis style bracelet, in any, in any high end jewelry establishment, I'm absolutely certain Rubellite carries those four figured price tags over and over and over again. Because you're shopping with Jewelry Maker, you are guaranteed the real deal. You are guaranteed, if you wish the certificate of authenticity, you can make a minimum of two of those bracelets at a single figure price tag. Please do not expect Rubellite to be even on our screens at this price tag in the future because the reality is it's a gemstone which commands much, much higher prices. And I'm talking hundreds, hundreds of pounds price per carat. Um, do be quick checking out on this one. It's gonna be definitely added to my, uh, to my purchases today, jewelry makers. It has that natural uh, distinction of purple, reds and, um, purples and pinks really, isn't it? With a presence of red in the, uh, in the gemstone as well. Seven pounds and 99 pence only. I'm almost saying that thinking I shouldn't be saying it. I know that Jake Thompson's actually in the background. He's way, he's here. He's, he's excited about your show. And he must be thinking, did you just hear, did I just hear Rubellite at a single figure price? Well, there we go. It's a viewer's choice opportunity. We do throw in opportunities from, uh, from time to time, even with some of the rarest, most sought after varieties of gem. I was on a, a, an auction site not so long ago. Um, and I do this quite frequently. Just look at different pieces of jewelry that I would 
wouldn't be able to afford um, with big brands like uh, like Bulgari for example one of the pieces that I was researching was a was a pink rubellite Bulgari 18 karat rose gold ring it might still be on that on on that auction site right now and it was two and a half thousand pounds as a pre-owned piece of jewelry absolutely stunning 7.99 do you think the color was any different to what's on our screen because I can tell you it wasn't and I'd actually encourage you looking at that auction site look at that the beautiful flashes of purples and red hello to you all and good luck to you all because whilst there was quantity yeah, we are down to the double figure quantities. Margaret's multi bought, Caroline, hello to you, Lavinia, Anthony and Kay, Dawn, Elizabeth, Sue, Yvonne, multi buying, Linda, multi buying, Lanarkshire, congratulations. Yvonne's multi bought, Elizabeth, Sue uh, in Sussex, hello to you. Deborah, uh, another Lanarkshire's multi bought, Deborah in Nottinghamshire's multi bought, hello, Margaret, Dorothy, Sandra, Sharon, Ingrid, new customers, Marion, you've got yours. Christine and Karen, gosh, loads of you need to check out your baskets. You also only have 10 minutes um, to make the most of all of these prices earlier on I brought you that incredible strand of round pearls high luster round pearls can you imagine just alternating the two just your round pearls dotted with your rubellite in between imagine the price tag if you were to go on and get that actually valued and appraised do you think it would be well they were 29.99 this is 79 uh, sorry 7.99 do you think that it would be valued at uh, 40 pounds no i agree never in a million years janice has just bought two hello to you uh, new customers buying three yes with a larimar liam coming up at 12 o'clock we have the most insanely saturated larimar ever coming up at 12 o'clock can you imagine those two together the hot pink contrasting, both of which, by the way, are completely natural gemstones. 12 o'clock for your Larimar rounds. I'm going to be adding that to my order as well. Um, it's getting quite limited now, approaching 50 of these being left within the vault. Uh, County Atrium, hello to you, Dawn, Sue, hello to you, Bedfordshire, Worcestershire, good luck. There are a lot of multi buyers, so don't assume that that 50 is going to be one per customer. Um, unbelievable. 60 of you. Um, Six of you still have it in your baskets, and that's assuming you're just getting the one. John and Janet's just bought two. Christine's just bought two. Janice has just bought two. New customers just bought three. Amanda's just bought two. Margaret's just bought two. You get the general gist. There's so much potential with a three mil round, and I know that's something that I haven't really discussed, the actual facet and shape of the gemstone. I've really been focusing on the rarity and the most desirability of rubellite. You know, there is a big difference between rubellite and pink tourmaline. Uh, to qualify rubellite, it has to be able to maintain the color that's on your screens, under every single lighting condition. Those really warm, intense, vibrant, almost hot pinks uh, that you get with this variety of tourmaline, this beautiful intensity. That's what we're looking for as a gem collector. Um, but you pay a premium for it. In terms of opportunities as a jewelry maker, I mean, you can do all of your tennis bracelets, your stacker styles, your beady beads. You can use them as little spaces maybe um, in between other gemstones. Any other day of the week, of course, we would not be taking this under a single figure price tag. Keep on dialing through. Make sure you check out because I'm about to uh, show everybody's incredible creations during the Wall of Fame. But you have just under 10 minutes to make the most of your viewers' choice deals. You, uh, Wall of Fame is up next. Okay, starting us off this morning is Judith McIntosh. Hello to you, Judith. Um, you've created, oh, you've been busy. Please see my entry to the Wall of Fame. Mookite and red jasper necklace with stretchy base, bracelets, multicolored tiger's eye stretchies, memory wire bracelets using random pearls from my scoop, all from Jewelry Maker. She says, good wishes to all. That's from Judith. You've been busy, Judith, and we love all the colors. Uh, number 218 is from Roz Watts. Oh, Roz, that's beautiful. Tell me that is in a glossy magazine. That needs to be in a bridal magazine. Hi, everybody. This is my entry to the Wall of Fame. I hope you like it. I fell in love with Gemma Crow's tiara using the new liquid polymer clay, so decided to have a go at making the flowers. I love what she, crea uh, she creates, and I hope she won't mind me attempting the flowers. Of course she wouldn't. I found the clay more difficult to work with than I expected, but I but think the problem lies in my oven. Um, anyway, thank you, Gemma, all, for all, and all at JM for keeping us inspired. Ros, that is beautiful. Can I make a suggestion you need to send that to a, a bridal publicist 
Be brave because it's so beautiful. 219 is from the lovely Debbie Briggs. Hiya, Debbie. Uh, hi, Ola Jane. Please find attached. Uh, my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a Mahenge purple spinel, sterling silver ring. I hope you like it. Lots of love. Perfect for today's show as well, Debbie. We've got some amazing stones for your gem setting needs. That's stunning. 220 is from Barbara Hewitt. Hello, Barbara. Oh, I spot a satellite bead. Um, hi, here is my appetite and shell pearl necklace. Um, they're neon appetites, aren't they? All items are from Jewelry Maker. Barbara, they're lovely. 221 is from Alison Griffiths. Oh, I love it. Hi, all. Uh, here is my entry to this week's Wall of Fame featuring my chakra hanger. Um, I had a new medium to play with, which was a Christmas gift that I only opened a fortnight ago. Um, a po a po I can't say that word. A pyrography, I really struggle with that word, sorry, uh, set. I knew straight away what I wanted to make. I've used lapis, amethyst, blue lace agate, malachite, peridot, garnet, fluorite and quartz shards, which I've cleansed and charged. All wire and gemstone chips were purchased from JM. That's from Alison Griffiths in Wrexham. It's lovely, Alison. 222 is from Annette Emery. Pretty, Annette, that's lovely. Hi, JM. Um, I hope you like this necklace and earring set I made yesterday with gorgeous natural emeralds from JM. Best wishes, she says, um, and to you, Annette. Last but by no means least, Alison Malik. Again, you've been super busy. Hi, everybody at Jewelry Maker. Here's my entry for the Wall of Fame. I was asked to make some pieces for a special June birthday using both pearls and moonstone. She preferred a more random look, so I went with a mixed, colourful pearl set rather than the traditional look. Uh, the necklace, bracelet and earrings are all 925 sterling silver. I'm pleased to say the birthday girl was very pleased with her present. Good luck to everybody uh, in this week's draw. Many thanks and that's from Alison Malik. Loving that and I love the uh, bag charm that you've got. Um, okay, jewellery makers, those of you that have your uh, rubelite still in your basket, you've got... Less than two minutes to make that confirmation before it disappears. Uh, and to be truthful, stock levels are looking quite limited now as well. So we don't often bring you rubelite, full stop, let alone at a single figure price tag. I mean, look at that intensity of colour. Again, let me just reiterate, colour is the most important factor um, of valuation for this gemstone. The more saturated, the deeper those purple and red colours within a rubelite, the more valuable the rubelite is. It's not about clarity. It's a beautiful gemstone that is expected to have the jardin as I was referencing. Um, it's intensity of colour that is, is the number one priority. I can't believe I'm saying this. £7.99. And yet there's still a few opportunities left within our vault. They won't be around for long, though. It is quite limited, though, Liam is, Liam is actually just reiterating. Good luck, Leslie. Good luck, Annette. Good luck to you, Sherwood. Good luck to you, County Atrium. Good luck to you, Dawn, Sue, Barbara, Sharon. Good luck to you, Hazel. Good luck to you, Shandy. Good luck to you, Yorkshire. Good luck to you, new customers. You have to check out. Don't, don't worry, you still only pay that one potage and packaging per day, um, irrespective of the amount of times that you actually make those confirmations. Goodness me. The Laramar is coming up in the 12 o'clock clock hour as well. The most beautifully saturated Larimar strand I think I've ever actually seen. You've also got the rose quartz and the uh, angelite coming up. We've got natural Burmese sapphire coming your way as well in the 12 o'clock hour. Some stunning creations by our in-house designers. And of course, Jake Thompson, um, who is waiting in the wings to bring us, let me just double check, the rarest colour? Yes. The rarest colour of your Oregon sunstone. I've seen the recordings. I've been admiring these over the past few days in preparation for today's show. They are truly a feast for the eyes. Um, I can't wait for you to get that home. And I would strongly recommend you dial in nice and early because this will be an entire sellout show. I've got no qualms about saying that. Um, if you love your gem setting, Jewelry Makers, you're in the right place. We'll be back after this. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Jewelry Makers, exciting news. We're going to be bringing you the opportunity to acquire further treats on web exclusive deals. They'll be loaded on the 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. hour. You will be able to acquire all of your usual essentials plus extra treats between those limited time restraints. All you have to do is go to jewelrymaker.com at the hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Click on Watch Live and you'll see all the deals available for that hour. That's 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. each and every day. My name is Jake Thompson and I'm Jewelry Maker's lead gemstone investor. I'd like to invite you to join me on a new show every Thursday morning, nine till midday, called The Gem Guide Show. In this show, we explore the wonderful world of loose gemstones and fine jewelry. I've already invited my friends, international gemstone dealers, and members of the British jewelry trade, and now I want to invite you as we go on this incredible journey of discovery. You may be wondering how to buy here at Jewelry Maker. So here is a quick overview of what to do. When you see a product that comes on screen, the graphics will appear, you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk, whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we want to still be able to support you in your jewelry making journey. We understand that during these unprecedented times, the priority is to keep everyone safe. We want to still give you the option to learn, experience and join like-minded people by offering our online workshops. Our online workshops are still run by our amazing designers who will guide you step by step and give you all the support needed to develop your skills. For more information, contact our workshop coordination team by emailing sarah.bingham at jewelrymaker.com. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome back, Jewelry Makers. Uh, as always, I say the same thing every Thursday morning that I have the privilege of being in this studio. It is with in immense pleasure. And I tell you what, you're about to see the most beautiful showcase of gemstones that I've ever seen. And I'm, I'm, I said that when, when actually, Jake, you launched Oregon Sunstone to us a, a couple of weeks ago. But this is just taking that level even further. It's Jake Thompson, everybody. Good morning, Al. The privilege is all mine, entirely mine. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, this is the first time we have ever done this in over a year of bringing you your gem guide shows we are having a two-part session and this is the second half of that now with a gem as beautiful as oregon sunstone it's really hard to have a favorite to have a best but you know me i never sit on the fence i believe if you sit on the fence you'll get splinters and with that in mind i have saved the best until last. If this is your first time tuning into these shows, good morning. My name is Jake Thompson, the lead gemstone investor here at the Gempori Partnership, and it's my role to help you build a portfolio of fine gems and fine jewelry, including, and this might seem way out there, but it's amazing as an opportunity, you crafting your own heirloom worthy 
pieces. That is my aspiration for you. That is very much the attainable and achievable ambition that we hope to be able to make you do in this show. So with that in mind, let's dive into this. I'm going to try and keep this brief because we have so not so many pieces, but so many opportunities. A lot of these two, three, one in quantity. That is the nature of this gem. And of course, I have talked to you about Oregon Sunstone before. In fact, when I brought you Serenite, which is a form of Oregon Sunstone, as we're going to realize today, when I brought you Serenite, I shared with you this investment guide. I want to be absolutely clear. I, this, isn't my, this isn't my advice to you. I'm sharing. I am a gem investor, a professional gem investor for a decade. This is the kind of resource that I use to help me make the right decisions. I want to share those resources, really empower you with the same resources that I, as a, as a professional gem investor for a decade, use on a daily basis. So I've shared this with you before, but let's have a look at it one more time. It's a buying and investing guide in Oregon Sunstone because I do agree that you should be educated before you get your next gem. Knowledge is power. And they say Oregon Sunstone is a fully to semi-transparent colored variety of, uh, of Labradorite Feldsplat, of, 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 the, of the Plagioclase family. Let's come down a little bit. Second line, the gem is found in a wide variety of colors, you know, pastel golds, pink oranges, reds, the usual color mixes like watermelon, who knows what's gonna happen in this show. Um, Oregon Sunstone is currently only mined at two mining locations in Southeast Oregon High Desert. It is extremely rare, fully transparent, top gem gemmy quality of colored and or copper shiller sunstone is not found anywhere else in the world. We are talking single source location for this gem and the value for this gemstone ranges from $8 a carat all the way through to four and a half thousand US dollars a carat. Now, when I've shared this with you in the context of Serenite, which is the, the champagne uh, material that they, that they talk about there, that pastel gold, when I've talked about that, I've been very clear and I've said to you, look, this is not the Serenite, this is not the four and a half thousand dollars account material. Not the eight dollars account material, because it was very clean, but it's not the four and a half thousand dollars account material. I've shared that with you before. What I'm sharing with you today is the material that can be up to four and a half thousand dollars a carat. Now, in terms of industry sources, I don't just want to give you the one, I want to give you as much information so that you are empowered to make the right decisions for you and for your family, because that's the kind of caliber gemstone we're talking about here today. So we're going to be talking, uh, we're going to be talking a lot about this particular journal. This is an, a, a peer reviewed journal uh, published by the ICA. It's called In Colour, and they publish it every quarter. Now, who are the ICA? Because it matters when we're talking about sources. Who are the ICA? The ICA are the International Coloured Gemstone Association. They are global in their scope, and they are, uh, it, it's a non-profit organisation, non-profit organisation, and it's the only worldwide body that's specifically created to benefit the coloured gemstone industry. So it's founded in 1984, it's uh, over 35 years old, and it's comprised of nearly 700 gem industry leaders from mine to market. So you have miners informing the ICA, gem cutters, suppliers, retailers, trade associations, gem labs themselves, gemological academics, and even museums from 47 different countries, all contributing to this body of authority that is the ICA. So it goes without saying that when the, uh, you know, and they're devoted to advancing and promoting the knowledge and appreciation of colored gemstones. That is the purpose of the ICA. So when I say the ICA is a huge authority in the industry, when I say this is what the ICA are telling us, and not just about Oregon Sunstone, about any gem, I'm sure you can appreciate, we have to stand up and listen, don't we? We have to sit up and listen because the ICA have got such a, a wealth of knowledge. Gem labs, not one, multiple gem labs feeding into that knowledge source. So that's who the ICA are, and they publish this journal every quarter. And in, in, uh, over the Christmas, over the winter that's just gone, they ran a feature about this very next gem. Here it is, Oregon Sunstone, in that ICA journal, just gone, Oregon Sunstone, 
a rare and beautiful American gem. And we're really going to be talking around this because essentially this is guidance to gem investors like myself. And the, uh, the old world of jewellery and gemstone trading was very much a closed circle. It's very much the ICA would produce this, the gem dealers would read it, they'd get their investment guidance and they'd never share it out there. I don't believe in that world. I believe there's a better way. I believe that we should be sharing that with you. I think if I invite you behind the curtain, if I give you all the tools that I have, whether you're getting them today, whether you're getting them another day, or whether you're getting from another source, you are buying from an empowered position. And that's what I want for you in your journey to be able to craft your own pieces of fine gemstone jewelry. So within this article, uh, Arles Krivenek, who is actually a former mine owner, uh, former Parna mine, and we're going to hear about the Parna mine uh, later on. Arles Krivenek, uh, and he's also the founder of OregonSunstoneGuide.com. He is the authority on this gem that the ICA have, have charged, really, to talk about and, and, and issued guidance. And, and Arles says this, he says, look, though Oregon Sunstone has been commercially mined for over 30 years, so a little bit younger than Tanzanite, it is still fairly new to collectors, to investors, and even the majority of industry professionals. Now you might be, hang on a second, I don't understand that. Tanzanite was discovered in 67, 69 it was launched, and Tiffany & Co, the whole world knew about it by the early 70s. Right? Mm. So, so clearly a few years, everyone knows about it. <laughs> How is it that this gem has gone 30 years of being mined, and yet professionals in the industry, investors, collectors, they don't really know about it. It's still a completely new gem. And the reason for that is because Oregon Sunstone didn't really take off in popularity, and therefore price, because we know demand drives price, until 2012. And that was with the discovery of the now famous two mines that were discovered around about the same time, the Sunstone Butte and the Parna Mine. And we're going to be talking around those two mines in a little bit of time. But it's really that discovery in 2012 which got things going, which really kicked off uh, the, the incredible journey that Oregon Sunstone's been on over the last decade. It says, as of late 2019... Every well-known gem artist is working with Oregon Sunstone. Every well-known gem artist. It is also frequently seen on popular TV channels in the USA and in the UK. And when Alice talks about that, that, that you know, featuring in the UK, that is us. That is the Gemporia partnership who are, who are the only people in the United Kingdom that have got this level of supply of Oregon Sunstone. And the reason for that is because this gem was discovered in 2012 at the Parna mine. In 2013, a GIA research team went to the mine itself. And we're going to hear about that GIA research team in a moment's time. The very next year, the very next mining season, after the GIA had been there, I was there myself mining this gem so that seven years later, this moment we're in today can happen. So this is an incredibly, incredibly exciting time for me. He talks about those gem artists working with this material though. Why? Why is it that so many gem artists work with this material? Whichever category of award Oregon Sunstone has entered into, it regularly places top three. Annual, the annual AGTA Spectrum Awards, this is one of the most prestigious awards in the industry. Many times this gem has won multiple awards in the same year at the most prestigious. The, the Spectrum Awards are essentially the Oscars of the gem world. Whenever this material enters into it, it's almost always placing, many times winning, multiple categories. This is why so many gem artists are working with it. This is why so many jewellers are trying to get hold of this material. Because you met, you, if you are working with Oregon Sunstone... You're working with an award-winning gem, and the chances are you're, you are crafting an award-winning piece of jewellery at the same time. And, and the list is huge. 
Uh, you, you, you have the likes of Dalen Hargrave, uh, Hargrave rather, uh, award-winning uh, lapidarist and very good friend of, uh, of Glenn Lehrer, who we feature on the show. Uh, you, you, you've got the like of Naringen Kalsa, uh, who, who is chairman actually of the uh, Oregon Sunstone Miners Association. You've got a huge, uh, huge, the pedigree of the artists working here, and it's growing day by day. The type of the, the caliber of jewelers who are working with this material and are proudly working with this material as well. So, coming back to the article, why? What is the limiting factor with this gem? Why? why why is this gem not more widely known then? If it's single source, it's you know it's rare, far rarer than tanzanite. Why is this gem? Why is it not more well known? It's literally too rare. That is the problem. The problem with this gem is it is too rare. It's only found on a few square kilometers in the southeast Oregon high desert, and that makes it, according to Alas Krivenek, one of the rarest gems in the world. Far rarer than Tanzanite. I've got no qualms saying that. The, the reason I can qualify that is because the, 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 the Tanzanite concession, yes, it's uh, one place in the world, just like Oregon Sunstone, but it's about 20 kilometers, uh, 20 kilometers long, uh, it's squared rather, 20 square kilometers. We're talking a few square kilometers. That's it in the case of this Oregon sunstone material. And so this is far rarer than even the Tanzanite gem, which we all know and we all love. And so one place on the planet. And when you do find it, you don't find big gems. The problem, you can see for scale, you can see the, the, the height of the hand there. And the problem is, if you want colour, you see how the gem doesn't form fully in colour. In fact, actually, it's just this tiny kernel of colour right in the centre of the gem. This tiny kernel of colour. And you end up having to cut away all the rest of the gem just to get access to that tiny kernel of colour. Unlike any other crystal. In fact, I've brought, I've brought for you before a beautiful large museum specimen, Tanzanite crystal. It's The colour is all the way through the gem. I can't bring you something comparable with this Oregon sunstone material because it's the tiniest, tiniest kernel in the center of the, of the material which does possess any color naturally. Remember, this is a 100% natural gemstone, single source in Oregon. So why has all of a sudden, over the last 10 years, this gem exploded in popularity and exploded in price? And the reason, is because of the exceptional quality discovered at a place called the Little Eagle Butte location. It changed everything. And that's what Alice Krivenek saying, it changed everything. The very year after it was discovered, a GIA research team marched up into Oregon. Remember, they were on the West Coast in California. They marched up to Oregon the very next year and did a site visit. And they are the ones who said it was the quality that was discovered that changed everything for Oregon Sunstone. And they do actually give a little more detail in their report. Essentially, gems were, the gemstones were created. The gems we're bringing today, this parcel was created inside a massive magma chamber. So imagine like an underground volcano, um, which has got really calcium-rich lava. And what often happens with gems is that will, that will touch water and it will crystallize really quickly. And when it crystallizes really quickly, you get lots of tiny stones, and they, they, they because it, you can imagine really, really hot lava, touches water, cools down quickly, it shatters. If you've ever seen quenched, crackled quartz, mm -hmm. you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You get lots of tiny crystals, and they're really, really included. This location, this one spot at the Little Eagle Butte location changed everything, because here, the calcium-rich lava didn't touch water. In fact, it was able to cool down much, 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 much slower, slower. And what that allowed is the crystallization process to really take place. So we get relative, rather than grains of sand, we get relatively large pieces, specimens of this Oregon sunstone. And also the color concentration, those color centers are truly allowed to crystallize, so we get much more vibrant colors as well. And talking of color, in this gem, color matters. Color is the, the <coughs> defining value factor. So they say, look, unlike many other natural gems, think chrome diopside, 
Yeah, I, 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 there are other, I'm thinking Peridot as well. Oregon Sunstone displays a very wide range of colors. Chrome, you only get in deep green. Peridot, you only get in light green. Oregon Sunstone, you get a full spectrum of colors, and some of them are rarer, and some of them are more valuable than others. For example, colors range from very affordable champagne. So there you go. That, that is the serenite material we're talking about, which, relatively speaking, compared to $4,500 a carat, as we heard earlier, relatively speaking, is affordable. And that's why I've always been really clear with you. That is not the material that we've got today. But then, as we work up through the value chain, we look at other colours. Deep golds, pastel yellows, pastel pinks. Okay, now we're starting to get into the high, high, the, 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 the high tier. Schiller. Any gem with Schiller, especially if it's a rich pink Schiller, now we're starting to talk value. Peach. <laughs> Mahogany colours. Watermelon. Watermelon Oregon Sunstone does exist. It is actually, though, the rarest colour. It is the rarest colour. Pastel greens. Well, they're the ones that we brought uh, two weeks ago. Orange. And top of the pile for value in terms of the cost of the gem. Pad Paracha Oregon Sunstone. It exists. The naming convention is established by the ICA in the article for you. Paparasha Oregon Sunstone sits <coughs> right at the peak, right at the pinnacle of the value chain for this material. You can see that there in the list. Starts at the lowest, ends on the Paparasha for you. Imagine if we were to have some Paparasha Oregon Sunstone. What a day that would be. Well, stay tuned. This is why... Oregon Sunstone Guide, Arles Krivenek is the, is the host and the founder of this, of this guide. He's also the same source that the ICA, the International Colour Association, commissioned to write up about this gemstone, to give buying advice to me as a gem investor. Arles Krivenek, it's because of these colours, tips Oregon Sunstone as an investment. And in fact, he doesn't just go so far as to tip it as an investment. He says it is a better investment than garnets, which you know I'm a huge fan of garnet credentials. I think it's an incredibly exciting time to be buying garnet. He says it's a better investment than a sapphire. He goes so far as to say, in fact, it is even a better investment than a diamond. No ambiguity. Very clear in what his guidance is there from Alice Krivenek, a better investment than a diamond. And on OregonSunstoneGuide.com, unfortunately, I couldn't find any stones to buy. But it's not just the stones that are selling out. He offers miners the opportunity to sell their claims on Oregon Sunstone. You can't even buy a mining claim. Not a mine, not gems, just the right to explore for this gem. Even those rights, those claims are sold out unanimously right now because so hot is the market for this gemstone. You know, we heard earlier on, for up to $4,500 a carat, at right at the bottom there, up to $4,500 a carat. That's from, buying, that's from this particular investment guide. What I'm about to share with you for the first time ever is the actual appraisal value as suggested by the International Colored Stone Association, who, by the way, are the ones who guide your appraisers. Your appraisers will know of the ICA. Your appraisers will use the ICA when they come to, if they're doing their job properly, when they come to appraising your gems and your jewelry that you have crafted. Here is the ICA's view via Alice Krivenek uh, on this. This is literally taken from that article that I just shared with you. Take a look at this. Value of Oregon Sunstone. This rare American gemstone has been growing in both popularity and value ever since it was first commercially mined over three decades ago. The biggest jump in value was recorded in 2012, right after the Little Eagle Butte location, that's the Parna Mine and the Sunstone Butte Mine, started supplying rare greens, blue teals, and strongly dichroic. What does that mean? That's where you're seeing two different gems. Think Paprasha. Gems in substantial large quantities to satisfy the growing demand. Rough, which was sold 
for $10 a gram in 2008, now commands up to $150 per gram and is growing fast, 15 times. Now they say, look, considering the rarity, that's for the rough by the way, considering the rarity and the beauty aspects, current prices, this is the ICA saying this, through, through Alice Krivenet, current prices are still only a fraction of this gem's true potential. That's surely the right time to buy. Fastest top color gems in popular sizes, three to 10 carats, are currently being appraised at 800 to $5,000 a carat for retail replacement value. Let's be really clear about what this number is because we're just about to jump into this show for you. This is the ICA, this is Ales Krivenek telling us current appraisers are valuing this gem anywhere from $800 to $5,000 per carat. And if you think that's high, let's come back and hear what the ICA finish off with. Up to $5,000 a carat for retail replacement value. Because coloured Oregon sunstone is much rarer, compared to tourmalines, spinels, sapphires, and other well-known gems. That $5,000 a carat is expected to grow for many years to come. I have never brought you a gem where the ICA, in their guidance to gem investors and appraisers alike, is saying so clearly, this, this gem, its value is expected to grow, and I quote, for many years to come. Now you heard how the Paparasha was the most valuable color just a moment ago. Have a look at your Oregon Sunstone parcel today. Take a look at this. We are talking absolute top. Now remember wow. we heard about the Schiller. You can see so much Schiller, that copper rich. That's exactly what we're looking for. And you've got that Paparasha blend. Beautiful pinks, wonderful oranges, extraordinary, extraordinary material. This, this is a five carat gem. We're gonna be opening up with this. It is a museum piece unquestionably for us this morning. Now at five carat gem, we've just heard up to $5,000 a carat. That makes this gem potentially appraised retail re replacement value to uh, tw $25,000. $25,000. Up to. Now, okay, I hear you say, Jake, you always tell me you go for the lowest number. <coughs> okay, I will go for the lowest number. We heard $800 a carat. That makes this gem Th that was the lowest number. Remember the ICA from eight hundred dollars a carat. Now this isn't the lowest gem. Look at the quality. No. That makes that makes this a four thousand dollar gem. Four thousand. But but I'm just remembering Schiller, Paparazzi colours. It's got all yeah. of that. It's got it all. It's got absolutely everything. It is a museum specimen. We've just heard. We've just heard. $800 a carat. So that's what, that's about 500-ish pounds a carat. Liam, I'm going to open, I'm going to open our reverse auction this morning at the suggested price per carat Wow! for a five-carat gem. You're going to be paying for one carat, you're going to be receiving five of them. Wow. Liam, Take away, let's go, I'll tell you what, let's go slightly under the price per carat, about 480-ish. Wow. You're, you're paying for one carat, you're getting at least five, guaranteed oh, minimum of five, in a calibrated shape for you. Oh my goodness me, I'm just visualizing this as the finished piece, like yeah. you said, I mean, it screams museum. It, it, no, this is unquestionably museum, Liam. Oh. We're not finishing anywhere near this for this museum piece. Straight down. Let's cut that price in half, 239. Wow. And this, I mean, that's the first of your Oregon opportunities today. First Oregon museum piece. There is one opportunity. Oh my goodness me. And you can get hold of this on split pay. 
just so everybody is aware, we have competition for this one. It's the most beautiful. I mean, look at that colour. Yeah. Dear, it's can, can it's I exactly make, what you want, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, can I make quite a bold statement? Please, go for it. I think this puts your, your paparazzo sapphire in the shadows. Well, well I'm going to be completely honest with you. Uh, we... We're trying to do a Papadash Sapphire show in about two months' time. Uh -huh. I can't buy the stones. But also, I will say, arguably rarer. Yes. Arguably a rarer gem. This has got everything you want from Oregon Sunstone. It is perfect. It, it, it is a museum specimen. Strong. You, in fact, that's sold out. I'm going to have to take that opportunity away. Wow. Huge congratulations. Wow. Massive congratulations wow. acquiring that one. These are the Paparashi hues, and we've tried to maximize that in the cutting for you, the Schiller, the rare Schiller phenomena that really sets this gem. That's what pushes it, 800 to 5,000, that's what pushes it up towards that 5,000. Strong presence of Schiller. Now this is exactly the same size gem, 14 by 10, but instead of having a cushion shape, we've gone for an oval. Ha again, museum specimen, unquestionably. Take a look at this. Look at that. Beautiful. Really prominent paparasha hue here. That's a really strong, deep pink, almost pushing red. Yeah. And then you've got those wonderful oranges. But also, remember what I said about that Schiller? What is Schiller? Schiller is the effect of thousands, innumerable, innumerable copper platelets within the gem. And what they do is they essentially, you can see how they almost create this pinprick of tiny orange sparkle. It's, it's almost like effervescence mm. trapped within the gem. Mm. That is the copper. And it gives you that neon glow that you're seeing for the brilliance, but also for that effect of Schiller. That's what pushes up to 5,000 a carat. All right, I'm gonna have to go straight down. I'm gonna match the price on this one. Wow. Oh my goodness, there is one left within the vault. Oh my goodness, my goodness, it's so beautiful. It's That's sold out straight away, I'm so sorry. Oh. So sorry. Look, what I'm gonna do for you, I'll be completely transparent as we are, exactly how many opportunities. What I've got, is because of the nature of this gem, I, I don't have one museum piece with, with 10 or 20 opportunities. It doesn't exist. This is another museum piece. I've got a few of them. So, but they're all one, two chances. That's mm. the nature of the gem for you. Mm -hmm. Huge well done, those of you who have acquired this gem. We've heard from the ICA, appraising from $800 a carat. It, and, and let's be clear, in these, three to five, in these three to 10 carat gem sizes, that's what we're talking about right now. Wow. Are you ready to have a look at this? Exactly the same dimensions, this time, in a pear cut, take a look. And I'm looking at it, Jake, and it looks, I mean, it looks comparable size-wise. I really love the color of this one. Yeah, okay. It's you, a peach, you, like you, a peachy you, shade. You, you're getting very much peachy shade. This is still, this is still pushing what, what you mean the Schiller is very prominent in this yeah. gem. Because you actually have, the crystal structure itself is slightly more tightly crystallized. So you get a little bit better clarity, diaphanity there. But you see, see how you get those pinpricks of uh, beautiful yeah. copper hues. That is the Schiller. This has got the most Schiller we've seen so far in the show. Wonderful base color to this, what we call a key color and body color. Fantastic examples. Now, per carat, this is a little bit smaller just because you've got the pear cut. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason I'm going to offer a saving on this one. Dimension-wise, it's actually the exact same size, 14 by 10s. Yeah. But slightly lower carat rate. On this one, just because you, you obviously you taper into that down to a point at the, at the end of the pair, Liam, straight down. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll match the price, and I'm going to have a further crash for you. Wow. If you are lucky enough to be getting one of these today, oh, my goodness me. Uh... I am positively envious. I mentioned uh, just a couple of weeks ago, I think I found my new favorite gemstone. Look at how magnificent that color is. A beautiful Schiller. I think it's the elegance as well within each, well, I was gonna say within the pair, but it looks absolutely beautiful in every cut that I've seen. Liam, we're gonna take a further 60 pounds off the screen, a 25% saving. Let's do it straight away for you, 179 pounds. Wow, goodness me. A gemstone which, with a potential valuation 
You know, you, you heard it there. The, the valuations were uh, up to twenty-five thousand uh, no. pounds. Well, that, that was for five carat, three point seven. So three point seven carats. Excuse me. I'm oh, just yes, going to. I'm yeah. just going to do a bit of quick bit of maths because I want to be absolutely clear for you what we're talking about here. Three point seven up to five thousand a carat, and you've got the Schiller here in bucket loads. Eighteen and a half thousand dollars. And look, if you're oh, thinking, wow. you may, you may at home, be, you may at home be, be thinking, there's got to be something's missing here. Something. There's just a disconnect in reality. Look, these were my. I mined these gems myself for yeah. you seven years ago. Now, in February, end of January, early February, we are going to take you to the Tucson Gem Show. It, we've already the. It's such an exciting moment. We're going to take you to the heart of the gem world like we have never done before. When we do that, we are going to find the people who are mining this gem for you. I know exactly where they are in the show. I talk to them every year. Probably we'll talk to Narinjan, actually, for, or, or, literally from the ICA, uh, from the ICA uh, uh, show there. We'll talk to Narinjan. We will not be telling him about this. We'll be asking him questions. <laughs> we'll be asking him, what is the price per carat you're asking for at the show to the trade? What is it, in your experience, what is it appraising for in the current market? We'll ask him all of these questions. And you'll be at home knowing you've got a 3.7 carat Oregon Sunstone at a huge, huge amount of saving. That is amazing. Oh... Uh... I mean, I'm just fin I'm visualising jewellery makers just the most exquisite finished piece of jewellery. It can be just a classic Tiffany uh, ring mount oh, in, your, in your in your precious metals, of course. Um, right. Oh goodness me! I, and I, I did have a little sneaky peek, Jake, at some of these before. I've been yeah. admiring them over the past few days. They are mesmeric, aren't they? I think that's the, the, the word that I, that I associate it, to this th gemstone. This is a gem, I think, that when you first experience it, you suddenly understand. You might be thinking, hang on a second, how can a, a body, a leading body, the AGTA, how can they so consistently vote and be overwhelmed for this gemstone year after year when it's entered into awards? You might be thinking, oh, at some point, they must get bored of seeing the same thing. That's the thing about Oregon Sunstone. <clears throat> no two gems are the same. We say that about Opal, but this gem takes it to a whole mm. other level. And I know this next one is going to be the fastest selling one we have. For the first time ever in this show, I present to you a museum worthy round brilliant. Take a look at this. Oh, wow. Deep, deep you. You've got this. You've got this lightning strike of Schiller, which lends this red, beautiful, beautiful brush right across the gem. It's extraordinary. Yeah. 2.9 carat guaranteed minimum. On average, and this is the last time I'm going to be able to say this today, I believe, on, the, on average, over three carats, which pushes it into that $800 to $5,000 a carat material. We're going to go straight down on this one. £179. Wow. It's absolutely huge and it's utterly breathtaking. I've, I've got this, this, this image in my mind. If you're lucky enough to get hold of one of these, imagine you wearing it around the neckline, um, on the hand, whichever, and just seeing this beautiful blaze of... of, of Deep saturations, beautiful. Um, and Paul actually said, "There's mahogany. You can yeah. really see that mahogany you, colour you, within." You're seeing what the yeah we talked about earlier on that mahogany. All of this material has been hand selected because it's strongly dichroic. Wow. Those are the pieces that get the highest valuations, where you see multiple colours in the gem. Think watermelon. Think yeah. pad paracha, yeah. which I would say this gem is on that pad paracha spectrum for you. You've got that beautiful streak. That streak there. That's not colour zoning. That is the Schiller phenomena which makes this gem one of the most valuable stones at appraisers today in the current marketplace. Huge well done. We've now, one opportunity we have. That, that, that's it. You get the gem on screen, one opportunity mm -hmm. left. Yeah, and there's somebody on the web, our phone lines, there's a few people in actual fact. Can I ask you, can, can I ask you a, a question then, Jake? Please. Um, on the back of our Oregon Sunstone show a couple of weeks ago, um, and... I, yeah. I, I'm sorry, that's sold out. 
but please let me know your question. Yeah, I'll tell you what no, we'll no, do. it's all good. I'll I've got one cut I'm really excited no, to bring. No, carry on, we've seen I'll lots ask of different you. Cuts, I'll ask you And later I promise on. you, uh, we'll come no, back to your good. question. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Because um, I'm sure you're, uh, you're excited to hear Al's question as well. Octagon cut. Oh. We haven't seen it yet. This. When we talk about award-winning lapidary, when we talk about a gem performing, really performing to the point where it blows away sapphires, spinels, garnets. And I hate saying that because garnets is my favourite gem. But blow, so spinel, the two, those two are the two gems that I'd say are my favourite oh gems. My and it blows them away optically. Have. You, you go, how? I don't understand how that could be the case. Have a look at this. Yeah. Uh, Radiant cutting, oh. each of those facets coming into Do you, Now, look, this is what we're talking about when we talk about the dichroism. You see multiple colours in the single mm. gem. But do you see, there is this, uh, this beautiful, you, you can't even really locate where it is. It's not quite on the surface of the gem. It feels in the middle, but then it almost disappears. It, it's, it's a cloud, isn't it? This cloud that drifts in and out almost magically of a blush pink. Can you see that yeah. against the body colour? The body colour here is a deep gold. But you've got this cloud of pink that lends a, 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 this magical property to it. 100% natural, this material. Remember that. It's 100% natural. This is the Schiller. Wow. That's the Schiller we are talking about with this material that pushes its value so high in the market. Oh, it, like, oh. It's absolutely incredible, isn't it? With the radiant cut as well. I'm going to go straight down on this. I hope at home you're ready. I hope you're prepared. Have you already got it in your basket hovering over that checkout? I really hope you put yourself in the driving seat. If you dial the number, about to press one. Oregon Sunstone, 2.98 carats on average. $800 carat all day in the market. Liam, straight down, £129. Really? Goodness me. Goodness me. You can get this home jewellery makers on split pay as well. Uh, you can be the custodian of wonderful, golden, natural Oregon sunstone in a fabulous radiant cut. And actually, Jake, I'm so glad that uh, you, sort of, you held off the question, uh, my question. Oh, yes, please. Because let's... it relates to this in actual okay, fact. Let, let, let's ask the question. And I, I, on the back of our show a couple of weeks ago, I put, purchased some Oregon Sunstone. Um, is, uh, do I need to be getting involved today, right? You, uh, know, you, know, you know my little girls yes. and everything. We, we're uh, 100%. parents of daughters. We are, we are, we are, yeah, we are, we're building, we're building portfolios. Okay. And we talk about it all the time. We yeah. talk about how, you know, how do you build a portfolio of fine gemstones? This right now yeah. is absolutely the opportunity to build one of those, one of those portfolios that you and I often have to talk about. Well, I say this right now, this, this one has sold out. Yeah. So, so this now isn't the opportunity to do it. But the gemstone what, itself. What we will do, what we will do for you though, is throughout the show, we will provide you those opportunities. Now, talking of those hallmark moments, this is the final chance I'm about to share with you, the final chance I can to guarantee for you over two carats. To oh. guarantee as a minimum, final chance to show, over two carats for this material. Because these kind of sizes, remember what the GIA said, these kind of sizes, they changed everything. Are you ready to see what changing everything looks like? Have a look. This. Deep, deep colour on this gem. Pad oh. Paracha to a T. You've actually almost got saffron reds injecting yeah. their way into the makeup here. This is definitely, this is one of my picks of the show. The yeah. only, the only disappointment I've got for you is I just don't have enough of these. Less than half a dozen. I'm seeing the Schiller on the pavilion of the gemstone yeah. as well. The way I'm holding it, I can see the pavilion and the Schiller is on every single facet. Let's show you. Let's show you that. Yeah, I'll, sure. Let's dive in. Let's look at the gem from an angle we don't normally... See how the colour is all the way through the gem. You see, there, you yeah. see the shiller there, and also you're seeing through the back here, every part of the gem has that colour. Every part of the gem has that colour. Now, in order to do that, and again, we'll go, yeah, even if we tilt it round through there, you can see through the pavilion, 
The whole time. This is the shiller that you're witnessing right now. The whole gem. It's not like we've just kept the colour in the Kool-Aid, no. which, by the way, is a, is a common uh, way of trying to increase the carrot weight. You, you cut the colour into the Kool-Aid and hope that it projects. Look at the shiller you've got here. This is what pushes this gem's value up. Wow. That extraordinary shiller you're witnessing right now through the crown, refracting off, actually, uh, refracting yeah. off the pavilion and coming back through the table facet there all the way around delivering it. The whole gem full of colour, and yet look, the colour is only located in this tiny kernel, this tiny kernel wow. within the centre of the gem. Liam, straight down please, £129. Wow. I must admit, this is pulling on every single heartstring. That's beautiful. So, Al, you, you, you talked then about, you know, is this, is this one of those portfolio building gemstones? Is this the kind of gem you acquire on behalf of your family? Absolutely it is. Now, it's one thing me saying it. We've heard it from the independent uh, buying and investing in Oregon Sunstone Guide. Mm -hmm. We've also heard it because information is only as good as its source, I believe. We've heard it from the International Coloured Stone Association, yeah. from Ailes Krivenek, the authority on this gem about how as good as $800 a carat is, yeah. as high as that is rather, actually it's expected to increase for years, years to come. come. Now, it's one thing hearing it from all of those different sources, now, and, and I've shared all those sources with you. What we are going to do at the end of January, early February, from around about the 27th of January to the 3rd of February, we're going to take you to the Tucson Gem Show. And when we do this, we are going to hear from the miners of this material. Now, you can be in two places. You can be watching that show going, oh, my goodness, I wish I'd gone and got it. Knowing what the prices are today, mm. knowing in seven months' time, you go, I wish, let's go and join Mecca, let's see if they've got any available. They won't. Seven years it's taken us to build this parcel of cutting the material. Or you can be sat at home going, listening to the likes of, uh, 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 of Terry and Don and Naringen, these giants in the mining world, talking about hundreds, if not thousands of dollars a carat for material just like this. Wow. And you'll be at home going, just hearing that, it'll be, it'll be the, the best feeling you've ever had here at Jewelry Maker. Oh, goodness me. Um, yeah, well, it, that's for sure. I need to get hold of some as well. This is incredible. That Carla is sensational. Um, we only have one of these left within uh, the vault. Um, they have absolutely flown. This is a really beautiful elongated cushion. I, I, again, I, I'm just visualizing this, Jake, and maybe a, an 18 karat gold oh, rose gold mount with some beautiful 100%. SI diamonds. VSI? Yeah. In fact, I do actually know someone who works with this material. The shiller coming through in this particular piece is extraordinary. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to leave that final chance opportunity there for you. I know someone who actually works with this and they exclusively set it into internally flawless diamonds. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, absolutely. D color IF diamonds. <laughs> it's the only thing they're working with this material. That's how high the perception is for this material in the market eight to five thousand dollars carat that's the guidance to appraisers on what they should be valuing this material for have a look oh. now now i don't mind telling you, you you know what i'm like you know what i'm like i don't mind telling you this is the lot i've been really looking forward to sharing with you there's a few of them throughout the show and you know i always do i always tell you look guys this is one of my picks of the show wow. this is one of my picks of our show today Wow. And the reason is because you've got pure dichroism here. Pure dichroism. You want to know what makes this gem special? It's, it's, the, it's the combination of the shiller and the dichroism. And you can see that dichroism there. A deep mahogany band straight through the middle of the gem. Flanked on either side by deep gold. You've got this deep mahogany. You can see that they're drifting right through the middle. Very rarely do we get that. It is also, by the way, now there's a guaranteed minimum here of 1.95 carats. Guaranteed minimum of 1.95 carats. However, on average, these are well over two carats. That's incredible, isn't it? And I my final reason, and we're just about to witness it now, is what I've talked about all show, Schiller. Just as this comes through, watch how that cloud of Schiller it's there, you can see that cloud of shiller over the top there, that beautiful network. Mm. Then it drifts into the background, really lets the mahogany come out, and then watches it reasserts itself here. You're looking for these tiny pinpricks, they look like a, a haze of copper in 
on, you can't quite place it, the gem. That's the magical Schiller phenomena. Okay, Liam. Let's go straight down, first crash. We've heard what, $800 a carat. That's what we've heard so far this show. Average 2.35 carats, I'm gonna say 100 pound a carat. Not 800, 100. Let's go 235. Wow. Yeah. Look at that colour. And they are truly all unique, aren't they? Every single piece and is unique. Because it's, it's, it's all natural. Yeah. And there's only one place on the planet you can get it from. You can get sunstone from other places. This is not This is Oregon sunstone. It is, actually, vast it is actually gemologically completely different. Uh, and the only way I can really describe this is... Uh, among the feldspar family, you've got the, uh, without getting too technical, there's, there's something called the oligoclase class and the, uh, the plagioclase class. And uh, without getting too technical, imagine it like this. Imagine an, a big L, okay, a big L, and the, f the, the, the feldspar family sits along this L, and up here you've got most sunstone, which are oligoclase, and then down here you've got uh, Plagioclase, it's the only one that sits there. So literally, it is the furthest thing you could possibly get from other types of sunstone. Completely chem chemically different. Liam, for everyone, for the first time, I've opened up your triple split pay here because I want this to be a special opportunity. Liam, straight down on this one. They're one of my picks of the show because of the strength of that Schiller. 99.99, good luck at home. Wow. You can get this home on split pay for £33.33. £33. One of yeah. the rarest gemstones on this planet. Unquestionably. It's, Unquestionably. And when there you is a good argument for saying it is the rarest. Wow. I mean, you talk about sort of the copper uh, presence within this. It's copper that really is... You know, brings your 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 uh, Pareba tourmaline it, to copper life. Is what makes Pareba tourmaline. Yeah. It is what makes a Pareba tourmaline. You can't have Pareba without copper, and it's exact. And they, they lend both gems the exact same phenomena. See how the key color is brilliant. It's bright. It's yeah. vibrant, isn't it? Mm. That is what you get from this. You're also getting that incredible Schiller, but it's not impeding the beauty of the gem. If anything, it's maximizing the beauty of the gem. Wow. You can get that home for £33.33 pounds and 33 pence for, on average, a 2.35 carat natural glowing mahogany Oregon sunstone. That is incredible, absolutely amazing. Um, so many uh, collectors, custodians, really. I mean, like you said, I'm super excited for uh, so the, the, the beginning um, of next year when our customers can actually sit with this very gemstone yeah. and, and watch you um, and think, OK, I'm so glad I bought it when I did. Uh, uh, absolutely. That moment, the moment where you hear direct from the miners and you see at the show where they're not charging members of the public what they are charging... In the trade. In the trade? In the trade. By the way, this is the, the, this is the final chance, I, I believe, from memory, uh, where, we, where we're able to suggest that, uh, that, you know, that, that it's over two carats by, by virtue of the average carat weight. Uh, when you hear from hear the trade prices for this gem, you think, no, I have actually got it better than if I'd flown to Tucson myself. Yeah. And, got it. and the, re Paid simple the ticket reason price that, and everything. Uh, the, the simple reason is... Even if I'm buying this today, I'm well outpriced to the market. I can't, I can't buy these stones in the trade. I had to mine this gem seven years ago. Good luck checking out on that one. Wow. Well wow. done. Now, earlier on in the show, we had an <gasps> octagon cut. It sold out instantly. So many of you missed out. Now, you know I hate oh. you missing out. So I've got for you another octagon cut. This is just as limited. If you missed out on the last one, you've got to get involved in this next one. You can't afford to miss it because there aren't many octagon cuts throughout the show. Have a look at the incredible optical array, the show that is this next piece. That. Deep, deep color. This is what we're talking about. Absolute top gem material. It's extraordinary oh, quality. Oh my goodness me. 
deep reds yeah. that we're seeing here. This is that Papadasha. This is that Papadasha hue. You've got that strong dichroism coming through here as well. Beautiful peach hues breaking through. Wonderful orange, reddish uh, uh, body color with a, with, a, with, a, with a much more strong pinkish hue uh, breaking through in the key color. Wonderful material. Oh my goodness me, my goodness me. I mean, I'm looking, I, I'm gonna say what I said to you a few weeks ago, Jake. This is probably one of the classiest gemstones I think I've ever seen. Yeah, uh, you see it and instantly it looks high end. Now we brought a, a 10 by eight millimeter gem for 129 pounds. Let's pop that on screen. Wow. And I'm gonna ask you at home, this is one millimeter smaller. I'm gonna ask you at home, what is one millimeter worth? What is one millimeter worth? Because for you right now, if you are quick, we have hardly any of these, if you are quick for this gem, one millimeter is gonna save you 50 pounds. Let's wow. do it 79, 99. Uh, it is actually on average creeping just over that two carat mark for you. Best of luck getting involved in this saturation of color oh my through the roof. Me. And, and, and this is what's terrifying keeping that split pay in, in hand. You are able to get a gem that is $800 a carat opening appraising price. Yeah. For thirty nine ninety nine on split pay today. Today, and, and, and we can't emphasize that. I mean, Jake, the only reason that you're making this possible is you personally were at that mine, weren't yes. you, some years ago? Yeah. I, I, so th this was discovered in 2012, 2013. The GIA were there in the, in the mining season. 2014, I was there in with the miners, mining this material, getting it for you today. Seven years we've took we've taken to cut the material. Yeah. We wanted to perfect our cutting. We wanted to, we weren't in a rush for this. We know we're not gonna be able to get any more. That is a fact we're not gonna be able to get any more of this material. So we're not in a rush to release it to the market. Seven years it took to cut, and here we are right now bringing it for oh. $79.99. You're gonna have to be so quick though. Good luck, those of you who are doing this. Wow, I mean, if there's any of these remaining, I am all over. Um, I'm all over this opportunity. Look at the shiller there catching the crown facets. Can you see? Beautiful, beautiful shiller. And don't forget what Jake actually in introduced um, during uh, uh, the launch of this amazing uh, variety of Oregon sunstone. Shiller mahogany, reds, yeah. pinks, they're the most valuable all, colors. All the valuable colors. It's a who's who of the most valuable colors. Look at the shiller that breaks yeah. through on here. You get these strong little patchworks of it. Now, okay, oh. there, are, there are two genuine opportunities right now. Two genuine opportunities. There are over 15 of you with it in your basket. That puts the odds at one in eight. Yeah. Good luck. It's in your hands. I can't do any more. $79.99 for oh. a gem like this. I mean, we're, we're at 40 pounds. We've 800 pounds, 800 dollars a carat. We're at 40 pounds a carat, essentially. Huge well done, those of you doing this. That's absolutely, and you can get it for $39.99 on split pay. I, I, that is absolutely astonishing. Look at how, you know, I've always said rarity is an, it's sort of an extra bonus, really. Um, and the stories, of course. But when you have something as mesmerically beautiful as this, yeah. I mean, you can see its value and worth. Denise, if you want... How many have we got left? Two. We've got the two. Oh, okay. Denise, you've put two in your basket. We only have two left. Do check out nice and quickly if you want to get yours. They will be amazing imagine, earrings. Can you imagine those as drop earrings? Like, oh. what, what, a, what a legacy. What a portfolio. Oh. Huge congratulations. Now, there is one cut we've not shown you so far this show. And this is, you know this about me. This is the cut that I, I think just works so well in so many different gems. But in this gem, in this gem, seeing that wow. square cushion cut, the potential mm. starts to get my heart racing. The delivery, the actual, the, the actual result of this one. It's something else, take a look. Oh yeah. Schiller, Schiller, Schiller. 
pad parasha to a T. If you wanted the textbook pad parasha of the show, this is the one to get involved in. You want that Schiller, it's absolutely maximum. You can see it there. It's like a wave of light mm. that's hidden just a, an agonizing fraction of a millimeter just below the table facet there for you. This is why for me, this is, this is my pick of the show. Wow. This, it, it, we're, we're, we're 60 minutes in, this is my pick of the show. You've got the Paparasha color to an absolute, you, you've got it maximum there. Maximum Paparasha color. You've got Schiller right the way yeah. through the gem, that table facet lighting up just here. It is, it's like, the only thing I can describe is Imagine you're in one of the, uh, the, 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 great, the great cathedrals and the light, the, the, the light shines through one of the windows and you almost see those speckles of dust light yes. up yeah, through, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. from across the cloister. That's the only way I can describe. Like, I think they call those God's fingers when that light reaches down in, in a really defined ray like that. And it's the only experience I've ever come close to seeing the beauty of a Gosh, shimmer that's like a this. That's the perfect way of describing it. The perfect way, that sunlight, yes. It's that Highlighting sunlight, the... refracting off those, off those particles oh. of dust. And, 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 and what's happening here is, again, light refracting, but not off dust this time, refracting off incredibly valuable microscopic copper platelets, delivering for you mm. the most pad pradasha color we have seen this whole show. And, and I just want to do a quick top up, if I could remind us what is the most valuable colors here? Okay, well, starting in order of the least valuable or the most affordable, rather. For example, colors range from very affordable, champagnes, gold, pastel yellows, pastel pinks, Schiller to rich, pink, peach, mahoganies, watermelons, pastel greens, orange, and top of the pile, pad paracha. And this is the ICA using this nomenclature, pad paracha, Oregon Sunstone. Liam, I absolutely should charge a premium for this one. Uh, uh, that's, not being greedy. that's not being greedy. That's just, a re that's just the reality of the gem market. Mm -hmm. The reality of the gem market is you get an all natural, all, all American gem like this, you get it its most valuable color, of course there should be a premium attached. $79.99. Wow. No premium whatsoever. Not a penny of premium for you. <laughs> Again, I'm seeing the Schiller on the crown, the table, whatever angle I look at this beautiful cushion solitaire with, as you said, that perfect paparazzi colour. Oh, there's a lot of you loving this one. This is yeah. Jake's pick. If, if, he, if you could, if we had, oh, it's never going to happen. This is Oregon Sunstone, but this is, this is the one that you're saying get it it's yeah, beautiful absolutely if you're in any doubt today if you're looking for guidance of the one to get this is the one to get because look if there's any of these left over i don't mind telling you i'm going to put them away i'm going to lock them into the trunk it's only six months away now i've already got my tickets i will take them to the tucson gem show yeah. and you will see members of the trade mm. paying much more than you're paying right now for this gem wow wow certainly i mean we're at 79.99 79 pounds and 99 pence. That's crazy. You were talking figures of 5,000. 800 to 5,000 dollars a carrot. A carrot, yeah. And uh, to be clear, where's that number come from? It came from the In Color Journal. It came from the ICA and mm -hmm. Alex Krivenek saying, look, that's the retail replacement value, 800 to 5,000 a carrot. I mean, at the, at the, at the higher end, that makes this gemstone, what, uh, uh, an eight and a half thousand dollar gem? Wow. Even at the lowest possible number, 800 dollars a carrot. Uh, 800, 800 times 1.7, uh, my goodness me, that's really pushing my maths. It's going to be around about 1,400, 1,300 yeah. dollars for the gem. You're paying 80 pounds right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. You're saving, you're saving far more than you're spending. And those of you who are sapping this up on split pay, absolutely the right thing to do. I know a lot of people right now are pick, picking up two of these. Yeah. And they're saying, look, I'll, I'll, I'll match them up at home. And I'm, pay, and I'm paying the $79.99, I'll do it on split pay and I'll pick up two of these. The amount you're saving here is extraordinary. Well done. Wow, incredible. Um, again, check out those baskets, everybody. Uh, there's, there's not enough of those to go around. That beautiful paparazzi color, that exquisite cushion, uh, cushion cut. Um, uh, we are, oh, 
Moving on to, I was hoping you were going to say that, this next one is now absolutely this, breathtaking. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece. We've only seen what this cut once so far this show. And before you see this, I just want to be absolutely clear. What are you looking for in this gem? Talked about it a lot in the last, that last opportunity. Schiller. Mm. This is what we want to see. It's those microscopic copper platelets. When the light hits them, they explode with a beautiful neon color. That's this wonderful sunset pink. This piece coming up has some of the most pronounced Schiller I have ever witnessed in seven years of working with this material. Have a look at this. Wow. You see that, this shard, and it disappears and then lights yeah. back up again. This shard of light, that's what Schiller is. It's, this, it's invisible and then explodes in light and then disappears again and then explode, re-emerges. This is the phenomena that is Schiller that is so highly valued. Because normally, think about what you know, any other optical phenomena, you still see it all of the time. A moonstone will always be highly included, and then from one or two mm -hmm. angles, you'll see a blue. Mm. A labradorite will always be highly included, from one or two angles, you'll see a blue. This material, crystal clear clarity, yeah. until you see the Schiller, and then it, it dominates the gem, and then it disappears again. It, it, it goes invisible again. It's a 100% natural phenomenon. And I've got to say, of everything we've shown you so far this show, this is the most pronounced, valuable Schiller that we have seen in the show so far. Wow. I'm just trying to think, Jake, for, I mean, in terms of phenomena gemstones. Yes. Is this the only phenomena gemstone which has, has clarity? Uh, gosh, great question. Um, I think I'm, it is. I'm trying to think through. You can get some clarity in uh, colour change fluorite. Yes. Um, and, and very, very high grade alexandrite. Uh, but in terms of this type of phenomena, this Schiller, Yes. Yes. I it's can't one think, of its, one I of can't its think kind. of another gem with Schiller, which also possesses this level of diaphaneity. Liam, let's go seventy nine ninety nine. Goodness me, goodness me! For a one point four carat, beautiful natural Oregon sunstone, arguably the rarest gemstone on the planet. Yes. As heard from from Arles Kruvenek of the ICA. What an opportunity. It's only the second time you've seen a pair cut so far this show. And it's a big pair as well. 10 yeah. by 7 millimetres. This is a, easily a solitaire. Pendant, earrings, ring, however you want to do this. Amazing opportunity. And it, is, it has got the most pronounced Schiller we've seen so far in the show. Wow. It's as if we can get these opportunities home, Jewelry Makers, for just 39 99 on your split pay. Um, wow. There's... Sort of, one of a kind opportunities, each and every Liam, single not one. Not going quick enough for me. Take another ten pounds off. Really? Yeah, not going quick enough. So far, nearly everything has been a sellout. I want to make sure we, I'm very conscious that we're probably about twenty-five minutes away before I begin, give you a very big announcement. Oh, okay. Sixty-nine ninety-nine. Jewelry makers gets this beautiful rarity, uh, this wonderful gemstone, which is one of the newest gems in the entire world to the market. Um, little known because of its actual rarity, but one that uh, the ICA publishes being potentially one of the most valuable and sought after, certainly collect custodians if you own this. Um, again, those of you with it in your baskets, do check out because we they've they, all been sell out opportunities thus far, haven't they? Each yes. and every single one um, of these Oregon Sunstone opportunities have been sell out. If you are told that you're unsuccessful, then make sure you do add it to your wish list, jewelry makers. Um, there are only a, a, a couple of opportunities, sometimes even individual opportunities when it comes to this gemstone. You're never, and I think it's fair for me to say this, you, it, it is, you're never going to be able to do a massive quantity auction oh, of this gemstone. No, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't exist. Doesn't it just doesn't exist. exist. It doesn't exist, exist. Doesn't exist unfortunately. Uh, huge congratulations to those of you who picked up that one. Uh, now, I, I want to unlock, we're going to slightly change our order, I want to unlock lot number 12 for you. This one, you've seen the cut once so far in the show, it was the fastest selling lot of the show because you see around brilliant you see it in this material and something very special happens for only the second time this show i unveil for you your round brilliant cut have a look at this 
eight millimeter. Lovely shiller on this. There, there's, there's the shiller wow. for you. Exactly what we're looking for. We're going to open those phone lines. I do not have enough of these to go around. It's going to be a very, very quick auction indeed. The uh, the only remaining ground brilliant in these kind of larger sizes that we've got here, an eight millimeter calibrated round brilliant. Wonderful to see this kind of a size. Liam, 59.99. Let's make a split pay under 30 pounds. Goodness me. And that's a big size, isn't it? it oh yeah, it, eight know, millimeter size round. One. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's flying, this one. This is very popular. Like you said, the round brilliant cut seems to really grab our uh, audience's attention. We've got two left. Yeah, no surprise to me whatsoever there. Uh, huge congratulations, those of you who, who, who do manage to get hold of this. That's sold out. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Oh. Now, talking of popular lots, this one, uh, number 13, unlucky for some. It will be unlucky for some, this one. It's going to be unlucky for those of you who miss out. We've brought you this cut twice so far this show. It's proven incredibly incredibly popular you can probably guess i absolutely love this next lot it is another radiant cut take a look one carrot guaranteed on the nose eight hundred dollars is the from appraisal retail price and pad paracha to a t pad paracha to a t extraordinary to witness this I, I think it's my favourite cut in this gemstone, Jake. I just love the, uh, the radiant. I just think it really complements the elegance and class of this gem. I'm going to ask for a one minute clock. I've not done it so far this show. I've got something big planned for you. What we'll do, Liam, I want to open 99.99 on screen because I want to get some split pays open. This is the chance you are going to have. These are the opportunities you're going to have. I'm opening split pay. I'm doing everything I can, my side, to make this a reality for you at home. Let's start that 60 second clock. Now, there's two types of people. There's already those of you who know. You can tell how excited I am about this one. You <laughs> know that when I get excited like this about a lot, something big is about to happen. And you're absolutely right. Something big is about to happen. Lots of you are checking out already. You say, look, I, I, I know the split pays are open. Something big's about to happen. Something that shouldn't happen is about to happen. I'm not waiting. If you want to wait, you've only got a 40 second wait to wait, but you will be stuck in a wait on the phone lines. Two, three, four minutes. That's mm -hmm. absolutely fine. I do not have many of these. I'm just looking down here. I just want to confirm. Yeah, 21 genuine chances. It's one wow. of the most limited deals I've been able to do for you when, I, when, when we're doing something like this. But my goodness me, look at what you've got. That's 21 chances to acquire a gem of this kind of caliber. All natural. American provenance. The value going through the roof year on year on year. And ICA guiding people saying, look, we're nowhere near. We expect the price of this to rise for years to come. Well, this is the only place in the world where the price isn't rising. It's falling. Liam, cut the price in half. 49.99. For the first time today, we've gone from $800 a carat to £50 for a one carat gem. Goodness me. That, it, you, ex, Liam, I, I totally agree with what you have just said. Absolutely incredible. I mean, I, this is an opportunity not to miss. Not only are you get one of the most exquisite natural gemstones, rarer than a tanzanite, you are taught, you're looking at an opportunity which today is as little as 49.99. Goodness me, uh, there were 21 opportunities. Not I've got enough. a lot. Of, yeah, it's not <laughs> enough. No, because people are also multi buying. I mean, I mentioned when I was talking uh, when we had this show, uh, Jake. We were talking about the Oregon Sunstone with the other colours, the other varieties. I was talking about the class and sophistication, the elegance that comes with this uh, with this gem, with these deep colours. I think that's even more amplified, even more so. Absolutely, you're, you're completely right there. Well done to everyone who is taking advantage. Well done to everyone who is acquiring this opportunity. It's a huge moment, and, and there aren't many of you now. If you miss out. If you miss out, wishlist is the only way to be successful. There are no future plans for this gem. It's taken seven years to cut these stones. This is the parcel. This is everything. Here is your very final chance if you're not quick. 
Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. You may be wondering how to buy here at Jewelry Maker, so here is a quick overview of what to do. When you see a product that comes on screen, the graphics will appear, you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk, whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I hope you've checked out your baskets because items are getting very limited. In actual fact, Jake, no surprise, pretty much every single opportunity has been near on a sellout, if not a sellout. Yeah, the quantities have been very limited. We're talking about a gem with unbelievable pedigree. I have never, I have never heard the ICA, that is the International Coloured Stone Association, offer this kind of guidance. This is directly from Arles Krivenek and the ICA. Oh. They say this, value of Oregon Sunstone. Considering the rarity and beauty aspects, the current prices are still only a fraction of this gemstone's true potential. Let's be clear, the current prices they're talking about is not the $49.99 on yeah. screen. Yeah, yeah. That's not the current prices the ICA are talking to. They say, look, faceted top color, well, this is Pampanasha color, it is top color, top color gems in popular sizes are currently being appraised for, for $800 to $500 thousand dollars a carat for retail replacement value wow this is a one carat gem that makes it an eight uh, i'm going to take the lower of the two numbers because you know i could say it's a five thousand dollar gem i'm going to take the lower numbers i'm going to say an eight hundred dollar eight hundred dollar gem at, at tucson I, I i would struggle to try and find this gem for eight hundred dollars because colored oregon sunstone is much rarer compared to gems like tourmaline spinels sapphires and other well-known gems its value is expected to grow for many years to come. Well, I remember once being told by a, uh, by a, by a financial advisor. Now, I want to be clear, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not, you know, I'm not I, I'm a professional gem investor, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not here to give you financial advice. I'm not qualified to. I remember being told once very early on that it's not, it's not about the timing. Everyone goes on about timing. So it's not about the timing. It's about the time in. Not about the timing. Mm -hmm. It's about the time in. And at forty nine ninety nine, there has never been a better <laughs> yeah. time in than right now. Good luck. You've got about 60 seconds before we take this deal away from you. Forty nine ninety nine. Those of you checking out, huge congratulations. Goodness me. And do you know what, Jake? Something's just occurred to me when you were actually uh, uh, reiterating those, those numbers earlier on. Um, the fact, it actually says, let me just look around, retail replacement value. Yeah. If you can even find one. Well, yes, there is that. Because uh, of the rarity? There is that. It would be very hard to... You, you probably have to wait a whole year to yeah. have someone who's got a connection at Tucson. A huge congratulations there. Keep going through. Uh, I wish you the best of luck on that one. Wow, wow, wow. OK. Yeah, well done. Uh, oh. Now, I want to go to lot number 16, if I could. I want to go to lot number 16. And, and what I'm going to say, for the first time this show, we're about 45 minutes away from your deal of the day. What I'm going to ask for is a star buy on this next one. And the reason is this. I have brought you many 8x6mm oval mounts. I will bring you many 8x6mm oval mounts. Calibrated to perfection at that 8x6mm standard, this is going to be one of the most usable and yet still larger size Oregon Sunstones we offer the whole show. It's probably the most useful lot of the whole thing, and that is the reason why we open those phone lines. This is your star buy.
Schiller, Schiller, Schiller. That's what the, where the value is in this gem. That's where the opportunity is. But whether you're, a, you know, we heard from Alex saying, look, it's new to collectors, to investors, to jewelry professionals. It's Schiller which marks this gem out. And this particular deal has it in abundance. Take a look at your star by gem. Wow. Wonderful. Deep gold. But there's your Schiller. You can see that ricochet. It's nature's fingerprint very much in the gem and yet disappearing in the foreground. That's the difference. That's what makes Schiller such a rare and unique phenomenon. Because some angles, it's very prominent and it's beautiful to see. And then other times, it's completely yeah. invisible. It's almost magical. There you go, wonderful fingerprint, oh. those streaks of beautiful rosé, and then it disappears into the foreground. It's extraordinary as a phenomena. I absolutely love the phenomena, and I know you at home are doing it, and I know appraisers are doing as well. Good luck on this one. Now, this, if you want to multiply, this is the one to be doing it on. Because you bring actual mounts in this size, as you said earlier on. It is a, yeah. Yeah, it's a calibrated size. I mean, we are talking about now you, something that we always, uh, when, when you introduce yourself here, Jake, this is giving our jewelry maker viewers an opportunity to create with fine and uh, make fine jewelry. Um, Oregon sunstone is arguably some of the finest that you will make. Oh, uh, it is, I, I struggle to think of what you can make that's finer than this. Yeah. I, I, I really do. I really struggle to think what you can make that's finer than this. Um, this, in my own view, this gem is more elevated, more prestigious, and more exciting than even tanzanite. Yeah. We've heard how, it, you know, we've heard from Ales and from the ICA saying it's more, you know, more exciting. Look at beautiful blush papalasha wow, hue here. so lovely. It's a really blush papalasha hue. Liam, straight down, $49.99. Wow, it's immediately under £50. For arguably one of the rarest gemstones in the world. In the world. You're getting in at exactly the right time, jewelry makers, before really uh, sort of the, the, the gemstone market erupts, actually erupts with knowledge as well of the rarity and the beauty and the uh, intrinsic value of this gemstone. You're getting at exactly the right time. You can still get this home on split pay. Two split payments of £24.99. For those of you that have already said, you know what? I'm going to multi-buy, I'm going to sort of take Jake's advice, I'm going to absolutely become the custodian of this beautiful treasure. You've done exactly the right thing. That Schiller is almost, you said the word rosé. It is, you've always it, got it, that it beautiful rosé. It, it's, it's wonderful and it's crisp, it's incredible. What an incredible, unique folk phenomena. Well done to everyone who has been successful. Tell you what, we'll leave that deal there. I'm conscious I've got about 10 minutes and I've got a big mystery announcement for you. Ah. 10 minutes or so. So, I want to bring you a cut you've not seen all show. <gasps> One opportunity for this cut. There oh. are no other opportunities. I want to be absolutely clear. This is the only opportunity for this next cut. And it is your princess cut. Take a look. Oh my goodness. Not one, but two oh. princess cuts for you. Oh my goodness me. Wonderful Papadasha. You can see that there, Papadasha to a T on these princess cuts. Oh my goodness. Perfectly paired. I have, I have hardly any of these. I'm yeah. going to have to go straight down on it. £20 a gem. Seriously? £20 a gem for these. I, you're averaging over half a carat in each year if you turn these into stud earrings. They, that is one of the most elegant cuts, I think, alongside the sunstone. It's so perfectly complementary, isn't it? Beautifully, beautifully complimentary of that natural stone. Don't forget, you get your certificate of authenticity as well for free. And, and, and certificates of, of authenticity can be very expensive I mean, as well. The, the, the value in this, because it's got everything on that authenticity certificate as well for you. Mm. And then we'll have a look at it one more time. It's got the fact that it's 100% natural. Treatment, not enhanced, certified for you. You've got it certified. Oregon Sunstone. That matters a huge amount in the trade. Mm -hmm. You've also got it certified, that American provenance there. So there's no doubt whatsoever what kind of material we're looking at here. 
and you've got your carrot weight, your guaranteed minimum carrot weight certified as well. 20 pound of gem, the only princess cuts of the show. The only opportunity, if this is one of your favorite cuts, and a princess, I, I don't know, is it more challenging than many of the other cuts? I'm just thinking about that phenomenal oh, effect. Oh, definitely. Because oh, there's more facets, right? It, you, you've, got, you've got over 70 facets compared yeah. to a round brilliant, which you've got 56, 57, 58. You've got over 70 facets in the princess cut. It, personally, it's my favorite cut. Uh, you know, yeah, I, I, I have different cuts for different gems. But if I had to put one cut, it is the Princess Cut for me. I absolutely adore it because it just delivers you. Those 70, those 70 plus facets really work incredibly hard for you. Wow. Uh, limited an opportunity. Everybody. Nobody's leaving anything to chance. Um, everybody is checking out immediately. Uh, I think... Did you say we've just got two left, two two single opportunities? Um, I'll definitely be getting involved in this. It's just beautiful. And to actually have a gemstone which has a phenomena, that copper presence, and to be able to pair it so perfectly. And seeing that paprasha hue, yeah. it's so rare. Actually witnessing it firsthand. We're not, you know, we're not just saying it's there in theory. It's there in mm. practice in this all-natural material. Huge, well done. Wow, wow. Now, what I want to go to next is... As I've said to you before, the square cushion for me, the way it concentrates colour adds a huge amount of value. That's why I love square cushions so much, because I'm all about colour. Have a look at your square cushion opportunity. It feels like oh. an heirloom. The saturation, you, you, you can feel, can't you, that saturation has been... Yeah physically dialed up on this gem for you. It's 100% yeah. natural. You've got beautiful, you've got your orange, oranges coming through there and you get little flashes of pink. This is that paparazzi hue. The saturation, we've not seen the saturation for a long time so far this show. That's three, four, five, six lots have not been as saturated compared to this one. It is a top gem example that we're looking at. Oh, it's just beautiful, isn't it? And that color just seems to be completely threw out the gemstone completely threw out oh you have brilliance you have diaphanity and you have the phenomena of that gorgeous gorgeous shiller I mean, this is paprasha oh it's beautiful Liam, brace yourself at <laughs> home brace yourself one crash one crash only Twenty nine really? ninety nine. We are going under thirty pounds for an eight hundred dollar a carat gem. That makes this it, it, tick, tick, that is the lowest appraisal value the ICA suggested. They went up to five thousand dollars a carat. That would make this valued at around about six hundred five hundred fifty dollars for the gem. Wow. Um, if you don't check out your baskets, you are going to miss out because there's a lot of desire for this one. I do not blame you. I, I, I was not expecting us to break that price point. I was not expecting any of your, uh, yeah, of these colours. These, these are the rarest colours of Oregon Sunstone that actually exist. Um, to, I, I don't know. I'm going to sort of perhaps put, put you on the spot here, no, Jake. Um, in terms of... You know, in comparison to me, obviously we know Serenite um, and the other shade... Can we put a percentage on that of rarity? How frequently do we actually unearth, you know, oh, your lovely a, a, a paparazzi? paparazzi like this? Uh, yeah. My gosh. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to defer the question. What I'm going to say is you, we will ask that question. We will ask that question of the miners themselves, themselves yeah. in the Tucson Gem Show. Mm -hmm. Because I know that I know from that one year of mining where I, where I went in 2014, I know that very few gems hit that paparazzi hue. Okay. But since then, I wouldn't want to mislead anyone. Since then, who knows? Maybe they found a scene with lots of it. I doubt it because it's still one of the most valuable hues yeah, going. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but they're probably better equipped than I am, so I'd rather defer to the, to the experts on a technical question like that. And You've got to be so quick. We are talking £30 here, twenty nine ninety nine for a certified natural Oregon sunstone. This kind of colour. I mean, this... Is, this is the kind of deal where you you stock up here. Yeah. Stock up here and just wait. Don't do anything. Wait until that, that February show. Wow. And I'm, I've just had this sort of brainwave. I'm thinking, can you imagine it actually in little stud earrings? Can you imagine that as a finished piece of jewellery? Oh, my goodness me. That is absolutely exquisite. 
You, you get the mounts. We bring you the mounts here at Jewelry Maker also. Check out, check out San, uh, Sandria, Anne, Alan, Stephanie, Angela, a lot of multi-buyers. Madeline Kent, good luck. Morag. Morag's put in a, a, a big quantity there, Morag. If you want those, you're going to need to check out super fast because there's only a limited amount of, uh, of this, this opportunity. This is your opportunity. This well, is she's your doing the right thing. She's absolutely doing the right thing. She's got a, a, a sort of a multi-buy quantity, but you need to check out if you want to guarantee yeah. those. Karen, Candice, Carola, uh, Sandri again. Check out those baskets. I'll leave that with you. That's absolutely massive, amazing. Massive congratulations. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Well oh. done. Now, time for our final pad pressure lot. Final pad pressure lot. This lot here is around brilliant. And I'm just going to get it out of there straight away. We've seen what happened. We've already oh. brought you two round brilliant so far on the show. Both have been complete sellouts. This is the final Pad Prasha Oregon Sunstone lot of the show. Have a look at this. This is amazing. It's dreamy. We're going to get those yeah. phone lines in straight away. You're going to have to be so quick. Over half a carat, guaranteed over half a carat. The minimum appraisal value we heard, we heard $800 to $5,000 a carat. Mm. That would put this at a, over $400 gem. Wow. Liam, I'm going to say match the price, $29.99. First few people to be successful. Wow. Imagine this in a trilogy ring. I, I mean, in what other world do you buy something for £30 knowing that in other, in other settings, we, there is such yeah. a disconnect between... The potential retail, you know, replacement value appraisal price and the price you're paying on screen. It is unbelievable. On average, over three quarters count. Over half the stock has already gone. You have to be so quick on this. Wow. I mean, th th this is the thing. You know what we actually hear so frequently we hear about sort of how is this possible? I'll tell you how it was possible. A, the fact that Jake is here in the studio. B, the fact that he was there at the mine in 2014. Yeah. And that is, he, you waited seven years uh, to bring this parcel so to Jewelry yeah, Maker. We've, we've been cutting this material for seven years. I went there the year after the GIA research team, the very next mining season. I was there for a week mining this gem material so that seven years later, that's how long it took us to, cut, to, to perfect our cutting of this material. We didn't want to waste any of it. Perfect our cutting, practice working with the material. Seven years it took us to build wow. this parcel, and here we are this morning sharing it with you. Wow, absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Um, yeah, limited on those. In fact, now is the time really to have a look back on the website, see if there's any available. I'll quickly be doing that in this, um, in a few moments' yeah. time, because it's once in a lifetime, Jake. This is once in a lifetime. Now, just a moment ago, Al, you asked me, as a percentage, how much of the material is Papadasha? And it's a very hard question to answer. It's a tiny fraction. But there is one. And one colour rarer than what we have seen so far in the show. All will be unveiled in a few moments' time. Do not go anywhere. Your portfolio building carries on straight after this. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Did you know that we are live every day from 8am through to 5pm? We can be watched on Sky, Freesat and Virgin. You can also watch us on Freeview SD from 8am to 1pm and Freeview HD from 1pm to 5pm. Or you can join us online at www.jewelrymaker.com or download our app from the App Store. You may be wondering how to buy here at Jewelry Maker. So here is a quick overview of what to do. When you see a product that comes on screen, the graphics will appear, you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. 
We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee so there's no risk, whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker's exciting news. We're going to be bringing you the opportunity to acquire further treats on web exclusive deals. They'll be loaded on the 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. hour. You will be able to acquire all of your usual essentials plus extra treats between those limited time restraints. All you have to do is go to jewelrymaker.com at the hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Click on Watch Live and you'll see all the deals available for that hour. That's 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. each and every day. Here at Jewelry Maker, we want to still be able to support you in your jewelry making journey. We understand that during these unprecedented times, the priority is to keep everyone safe. We want to still give you the option to learn, experience and join like-minded people by offering our online workshops. Our online workshops are still run by our amazing designers who will guide you step by step and give you all the support needed to develop your skills. For more information, contact our workshop coordination team by emailing sarah.bingham at jewelrymaker.com. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Makers, we have a new Facebook group dedicated to sharing your makes and jewelry making advice. To join the group, simply head over to the page and hit request. You'll then be able to share your designs with our JM community and join like-minded people. Create, wear, share. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. My goodness me, Jake, I have just seen, I won't say anything, I don't want to spoil a surprise. No, yeah, you're absolutely, the excitement is uh, is definitely shared and I'm sure it'll be shared by you as well when you realise what we have got in store for you. I talked to you earlier about the rarest colours, about the most valuable colours <gasps> of this material. I'm not going to recap on Oregon Sunstone as a, as a gem, but let's just... Let's just remind ourselves because we are we are going back into territory that we have no right stepping onto. The value of this material, the savings you are getting, the opportunity that exists this morning is unrivaled amongst any gem collector show and any gem guide show that I've brought you to date. This is guidance from the ICA, the International Colored Stone Association on the worth, the value, and the future values, the forecast, essentially the investability of this gem. Have a look at the ICA's report to, to, to gem investors like myself. Value of Oregon Sunstone. This rare American gemstone has been growing both in popularity and value ever since it was first commercially mined over three decades ago. The biggest jump in value was recorded in 2012, right after the Little Eagle Butte location. That's the Parna mine and the Sunstone mine. That's where your gems are coming from. Started supplying rare greens, blue teals, and strongly diachroic and multicolored. They mystique as, 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 as a, a catch-all phrase, gems in sustainable large quantities to satisfy the growing demand. Rough which sold for $10 a gram in 2008. I miss those days. 
I, 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 I wasn't around in those days in, in, the, in the industry. Now commands prices of 50 to $150 a gram. That's in the rough and is growing fast. Considering the rarity and the beauty aspects, the current prices are still only a fraction of this gemstone's true potential. Faceted, not capuchon, but faceted, top color gems in popular sizes, three to 10 carats, are currently being praised at 800 to $5,000 for retail replacement value. Because colored Oregon sunstone is much rarer compared to gems like tourmaline, spinel, sapphires, and other well-known gems, its value is expected to grow for many years to come. But in terms of value growth, in terms of the, you know, what changed everything, it says, look, it was the multicolor gems, mystique gems. You asked me what is the rarest color, Al? Oregon sunstone in the rarest Wow. Color combination found by Arles Krivenek, the part of mine, literally two years ago. Red and greens, where you get that red and that teal together, that is, call it watermelon, call it dichroism, call it mystique, whatever you call it, it is the rarest color combination bar none, rarer than the mahogany rarer even than the Pad Pradasha. This watermelon is the rarest material on the planet. It comes from one place, one mine, that is the Pana mine. Has to come from that Pana mine. And what I've got for you next is the few gems I'm happy to certify as by color Oregon sunstone. Have a look at this. Water, melon, Oregon sunstone, 100% natural. You can see you've got that green center of color in the middle of the gem. And then at the point and then the shoulders, that's what we call the rounded part of the pear cut, the shoulders, you see that beautiful red come through. This is the bicolor material. It is a six point. Wow. This is the most valuable gem oh. in our entire. We've never cut a more valuable gem than this one. Wow. Never cut sorry, a more valuable Oregon sunstone. Never cut a more valuable Oregon sunstone than this one in seven years of doing this for you. This is the museum piece for you. 6.6 .6 carats. Now, we talked about that $5,000 a carat. That's exactly the material that would be pushing that $5,000 a carat material. That makes it over 30000 over $33,000 for the gem. Oh, my goodness. It is Utterly incredible. I mean, even if I put $33,000, let's put that into British pounds for you because I think it really yeah, doesn't yeah. sink in until that moment. Yeah. Oh my goodness me. You've the got a £23,000 potential gemstone in your hands. Wow. 23 grand. That makes me slightly nervous. But look at how beautiful the opportunity is. My goodness me. That it, it, you, you say the most valuable gemstone that we have ever faceted, but, but it shows, doesn't it? The rarity, those, you can you see the, the multi flashes is so of green. The watermelon yeah. is so clear in this Immediately. gem. Immediately. It was, it, was, it was obvious when it was put before me, in, even in the boxes. Liam, I want to put 600 pounds on screen. Wow. That is the per carat price for this material. Oh, that is incredible. What a legacy. What an heirloom. Per carat, what you should be paying for, at the lowest for six of these. Per six carat. Carats. You're getting over five and a half carats for free. They're valued at up to $5,000 a carat. Liam? Let's take under £500, please. Four nine nine. Wow. I mean, truly, that's quite some status, isn't it? The most valuable gemstone that has ever been faceted by Jake. The uh, most valuable Oregon sunstone. Oregon sunstone. Huge, well done. Huge, oh, that's sold out. Gone. Massive congratulations to the collector that secured that piece. Truly Massive amazing. Massive congratulations to the collector that secured that piece. <gasps> We're going to stick with our museum pieces of these watermelon 
colors. We're gonna stick with these museum sizes of the rarest color of them all. This is such an exciting opportunity for wow. you at home to achieve that heirloom standard. Take a look at this next one here. Oh, it's absolutely incredible. Forgive me, I just want to make sure that I'm presenting this to you um, as, as, as best I can. Gosh, the green is obvious in this one. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful teal. Look at that. Really prominent green coming through. Those people that missed out on the previous opportunity, Do here's your chance. Do not miss out on this one. Do not miss out. You've got really strong deep green, and then at the point there, you can see beautiful reds coming through. Amazing. See the flash. It's the same gem. Exactly the same. It's exactly the same gem. There's your dichroism. Wow. And I have to tell you, this is a big solitaire it's too. It's over three carats. It's over three carats. It's a huge solitaire. Those of you who missed out, do not miss out on this, this opportunity. There is nothing else in the pear cut approaching these museum sizes. Liam, I'm just gonna ask for one crash on this. Straight down. £199. What? <laughs> Pardon? £199. Look at that, look, can you see that teal there? Can you see that flash? Oh my goodness me! It's my role here to help you acquire. I'm here to help you build a portfolio. Those of you who missed out, this is the, you are saving far more than you're spending. Huge congratulations if you acquire one of the museum oh my goodness me. This is a bi-colour Oregon sunstone. You've got that watermelon colour oh. mix. Look there, you've got these beautiful peaches, strong reds and coming through here. And then you see those deep, deep, deep teal hues. Very valuable, both of those two colours. Getting them in the same crystal is, it, it, well, it is. It's the rarest colour there is in this material. And we can get this home for 66 pounds and 66 pence on, on split pay. Uh, absolutely incredible uh, uh, to say that you e even own this gemstone and the reality is if we fast forward only a few months Jake that might not be possible that might not actually be possible under 200 pounds today ah uh, you saw how you saw how uh, yeah can I again the size uh, this I really surprised I was looking at this thinking it was like a, a four or five carat stone it looks far larger yeah it's, 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 it, well, the presence of the gem is actually a lot bigger isn't it because yeah. it's a 14 by 10 the last one we brought you was 16 by 12 so it's only two millimeter difference two millimeters two millimeter difference and just because the way that that volume and carat weight work the relationship of them that two millimeters brings the carat weight down price wow. per carat this is extraordinary huge well done Goodness me, um, just a couple of those left. That's absolutely now, amazing. Now, I'm going to introduce you to, the, I'd say, the fanciest colour that we've seen so far in the show mm. here. This is very different to anything you've witnessed. Wow. This, this is an octagon cut, and so far we've seen predominantly reds with flashes of green. Let's flip that on its head. Let's go maximum teal green hue. And then you'll start to see that almost that watermelon rind of red. We're almost inverting the colours of a traditional watermelon. Have a look. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful green. You start to see the secondary yellows coming through as well. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. It is totally different, isn't it? It's, it's, it's all natural material. That's why, that's why every single gem will be different. Liam, on this one, straight down, please. £149. Goodness me. I, I mean, I, I'm so hoping that these are available come the end of this show. We're not allowed to get involved until the end of the show, but I will absolutely be joining you on this acquisition. Look at how beautiful. I really love that combination. It's sort of gold, as you said, with the presence of greens. Yeah. So you've got the two colours, the golds and the greens in here. Um, a wonderful combination of colours to be able to witness as well. Massive congratulations to those of you snapping this up. It is, by the way, the final time I can guarantee you an over three carat, carat weight in these bi-colours. Wow. The, uh, there's only a couple of them. Again, you can get this home on your split page drawing makers. Look at that. Ah. Uh. 
If there's any, I'm, I'm loving the Radiant. I think the Radiant looks absolutely beautiful. It kind of channels, especially with that bicolour, channels the colour into the beginning, uh, into the centre. Okay. Now, this next lot, again, you know what I'm like. I, if I, I, I'll pick a favourite and I'll share with you what my favourite is. This next gem. Remember what the rarest colour combination is. Come back one more time to Arles Krivenek. The rare, the ICA, the rarest colour combination. Yeah. Greens and reds. And notice how in this particular specimen, you have a green colour centre here, and then it drifts into a red colour centre, and then continues into a green. So you almost have this tree colour effect where you go green, red, green. What I'm about to share with you is my favourite lot because it is as if it's been cut from the very crystal behind me. Take a look at this. Green, centre column of red there, red, yeah. Schiller, followed by another flank of green. It is an absolute masterclass in watermelon uh, Oregon sunstone here for you. And you've got that beautiful Schiller that is so ve very valuable. Yeah. It's a constellation of stars suspended just beneath yeah. the table of your gem. Oh, that's a really lovely descri a description. It is, isn't it? There's, Absolutely uh, gorgeous. The, uh, the, the, one of the few th ways I have of describing it is, you know when you see the, the, the you know, galactic photography taken from Hubble telescope and things like that, and you see the, the innum innumerable stars in, in the universe in incredible formations. That is what this, the, 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 this incredible Schiller effect reminds me of. It's an incredible, incredible phenomenon. This is, by the way, this particular lot, it is the final three carat plus on average oh. gem we have. Wow. Guaranteed minimum is two and three quarter carat, but on average, over three carat quarter, uh, over three carats, there is nothing else like it in the show. Liam, 129 pounds, please. 129 pounds? 129 pounds. For the... For the rarest colour. Yeah. Goodness me. I, I mean, it, this is this is yeah. uh, impressive, isn't it? Like you said, yeah, it's it, ever changing, ever I, shifting. I would describe this as our final museum piece. Wow. To Not say, that the pieces aren't beautiful. No, but no, no. That they drop below that you know that average three carat weight. To say that you own Oregon Sunstone is one thing, but to be able to say that you own the rarest colour. Yeah, that colour combination, the green and the red. Getting that, I mean, this is what, you see that colour combination, that's what pushes it up to $5,000 a carat. Wow. So if you got this valued, just think what the potential valuation could possibly be. Oh my it, gosh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and what I would do is update your valuation. Yeah, More, yeah. Very rarely do I offer that guidance, but on this gem I am going to offer that guidance. Update your valuation. You've got to do that because this is a gem that over the each year will be will be changing mm -hmm. price. Yeah. So so do they foresee that the mining will cease at some point? Is this going to be a gemstone that at some point is 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 deplete because this is you know, so oh, how yeah. little uh, of it actually comes from the ground? It only comes from one place on the planet. Tanzanite comes from uh, you know like a 20, 30 square kilometer area. This gem, a few square kilometers, it's about 10 times rarer. This gem will deplete at some point. Wow. And the, the, the challenge we have, is, is, is we, and we're really coming towards this point now, is that the more popular it is, the quicker it is, it is depleting. It's and so likely. It, you know, it's gaining pace. We've got one chance remaining for you on the final gem where the average carat weight is over three wow. carats. One and one only. And you can get this home on your split pay as well, jewelry makers, uh, for £43.33. pence. The final museum piece. And you can see it. I mean, it's an absolute work of art by Mother Nature. Wow. I'll leave that one there. You'll leave that last one chance. Lots of you in that basket. Now, what I want to bring you next. Remember, let's come back to what, where the value is, if we can. I just want to share this ICA report with you. Second paragraph, okay? Considering the rarity and the beauty aspects, the current prices are still only a fraction of this gem's true potential. Faceted top color gems. That's the key part here, color, are currently being appraised at $800 to $5,000 a carat. 
its value is expected to grow for many years ago, uh, to come over $800 to $5,000 carat. Color is king. Now, I'm going to share with you this next piece. The color on this next piece, you have not seen saturated reds like this all show. You haven't seen them. We've not seen a single red as vivid as saffron, as incredible oh. as this here. And then you've got a little kernel of green right in the center. Yeah. This one here is the pick of the show for me. Wow, of the show. Of the show, the whole show. The pick of the whole show, because it's a saturation. Saturation of the red is absolutely yeah. dialed up to a 10 on this. You've also got that center kernel there of green, lending it that teal, giving you that bicolor phenomena. You've still got over two carats, so it's a sizable gem, and it's calibrated to a 10 by eight standard. Wow. This gem, I don't use this phrase often, but this gem is top gem, world class material. Wow. Top gem, world class material. When I see this gem, I see the $5,000 carat appraisal. Uh, yeah. Because you can't dial the saturation up more. You've got that rare color combination in the reds and the greens. Two carat gem. Even at its minimum, we're looking at a 1,000 pound gem. Yeah. It, and it's rock bottom minimum. I take $800 a carat, I put that times 2.2, .2, I put that into British pound sterling, over one, let me be really clear here. According to the ICA appraisal guidance, this gem, this gem, 1,000 pounds. This very gemstone. This very gem. Yep. 99.99. Wow. That is absolutely incredible. And, I can't and save you more money. No, I, no, I cannot save you more money. You can't physically do any the, more the, than, the, what the, than what you're right doing now. right now. This is, you know, we are on the eve of the deal of the day, and I don't mind telling you, the deal of the day is going to work, have to work blooming hard <laughs> to beat this. <laughs> it really, really is. Uh, we have got a 2.2 2 carat, a thousand pounds suggested retail replacement appraisal from the ICA, and that's me taking the lower of the two numbers, not, not the 5,000, mm. I'm saying the $800 a carat, we are under 100, you are saving far more than you're spending. But I can only say that to you. I can only I, say that to you if you are, if you are successful. Look, I, look at the, you can see there, you, you just saw it there, a perfect angle, G beautiful red, and then through the middle is that green color concentration. Yeah. And as we rock this back before, you'll see the key color, see how that key color explodes in it, almost like a, a lime sage green. Yes. Extraordinary yeah. material, and I really hope for you, I really hope for your family that you are able to be successful in this opportunity. Not everyone will be able to, very limited chance. But if it is you, huge congratulations. I mean, you don't have to, our customers or, or the, those, those, those people that are lucky enough to be successful uh, throughout this show, you know, those people that get hold of this, you will not have to wait too long. Jake is going to Tucson, and he will be talking about this very gemstone with the, you know, the, 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 some world famous jewelry designers that work and choose uh, Oregon sunstone, because it is the most spectacularly beautiful gemstone, and win awards time after time after time. You know, if yeah. we were to show this, if you were to sort of present this to one of your uh, connections, you know, I'm. I, what, what, what I mean, Jake no, is saying... If you look at what is winning the awards, yeah. it is this very colour combination. That's why it's my pick of the show. Okay, take a look at the 2020 Spectrum... Uh, sorry, 2018 Spectrum Award. 2018 Spectrum Award, predominantly red, with this little bar of green uh, at the left-hand yeah. side. It, it placed at the award ceremony. Fast forward two years later, another colour combination wins. Again, predominantly red with a little section of green in it. It's a 2020 award winner. Have a look at your piece right now, predominantly red with a streak of green, a color center of green for you, right in the heart it's of the that gem. Color. It's that it, color. I mean, it is the award winning color. And that's for me, look, I've been doing this gem investing for 10 years now. This is the one, if there's one gem from this show that I'm getting hold of, if there's anything after the show, it is this stone. Wow.
to get hold of it for a double figure price tag absolutely yeah. incredible it, it really really is massive i'm so i'm over the moon for you those of you who've done that huge huge congratulations wow wow now i said to you deal of the day's coming up i said to you it's gonna to have to work blooming hard <laughs> and it will it absolutely will for you it is another oval cut it is a seven by five. And I've told you so many times when I bring you the seven by five mount, buy forward. If you've already got your mount, congratulations. If you don't, do not worry. We will be bringing it. We're gonna do it opening the phone lines for your deal of the day. Deal of the day. Oh. This is going to be working so hard for you. If, the, if, if you are in the market to save far more than you spend, if you are ready to be making some of the most affordable Oregon Sunstone jewellery in the world right now, then this is the time to be doing it. Take a look at your gem. It's huge. Seven by five millimetres. And by colour to a T. Look at that. By colour to a T. Reds on, the reds on the flanks, you can see that there, the beautiful reds coming through, and you've got this center bar occupying roughly about 50%, so you've got about 50-50 yeah. color split, 50% of the gem surface area occupied by that beautiful teal. This is exactly what we're looking for from a bicolor. I mean, you've got a watermelon Oregon sunstone in your hands right there. That's amazing. Watermelon Absolutely Oregon amazing. sunstone. And it's so obvious as well that, but you know, sometimes with your bicolor gems, you go, "Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I can, I, I can just about make this out." This is intense. It's an intense combination of those two colors. I adore the fact that this has also been orientated to uh, to have the reds. Sort of on the uh, on the flanks, aren't yes. they? They, they, they are. It, it's dragging out that tree colour effect, which is so so difficult to do, but is absolutely the right thing to do in terms of uh, in terms of displaying the uh, the, 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 the colour phenomena. This is going to be a huge opportunity for you. Six uh, sixty points on the gem weight here. So we've got sixty points. I'm going to times that by eight hundred dollars, which is the lowest suggested price for something like this, eight hundred dollars a carat. Mm -hmm. That gives you four hundred and eighty dollars. Wow! For the gem. For this so, opportunity. So I can give you four hundred and eighty dollars. Yeah. And I can ask you at Tucson to go and try and find me something, and, and hopefully, hopefully, if the dealers are in a good mood, you'll get you'll come back with a gem. This gem. This gem. Fingers crossed. That would be Fingers good. Fingers crossed. But putting it down into British pounds is about 340 pounds. So it's a 340 pound gem in your hand right now. Oh, that's, uh, uh, and, and, and it looks like it is worth every single penny's worth. Oh my goodness, the fact, the fact that you have that beautiful flash of teal through the center. I've not seen such an obvious teal. Am I right in saying that, yeah, Jay? No, yeah, absolutely. It's a really prominent 50-50 color split. That's why I've chosen this for your deal of the day today. 100% natural gem. Now, I'm gonna ask for a 60 second clock. We have got for you here the rarest color split of the show. This is what put the Parnamine on the map. 50% green in the center, flanked by two color zones of 25% red each. It's extraordinary to witness. It's 100% natural. Your deal of the day price is going to come in in 60 seconds wow. time. I do not have enough of these to stagger the phone lines. No. So there's not gonna be multiple crashes. Mm -mm. I don't have enough of these huge gems you know, seven by five millimeters, it's more than solitaire worthy. I don't have enough of them to be able to say, right, okay, we'll, we'll do some here and then we'll do some there. You know, we'll, we'll be able to show you one price, show you another price. We're gonna have to do all of this deal of the day. I say deal of the day, but it's not gonna last a day. The whole deal of the day in a single price crash, which means there are going to be weights on the phone lines. You have 30 seconds to avoid them. Dial now. I promise you a deal of the day that would work harder than any other deal of the day I've brought you. This is that deal. I don't mind actually renaming today. It's the deal of the year <laughs> yeah. that you're going to get from me. 
the wow. savings compared to the market rate. The, 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 the opportunity over the next few years as you see what happens with the market as it evolves for this gem. Five, four, three, two, one for the most memorable deal of the day I ever bring you. Liam, we go from over 300 pounds appraisal value to under 30 pounds for the gem, 29.99. 29.99 and we will never be able to do something like this again no i mean just perspective here jury makers this is rarer than the likes of arguably your pareba it's yes. rarer than your tanzanite 100 percent. it's rarer than let's see many rubies uh, yeah absolutely remember what the ica say the ica said about this they say look prices are still only a fraction of this gem's true potential the ICA, when they say that, they are not talking, they are not talking about the price on the screen. When the ICA say that prices are still only a fraction of gemstone street potential, they're talking about three, four hundred pounds for the Absolutely, gem. Absolutely, yes, yes. And they're saying even that is still a fraction of where it should be. So you are getting it in at exactly the right I time mean, now. The, the time in on this, it, it couldn't be better. They say, look, coloured Oregon sunstone is much rarer compared to gems like tourmalines, spinels. That's the ICA saying, look, rarer than the tourmalines you just mentioned now, rarer than spinels, rarer than the sapphires. And then they go one step further and they say, look, it is, for the ICA to say this in print, its value is expected to grow for many years to come. Well, at twenty nine ninety nine, I can't see how it can go any other direction. Mm -mm. Huge well done, those of you who are saving the money. Huge well done, those of you who are seeing the opportunity you have right now. Yeah. Um, the likelihood, Jake, of us actually having another show with Oregon Sunstone. Uh, near enough nil. Right. Uh, it's taken me seven years to cut this. <laughs> seven years to cut this material. Uh, you know, one day we might do, if there's one or two chances left on each of these, we might do a, okay. you know, a, at some point a, 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 a mop-up show, essentially. A, a last chance saloon, a raiding the vault show, but a new parcel, no, yeah. it cannot happen. It's not going. It's not going to happen. Yeah, I mean, uh, just incredible. I'm just popping it in front of, uh, in front of my engagement ring. Just so you can imagine that finished piece of jewellery. Uh, yeah, the likelihood of us being able to offer you uh, bicolored Oregon sunstone for less than thirty pounds, nil. There you go. For, m might get the odd one here and there, but very, very, very improbable. Wiltshire, Anglesey, multi buying. West Midlands, multi buying. Hello to you, County. Dunn. Hello to you, Lanarkshire. Alan, hello to you, Tripti. Hello to you, Liz. West, uh, West Yorkshire. Sonia, Elizabeth, Stephanie. Uh, Karen, new customers. Lanarkshire, Dawn. Dorset, new customers. Multi buying Hampshire. Uh, Jeannie, I can't keep up with you. Oh, I only hope that there's enough of these to go around. That's my only, only hope. Because the reality is, it's Oregon Sunstone. It's rarer than Pareba Tourmaline. It's rarer than your Tanzanite, considerably so. So actually it's been documented as being arguably the rarest gemstone in the world, or certainly one of. Well done. Well done, hey, look, everyone who's successful, huge congratulations. We're gonna leave this as your deal of the day, but look, it's an absolute steal of the year, and I don't expect it to last all year for you. Oregon Sunstone, 30 pounds only. It, I, I don't think any, it's ever been done in history before, that kind of an opportunity. So massive congratulations, those of you <gasps> who are successful. Now, the next lot I want to show you, I'm always quite conscious of this part of the show, because where do we go after the deal of the mm -hmm. day? Well, I'll tell you what I've got lined up for you. I've got the single most blessed with Schiller piece of the show. When the cutters... So the cutters, they, they, they started cutting this material and they showed me what they could do in an octagon cut with this material. And they said, look, very few of the crystals themselves have enough Schiller to be able to deliver this. But if we can, would you like us to do this? And I said, do it with every single piece you can. We have, I want to be absolutely clear on this, six. It's that rare. But you have never seen an Oregon Sunstone as blessed with Schiller as this one. Oh my goodness me, it stretches the entire gem. The entire gem interlocking, and that's the key part. It's almost like panels of Schiller yeah. switch on as you look at it from different angles. I have never 
been able to bring you anything like this before. It's the most unique piece of the show. I, I have no qualm saying that, most unique piece of the show, because of the strength of the Schiller, the strength of the Schiller, and the way those panels almost switch on as you mm. change viewing angle for this. I asked them years ago to cut as many of the strong Schiller pieces as they could in this style. I have six as I stand here today. Wow. That tells you how rare it is to get this much Schiller in a piece. Liam, $79.99. For 1.8. Optimum Schiller. Look at that blaze. I'll never forget that description, Jake, as, uh, you know, uh, uh, with this gemstone. It is as the sun sort of blazes in through your living room when you yeah. just see those wonderful flotations of it, dust it, particles it, capturing it, it, the that's light. That's exactly what it is, isn't it? it, it one of God's fingers reaching out this ray yeah. of light, travelling the cosmos, and then hitting at just the right angle. Too much oh. sunlight, you won't see it. Too little sunlight, you won't see it. But just the right angle, everything has to line up to deliver this one moment of beauty. And geologically speaking, the exact same can be said for this material. The most blessed Schiller piece of the show. I've been really excited because those of you in the know will recognize what an opportunity this particular piece is. Wow. Those of you in the know, seeing that strength of the Schiller, seeing the size of the Oregon sunstone, 100% natural, those of you in the know will see this and will recognize this is one of the most collectible I've brought you in over two hours of sharing with the Oregon Sunstone. Well, over five hours of sharing with the Oregon Sunstone now. Uh, I mean, potential valuation price per carat has got to be up there as well. One of some uh, of the most expensive. This, yeah, I mean, I mean we're like, $800 think... to $5,000 a carat. Schiller is absolutely something that pushes that number up. Yeah. It, you know, the Schiller is something that appraisers will recognize. They will appreciate. They will appraise positively this level of Schiller. But also in comparison to other gemstones as well, surely that, 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 that price tag, price per carat, has got to be way higher than many others out there. Oh, gosh, 100%. 100%. 1.8 carats here, $800 a carat, minimum that we've seen from the ICA. I mean, uh, to be able to get hold of this uh, for $39.99, um, again, check out, there were only six of those. It's looking like it is going to be a sellout very, very, very quickly. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Good luck, Morag. Uh, good luck to you. Oh, Morag got hers. Well done. Um, good luck to you, Channel R's. I've got London there. I've also got people on the phone. Yeah, did, you, did you say there were six? There were, there were six ever cut in nearly seven years of cutting. Okay. One, once a year, we'll, one find, now. we'll find rough that we can deliver this level of look. Oh, my goodness me. Oh. Now, you know that I love the cushion cuts. They're a wow. personal favourite of mine. We are going to go to another cushion cut now. Three of these opportunities. Very rare. Very rare. But when you see why, I don't think that'll let you put, put you off. Have a look. Wow. Beautiful bicolour. Deep green and those beautiful golds, almost reddish pinks coming through as well. Wonderful combination to see here. Liam, I'm going to go straight down on this one as well. $79.99. That's incredible for a, you know, a, a 1.95 carat cushion cut. The flashes of green, uh, you, I mean, you're going to see that immediately when this lands on your doorstep because I can tell you, even from a distance, I can, distance, I can see that uh, bicolour phenomena. Beautiful. I really love these deep colours. The more saturated, the higher the value. That's always been the case. I can't think of many gems, gems where that isn't the case. No. See those reds, those peaches? This is what I'm talking about. Deep green, key colour, extraordinary deep peach red hues. This is why it's such a valuable gem. $79.99 for a gem like this is a huge steal. I mean, this is $800 a carat material. Yeah. What, you know, we're talking about a £1,000 gem in your hand right now, and we're here at £80. You are saving yeah, that's amazing. far more than you're spending. It, it's almost, it almost is too good to be true. It is, and I'm sure right now there's probably people thinking exactly that. Nah, this is too good to be I, true. I, I don't mind you think, as long as you're not letting that hold you back, that's yeah. absolutely fine. Yeah. If you are letting that hold you back, then I, I'm sorry, I'm going to tell you now, you're going to be bitterly disappointed come the end of January. Yes. End of January, we're going to go to the miners. We're going to go to the miners. We're going to hear direct from those miners. And you're going to be thinking, what on earth was I doing? Why did I not get involved at the time? 
it's going to be one of those kicking yourself moments, isn't Definitely. it? Yeah. Um, and that there's nothing worse than thinking I should have done that. There's nothing worse, especially on a, something as effortly beautiful as this, um, because you know. It, it, like you said, it's it's one of those opportunities. This is once in a lifetime, really, highly, highly, highly unlikely that we're going to be able to put together a showcase like this again. Um, wowzers, wowzers! So the remaining quantity of today's show, Jake, you will be taking across to Tucson. Won't yeah, you? I'll, I'll be packing it up, taking it over to the Tucson Gem Show, uh, and really offering it at the Tucson Gem Show, uh, and 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 you'll see that you'll see that at the T Tucson Gem Show at higher prices. Uh, the, 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 than we've got here for you today. So, um, so yeah, what an opportunity this is. Oh. Now, the next one I want to bring to you, remember what this show is all about. I've got 45 minutes left on the show. Buy colour. And particularly within the buy colour, greens and reds. Let's remind ourselves, these are the rarest colour combination. This is the rarest colour combination. Take a look again from Arles. Uh, Arles Kruvenek here showing us green and red is the rarest colour combination. And there is something for me that I'll never forget the first time I ever saw one of these, where you have that central bar, almost like a bow tie across the width of the yeah. gem of one colour, and then either side of it you have another colour. That's exactly what you've got in this next piece. Strong oh, bar way. of red mahogany in the centre, and then you've almost got a green gold yeah. flanking it either side. Yeah. The green is really obvious in, in my hands here as well. The green, I can really see that prominence of colour coming through. That's the most beautiful, beautiful gem. And to get by colour, any variety of bi look, look at that. Any variety of stunning, stunning bi colour gemstones. And, and you, the rarity goes through the roof on its own, doesn't it? Yeah, and particularly Oregon sunstone. But it's not that you just got the bi colour. You also get the shiller. Mm -hmm. You've got both. You've got that's the shiller. True, that's true. And you've got the bi colour. That's what makes it so extraordinary. Liam, on this one, $59.99. For a 1.45 carat natural. And I'll open split pays for you, making this £30 on split pay. That's absolutely incredible true custodians if you can regard yourselves as a collector or a connoisseur you can't miss out well, on today's opportunity alice krivenek said look this this is a gem for collectors yeah it's a gem for investors mm -hmm. it's a gem for jewelry professionals so it doesn't matter to me which one of those three categories you fall into are you a collector are you a gem investor are you buying things in the hope that they will appreciate over time are you a jewellery professional crafting your own piece of jewellery? To be honest, are you more than one of the above? Either way, this is one of the most perfect gems for you. As an opportunity goes, it's one of the greatest opportunities mm. I've ever been able to share with you. And that's why I'm so keen for you to be able to get hold of this material. Because... I know, seven years it took us to cut this parcel. Seven years. Now, if I, even if I were to go back to America and spend a week mining this gem, which I'm not going to, by the way, uh, even if I were to go over there and spend another week mining this gem for you, it'd be another seven years before we can cut another parcel of material like wow. this. Wow. Oh, and by the way, I'd be paying closer to $150 a gram for yeah. this material rather, rather than the price that we paid all those years ago. So this is really, uh, we, we can't repeat what's on your screens right now, really. Absolutely not. This is once, I want to say once in a lifetime. Yeah. But even 30, 40 years from now, a dealer won't be able to come and repeat the deal for you. No. Because it's a once in a moment deal. Incredible. We were able to get in just after the discovery of the Parna mine, just after the discovery of the Little Eagle Butte location. And it was... It was discovering this location, discovering these buy colours and waiting for the market to start appreciating them. That's what makes this deal possible. Oh, just, uh, just absolutely incredible. And I do remember you going over to the Oregon uh, um, mine. I remember that quite clearly, actually, uh, and how excited um, you were coming back talking about this incredible gemstone. But, uh, but even saying back then, 
Yeah, it won't be available. It's not going to be, you're not going to be able to see it in its true splendor and beauty um, until a good few years to come. Again, those of you that have checked out, congratulations. Those of you that haven't, good luck. Nine by seven millimeters is a staggering sized uh, gemstone of bicolor natural that's what the n stands for by the way in your yes. graphic certified it's all as american such. all natural so you've all got provenance natural. and you've got the fact it's unenhanced both of those two things huge ticks in the value column jake we pay more than 59.99 for the certificate alone yes you would <laughs> you would any any gem lab even even on their slowest service any gem lab will be asking you for more than 60 pounds yeah sure um let me oh now, we've not seen many pairs in these bicolors. No, why is that? Other than those very few big pieces right at the beginning of the show. The simple reason is because when you're playing with, when you're playing with asymmetric shapes, sometimes the material appears bicolor, but actually what you're witnessing is, is a phenomenon called dichroism, which is actually just looking at the light. You're looking at the gem crystal in different angles, even though it's the same angle, because the light's moving asymmetrically, it, it creates the phenomenon of dichroism for you. This here, though, it's not dichroism. There is dichroism happening, but what we're witnessing, the color shift split and shift that we're witnessing, that two-tone is because the gem crystal itself was bicolor over a carrot. And what I want you to witness is say, notice how the bottom half of the pair is red, and then the top half, you get this real khaki band shift over the top. Take a look at what I'm talking about. Oh, gosh. Beautiful reds. Yeah, it's amazing. And then the top, See how that khaki band starts yeah. to kick in there. It really lightens in tone, and you start to see the greens coming through. Beautiful material to witness. 10 by 7 millimetres. Big size. So if you're looking from a bird's eye view, if you're looking for a big solitaire, this is absolutely one for you. Because the pairs do set, I suppose they're shallower, the pavilion is that much shallower. Yeah. More of the carrot weight of the gemstones but, on the top than the bottom, is that but, right? But also with the pair particularly, for, for, for the point of the pair, that whole half of the gem, yeah. you're cutting into In. the material. So you're losing weight really? all the time. Oh. So it's, and that's why it's not just asymmetric in the sense that you know, you, you, there's no line of symmetry. It's asymmetric in the weight of where that center of gravity is. The center of gravity on a pair cut <laughs> is probably, you know, certainly in the, in the final third, maybe even the final quarter of the gem. Liam, straight down on this giant, 59.99. Wow, it is, yeah. Giant's the word as well. This is a big, beautiful stone. Loving those flashes of reds. I've learned today, it's, I mean, so much, but also the fact that Oregon sunstone looks, you know, carrot weight comparing with other gemstone. This, is, this has got a much more substantial appearance as well. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. It's, so it's not a gem with a really high, what we call specific gravity. Yes. Um, that's and that's essentially how dense for. a gem is. Um, it's, it, it shares that in, in many ways with, with an opal. You know, a, a fine opal um, has got a low specific gravity as well. Doesn't mean it's, uh, you, there's no negative to that. And there's no negative, it doesn't mean that you get less, uh, you get less uh, durability or anything like that. It, the only consequence of it is because the gem itself can have a big presence and a low carat weight, mm -hmm. The price per carat is usually very high, hence eight to five thousand dollars. Yeah, per yeah, carat. yeah. Okay. Uh, that's the only real consequence of, of having a low specific gravity. Huge well done, everyone wow. who's successful on this. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, again, check out, check out. They're getting quite limited now, jewelry makers. Um, good luck to each and every single one of you. Oh, we are approaching. Gosh, what? Forty minutes left on show. Um, not I mean, long to go. Where do we, go? So we, do? Where we, do we open, go? Open the next lot for you. This is a huge bicolor round. Take a look at this. Big Love. bicolor round. And you start to see in the bicolor round oh. the greens and those reds. See how they interact with each other? Reds towards the top here and towards the bottom. The greens towards the east and the west positions. Price crash coming up straight after this. You may be wondering how to buy here at Jewelry Maker. So here is a quick overview of what to do. When you see a product that comes on screen, the graphics will appear, you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. 
And there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee so there's no risk, whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, we have a new Facebook group dedicated to sharing your makes and jewelry making advice. To join the group, simply head over to the page and hit request. You'll then be able to share your designs with our JM community and join like-minded people. Create, wear, share. Join me this coming Friday morning live on Jewelry Maker. At 8 a.m. we have an under five pound super show. Coming up in the nine o'clock hour, we've got a big five showcase and join myself and Dave Troth from 10 o'clock bringing you the very best Grand Didierite and Garnet. Don't go anywhere, we'll see you then. Jewelry makers, did you know that no matter how many times you purchase, no matter how many times you check out, you only pay one postage and packaging per day? Say that you've purchased an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, exciting news. We're going to be bringing you the opportunity to acquire further treats on web exclusive deals. They'll be loaded on the 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. hour. You will be able to acquire all of your usual essentials plus extra treats between those limited time restraints. All you have to do is go to jewelrymaker.com at the hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Click on Watch Live and you'll see all the deals available for that hour. That's 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. each and every day. Join me this Sunday morning. It's going to be an amazing show. We're kicking off at 8 a.m. with a Jasper showcase. We've got Gemma Crow with us throughout the rest of the show. In the 10 and 11, a Santa Maria Aquamarine showcase and last in stock pearls. And at 12 o'clock, we've got a gallery wire outlet. It's going to be an amazing Sunday on Jewelry Maker. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Welcome back everybody. Um, so we have Jake for 35 more minutes yeah. and you've just promised something extra special. Just promised something extra special. Let's do that. Liam, 59.99. Goodness On me, this, this is a huge round. By 8 by colour, Oregon sunstone, all natural, Love all American provenance for you. $800 a carat is the lowest ICA re uh, re replacement retail appraisal estimate. $800 a carat. You're at home. You do the maths. See how you are saving oh my hundreds and hundreds of pounds. I mean, it looks award-winning. It looks like it's got a lotus of pure light. It does. Light I see the lotus. Right yeah. in the heart of the gem. Well done, those of you snapping this up. A huge eight millimeter round. That's absolutely incredible. Again, you can get this home on your split plate. I see that lotus flower from that beautiful facets, which is only complemented all the more by the presence of blues and greens. We're massively over allocated. I mean, clearly, Jake, this should be a triple figure piece and I'm only making oh, comparisons with 100%. this show. 100%. I'm talking about your prices now. Not, I'm not talking outside of these four walls. I mean, this is, this is a big individual solitaire. I, I, look, I, mean, from, I mean, look at the neon greens that yeah. you're getting at the bottom there, and then dancing with beautiful pinks. We've got one final chance remaining on this. One final chance remaining on Love this. It. This material, I, I have no qualms saying this. 
This is hundreds and hundreds of pounds worth of gem material. Yeah, of course. Hundreds and hundreds of pounds worth of gem material. And look, perhaps I've not done, a, uh, you know, perhaps I've not been able to convey across the true worth and value of this material. Those of you who get it, brilliant, well done. Those of you who haven't, do not let my failure translate into a failure for you. I will talk to the miners with you in January. But the problem is, by the time January comes, it'll be too late to get mm -hmm. the gems. We'll hear from the miners and you'll hear what a steal this is. Ready for our final Oregon Sunstone deal today. Final Oregon Sunstone deal. Oh, just beautiful. I'm gonna stick with the round. I'm gonna go to the most usable, the mm. most useful gem shape and size the industry has ever developed. It is the six millimeter round in a bicolor natural Oregon sunstone. Have a look at this. Oh wow. Extraordinary. This is gonna fit into so many things. Are you gonna make a pair of studs? Are you gonna complete a suite, ring, pendant, earrings? This is the one you've got a multi-buy on. And if I'm gonna tell you to multi-buy, I'm gonna try and look after you when I say that as well. Liam, $29.99. 29 Under 30 pounds again. You've not seen this since the deal of the day. That's for three quarter carat on average as a minimum round brilliant cut. I mean, just look at what's on the back of my hand right now. If this, if you were to, if you were to see a finished piece, of Oregon Sunstone, which, which has these bicolored fusions, it's it's clear that it's going to carry uh, an, an elevated heirloom legacy price tag. Uh, unquestionably heirloom. This is unquestionably heirloom. Oregon Sunstone is rarer than Tanzanite by about ten times. Wow. Rarer than Tanzanite. And I asked you earlier on in the show, Jake, which seems only a moment ago, like, okay. Uh, you know, I've got two little girls, w one of which is already trying to sort of get steal my jewellery. You know, if if I'm as as somebody that works in the industry uh, and somebody I suppose is expected to be able to purchase this gemstone for uh, for the for their children, is this one of those that I have to get involved with? Um, yeah. That I should rather be getting uh, involved this with. Is this is unquestionably one of those gems. And, and it, it's not just me saying that. We've heard from the ICA yeah, saying that. We've heard true. from Alice Krivenek saying that. And when we hear from the miners in about six months' time, you will fully understand why that is the case. And mm. the only downside to having to wait until the Tucson Gem Show to hear direct from those, those, those miners is that by then it's too late. By that point, it is too late because we won't have the gems here. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'll have taken most of the gems over to the Tucson Gem Show to sell into the trade. Um, we will not be offering them at £40 a carat, <laughs> which is what we're at today. Yeah, that's crazy. It's $800 a carat material. Yeah. We will not be at, eight, at £40 a carat. Um, just amazing. And that's obviously at trade. We're talking at trade. So yes, absolutely. Imagine it in uh, sort of a, a, a recommended retail. Uh, goodness me, and certainly at the uh, valuation, overall valuation, you do get your certificate of authenticity, which says all the crucial information as well um, the fact that it is Oregon Sunstone there is a distinct difference between you uh, Sunstone and Oregon Sunstone as Jake said the fact that it's completely natural you've got it all there on the certificate um, if you did miss out do have a little look back on our website there may still be one or two of certain opportunities still remaining I don't know it's been very busy it's been nice it's and been uh, lovely popular show very very busy massive congratulations those of you at home who have secured some Oregon Sunstone. Now we've still got 30 minutes left on the show. I want to do something I've not done for a few weeks Ooh. now. Close out chaos. Let's make it happen. We are going to be closing out the last few chances of some of your favorite gems in this show. Pieces that have been through the Gem Guide show and for whatever reason someone's changed their mind. Maybe they picked up one <gasps> and they found another deal that they like later on in the show. Whatever reason, we've got that's two, three, four, maybe five, six chances available for you. We're going to be closing out those opportunities now. I hope you're ready. I hope you're quick. And I hope you're in the mood for some absolute steel deals. First one, have a look at Opal. Oh. Look at the quality of this. How do you value an Opal like this? Yeah, I mean. Uh... I tell you how. You do it very, very highly. That's look how you that. value an Opal like this. Play of oh colour. Oh my goodness. Right the way through. It's crystal opal. Crystal opal, blues, reds, greens, honeys. Let's go straight down. 
There are 10 of these, I've been told. 10 in the vault. It, there's not a single millimetre on that gemstone that doesn't no. produce colour. The blue, that blue isn't the body colour, that is play of colour happening right before you. That's amazing. That's some of the largest play of colour I've ever seen. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Morag, Cheryl, uh, West Midlands, Lorraine, Kathy, Janice, Pam. If you don't check out, you're going to miss out. I've got, th there's 10, right, Jake? There were 10. Oh, now there's eight, Margot. Oh, now there's six, five, four. The quantity is, uh, yeah, flying. Huge. Close well out done. deals. Now, Tell you what I'm going to do for you. I've got some more opal to bring. This one actually, when it got home, because it's one thing seeing it, isn't it? It's one thing seeing it at the studio. Yeah, but does it really look like that? Does it really look? I've got the last few chances of an opal that was unanimously rated. Not four and a half, not 4.9, five out of five. Unanimously rated five star opal. Why? Have a look at this. Oh my this goodness me! This is what Anne, Anne was one of those five star. What Anne was one of those five star reviewers. Anne saying beautiful. Thank you so much. No, Anne. Thank you. You took a chance. You got it home. You rated it five out of five, and you oh. shared your feedback. And I love you for that, Anne. Thank you very much, Liam. Let's go. Yes. Look at the piercing reds. I mean, seriously, Red. piercing reds, greens, blues. It, it's neon. Those are saffron reds coming out of this opal. I love the way and purple. it warps. Purples coming through. Wonderful violets. That's one of the rarest colours along with the red. It's an extraordinary opal. That's why I got five star. Straight down, please, Liam. In fact, I'm not even going to stop at twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty four ninety nine. Wow. I showed some pictures the other day, uh, Jake, when I was talking about Ethiopian opals, some, and I deliberately went to some very high-end jewellers and finished pieces of uh, pieces and went, OK, I mean, I could have been in there all day. I took some screenshots of some really beautiful opals. Yeah. Um, if I was to show this against any of those opals, every single one of our customers would go, oh, my goodness me, they do not stand This is fine jewellery standard. This, yeah. is, this is a grade of opal. It's known as Calais. Calais opal, and this Calais opal from Ethiopia, it is, it is setting the industry on fire. I'm no longer being mined, it's from a seam that's now depleted. Oh, really? But the quality of this material is truly, truly special. Well done, everyone who's getting hold of one of these. $24.99. And it's not just me who's saying this is extraordinary material. Your fellow jewellery makers are doing it, yep. rating this five stars. So you haven't got to take a gamble. You haven't got to take a gamble on what I'm saying because your fellow peers are saying, look, this is the real deal. Five stars here on this unanimously. The reds, the violets, the blues, the greens, the yellows. It's all there, isn't it? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, okay. Ooh. This is something I don't know if I've seen in a while. No, so this is very rare. The, what we've just seen is a jelly opal from Ethiopia. This is, per carat, the most valuable form of opal I've ever experienced. Crystal opal. In fact, it's so valuable that the miners in Australia, we're moving away from Ethiopia, we're going to the classic source of Australia. The miners in Australia, they actually have to, because it's so precious, and, and it, it comes in such delicate seams but the purity of color is so off the scale they actually put this on top of the host rock the ironstone so they mine it they mine both the gem and the ironstone and then they separate them and then they put it back together for you to protect the crystal opal why because have you ever seen play of color like this oh my oh my goodness me that looks like it's from another planet harlequin play of color isn't it it's Harlequin play of colour that you've got here. It's the most unique type of play of colour I have ever witnessed in the world. Look at those neon greens, those reds, blues coming out as well. Now, I'm going to go to a price we've never seen before because when I say closeout, I mean genuine closeout opportunity. Liam, I want to open split pays. Let's open split pays at 99.99. Look at that. It's a, a complete, complete performance. You get both of these, by the way. Seven by five. Two. Both oh, two. Of them. Now, open the split pay up here for you. 
Those of you, those of you who have paid more, those of you who paid more, that is a great deal still. But this is a closeout opportunity, and that's the only reason I'm about to do this. Liam, straight down, please. $49.99. For two? For both of them. T £25, 25 pounds for crystal opal. Yeah. Oh my goodness me. $49.99. Um, I'm trying desperately to recall if or when, rather, I've actually seen this on Jewelry Maker. Um, I know it's been certainly in part of the Gemporia I, I, partnership. Has it only I, I, been I, with it's you? It's only ever been on with me. OK. And I think, I think the first time I ever brought it, I brought two pieces of this material. Yeah. I think I then did a follow-up show where I was able to bring half a dozen opportunities. OK. And this is all we've got left. Right. These yeah, I'm not surprised. Four chances left. Yeah, it's good. we're over-allocated, massively over-allocated. Um... And we've also got people wanting to buy uh, multiples off. So do check out uh, Pam, Jane. We've got Heather, Route one T, uh, Midlothian, uh, Janice. Uh, Heather, you've got yours. Congratulations to you. Suzanne's there. I'm going to have to call that one. That's sold out. Yeah. Huge well done. Massive good. I'll tell you what we'll do. Right? One more Opal deal, because I know you're loving the Opals today. One final closeout deal for you. Oh, my goodness. Now, this is really two deals that we push together so that you can maximise your savings in this closeout chance. An eight by six. Oh, so you want to do that one? I apologise, I thought we were doing the next one. That's okay, no problem. We'll do this one eight instead. This is eight by six. This is actually larger than the previous size that we just Gosh, saw. It's, it's huge. Here is the gem. Here is your player colour. It's huge. Harlequin has got more of a... a, a they're larger seg segments, aren't they, of play of colour? Yes. Big, so chunkier patches, displays. if you will. Yes. Again, look at that. It's almost like a, um, a peacock display of blues and greens. All completely natural and then backed onto your lovely iron stone to preserve that beauty. Flashes yeah. of red coming through as well. Well, that's the host rock, you see. Yeah. That's the host rock when they're, when they're mining this gem. And so it's really it's two products of, uh, of, of beautiful uh, Australian heritage. Okay, what I'm going to do on this, there is ne no one has ever seen this price before. It's never been this low. It's never been this affordable. It's never been this good a deal. Straight down, please, Liam. $29.99. For, oh my goodness, a crystal opal. Arguably one of the most expensive varieties of opal. Per carat, absolutely. Per carat, absolutely. The blues you're getting, that is play of colour. Yeah, that's. That's play of colour pushing through the gem material. It's on split pay because this should be a lot more. You know that, I know that. We all know split pay for £15 an opportunity shouldn't be possible. Yeah, uh, even Liam saying oops to that one. Uh, yeah, I mean, the reality is that that colour, all the colour is is down to the opal. You know, we can we can dye opal, can't we? we can, there is a treatment process. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And, and, and I have brought, not on this channel, but I have brought, uh, I've brought enhanced opal like that before. But this isn't. This absolutely not. The colours you're seeing, these are natural colours from this opal for you. It's extraordinary to witness. The only thing this has had... Has had that ironstone support put on the back of this. Mm -hmm. Think of it as uh, major pieces of art have this happen as well. So, so all the great art, you know, the Mona Lisa, all this art. Essentially, you have that canvas, and then they back it with a piece of wood yep. behind it to protect it. Oh, because absolutely. if you've got something so beautiful on a natural canvas like the crystal opal, you need to support the delicacy of that piece of art from Mother Nature, and that's all they're doing with the ironstone. And they choose ironstone because that's the material. That's the gem, yeah, or the host sense. rock rather, not the gem, the host rock in which this gem is found. Uh, there's four of those left, four of them left within uh, your collection. So, Now, I teased you a minute ago about a special opportunity we put together. My apologies, I thought that was the lot that we were going to. We're going to do that now. We'll do that one now for you. This oh, is not one, but two previous deals that I've pushed together for you to create a true closeout. An 11 by 9 millimeter opal. Can you even imagine what that would feel like <laughs> to own, to work with?
Have a look. And then a seven millimeter round. Wow. Look at that beautiful, beautiful play of color. Again, completely you can see how smothering it's going the stone. Out even here in the studio. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, Opal does not like our studio lighting at all, does it? It's no, not I mean, one of those the studio gemstones. lighting, it, it, it really, I'll be honest, it's a pet peeve of mine. Um, they, they rig <laughs> You're the not the only person to they, say that, by the way. They rig the studio lights to, um, to, make, to make us look good. Yeah. To make us look good. But, but actually, all that does is it, it, you know, it diminishes, the, diminishes the gems. I would much rather we look terrible yeah, and the gems yeah. look well. We look realistic. And then the gems are. <laughs> Charlie, the gems Barron's look real the, as well. Charlie Barron says exactly the same, yeah, yeah, too. Yeah. He's like, I hate your studio lighting. Yeah, like, I know, I get it, too. <laughs> don't, yeah, don't, so I'm sheltering everything and putting pieces of paper. The reality is, what you get, especially with this. The, the benefit of it is that when you get it home, it blows you away even more. Oh, absolutely. Liam. Look at that. You're getting both of these. So, I'm going to uh, say £20 a gem. Really? £20 a gem. For the size of the oval here, I mean, we, we, in fact, I just brought you an Ethiopian oval, didn't I? That was what, 11, uh, 9 by 7? And this is, this is 11 by 9? 11 by 9 millimetres. In fact, hang on, I've just brought you a 9 by 7 oval mm -hmm. for 29.99. Yes. This is much bigger and it's now 20 pounds. Yes. I it's think going to be, uh, look, I'll take the wrap for that one. That was a mistake. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave it on screen for about 20 seconds and then I'm going to take that deal away. Uh, that opal should never be, you're essentially, you're paying for one of the opals, you get the other one for free. I oh, don't, my goodness me. Look at that. Beautiful flashes. Again, large sections that you're getting of your play of colour just here. 39.99 and that is for the two. For the two of them. Well done. And the certificates of authenticity also. Okay. Now, I want to move to Aquapraise next on my closeout. A gem I know I shouldn't close out. You know you shouldn't close out. I understand Yanni has dialed in from Cyprus onto the show now. In fact, oh, it was with you. You've, yeah. had a sh you've had a chance to chat to Yanni. Yeah, it was lovely. Thank you for not messaging him, telling him what we're doing with, with, the, with the Aquapraise gem. Uh, my goodness me, he would be furious if he knew what we were about to do. At a time when Boucheron is putting the price up. At a time when Levion is putting this gem out. Do you know, literally last week I got a call from one of the leading Japanese gem dealers. Wow. One of the leading gem dealers into the Japanese gem market, which is the second biggest gem market in the world. In terms, and it's certainly the most collectible, the most connoisseurs. Mm -hmm. The Japanese market, they don't care about price. No, the amount of times I've been outbid by a Japanese dealer and I just look at it and I go, why? <laughs> why have you offered that? Uh, at the end of it, once they want to shaking hands on it and they just go, my buyers don't care. My buyers do not care about the price of a gem. Budget's if not it's a problem. If it's a great gem, they buy it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to them. He called me and he had one gem in mind he wanted to buy. Aquapraise. And I said, no. <laughs> not doing it. I, I am not selling the gem. Not selling the gem to you. I will, though, offer you a closeout deal that I wouldn't offer that de dealer. This is a huge gem. 30 by 15 millimeter aquapraise. Look at the quality. A beautiful marquise. Gallery wire, seed bead set, <gasps> however you want to do it. The quality of oh, what we're looking at here is top gem. Liam. That's do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something I've never done before. Okay, here's a genuine closeout I have never done before. I'm going to say one pound a millimetre. One pound? A millimetre. 30 millimetres, 29.99. I have never in my life priced a gem by the millimetre. Never done it. Goodness me. I'm thinking back to that sort of uh, that display that you showed me with Levion. Levion's um, there, and it was, Yeah, and it was this, it was this beautiful patterning that, 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 that they actually included in that piece of jewellery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, is what, this is what they would term uh, peacock aquapraise. 
I love this piece because yeah. you, you've, you've got those sea foam, uh, the sea foam whites breaking through, and then you've got that wonderful shallow sea air aqua color as well. A, a fantastic, fantastic specimen. $29.99 on what is a giant Marquise. I have never in my 10 years as a gem investor, I've never in my six years since the discovery of this gem, Price this material by the millimetre. First time for everything. Do you know, with, it was so lovely as well to have Yanni in, uh, Skype into the studio because I didn't realise he's actually, uh, he's a jewellery maker as well. Uh, yeah, he is. He is a, he's a jewellery designer as well as, a gem, as, well as a gem explorer. Uh, and he, he, loves, he loves working in lots of different mediums. So I think he's going to be a wonderful addition uh, to our friends here at Jewellery Maker. Yeah, for sure. This is flying out. Guest designers getting involved in this as well. Um, okay, leave that with you. I'll do one more Aquapraise deal. One more Aquapraise deal. Uh, this one is a beautiful round. Have a look. Oh, my goodness. Perfect little round cabochon. Here we go. It's this such this a This is unique. gem jelly. The, we talked about what Le Le'Veon would use. Le'Veon would use the other material. That's the Peacock Aquapraise, as they would term it. Not my, not the designation. That's their trade name. So uh, I'm not saying ours is Peacock Aquapraise because they have branded that. They own the trademark. I'm saying that the grade that they went to was the same grade that we just brought you. This is something called Gem Jelly. It's right. the most pure Aquapraise. And this is what Boucheron are working with. Wow. From Fre Frederick Boucheron sitting there, the, you know, his, 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 the descendants of sitting there in Place Vendôme, this is the gem grade that they're working with. It's beautiful, uh, isn't it? It's uh, quite. It's... Tell you what they're not doing. $9.99. Uh, for Boucheron, yeah, Boucheron, no, absolutely. That price tag for Boucheron do not connect. Natural aquaphrase. You know, we are so fortunate now to be part of the Gemporia partnership because, to be truthful, jury makers, there's absolutely no chance we get hold of this no, gemstone. No, 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 zero. Zero fact, chance, if, fact, if that were the case. I know it would be zero because I've blocked people from bringing this material. Not, I, not necessarily here at jury maker, I, no, no. but I'm saying... That, that Japanese dealer. I, I said, really like that you not. did that. No, you outbid me before and I've not forgotten yeah, no, it. No, absolutely not. And, and it, it's partly that, but it's also partly because... It, there is only a finite amount of this material. Yanni's True. made it very clear to me that once my once my rough is used up, I will not be able to get any more. Because, really? because he signed deals with Levion in the United States, Boucheron in Europe. Mm -hmm. So the only reason I'm able to bring Aquapraise now is because I happen, to, I happen to buy quite a lot of rough before those two guys got involved. Wow, well, and now that's what got we're involved, seeing right now. That's what, that's what you're seeing. Now those guys got involved, I can't buy any more rough. The, the, the supply is turned off, so we are now counting down our Aquapraise rough parcel. Oh. 9.99 is not how we should be counting it down, though. Huge well done at home. Amazing, and a beautiful two-carat solitaire. Um, keep on dialing through, jewelry makers. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, let's... I'll leave those final couple. Leave those couple. Uh... To, oh, this is pretty. One of my favourite launches with you, Jake, was this very gemstone. Yes, I remember that launch vividly. Rose du Maroc, the Moroccan amethyst provenance, but with that Rose de France rare grading associated with it. We heard from Salah. The, uh, the, the, the miner of this material, uh, he was saying how essentially the, the, through, through a mixture of, uh, of, of the mining permit expiring, then the, then the global pandemic, they haven't mined any gems for two or three years. The big worry is the mine is falling into a state of disrepair, which would mean it would, it, it's just unviable to try and reopen it. Have a look at this. A parcel of Rose du Maroc. Wow, beautiful. No, beautiful. Amethyst, beautiful. Seven gems. And do you know what I'm going to do as part of this crazy closeout? Five pound. Each? No. Four ninety nine. For the parcel. For the parcel of them. For the full parcel, four ninety nine. That's seven beautiful round brilliant cut solitaires. Uh, uh, Can get... you afford to miss out? Is the question? No, now, at no, this not point. at all. Because I mean, rose de Morocco, you were saying, is one of the rarest colours to actually get. Yeah, it's one of the rarest used to get. GIA literally mentioned it by name. Yeah. Uh, as a very sought-after grade, 
three millimeters calibrated, you've got seven gems, it's less than a pound of stone. It's unbelievable, unbelievable value, all calibrated in there as well for you. But this is the opportunity right now, $4.99, as we, as we pr pretty much bring to an end our closeout section of the show. And, and just referencing back to that showcase, uh, we, we Skype, forgive me, I've forgotten your friend's name. Uh, Salah. Salah, that's it. Uh, so, yeah, we, he Skyped, didn't he? And he messaged, or was it a WhatsApp message, whichever, um, into the studio, and he said, I'm not mining this right now, and it's, it's probably not going to be, what, for a couple of years? A yes. couple of years. So, please... Please, please don't leave this to chance. One of the rarest varieties, that beautiful uh, lilac. It's a really a very distinct it, colour it's saturation. It's a very unique colour because it's not just... So uh, there's a lot of pink amethyst out there. Yeah. But the, Rose of France, to get the grade and recognised by the GIA, instead what's going to happen is it's going to have that pink body colour but with a key colour of lavender, and that's mm -hmm. the real distinction. It has a little bit more blue in the makeup than just a pink amethyst normally would. I can actually see one of the beautiful hematite uh, inclusions yes. within this too. That's amazing. Um, and it's, it, it's the only amethyst that actually does have uh, sort of hematite uh, inclusions within the gemstone. It gives you almost like flame inclusions. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Stay where you are, everybody. Again, last remaining quantities of those closeout deals with Jake. Loving it. Huge, huge congratulations, those of you who are successful then. Do you know now, what? Should we do our final closeout deal? And this is a gem I absolutely love. I'm desperate to try and get more of this for you. I, I, your, your reception to this next gem was as electric as the gem itself. I am working so hard to try and bring you more of this material. But it is improving nearly impossible. Why? Because this is old mine Ilakaka pink sapphire. We are talking fancy sapphire and we are talking a giant size. Look at this go. Wow. I'd say look at it go. Look at it glow. Yeah. It's extraordinary material. Eight by six millimeters as well. So it's one of the biggest I've ever brought you. It's over a carat in weight and it is a fancy pink sapphire from the famed deposit at Ilakaka uh, in Madagascar. Liam, my gosh, what am I about to do? $24.99. Really? Look at that. That's a huge, hot pink sapphire. There are only 14 of these available. Look at how beautiful that is. Do you know, immediately when I saw this, I was thinking, okay, I need to get hold of one of these. My mum has um, a pink sapphire, uh, an 18 karat gold pendant. That I think this would be the most beautiful solitaire yeah. ring to compliment. The uh, colour is insane. Absolutely. I mean, the colour here, this is true bubblegum. It's absolutely popping. This is exactly what we're looking for from Fancy Ilakaka Pink Sapphire. It, it's an amazing material. I'm desperately trying to get hold of some more for you. Mm. Uh, I'd love to be able to run another show in the next few months or so. Mm. But it, 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 it genuinely, because this material, a lot of this material, actually speaking of Yarni, Yarni bought most of this material many decades ago. On behalf of uh, on behalf of a big jeweler, and really, that was the only time this material was discovered. And everything that's hitting the market now is is from the, uh, the, the from that parcel that Yanni bought. So it was wow. only really a, a very limited mine run. Yanni bought the whole parcel on behalf of a jeweler, and over time, the jeweler has just drip fed those stones into the market, and that's what's maintained the extraordinarily high price points we see with Pink Sapphire yep. is because of that jeweler's, uh, that, that jeweler's gem investor deciding that over the course of 20, 30 years, mm. they would release a few carrots into the market at a time, maintaining that incredible, uh, incredibly high and restrictive price point. $24.99, though, it, it doesn't bear any relationship to the price we see in the market. No, for sure. Over, uh, over one carat that you're getting in that beautiful, oval, brilliant cut, hot, like I said, bubblegum pink. I can't believe I'm, we're offering that at $24.99. Um, hoping some of those will be remaining. Uh, please do check out your baskets, jewelry makers, to guarantee your success on any of those closeout deals. And likewise, alongside well, um, your, sun, uh, your Oregon Sunstone, 
I mean, truly amazing. We've still got so much to bring you. We've got your fabulous Larimar. We've got your rose quartz and angelite. Look at this necklace. I've, I've been Isn't looking that amazing? at that all show. I love Isn't it. it? I love that color com combination. This is what I spoke to you about, by the yes, way. Yes, I, I, um, I thought it was. Uh, and also we have got some amazing Burmese sapphire. Oh, but wow. Jake, thank you so much once again. No problem. Uh, thank you so much. And I will see you very, very soon. Stay tuned because there might be a slight change up of, uh, of showtimes over the next couple of weeks. Uh, but do stay tuned and, uh, and I'll see you very soon. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Jewelry Makers, exciting news! We're going to be bringing you the opportunity to acquire further treats on web exclusive deals. They'll be loaded on the 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. hour. You will be able to acquire all of your usual essentials plus extra treats between those limited time restraints. All you have to do is go to jewelrymaker.com at the hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Click on Watch Live and you'll see all the deals available for that hour. That's 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. each and every day. Join me this coming Friday morning live on Jewelry Maker. At 8 a.m. we have an under five pound super show. Coming up in the nine o'clock hour, we've got a big five showcase and join myself and Dave Troth from 10 o'clock bringing you the very best grandidiorite and garnet. Don't go anywhere, we'll see you then. Jewelry Makers, we have a new Facebook group dedicated to sharing your makes and jewelry making advice. To join the group, simply head over to the page and hit request. You'll then be able to share your designs with our JM community and join like-minded people. Create, wear, share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we want to still be able to support you in your jewelry making journey. We understand that during these unprecedented times, the priority is to keep everyone safe. We want to still give you the option to learn, experience and join like-minded people by offering our online workshops. Our online workshops are still run by our amazing designers who will guide you step by step and give you all the support needed to develop your skills. For more information, contact our workshop coordination team by emailing sarah.bingham at jewelrymaker.com. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Join me this Sunday morning. It's going to be an amazing show. We're kicking off at 8 a.m. with a Jasper showcase. We've got Gemma Crow with us throughout the rest of the show. In the 10 and 11, a Santa Maria Aquamarine showcase and last in stock pearls. And at 12 o'clock, we've got a gallery wire outlet. It's going to be an amazing Sunday on Jewelry Maker. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry maker, create, wear, share. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane.
Jewelry makers, did you know that no matter how many times you purchase, no matter how many times you check out, you only pay one postage and packaging per day? Say that you've purchased an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. This is one of those single opportunities, jury makers, that you know we don't get very often, yet we all request. On your behalf, I was asked the question only last week, actually, by, uh, by uh, uh, Wayne. He was saying, OK, I'm, 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 I'm buying gemstones, obviously, for this will be for maybe October, November, December. Is there anything that you particularly want me to look out for? The first on my list is Larimar. Because you know, jewelry makers, that this one locational gemstone is nigh on impossible for us to get hold of. It is a really rare, beautiful, natural uh, form of pectolite. Pectolite forms all around the world. However, in this one place in the Dominican Republic, and it's almost like it oozes that tropical essence to it, um, it has a really beautiful shade of blue. Now, ordinarily, I'd actually discuss the fact that Larimar has sort of soft, gentle uh, sky blues, um, some really tranquil, uh, airy, cloud-like formations that occur within the gemstone. That's what's expected. Sometimes a little bit of red from the copper presence in the gemstone. Um, very seldom do I get the opportunity to say that your Larimar is almost exclusively blue. This is not dyed, which many of us would almost assume this is not, this is not uh, reconstituted, it's not enhanced in any way, shape or form. This is completely natural, completely natural. Most Larimar, even, I, I've, I don't mind saying this, most, most Larimar, um, text in if you agree with me, that we actually get the privilege of seeing here at Jewelry Makers will have, will have a, a presence of those cloud formations. They're beautiful. They're, they're what we expect of the gemstone. But this actually has that intensity that I could almost say, goodness me, from a distance, that looks like Sleeping Beauty turquoise. It is that dramatic. Larimar has been commercially, uh, commercially uh, within the market for a relatively small time. It was actually rediscovered um, by a gentleman called M uh, Miguel Mendez in 1974, who named this gemstone after his daughter Larissa. And Mar stands for the equivalent of the Spanish word for sea. So Larimar was, born, was reborn. This is one locational, and as I said, it's the copper, trace amounts of copper that produce this beautiful gemstone. You can sometimes see it in little flecks of red, uh, little flecks of brown within the gem itself. But ultimately, the most aspirational uh, quality of Larimar um, will actually have this beautiful exotic blue. It's the most desirable color definition of this very gemstone. We sometimes refer to Larimar as Stephelia stone or Caribbean stone, but it's also known as the Atlantis stone. And that's based on old legends which claim that the Dominican Republic was once part of the lost city of Atlantis. But I, I have no qualms in saying that this is Larimar on another scale of quality that we've actually brought you in the past. Don't get me wrong, those ones are absolutely beautiful too. Absolutely amazing. But the cloud formations really 
pretty, really dreamy, absolutely high-end quality. But the more prominent those exotic blues, the more desirable the Larimar is. Now, we are absolutely going to rock your world today with this opportunity, this star buy, because I'm going to show you this amazing piece of jewellery that our in-house designers has created. And when we placed it into their highly skilled hands, we said, Anne, Sue, keep that ultra simple. When you have such supreme quality as this, and remind me, Liam, how many do we have of these available? 104. Okay, every single one of these needs to go. Keep it ultra simple because it always has to be about the quality of the gemstone when it is this rich in that exotic blue presence. That is the most desirable thing about this gemstone. Larimar, one location, very rare variety of your pectolite gemstone. In many other locations around the world, you'll actually see it in sort of soft whites and greys. Again, really pretty. Not as prized and celebrated as the blue variety of pectolite that is found in that one location on this planet. Are you ready? I can't remember what you said you were taking this to, Liam. I'm trying to desperately jog my memory. Uh, uh, okay, okay, yeah. Let's get a 60 second clock ticking, shall we? I agree. Uh, Liam has just said to me, Al, I think this is one of the lowest prices we've ever taken for Larimar rounds. I agree. And I also think, Liam, this is the finest quality we have ever seen. Okay, we've actually had um, Herman here, if you remember that show. We had Herman who came over from the Dominican Republic and he was spoke, sp spoke to us about this gemstone. He travelled to the Dominican. Um, I love this story. So he took his family to the Dominican Republic on holiday, um, saw this very gemstone and moved his family out there purely because he got hypnotized by this beautiful exotic blue and said that that is what it basically was his, his, his uh, um, destiny from there on in. In 15 seconds we are taking one of the few strands of Larimar that we have in the entire business and I don't mind saying that for JM um, I'm sure the same actually applies across your entire Gemporia group partnership. I highly doubt that Jacob actually has a huge amount of Larimar in his vault. I highly doubt that Gemporia has a huge amount of, uh, of Larimar jewellery. Um, we certainly don't here at Jewellery Maker. You've got the most beautiful graduation in this gorgeous strand. It is completely and utterly natural, Jewellery Makers, and it is also a star buy. There's a triple figure quantity for you right now. Um, you're getting 18 carats, and I'm going to keep reiterating this. You, There's loads of you there. Um, can I keep re re reiterating the, the a, a paragraph really that um, I got off a website uh, discussing the quality of Larimar and what we aspire to. Stunning colour which is owed to the traces of copper within the gemstone. Sometimes the gemstones exhibit spots of green, red, brown um, and are a result of the oxidizations and the uh, oxidization and the presence of iron. Larimar with less white and more exotic blues are the most desirable colour. You tell me. Is there more blue than white or is there more white than blue? It's all blue, I agree. And it's natural. It's completely and utterly natural. Uh, the first person who made their confirmation bought six. The second person bought two. Thank you so much for your faith and confidence. And by the way, there are multiples of you who have already said, yeah, I want some of that, Elle. Show me the deal. Lots of you saying at that, I know that this is a star buy. I trust Jewelry Maker. I know that the quality of that is maybe quite unlike anything else I've seen in Larimar. Now, we have brought you personally, we made price comparisons prior to this star buy. We personally have brought you Larimar, not necessarily of this grade, still lovely, don't get me wrong, at £49.99. Personally. Mandy... L, are the drill holes big enough for elastic? Let's have a little look. Yes, 0.5 elastic, yes. Let me double it over. This is on a beading thread, but if I double it over for you, Mandy, big enough for your 0.5 elastic, yeah, no problem. 
Oh, that's what I would do, Mandy, as well. Great minds do actually think alike. Look at the quality of that collar. Already getting snapped up. We're immediately down into your double figure quantities. Now, what we're going to do, and because this is going to be potentially one of those uh, phone meltdown scenarios and crashing, we could potentially crash the web if we don't stagger the auction. So, already, thank you so much to those of you that have made the confirmation saying that's good enough for me, Al, if you're suggesting that it's even going lower. I've never maybe seen Larimar of that quality. In one one minute's time, we will take it to your true star by price. Um, now, this obviously, if we do this, we delay the actual original price tag. We know we have lots of customers who shop with us on a regular basis. They trust the fact that everybody is going is guaranteed that final low price tag. And they also want to make sure and secure um, the fact that they don't miss out on this opportunity. In our entire business, and I'm not even just talking about here at Jewelry Maker, I'm, I'm talking about the whole Gemporia partnership, I highly doubt we've got a huge amount of Larimar. When I was presenting on Gemporia, I used to say to our bosses there and say, look, can I have a showcase of Larimar? Do you know the kind of answer I get? No, there isn't any in the business. Because those parcels, those collections used to come in. You remember, Paul? Those collections used to come in and then it'd be like, see ya. They'd be gone in one show. It's the same as, it's the same as here at Jewelry Maker. But have we ever seen that exotic blue? I'm going to repeat it again if we have five seconds remaining. Please don't miss out on this opportunity. Stunning colours of blue owed to the traces of copper. Um, sometimes gemstones exhibit spots of green, red and brown and that is a result of oxidization and the presence of iron. Larimar with less white and more exotic blues are the most desirable. Less white, more exotic blues. And we're at 29 pounds and 99 pence. Let me just show you all the way around this beautiful bracelet made by Ann and Sue upstairs. Ann and Sue, this is absolutely stunning. It's a steal of a deal and we're down to the final 67 immediately. Uh, 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 come on, just for kicks, let's put the question to Liam. Liam, can I have a Larimar showcase? No, okay. He didn't, he didn't mix his words then, did he, Luce? Michael, just straight to it. No, you can't. Okay, fair enough. Is there is there a likelihood of me getting this quality of Larimar anytime soon, Liam? No. Okay, fair enough. Um, I'm not. You're not saying never, but it's unlikely anytime soon. Goodness me, there's a final 51 of these opportunities at 29.99. Could have been 49. We're even making price comparisons with ourselves um, on this opportunity. Should have been, you're right there. Anita, West Midlands, Linda, hello to you, Mandy, hello to you, Manchester. Okay, I'm going to read out this. I um, mean, it might sound like I'm reading out the football results, but Linda, two. Mandy, two. Manchester, four. Jane, eight. Ka uh, Catherine, two. It sounds like I'm reading out the football results. Angela, two. Jeanette, two. Another Angela, two. Uh, Lanarkshire, two. Uh, East Riding of Yorkshire, two. Brenda, two. They're people that have just chosen to multi-buy. On top of that, we have Anita, West Midlands, Linda. We have uh, London. We have Yorkshire, Catherine, Julie, Leslie, Amanda, June, Claire in Bridgend. Nina, congratulations. We cannot go a single penny lower than what is on your screens. I think you all understand that there is... There's Larimar, beautiful, with those lovely white... Uh, uh, cloud-like formations. Liam, that is amazing. I got two. I could see you, Mandy. Um, I love the fact in your, in your, I can see you, Mandy, brackets, JM addict. <laughs> Loving that. Um, Larimar addict, for sure. I would be getting multiples of these as well. And if there are any left, um, fingers crossed, then I'll definitely be joining you on it. Check out your baskets. Good luck, new customers. Good luck, Teresa. Good luck, Margaret. Good luck, Carol. Good luck, Tracy. Good luck, Natasha. Good luck, Brenda. Good luck, Derbyshire. Good luck, Mary. Good luck, Elaine. Good luck, Surrey. Um, good luck, Essex. 19 are left within the vault. That's it. Um, if you miss out, oh, gosh, I mean, I'm, I'm ever so sorry. Um, but it is probably going to be months and months and months in advance before I can actually bring you this very gemstone. Never say never, but this present moment in time, it is very, very, very limited. Look at how perfect that bracelet is. Um, now, because you were thinking that you want, you'll want to sort of replicate maybe what Anne and Sue have done here, that really beautiful, super simple bracelet that's just on bead, uh, beading thread. Um, I'm going to bring you um, some of your essential bolt ring clasps now, shall we? In what number, sorry? Uh, that's over here. Oh yes, hidden underneath my banana. 
just to refuel, recharge after today's more amazing show. Um, okay, of course, with Larimar, then you would be, um, I dropped my tweezers earlier on, hang on one sec. Uh, with Larimar, you would, of course, be looking at uh, your precious metal. It's one of those gemstones that I think definitely commands that. Um, so here we go. You've actually got a, a sort of a stash replenisher here of 925 sterling silver. Look at that. Big, large clasps as well. So you don't, not the fiddly ones that are difficult to open and close. Eight millimeters in their size. That's for all 10, not one, 6.99 for all 10 of your essential bolt ring clasps in 925 sterling silver. So if you're looking at that Larimar bracelet saying, that's lovely, but I'm more of a silver wearer, then literally substitute out the actual spacer beads for your 925 because it, it complements all of your precious metals for sure. Um, you're getting 10 of your essentials there um, for £6.99, 69p each, not your tiddly little bolt ring class, these are your big ones, the big ones which are really easy to actually handle, so um, you could just replace, in this case it's a lobster claw, but you replace it for your bolt ring class, still to this day one of the most traditional and chosen um, class that we actually have in jewellery, um, they also work really well with as, as charm carriers as well. Um, Check those out. We've got loads more to actually bring you that will be perfect alongside that too. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay. Now, where do we go from Larimar? Goodness me. Well, let's take you to... I'm going to show you the piece of jewellery. This is absolutely... Is this what I'm starting with, Liam? Oh, it's not the... These are the faceted rounds. Seriously, look at that. Look at that colour. Rewind to 8 o'clock this morning and I showed you an amazing strand of pearls. I picked up this strand, or a strand which made this piece, placed it alongside the pearls and said, look at how beautiful that combination is. When we talk about sapphires, you know it comes in a variety of colours. You've just had pink with Jake, you can have yellow, you can have green, you can have orange, paparaccia, of course, um, and your blues, different shades of your blues from your cornflower to what I always reference as your cashmere deep blues. Still to this day, the most deep, luxurious blues, think the Royal Engagement Ring, for sure, is the most valuable and the most sought after. Take another look at this piece of jewellery and would we all agree that it is those deep, royal, luxurious blues that we aspire to in the ultimate coloured gemstone. I love, it's my birthstone, if you're a September baby then this is, uh, this is the one for you to get involved with today. The fact that these are faceted, polished to perfection, showcasing that rich, beautiful colour and again, just separated with a couple of other sapphires, which we're bringing you as well, a couple of other of your precious, uh, precious gold-plated sterling silver, and then, of course, your precious clasp at the reverse. That is the you know, high-end jewellery, and I don't think any of us can actually deny that. This is what ta has taken, I think, jewellery maker from, the calibre of gemstone that you're seeing here, has taken us from a hobby channel to maybe... Uh, um, and this is obviously you guys included, to taking you to fine jewellery creations. This is your next opportunity. Oh my goodness me. Natural We've called these cubes. My right, wait a minute, wait a minute. It was throwing Liam then for a second. Liam, Liam says, I'm, I'm gonna change this. They are absolutely not cubes. I think that's a typo. They've been booked in possibly. This is absolutely what you're getting. They're faceted rounds. Look at that color. Can I have the country of origin of these, Liam? Burmese. And guess what? 95% of the world's sapphire uh, and ruby also will have got, is, is, is treated. It can be fissure filled, it can be heat treated. Nothing wrong with that at all. Why wouldn't we want to make something more beautiful? These, check out the beauty, are completely and utterly natural. I have eight 
sapphires in my engagement ring. I love the quality and the variety of sapphires JM offers us. I agree, Liz. Would you, I mean, if you're a sapphire lover, which I am for sure, I find this is a very emotional gemstone. It's not, not just because it's my birthstone, but actually it's my mum's engagement ring. And I, whenever I sit, I know, Liz, isn't it beautiful? I totally agree. One of the most beautiful strands of sapphire I think we've ever actually commissioned. You're sourcing from a premium location of source a premium location. We talk sapphire, we, we aspire to obviously Kashmir, but that's now deplete hundreds of years ago. So really it's two prime locations. We talk about Ceylon and Burma. This is natural Burmese sapphire with those beautiful, deep, enchanting royal blues. Natural in its color, no fissure filling, no dyeing, uh, no heat treatment even. Look at how they ricochet light off every single one of those beautiful facets. And it is a full, by the way, 38 centimeter strand. Are we ready to open this opportunity? We're just amending the graphics, so they're beautiful faceted rounds. Uh, we'll do, uh, are you gonna be able to do it? Does it matter? It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, this is exactly what we're actually getting here. Um, Liam's on it. He's on the case. Let's talk about the piece of jewellery that Anne and Sue have created again. You know, I can almost imagine what they were thinking right now, whether this is a Sue or an Anne piece. They'd have seen the strand gone, oh my goodness me, that's absolutely incredible. Let me just turn that into a beautiful sapphire tennis style, uh, tennis style necklace. They've alternated, alternated it by with some of your cornflower blue sapphires here as well and accented it with your um, yellow gold plated 925 sterling silver. If for a second, if I just pivot this round, you can see how it is actually completed uh, with a gold plated 925 sterling silver clasp also are you ready the graphics are live this i think is going to be an on-screen sellout remind me how many of these we've actually got available 55 oh man and i'll tell you why i'm disappointed 55 means I'm not going to be able to join you on it. I wanted to get involved on this too. I find it quite an emotional gemstone. Personally, it's like I said, it's my mum's um, engagement stone. And it would just be beautiful to be, able to, to be able to wear it in a sort of tennis star bracelet, both of us. They are huge four millimeter faceted rounds. You've gone nuts for it already. You are, you are acquiring right here, right now from a premium location of source, which you can tell which you can absolutely see, natural Burmese sapphire. If you are expecting this to be a triple figure price tag, it should be, but it's not. It's gonna sell out. You're right, Liam, there are no words for this opportunity, I agree. Jane, well done. We could have quadrupled that and more, and more for the fact that it is natural Burmese sapphire. Cut. Um, cast your mind back. Hi, Al. Uh, what thread has been used with that necklace? It's a beading thread, lovely. If I, um, is it, uh, no, this is a beading thread, but you can use fire line too. There you go. There you go. But, yeah, if, uh, the, the difference is, with beading thread, it's obviously quite rigid. Um, it's got, because it's it's, there's a metal core to that. Fire lime is going to give you more fluidity. So it's all down to your own per personal desires, you know, what, how you want the piece of jewellery uh, to actually sit itself. Isn't it lovely? Hi, Liz. What? I don't believe it. I know. You're going to be quick. have to be quick, though, because there was 55. That's it. I wanted this as well. Um, this was going to be one of my purchases, along with the Larimar, along with the Rubelite, along with many of Jake's pieces also. Um, come the end of the show, I'm going to be doing a little bit of shopping. Um, Liam says, you got to believe it, Liz. There's 17 of them left. Yasmin, hello to you, Liz, Christina, Alan, Louise, Catherine, Julie, Brenda, Jane, Br uh, Stella, uh, Suffolk, multi-buying, congratulations to you. Paula, Karen, Sussex, too many of me to mention all of your names. There's so much potential with a, with a faceted four mil. This is why I love faceted four mil strands. They are my absolute favorite favorite size because you can create that beautiful tennis star necklace or bracelet but you could also if you wanted to sort of uh, uh, um, volumize a piece of jewelry create a beady bead imagine these in clusters beautiful cluster suspensions in a pair of it at magnificent earrings you can channel set them um, you can use them with things like your kiss cross omg that would be unbelievable the final seven of these within the vault sharon claire moira lavinia sharon uh, northamptonshire deborah debbie ellen fiona Manchester, you're there as well. It's down to 
Oh, the last two. Is it you or is it going to be one of the other jewelry makers? I don't want you to kick yourself and think, oh, I wish I got hold of that. Natural Burmese Sapphire. Guess what? It's sold out. I'm so sorry. And by the way, I share you're disappointed because I wanted that too. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We have what? Sorry. One more natural Burmese sapphire. They're, these, by the way, are the little cornflower blues that are, uh, Anne and Sue have actually put into this necklace. Look how lovely that is. That is beautiful. Oh, the luster of these is incredible. Now, sapphire is nine on the most scale, so it's just behind your diamonds. Um, and the reason why I'm telling you that is because obviously when, you, when, when a gemstone has quite hard, uh, a lovely hardness, it means that during the cutting process you can achieve some really wonderful precision, some really amazing high luster, um, and light just dances across it. So this is your, your cornflower blues. So there's different shades of blues, of course, with all your sapphires. This is a more delicate variety. Yeah, it's lovely. It is really lovely. Again, natural Burmese sapphire. It's really important, I think, right now that we, are, you know, we highlight the fact that this is Burmese. Burmese sapphire and ruby is actually on the verge of depletion. Um, if Jake were here, he'd, he'd reiterate that because he was saying not so long ago the fact that very little of it actually comes from that location now. Um, and there are, we're having to look uh, at collectors, um, design houses are having to look elsewhere to sort of fill those boots. Um, they're pretty big boots to fill, to be truthful. And this is why. You get some really beautiful um, vibrancy of colour from that location. It often doesn't need any enhancement like this. And yet here we are, here we are showing it to you in these wonderful, beautiful rondelles. Look at that uniformity. Natural Burmese sapphire in these absolutely exquisite rondelles. Liam says, should we go bonkers? Go? We already are. Natural Burmese sapphire. If you want to recreate this piece of jewellery, what did you take the previous strand to, Liam? 19.99. So I can already recreate this piece of jewellery with a few of your precious metal additions in there as well for less than 50 pounds. But... It's still not your style by price. There will come a time when Burmese sapphire, Burmese ruby will become almost impossible to get hold of like your cashmere sapphires. Whether you favor the rich uh, royal blue that you saw previously or whether you love this delicate cornflower. One thing I really do notice about this opportunity is the fact that you have got um, such amazing surface luster. Uh, with rondelles, there's multiple facets, aren't they? And it also incorporates your lovely curves. Uh, look how it is showcasing um, that luster across every single one of those. Already, a big percentage of the quantity has actually been snapped up in Jean with Jeanette, Veronica, Suffolk, hello to you, Jane, hello to you, Northamptonshire, hello to you, Jasmine, hello to you, West Midlands, hello to you, Judith, uh, John, Karen, Wiltshire, Stella, Stephanie, uh, new buyers, already snapping this up it's the perfect addition alongside your previous Burmese sapphire strand it's also the perfect addition I think alongside your rubellite that you had previously it's also um, the perfect addition alongside maybe some pink sapphire that you might be able to get hold of in today's show how about we take this to an absolute mind-boggling star by price tag this is not sapphire from any ordinary source this is Burmese me sapphire in its natural form which basically equates to that top five percent uh, percentage um yeah exactly don't take that for granted definitely definitely worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity when do we ever bring you sapphire or should we that's a better question because i know we have all right should we ever bring you Burmese sapphire at under 10 pounds uh, you're right no categorically no we shouldn't the, it's, it's dwindling 
dramatically dwindling the supply to the world yet of course we want it because it's Burmese it's incredible quality you know that demand doesn't dwindle the supply dramatically is and um, yet here we are bringing it to a single figure price tag Lavinia hello to you Manchester hello to you Karen Deborah Elaine hi John hello to you West Midlands hello to you Stephanie Karen uh, you've got yours as well those of you that haven't checked out your baskets good luck again this was quite a limited opportunity um, we had um, Oh, we had a hundred of these, so slightly more than the previous opportunity. However, we're at a single figure price tag for genuine sapphire. If you know or you are creating for somebody uh, um, who's a uh, September baby or a sapphire baby, whichever you prefer, or maybe uh, you know that this is a gemstone that is often gifted as a token of love and affection. Um, we recognize sapphire to little to, with little to no knowledge of gemstones. $9.99 to get hold of natural Burmese sapphire. Keep on dialing through everybody and do stay where you are. That's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Where do we go from there? Larimar, Burmese sapphire. They are, oh my goodness me. Well, yeah, Liam, this is incredible. I am, it is like I dress for this strap. I concur. Liam has just said, I think this is the best yellow sapphire we've ever done. And we have got the slider bracelet if you want to make this piece. Are you ready? This is utterly breathtaking. Obviously, it's canary yellow sapphire. So it's, oh my goodness me. Yeah, yellow sapphire. The more canary yellow, the more expensive. If you can team that amazing color with brilliance, then you have something truly, truly incredible. If you want to make, and I'm just gonna slide this to the side for one second, this exact, look at that color, this exact piece of jewelry, we have the slider bracelet too. And this, by the way, incredibly, this piece of jewellery will take you 10 minutes to make, 10 minutes to create. Can I have the country of source of this again? Okay. As I said earlier on, with the deposits of Burmese saf sapphire and certainly your Kashmir that depletes some hundreds of years ago, we uh, gem buyers, uh, high-end jewelers, uh, traders um, are looking at different locations to actually source their gemstone. This being one of them. They have to live up to the standards, really, that have been set, that, you know, that, that bar that has been set by the likes of Kashmir and Burma. And don't you think this is absolutely delivering? Sapphire is expected to have inclusions. It is actually sometimes more often opaque than it is eye clean. But yet here you have eye clean clarity in that wonderful vibrancy of canary yellow. I love this strand. I love this piece of jewelry. I think it's absolutely, utterly sensational. You are getting 17 carats in total on a long, beautiful strand a vibrant, genuine sapphire. Look at this opportunity. The graphics are there. Go, 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 go. Look at it. Just Even in the background, you just cannot fail to admire that intensity of natural color. Um, a little bit of heat treatment, so it would have had that presence of yellow, and then we've just intensified that, almost as if it was from the warmth of the sun. £29.99. Okay, I was fully expecting this to be more of a triple-figure price tag. Um, that piece of jewelry, you know, that beautiful, really simple sapphire slider-style bracelet could absolutely command 
and a much higher price than what oh well, it would do it, I mean you'd be talking about three figures and then some wouldn't you genuine sapphire which has been cherished for thousands of years it comes in a full rainbow of colors um, and long being associated of course with royalty and romance uh, sapphire comes from the Greek word sapphiros um, and is still the number one most color uh, popular color gemstone on the planet blue yes is still one of the most uh, most valuable varieties of gemstones but look how magnificent um, it is when it's in prime quality canary yellow Jane Catherine Sharon Kent tell it to you Manchester Kirsty Barbara new customers Joan Karen uh, Rupuanti Susan hiya Alison Jackie you're with us is there as well um, just a couple of your spacer beads how many have they used I can't count them one two three four five six seven seven of your spacer beads and literally just fed on to um, your slider bracelet super simple high-end jewelry and high-end genuine gemstones in your amazing sapphire make sure you check out your baskets though because this is quite limited remind me Liam how many do we have of these only a hundred but m many of you are going that yes L that with either of the Burmese strands let's pick one of them up shall we um, so this beautiful, rich, royal, cashmere-like blue, don't you think? Look how beautifully it complements the cashmere blue. You could alternate those, couldn't you? You just alternate the blue and the yellow, have an exclusive yellow sapphire piece of jewellery. That would be absolutely amazing. Also, I'm going to mix it up somewhat. Imagine it alongside your Larimar. Look at that. It is like we're on holiday, isn't it? That combination of your Larimar blue with the sunshine yellows. Again, with the Burmese sapphire that we had a few moments ago, that would be absolutely incredible too as a combination. To be truthful, it's going to complement absolutely every, everything because you have these wonderful glowing, uh, glowing rays like liquid gold. Check out those baskets, though, because it is busy and we've got people multi-buying. I could probably count on one hand the amount of times that I've brought yellow sapphire to air here at Jewelry Maker um, throughout the past, uh, this past six months. I mean, we're into, what, our seventh month. So, yeah, slap bang in the middle of the year. Um, and I could probably count on one hand the amount of times that I've actually brought you this, kind, this level, this premium grade of yellow sapphire. It's absolutely incredible, I agree. And again, that piece of jewellery is fine jewellery. Now, just before I move on, because... Uh, did you... Uh, so, sorry, oh, what? We have a rubelite opportunity. <gasps> and also a beryl opportunity. Still to come. Um, something that we're also offering throughout the course of July, starting today is a free strand with every single kit that you buy, which means at one o'clock when you have the fantastic Debbie Kershaw and the wonderful Jenny in the studio, there are 17 different kits. If you buy any of those kits, um, or you will get a free strand. If you buy all 17 kits, you'll get 17 strands while stocks last, by the way. Now, it's not one per customer, it's one per kit. So make sure you're with us. Look, I've, I've commented on this. Debbie, she's super, isn't she? She's so amazing. Um, the kits are available on pre-order right now. So if you buy Debbie's kits that created these magnificent pieces, you are guaranteed a free gemstone strand. There we go. One, one gemstone strand per kit. If you buy two kits, guess what? Two strands. It's that simple. It's that simple. Okay. They're available on pre-order right now. Am I doing the rubelite now? Okay. Look at this beautiful piece of jewellery. Again, totally and utterly natural. Super simple. Genuine rubelite. Rubelite is one of the top three rarest varieties of your tourmaline family. Each and every single one of your rubelite colors has a slightly different chemical composition. So when we talk about top three, we, we mention Paraba tourmaline. Um, we mention indicolite, which is a teal. Paraba, blue, Paraba is more swimming pool blue. Indicolite is your teal blues and rubelite. Those are the top three. Rubelite is a very... Uh, um, Rare, beautiful uh, variety, not of pink tourmaline, it's, there's a stark difference. 
It's a variety of tourmaline that maintains a pinkish red color under every single lighting condition. Look at that. And incredibly, it's 100% natural. It's also a type three gemstone. So under magnifications, and we are magnified by I don't know how many times. <clears throat> yeah, I know, natural rubelite, incredible. It is a type three gemstone. So we expect there to be what we call a jardin, the patterns, the garden, if you like, within the gemstone. As long as it doesn't hinder our ability to see that beautiful vibrancy, that absolute intensity, then you have incredible, incredible quality rubelite. If you get your certificate of authenticity, which you can do online, you can also do that through our call center, then you have that document that says rubelite, the, those most desired words. This is a gemstone the likes of Van Cleef and Arpel, Tiffany's, Bulgari, Katerina Perez, uh, Lorraine Schwartz, I could go on and on and on. Uh, have I said Bulgari? Uh, so many of the big high-end shopard designers choose to actually include in their pieces because it has such an amazing distinction and a wonderful richness um, of pink and purple, naturally. There are just 55 opportunities Again, that finished beautiful tennis bracelet. Um, our, our, our Anne and Sue, our in-house designer, said, you know what, I'm keeping it super simple. I'm popping it onto a beading thread. I'm going to pop just a couple of spaces of beads in between. It's going to take me possibly 10 minutes to make as a piece of jewelry. I've made fine jewelry. Natural Brazilian rubelite. 55 of these available in the entire world. They'll work perfectly again alongside your sapphires, alongside your Burmese uh, for Milan and also the rondelles. They'll work amazingly alongside that canary yellow that we showed you in a few moments. 14 pounds and 99 pence. Can you imagine that as a combination? You know, the lovely, again, natural rubelite, but there were some flashes of your canary yellow. I think that'd be a beautiful, beautiful addition. Um, I can't wait to see those pieces being created and uploaded to the Wall of Fame. Uh, Paula, hello to you, new customers on the web, hello to Linda, Surrey, Karen, Kathy, Brenda, uh, Jane. If you want to get big quantities, by the way, jewelry makers, you have to check out super fast, because that is it, 55. That's not 55 today and 55 reserved for another occasion. That is 55 that we have in the entire vault, and that's it. Um, for for Rubelite, again, I highly doubt that I could actually put together a showcase for you. I can ask the question, Liam, could I do a Rubelite showcase? No, there we go. I kind of knew the answer um, because we won't have enough. He's not just, he's not saying that to be mean. He's not a mean person. He's saying that because we don't have the quantities in our vault. Um, again, Anne, hello to Janet, Stephanie, hello to Linda, Surrey, Manchester, uh, Dorset, we've got yours, Linda, Janet, Brenda, Paula, Jane. There's only, how many left? Oh, how many did we have? I thought we only had 50. I thought we had 55. Okay, we had 100. And now we're down to the final 40. Yeah, the quantity is flying out the door because you're collectors, you're connoisseurs of gemstones. So many of our wonderful viewers, um, of course, yes, you create beautiful gemstone jewelry, but so many of our wonderful viewers have a wealth of knowledge of gemstones. So Rubelite is always going to get snapped up super fast. Don't forget you can pre-order um, the fantastic Debbie Kershaw's uh, Masterclass kits that are coming up and you will get a free strand with each kit that you buy so one per kit so if you buy three of debbie's kits you get three strands that's pretty amazing isn't it uh it has what separate kits i don't know i'll let them clear that one up i'm not really sure but if there's 19 different kits if you buy all 19 of those uh, then you're gonna get a, you're gonna get a free strand for each of them 14 of these left jane and steve hello to lorraine susan karen hello to lisa essex beryl you're there as well manchester matt congratulations to you and mandy you're with us as well it's going to be an on-screen setup for sure super simple I think construction, keeping it basic, creates the most beautiful, fine jewellery that you can be wearing for less than £15. It is beautiful, isn't it? Really, really pretty. Now, to go alongside this, we've got your multicoloured barrel. We've also got the rose quartz and angelite to bring. Now, I'm just going to display this. I know it's a different colour, but just so you can see... I'm going to display this across the top of the uh, yellow sapphire because that's the same style or similar. 
similar style of your slider bracelet. You have this beautiful sunburst effect in the 925 sterling silver. You've got a lovely detail of more precious metal here. A slider bracelet, because it is adjustability, one of the features that was mentioned by Levion during the awards of 2019, it is still the most desirable feature of the 2020 awards. Um, they didn't hold them, so basically they roll over. But if I just take this off for a second, you can see at either end you actually have uh, the little jump rings, that's what you would actually bead onto, and I can use this bracelet as an example. So this is what you'd actually bead onto, and see how simple the actual technique is. You crimp it, and then you add a little crimp cover. Yes, now granted these are a, a, a different colour, but you get the idea. Maybe you prefer your rose gold. Um, all solid 925 sterling silver. There's that adjustability inside. Is there a sil there's a silica that actually grips your precious metal and also prevents it from um, from scratching. Um, one size doesn't fit all, does it? When it comes to your jewellery, um, with your slider bracelet, it absolutely does. Rose gold plated 925 sterling silver with that beautiful sunburst um, display. Wonderful uh, precious metal craftsmanship as well. It will complement the rubelite, it will complement the, the Burmese sapphire, it will look amazing with your Larimar, it look incredible alongside your yellow sapphire, it look incredible alongside uh, the rose gold plated angelite that I've also got coming your way. Still one of our number one products here at Jewelry Maker because it's such a simple piece to create uh, and there's not many jewellers that don't include the slider bracelet. Gucci, yep. Pandora, yep. Uh, let's see, Thomas Sabo, yep. Links to London, yep. Uh, Liberties, yep, I could go on. So many of your big jewellers actually include it. Um, when we launched the very first slider bracelet, these are £24.99. That was back in 2016. I remember it clearly because I'd just come back from maternity. Um, this, this now, even though there's more detail, more craftsmanship, £14.99 only. That's absolutely unbelievable. Imagine it, visualise it alongside your rubelite. Look how beautiful it complements the pinks. And you need a sort of an inch, don't you? You only need an inch section to create that high-end piece of jewellery. Oh, it looks like he's sat on there, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, look, it looks like he's just sat there. Yeah, you only need an inch and you've just made something really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Um, Incredible, and likewise with your beautiful sapphire. Okay, moving on to, oh, again, this. I've, I'm, I've, I'm gonna apologize to it for a second. Oh, Liam, that's the, that's the slider bracelet that we've used. That slider bracelet. That slider bracelet has made this piece. Oh, Anne and Sue, you've done it again. Look at how beautiful this is. There's the slider bracelet. And then you have multicolored beryl. This strand is absolutely beautiful. Natural multicolored beryl. One of the world's, without doubt, most popular minerals of all time. It occurs in a multitude of colours, as you can see. Several uh, important and celebrated gemstone varieties, which include aquamarine, the blues, morganite, which is those peachy pinks, heliodoral golden beryl, which is those lovely yellows, red beryl, also known as bixbite, which is actually one of the ra uh, largest, uh, most rarest gemstones, sorry, in the world, emerald, which is not included in this gemstone strand because it would kind of stand out like a sore thumb. We've kept it to those sort of soft pastel shades. And definitely what is, is the purest variety of your beryl, that is your goshenite, faceted into your beautiful four to five millimeter around um, again how many do we have how many do we have really because I want to get some um, these are going to be really simple slider bracelets Re I'm recreating what Anne and Sue has done here I've got a few sliders bracelets in my stash if you haven't and you want some then we've just brought you the rose gold one 
Um, Liam says, L, I want these all to sell out. They are too beautiful to be sat within the vault. You know, not only do you have the perfect combinations of colors, not only do you have, you know, that perfect summer azure blue of your aquamarine, beautiful, soft, uh, morganite. What? Uh, that's what you meant when you said, I want them all to sell out. That's crazy. Six pounds and 99 pence only for your four to five millimeter rounds. These can be simple stretchy bracelets if you prefer. There's nothing stopping you. Let me just double check. Absolutely. There's nothing stopping you putting your 0.5 elasticity through there if you wish. And maybe just a couple of your spacer beads. 200 of these were available, but immediately we have got confirmations. Um, I'll be, well, Liam, I, I, hopefully there's gonna be, I'm gonna be doing much like Jane. I'm gonna be getting big quantities of these what a lovely gift. $6.99, okay, so I can make two full bracelets. That's without the addition of your precious metal. That's costing me £3.50 for a genuine natural gemstone. Um, family at that. That's absolutely unbelievable. I can make one fine piece of jewellery. Uh, sorry, I can make two. Um, I can make uh, one piece of jewellery for £3.50. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Do you know, I'll be, get, oh, I'll be getting multiples of these. Look at that beautiful pastel palette that you're seeing here. Beautiful pastel palette, the shades of wonderful uh, Heliodor, beautiful, delicate uh, Morganite, amazing aquamarine, the vibrancy that you're seeing within that golden barrel, and of course the delicacy of your Goshenite. A hundred of these have, have flown out the door already. We're straight down to the final 92. Good luck and check out those of you that still have it in your baskets. We, those of you with a phone in your hand, stay where you are. Our call centre are doing amazing today. Um, keeping up with the sheer volumes of calls. Don't forget you can pre-order Debbie Kershaw's kits coming up with a lovely Jenny. They are stunning. Her jewelry is unreal. And you will be getting a, a gemstone strand for free per kit. Um, if you want to make that exact piece, and, then, and want to get the slider bracelet, um, then we've just brought you that. So again, do speak to our call centre. Debbie, Carol, Julie, hello to you, Anne, Route Wanty, Wiltshire, Jill, hello to you, Manchester, hello to you, Middlesex, hello to you, Worcestershire, Sandra, you're there as well. Uh, Judith, Suffolk, Lavinia, Sophia, uh, Lu I can't, uh, Belfast, sorry, Claire, another Claire, Donna, you're there. Keep dialing through because there is only 47 of them left within the vault. Okay, it is time for our final star buy. Now, uh, last week, Anne and Sue made this beautiful Marla necklace. They made it in, as you'll see, in a six millimeter strand, and then you have some lovely rose quartz as your marker beads. I've been talking to Jake about the Marla necklace and sort of the history of it, as uh, with my limited knowledge, and talking to him about this, so let's just say, uh, um, there could be something exciting on the horizon anyway. Anyway, it sold out, and it sold out super fast, super, super fast. So you're like, okay, let's give, those, uh, give our wonderful customers another opportunity. But this time, let's bring a bigger size. This time, it's the 8 mil. Okay, firstly, the graphics are going straight onto your screens because it's sold out so fast we couldn't actually keep up with you. Now, we did, uh, we knew that this was, this strand, by the way, is actually your rose quartz and, um, pardon, rose quartz is a 12 millimetres. You have your rose quartz six millimeters, and then you also have um, your blue lace agate. This was so, so, so popular, it flew out the door. Now, wh uh, what do you think blue lace agate is referred to as the queen of your agates? You have this lovely dreamy like patterns, again, much like Larimar ordinarily you get that kind of cloud-like formations. I'm gonna keep us uh, uh, sort of the sentiment, if you like, in the heavens above, because angelite is a natural gemstone. It's very new, it was only discovered in 1987 in Peru. Um, but emotionally, I think, certainly with the Marla necklaces, which is very much sort of appealing to one's emotions um, as a piece of jewelry, apparently a lot of it is, the sentiment is behind the creation as well as the actual wear. So it makes sense that we actually put together this uh, next double gemstone strand. It is perfect for your malas and malas are massive at the moment. So if you love this piece of jewellery, uh, then imagine it created in your rose quartz and 
Angelite. An Angelite, eight millimeter rounds. Immediately there's a response on the web and on the phone lines. Many people believe that when you wear Angelite, it assists you with your, with your ability to communicate with others and also yourself. Um, but others that also have, who have passed on maybe, um, because there's that uh, angelic connection within the gemstone. Um, uh, this is, perhaps that's hinting towards its heavenly appearance, I don't know. But it has got this really beautiful, soft, pastel blue shade, which is quite tranquil. It certainly brings a, um, a really lovely kind of zen feeling about, uh, a, a, about certainly myself anyway. And it has an ability to bring you an internal play of light. So whilst you look at your angel light, and I'm talking about angel light uh, because I, I can't, I don't think I'm going to have time to talk about the rose quartz as well. So I'm assuming you were with me this morning and we had rose quartz then. Um, anyway, but it also has um, a really beautiful ab ability uh, to play with light some specimens even actually fluoresce this is actually a knotted strand so if you wanted to you could just attach a clasp like so but if you want to go through whole uh, through the whole ritual if you like of creating your uh, marla necklace then do restrand it and create that 108 bead opportunity this sold out in a matter of minutes jewelry makers the last time we brought this piece to air it wasn't the piece obviously it was the strands that made up this piece Right now, I'm bringing it to you in the rose quartz and angelite in your 8mm rounds. We're going to go straight down. If you want to make the mala, um, I'll give it a count in a few moments' time. You're probably going to need at least three um, to get that exact quantity. If you want a mala inspired, then obviously just get a couple of them. Um, okay, just for the angelite, I agree, 9.99 is amazing. Let's count them, though. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44. Okay, so you need, you do need three really. Um, you need three of them, but still that means you can create that Marla necklace for under 30 pounds. Um, Joe, Amanda, Jane, Donna, hi to you Phyllis, hello to you Route Bonte, hello to you Diane, hello to you Patricia, hello to you Surrey, keep darling through Carol. Um, amazing to have your company. Oh, the tranquility is just the most beautiful combination don't you think combination of gemstones oh I've just had another idea if you know someone that's expecting and maybe they um, you know it's still a surprise whether it's uh, whether having a boy or a girl and um, what a lovely gift this would actually be for the mum to be um, incredible 9.99 only I'm running out of time within this hour jewelry makers make sure you check out your baskets because this is actually quite limited rose quartz and angelite just the most beautiful combination of gemstones um, especially in your eight mil rounds. I'm talking Marlas, but you could do so much more than that. Um, yeah, stretchy bracelets, charm bracelets, bubble styles. You can do all of the above, um, all of the above and more. Coming up, you've got two of my favorite ladies on this afternoon. The kits are available on pre-orders, jewelry makers. So um, we are giving a strand away per kit. So if you purchase one of uh, one of one of Debbie's kits, you receive a pre-gemstone strand. You, if you purchase all 19 kits, you receive 19 until stocks last. Um, so yeah, you've got two of my favorite ladies, the fantastic Debbie Kershaw with just oodles of talent and inspiration. I said it before to a Debbie, I was like, you've got more talent in your little finger than I've got in my whole body. And then you've got the utterly beautiful, the completely wonderful Jenny Cleary joining you as well on the masterclass. So you're gonna have a lot of fun, a lot of knowledge as well, and more amazing deals. Um, if you wanna pre-order the kits, you definitely can. You're like a bombshell again. I'll see you on Monday, but don't go anywhere. Jewelry makers, did you know that no matter how many times you purchase, no matter how many times you check out, you only pay one postage and packaging per day? Say that you've purchased an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we want to still be able to support you in your jewelry making journey 
We understand that during these unprecedented times, the priority is to keep everyone safe. We want to still give you the option to learn, experience and join like-minded people by offering our online workshops. Our online workshops are still run by our amazing designers who will guide you step by step and give you all the support needed to develop your skills. For more information, contact our workshop coordination team by emailing sarah.bingham at jewelrymaker.com. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Join me this coming Friday morning live on Jewelry Maker. At 8 a.m. we have an under five pound super show. Coming up in the nine o'clock hour, we've got a big five showcase and join myself and Dave Troth from 10 o'clock bringing you the very best Grand Didierite and Garnet. Don't go anywhere, we'll see you then. You may be wondering how to buy here at Jewelry Maker. So here is a quick overview of what to do. When you see a product that comes on screen, the graphics will appear, you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk, whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Join me this Sunday morning. It's going to be an amazing show. We're kicking off at 8 a.m. with a Jasper showcase. We've got Gemma Crow with us throughout the rest of the show. In the 10 and 11, a Santa Maria Aquamarine showcase and last in stock pearls. And at 12 o'clock, we've got a gallery wire outlet. It's going to be an amazing Sunday on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, exciting news. We're going to be bringing you the opportunity to acquire further treats on web exclusive deals. They'll be loaded on the 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. hour. You will be able to acquire all of your usual essentials plus extra treats between those limited time restraints. All you have to do is go to jewelrymaker.com at the hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Click on Watch Live and you'll see all the deals available for that hour. That's 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. each and every day. Makers, we have a new Facebook group dedicated to sharing your makes and jewellery making advice. To join the group, simply head over to the page and hit request. You'll then be able to share your designs with our JM community and join like-minded people. Create, wear, share. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. Welcome.
Welcome back. Thank you so much to the gorgeous Elle and to Jake for this morning's show. My name's Jenny Cleary. You're watching Jewelry Maker and we have... Jake is gorgeous too, yes. Uh, ben just said in my ear, is Jake not gorgeous? Jake, they're both gorgeous, okay? You're gorgeous at home as well. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in today. If you did shop with Jake and Elle this morning, then of course you can utilise your 1PMP by clicking at the bottom of your order. The little tick box that says combine order, that means you only pay £3.95 all day long for your postage no matter how big it is there's three ways you can come shopping with us here today at jewelry maker you can get yourself on the dog and bone numbers in front of you are 800 644655 if you want to shop online but of course uh, there is a much quicker way of shopping there's a much quicker way of shopping ben in the style of the england fans just the other day what's the quickest way of shopping uh, yes tap the app it's coming home it's uh, it's available in all the usual app stores um <laughs> he's now he's now doing like crazy he's he's being a proper football lad right now so yes, you can come through on uh, the app. It is the quickest way to shop. If you would like to see all the things that you have uh, missed out on today, all you've got to do is visit the website. Have a little click on Watch Live, then scroll underneath. You'll see all the goodies that are loaded up onto your screens uh, on online. All of the things that are still available. Now, it is, we are about uh, to introduce you to Debbie, but we're having a, a little technical issue. So I'm going to talk to you about the benefits of buying kits during July. Something amazing is happening. If you've been on social media, you probably already know what this is all about. But if not, every single kit you buy comes with a free mystery strand. Strands are picked at random while stocks last. So if you buy one kit of the purple today, one kit of the, of the rose quartz today, each kit, any kit, any kit comes with a free strand. So this hour alone, we're gonna load 17 kits up, 17. So you could be getting 17, we will be getting 17 strands if you buy all 17 of them. Now, are we gonna jack up the price of the kits? No, of course we're not. Are we still gonna honor those fantastic value prices? A big fat yes! We've also got kits in our three o'clock hour. We've got loads of kits. Now, Liam uh, is saying 17 kits. And I did just say to you, are you sure it's 17 kits? Have you? Yeah, it's not. It's 14 this hour. And then there's uh, your, and then to make the 17 up, the rest of them are, um, are in the three o'clock hour. Right. Are we sorted with microphones yet or nay? Yeah, hello, can you hear me? Hello, please welcome our wonderful <laughs> masterclass guest. It's the one and only jewellery maker sensation, Debbie Debbie Kershaw. Hello. I'm so delighted to see you. Now, Debbie, <sighs> you've been a jewellery maker. For those that don't know, we've got lots of new customers, of course. You've been a jewellery maker for many, many years, and you even sell your own brand of jewellery maker kits elsewhere at a big retail outlet, yeah, don't you? Yeah, I've been very lucky to do that, do yeah. Yes, yeah. You so, might go in there and, and go through a catalogue in order to put your order in and things. Uh, so you've got, your own, uh, you've got your own range there. So you're a really established jewellery maker. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Well, I've been doing it for a long time and I'm very lucky to be able to do this for my job and just to inspire people. And I think especially in the times that we've had recently, I find it very mindful, very calming. And it's, I think it's kind of saved me at, at, at certain times. Like when I lost my mum and things like that, you know, my craft definitely was a very, very sort of therapeutic time so to be able to sort of share that with people really is an honor do you know it, it is one of those things where they say to love your job you, you don't work a day if you love your job that's very and true and you know something i do absolutely i stand by what you just said about making jewelry doing anything creative whatsoever whether you're painting whether you're making cakes whether you're a card crafter whatever you're doing if you're making jewelry it's good for mindfulness and we know this we oh, know this absolutely and if you've got something i mean i don't know this might just be me but i think if you've got something to look forward to like a project you're in the middle of whether it's crochet whether it's card making whether it's jewelry making mm. you know you can get up in the morning and you couldn't go anywhere you know you just pop into the place where you do your craft and pick your project up and you get that lovely feeling exactly you've got a, a purpose yeah, a exactly. sense of purpose and of course we have another channel called sewing street so if you are really crafty minded hop on over to sewing street and have a look at what's going on there too 
We have got some great kits for you. Debbie's going to be taking over the rest of the hour with her masterclass and showing you how to create these incredible pieces. And remember, Debbie uh, is part of a huge, probably one of the biggest UK retailers uh, here uh, in the UK, because I just said UK retailers. Um, <laughs> so, you know, she has got the credentials behind her. Now, these kits are fantastic and they give you, so you saw those wonderful looped pieces and they give you frames. Now, these frames are great for working the way Debbie's worked them, but you can also work them. Uh, they're, they're connectors as well. They are also great to use with your polymer clay and with your resins, with all sorts of, maybe your milliput could go in there. All sorts of things could go in there. They have rose gold on base metal, and you're going to get three of those in this kit. Please don't forget that every kit, including this one, will come with a free mystery strand. Could be anything, could be opals, could be diamonds for all we know, could be, could be the last strand of uh, blue topaz that we've got. It could be anything like that. Anything we've got ones and twos of are going in there. So it literally, you could hit the jackpot. Now, you're getting two strands, two strands, two tubes of Mayuki seed beads. These are 11-0 and they come in dark amethyst gold luster and they come in uh, cranberry gold luster. So both tubes are 11-0s and I love that color combination. Now you've got the rose gold that come with them. Then you also get a meter of chain, ball head pins. You've got two toggle clasps there, two pairs of shepherd's hook earrings. You've got your, um, your crimp tubes and you've got your open jump rings. So you've got loads in there onxc78 is your item code it's called berry crush now imagine you get this and you can make this piece of jewelry or what you can take little elements of that make just tassels if you want whatever you want to do you can create with this kit even though we're giving you a free strand that could in itself in essence be worth more than this you're getting this entire kit for $14.99. What if you get a strand of opal? What if you get a strand of pearls? What if you get a strand of topaz? And you're paying just $14.99. Every single kit will come with a free strand. Two seed bead tubes and they're Mayuki seed beads. We use Mayuki because we believe here at Jewelry Maker they are, they are absolutely the world's best because they're all the same size because they're all, they come in such a huge range of color and because the, the drill hole is always there in them and when you look at your project, it's all even. If you buy cheap, you buy twice when it comes to uh, seed beads, that's certainly what we feel because you look back at your projects and, and there will all be different sizes and they're lumpy and bumpy. This is an incredible, an incredible opportunity. Linda, Charlotte, Jane's got two, Christina, Maker in Shropshire, Li another Linda, Alison, Yorkshire, Corolla, you've got yours. Lots of you shopping. You're on the phone lines for this as well. Use that number one button and facility if you want to come through uh, a little bit quicker just jumps you over into the automated it's so lovely to have your company here today you can text us in if you've got any questions for debbie 78070 is the text message number start your message with the word jm studio and we'll get it out live to debbie or you could just you could just be ringing to could just be texting to tell us something up to you totally up to you so you've got those lovely frames so Liam's just saying those seed beads market retail price that's a great price for just those two each. Oh, yeah. He's not I mean, wrong. Well, in fact, let's think about this. If you go into Hobbycraft, mm. you could be going into your local bead shop. You could be yeah. going onto another shopping channel that sells crafty things. Yeah. <laughs> to get those findings alone, you'll look at... Now, our findings are real rose gold on base metal. They're not rose gold colour, no. which, which actually I think I've seen in Hobbycraft. Mm. I'm not dissing Hobbycraft. I think it's a wonderful place. It's great to go there and, you know, just have a little mooch around, isn't it? But their packs of findings, usually you have to buy all of the individual elements. They'd be about £21 altogether, wouldn't they? I think they would. Now, we'll go for gold now, and we'll go for the... So, Liam, I've got the gold with the gold seed beads and the black seed beads. So it's probably called black and gold. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's called Yacht Club. Oh, darling. Yeah. All righty. OK. So you've got... Your 11 O's, if this is the second kit you're buying together, you're getting that free strand, don't forget. You've got your 11 O's in silver lined Montana. Then you're getting your 11 O's in light yellow orange. I love those, like Hannah Montana, yeah. The best of both worlds, get it? <laughs> 
Yes, I did know she was Miley Cyrus then. Did you know she's Miley Cyrus? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't really a good disguise. When <laughs> we had a little girl when uh, Hannah Montana was on. Oh, my daughter had the wig, the lot. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Now, anyway, so here we have the gold frames again. Let's have a look at some of the jewelry. In fact, this piece here has been done with this exact kit, so you can create that. It's lovely, isn't it? See, when it all comes to life, isn't it? Debbie, if I had more of the frames, could I make quite a few of those? Or could I just have one of the frames in there and make three? Would you there could, be enough seed yeah, beads? Yeah, you could absolutely do that. Just a just, uh, caveat to say that the rose gold frames didn't get to me in time. So I've used the gold for both of the pieces Perfect, you're seeing. thank you. You will get gold with this kit and rose gold, as you said, with the last kit. Mm -hmm. Thank um, you, Debbie. But, you know, they're really substantial as well. I was really impressed. You know, when I was working with them, they're heavy. So you could put resin in them. You could have your dried flour mm. in with resin and then put some seed beads on. That would be beautiful. Um, you know, so there's so much you can do with these. I like to use them all in one piece, but of course you could just use one. That would be lovely. Okay, what? right, Liam accidentally has put this kit at 10.99. I say we just run with it. He said it's not, what, it's not an accident. Why did you say a bleep word then? Oh, <laughs> fine. He said it's Bant, so That's I thought he said something else. 10.99. What if your Excellent. strand is worth double that that you get free with this kit? XNX, C49, every kit you buy comes with a free strand. This would be the one that I'm multiplying, 10.99. That means that, if, that even if you just get these, these two for 10.99, uh, uh, that's great. Then the frames on top of that, then you've got a findings pack. I think you very much struggled to find real 18 karat gold on base metal in a findings pack anywhere outside of Jewelry Maker. Now's the time to buy it. 10.99 XNX C49. It's called Yacht Club. Uh, Claire, Jane, Victoria, Kay in Hertfordshire, two for you. Uh, ben saying he'd spend 10.99 on a lucky dip just for the strand itself. Do you know? Do you know what? You're not. That actually is a good idea. We could be, yeah. It could be Lucky Dip, couldn't it? 10.99. Thank you, Ben. Look, we're so busy for this kit, as you can imagine. You need to make sure you're checking out baskets, but I've got to get to the next. So we'll go with the next rose gold one, just to, am I shouting? I feel like I'm shouting, sorry. It's because my earpiece is dead loud. <laughs> it's my own fault, I could just turn it down, but I turned it and cranked it right up. Now. These are my favourites because they remind me of being in the garden. They remind me of, uh, you know, well, mm. it, it's very botanical, isn't it? Those mm. two together, they're very, very botanical. I wouldn't call them, I wouldn't really, I don't know if I'd call them bubblegum, but I think it's kind of mermaidial. I think it's, I think it's very botanical and I love the piece that you've, have, did you do this one out of, out of that one? Oh, apparently I've got the wrong one. You've, okay. Okay, will I change it? Yes, now that's bubblegum, absolutely. That's Okay, Coral Rose will do next. I, I'm so sorry, Liam thought I'd grab the other one. Don't worry, it's fine. It's quite amazing how when you look at them in the tubes and then if you get half of a tube of each one and tip them out onto your tray and you get the most amazing effect that you never thought you'd get by just looking at them. So I know I always say this, like cut your, your strands and then mix them up. But honestly, with your seed beads, and then you can sort of be a bit more pink or a bit more blue, or just put a few blue in and mostly pink. So you've got loads. Oh, I love that. Like why George's Marvelous Medicine, when you mix it all up. Exactly. Why didn't yes. I get those colours? They're I love, beautiful. No, and they are. They're like Hubba Bubba colours. Yeah, they are. Yeah. So that's why <laughs> it's called bubblegum. It's totally, totally relevant. I love it. So you have got... These colours, which I don't think I've ever seen. Have you ever seen these colours, anybody? Have you ever seen these colours? I've never seen... I don't think I have. Now, this is opaque pink and blue-green. I think they look fabulous together. I love those. They're £12.99. Now, remember that our plating is 18 karat gold, real gold on base metal. We never, never, never change that. If you go and buy outside of jewelry making, you'll find gold color on base metal. That means it's just like a, a metallic paint on a base metal. Now, we don't do that. We give you 18 karat gold. Let's remember the elements here and let's have a look at what you've got. For 12 99 you're getting a free strand as well. Every kit comes with a free strand. You've got those three wonderful strands. D, Z, X, C, Z, uh, 14 is your item code. We've got one more kit like this to do and then, but one more kit like this is what I mean. We've got one more kit with the connectors to do for you and then we'll take you um, through to the next ones. No, these, what, with these connectors is what I'm on about. 
Yeah, but this is the last kit with these connectors. Yeah. Yeah, we've got some different ones, yeah. There we go. <laughs> now, we've got, but the, those are the others. So the, this is the last kit with these round connectors in them. Oh, I haven't got it. Okay. Was it a secret one then? <laughs> I didn't know about, here we go. Right, so we have got another kit with these connectors. I did not know because it is not in front of me. Here we go. So we have got your connectors here with that deep dish. And remember, these could be great for your polymer clay. You could put them this way around, look. Couldn't you? That looks lovely, doesn't it? Oh, that would make a nice belt. Like those double C belts that everyone's wearing. You could create something like that out of that. I'm trying to, you know, it rhymes with Manel. <laughs> Coco Manel. Now, we're going to look. So this is my favorite color combination because it was very botanical. Coral rose, that's exactly what it is. $9.99, lovely rose gold findings again. And those three deep dish connectors, £9.99, the cheapest kit so far and definitely my favorite. I love this, this colorway, I think it's beautiful. £2.50 a component, and away you shop. I've got Barbara in Guernsey, I've got Maker in West Yorkshire, I've got Christina in the Channel Isles, Tracy in Kent, Somerset is shopping. Well done to the West Midlands, I can see you. Herefordshire, 9.99, PSX, C65. Here comes Gloucestershire, and Elaine in Newport, Mavis in Yorkshire's shopping. So is Victoria, Margaret, and Jonathan. Well done to Sharon in Somerset, H in Merseyside. You're all at Merseyside, Merseyside. And to Annette in Bel Fast, how are you, my darling? Justine in Bedfordshire. This time, Justine. Somebody asked me on my page yesterday, what's with this Bedfordshire thing? And I, you know, because you go up to Bedfordshire when you go to bed, don't you? Go, I'm going to going up the wooden hill to Bedfordshire. So when I say from Bedfordshire, Ben always goes at this time because it's not no time for going to bed unless you're a night shift worker. 18, <laughs> 17 chances. Listen, who am I to judge? You want to go to bed right now? Knock yourself out. Go. To, don't actually knock yourself out, but I mean like, go for it. Go to bed. Who cares? Who am I to judge? That one has sold out pretty much. Well done to Shayla and Sylvia and Tamina. Tamina, that's a lovely name, isn't it? That's a lovely Tamina. name. Tamina. I've never heard that before. Neither have I, I love it. Beautiful. Now, I have got, oh, here it is. Now, Ooh, I like the silver ones. They're I love lovely, the silver ones. Now, my seed beads have fallen out of their packet, so I think I've just got a selection of them. It's not a chew. It comes in a bag. Thank you. Now, you get a bag of silver uh, spacers here. They're ga silver galvanised uh, 11 O's, and you get five grams of those. And then you've got... So, this is, so you've got five grams of those. Then you've got the most beautiful pink. This is hot pink, matte hot pink. I think that's lovely. And then you've got your three silver bezels. So this is the only kit so far with the round silver. This is the only one we've got of silver in the round bezels. I've got some teardrops, but this is the only one with the round bezels. Okay, NFX C45. He's given us another fabulous price, nine pounds and 99 pence. And let's face it, Walk into a bead shop, walk into Hobbycraft, walk, go, go to any of the other shopping channels that sell crafty things. $9.99 for these three bezels, I reckon. I do, for the three connectors. What about that price for the two tubes of seed beads as well? It's just phenomenal. Think pink. NFX C45, loads of you there. Mary and Jerry, uh, Jane's got two. Don't forget everybody, doesn't matter what kit I give you, this is included, you will get a free Strand, mystery strand, Claire, Amanda, Carola, Judith, Greater London, Sandra, Linda, you've all got yours. Loads of you shopping today to grab your free strands with your kits. Now, we have got, bam, 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 bam. So number 14, yeah, I've got that. Teardrops, three teardrops. Now these are easy. Did you get these pendant bales? No. No, right. I've got the most amazing mermaid colors here for you in your light, uh, light, silver line light uh, sea foam, which uh, sea foam is one of my favorite colors. Then you've got your 110 light blue, which are opaque. I just, I love those colors. They're so mermaidial, aren't they? Very Aquaman. Then you've got three 
of your silver bezels. Now they're on base metal and again they're deep dish so that means you can fill them with seed beads and resin. You can put a photograph in there and resin. You can put milliput in here. You can put polymer clay in here. F colour. All sorts of mediums you can put into there. What about shrink plastic? You could perhaps put your shrink plastic in there too. N Z X C 79. But you don't have to fill the gap. You can go around that with seed beads. You could put a cabochon in there. Maybe you've got a cabochon. So these teardrops are 20 by 30. So if you've got a 20 by 30 cabochon, they fit 899. Okay, let's go shopping. You hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Let me just talk to you you're getting a free mystery strand. Remember, it could be topaz, it could be diamonds, it could be labradorite, it could be amethyst, it could be anything we sell here at Jewelry Maker, strands wise. Could be pearls, $8.99. This is a risk-free way because you're still not affected by our 30-day money-back guarantee, right? So you could get this. If you don't love it, send it back. Get five of these, potentially get five incredible strands, potentially worth way more than $8.99, and your quid's in, it's risk-free. I love it, you're going bananas for this, and I don't blame you. Mary and Jerry, Maker in Greater London, Suffolk's got two, Margaret, Jane, Victoria, Christine, Pauline, Kay in Hertfordshire, Debbie, you've got yours, Suffolk, Helen and Angus, uh, I have got Debbie in West Midlands, Carola, Cornelia, Alan in Cheshire, Jackie in Dumbartonshire, I've got Mary and Jerry in this one, Shropshire, Alan takes two, Cumbria, Monica, hello, Moni, uh, Monica's got this, everyone, our Moni, uh, Wendy in Berkshire, Mavis, Kaylee, and Jonathan, and takes two, Lisa in Ben. Bedfordshire. This time. Shropshire's got two. You'll miss me when I'm gone. Kathleen in Monmouthshire <laughs> takes two. Do you think when the other presenters go in Bedfordshire, you'll go at this time yeah, and then remember me for it? I will. 899, 4, 3, NZXC79. What song did Lucy sing? Brand new strand. That one. Oh, 899 is 899. Okay. I love Luce. Now. Now, here we go. Here we are now. 11 O's sea foam. I love those colors. These are a bit of me, these colours. I, teal is one of my absolute favourites. Do you Mine know what too. I keep thinking when I'm seeing those teardrop connectors as well? Is that you could wire wrap all around those so that you've got seed bead lines going Hundred. all the way around. Oh, yes, like a cross. Yeah. So yes. you've got, wouldn't that be pretty? Beautiful. OWXC54 is your item code. When are we allowed to talk about what you're talking about in my ear? Because it is very exciting. Something big is happening, but I'm not. I'm not going to be here, but it's $7.99. Debbie, Jane, Wendy, you've got yours. Jonathan, Lisa in Bedfordshire. At this time. Charlotte, Victoria. <laughs> I was like this. <laughs> that was a delayed reaction. <laughs> Phyllis, you've got yours. <laughs> Kathleen and Mom are just shopping oh. too. $7.99. Oh, WXC54. It's called Peace. Namaste. Uh, and it is very, it's beautiful. This is just beautiful. I can't get over the prices of these kits. Seven ninety nine is with a free strand. It's, I, it's lost for words. Let it's, me take a random strand wow. that's next to me here. I've got a strand of pearls here. Imagine if you get this and a strand of pearls. And these, these, do you know what I mean? This is ridiculous. What if you had the most beautiful morganite? What if you've got diamonds? I don't know what you're going to get. But for $7.99, it's pretty risk-free because this kit is worth more than $7.99, isn't it? Whatever you get is an absolute delight. Oh, WX, C54, we're really trying to give you the very best prices we can. Uh, and I think we're doing it. I know we're doing it. Margaret and Dorset's got two. Lynn and Ayrshire, Karen, Helen, Mavis, Sylvia, Linda, Barbara, Jonathan, Corolla. One more. And which one is it, darling? Is it this one here? Has it got loads of, uh, has it got loads of toggles, fancy toggles, the ones that I call the Versace toggles. They're not Versace, but I just think they look very Versace. Look, don't you think these look like so extra? 
They're so Versace, I reckon. Oh, Do you they, think they look yeah, Versace? Yeah, I've not seen those before. I love them. They're lovely, aren't they? I love them. They just look expensive, don't they? So you're getting four of those, five of those, five of those. Then you're getting three of the teardrops. Okay, how many seed bead tubes have you got down here? Yeah, okay, that's all right then. I don't know where I've got this random one from. Over there. Okay, then you are getting, again, these colors are bang on. I think Hannah must have put these colors together because they all work very well. 11-0 uh, in topaz gold and sea green. Mm. It mm, was Hannah. Mm, mm. It was Hannah, you can confirm. Yeah. She is the queen of color. Because I work with Hannah and I love working with Hannah. She's like my contact and, you know, we, we put our heads together and she just comes up with the most gorgeous color combination. She's, She's so good at it. She's such a clever lady. She's the she? Gokwan of jewelry maker. <laughs> 14.99. Remember, you've got those five toggles. You've got those three teardrops. You've got those two, both galvanized. No, one of them galvanized. Uh, and galvanized are more expensive because they got that mm. extra coating on them. This is super, super value. It's called Eden. It's just a beautiful kit. £14.99. Let's have a perusez-vous across uh, the stacker bracelets that are in front of us just here because we're going to be doing some stacker bracelets also in, in a little bit. These are the next kits we've got. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, they're all on pre-order. Don't forget every kit, every single kit you see comes with a free strand. One free strand per kit and we have got it for you. Later on, I just need to give you a little bit of a heads up because this is pretty special actually. Last Chance Saloon. And I love this and you know why? Look at the big black <gasps> diamond. Do you know, being an April baby, you never get diamonds in birthstone collections and you've got it here. That is a big black diamond. And you've got ruby, tanzanite, peridot, opal, emerald. You've got them all. But let me just tell you, it's going under £100. And you've got 12 beautiful round, brilliant cut gemstones. Including that is, is the top five. It's good, isn't it? Now, talking of good, isn't it? No, it's not good. Excellent <laughs> is what we call the wonderful Debbie Kershaw, uh, globally successful uh, jewellery maker. We absolutely love having this lady inspire us. So please let Debbie Kershaw inspire you. Hello. Hello. Now, I've been in four traffic jams today, so I'm going oh. to try and make sense. <laughs> You will. I got, I got here in time, though. Ah, you did. I'm pretty proud of myself. Right, so just, again, just to say that I didn't get all of the connectors in time, so I'm using some different connectors for the demo, um, but I wanted to just be able to show you how I connected them. So, obviously, you'll be getting the really lovely connectors. Okay. Right, so what you need to do, first of all, and I was talking earlier about just getting your seed beads and tipping them out and mixing them up, and you'll see that... <laughs> just get rid of the cat hair. There we are. Um, and you'll see that you get a totally different effect than just looking at them in the tubes. So you're going to want to load up either your fire line or your wildfire, whatever thread of your choice, with your seed beads. You could do that with a bead... He said that in my ear exactly the same. Yeah, you could do that <laughs> boost, you know? And he said it in my ear as I was saying it. Do you so know, can I just make a bit of an announcement? Yeah. We've got some fire line, haven't we, coming up later? And, oh, yeah, and I've seen that. Jen Garrett's posts on Facebook, and oh, I just wanted funny. to announce that it is coming up later. I'm so sorry. That's all right, don't worry. So, you, yeah, you can, you can um, load them up with a bead spinner. It's, it's on your screen. It's on your screen now. It's a really quick way of doing it. You basically, you have like a long needle. You pop it in. I've got two of them. And you just turn it like that. And it just loads and loads and loads. And it's super quick. And if you want to do um, any uh, crochet, which I'll be doing later on, um, that's perfect for that as well. So you can either do that. If you haven't got a bead spinner, the way I do it, I'm not going to show you because I've got time, but I'll just tell you, is I tip them all out onto my bead mat and then I take my needle and I literally just pick them up just go through like that and then push them down and that's another way you can do it of picking up your beads nice and quickly okay so you need to get your connectors and obviously in the designs I used um, three two at the top and one at the bottom and I used a layer of seed beads in between now the way I've done it is I have just used one long length of seed beads so just let me take my needle off Liam I don't suppose and I know I'm, I'm putting this on you you've got any of these in stock bead stoppers 
Okay, oh, the Boingers. I the love Boingers, the Boingers. I'm going to be using them anyway, but just see if you've got any. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take my first two and decide on the space that I want in between them. So basically how long I want my seed bead length to be. So all my seed beads are still attached to my spool here. And I'm just going to roughly measure how long I want one of my lengths to be. And then I need to decide how many strands I want. And I think I varied between sort of six and eight in my pieces. So once you've sort of measured roughly, so I'm just sort of holding it there, I'm then going to do eight times that just by folding it. So as you can see, I'm quite an organic jewelry maker. Please feel free to measure if you are more of an exact type of person, but I'm not. One, two, Let's just do four just for quickness. Three and four. Now you want to add maybe just a few more than you think you'll need because it's better to have too many. And then you're going to just drop those towards the end of your thread. So I'll get my hand out of the way for you in a moment. Right, so I'm just dropping that down towards the end of my thread and then I'm going to cut my thread. Now you want to have a length of thread at the end because we're gonna tie that in a knot. And then I'm going to add on, okay, we haven't got any of these in stock at the moment, but you know, you could use a bulldog clip or you could use um, some masking tape on there. So I'm going to pop that out of the way now because I'm going to do exactly the same again in a moment for the other connector. Okay, so that leaves us one long strand of seed beads to work between our connectors. So to start off with, I'm going to go through the first connector and then the second connector. Now there's no rhyme or reason to this, just as long as you get them through. And then just to remind you again, if you just joined us, these aren't the connectors you're gonna get in the kit. These are just ones that I'm using for demonstration purposes. Okay, so we've got one there, and then I'm going to make sure that this again goes through. And again, I'm just making sure that that's about as long as I want it to be. And I'm going to go through the connector. So that first one I'm just leaving there for a moment. But if you're worried about your beads falling off, pop on your um, little bead stopper or whatever you're using. And then I'm going to come back down and go through the bottom connector again. Now I'm doing this much quicker than it. I was just um, a lot slower at home just to make sure that I got it right. But you get the idea. And then before I sort of finish off, I'm going to sort of pull that to make sure that that's about the length that I want it. And also make sure that your seed beads don't separate. So to finish off with, I'm just going to come up through my first connector. So what I've done is I've just wound them around really. And what you want is, let me pull this one out here. You want one strand to be connecting with the other. And it's not going to take two minutes you have to have a little play with it so I'm going to push all of those seed beads down make sure I'm in frame so that you haven't got any gaps you don't want to sort of tie it and then have gaps and then these two want to meet up so that they're the same length as the other so I'm just going to give that a little pull and this is where you might need to take off some seed beads which I will do as you can see so if I want that to sort of meet at an equal length then I don't need all those seed beads. Can you see what I mean? So what I'm going to do is just remove those there and I'm going to take my two ends and I'm just going to trim this one a bit so it doesn't get in my way and you just need to double knot this thread. Okay so I'm going to do a surgeon's knot here. Okay so I'm going to go right over left just an overhand knot. And I don't bring it right down to my beads because if you do that, you tend to get those little beads in the knot and that's so frustrating. So I keep my knot quite far away from the beads and I'm gonna go left over right twice. So I'm gonna go under once, like that, and then under twice so that my knot, if I put it down on my mat, looks like that, okay? And then let's bring it into the center and I'm going to start to gently pull that knot down. Now I usually knot it so it's quite far away from the beads and then I grab my, I nearly said tweezers then, my 
pliers and I give it a good tug and it look it stop it comes together so that is a tip for knotting away from your beads so that they don't go all up in your knot especially seed beads and get really really annoying okay and then if you pull that there that's your connectors so then what I would do is just pop a needle on each one of these strands and just sew them back up the beads and then trim them off okay I'm not going to do that now just because I've I'm mindful of the demos that we've got to get through, okay? And then once you have done that, that is your first sort of connection. So then when you do your second one, you've got something to measure it to. Um, and it's literally doing exactly the same again. I'm not going to do it. I'll just talk you through it. You've got something to measure it against this time. So you can actually use this side to make sure that your strands are the same size. And then to make the side parts of the necklace, if I move that down a little bit, so you've repeated that, I just took what was left on my spool here. So let's take off the bead stopper. And I'm going to just take a length there and cut it so that I've got a nice length of beads. I'm going to take my beads down to the middle so that I've got enough thread there to knot again and I'm going to knot it in exactly the same way as I just did so once over and then twice over and then pull it down take your pliers one on each side here and pull it so it closes like that and then obviously take a needle and sew in those ends so I'm just going to trim them off for demonstration purposes like this half of my brain still on the M1 <laughs> oh I was on the M1 we oh. both got stuck on that then Oof. M1 and just today. when it, we were about to turn off it, another, it had one. another crap yeah oh. I it didn't know bad. you were behind me. Uh, yeah. I needed a wee as well. It was terrible. <laughs> so then once you've got your um, strand there for your neck part, you just put a lot. I think this is called a lark's head knot. I'm not very oh, good it's at... It's a lark's head. I'm not very good it's at knot names. And so then you pull it so that you've got... I'm just going to grab the finished one. So then I can show you the actual connectors you're going to get here. Let me move that out of the way and then we'll talk you through. So as you can see, I put longer and thicker lengths of these seed beads in between. I just repeated that here. Then I did my lark's head knot at the top and popped my clasp of your choice and repeated that on the other side. And then you've got the decision of what to put on the bottom. Now, if you notice on these connectors, they've got these little, um, these little, loops on now I only left one loop on I left one loop on and I snipped all the other loops off with my pliers just because I wanted this to move be able to move freely but of course you don't have to do that and then you're left here with your loop so that you can put on sort of anything now I don't know if you saw those buddhas that, that you know there's five strands of buddhas I've got those they're coming today Woohoo! anyway if you've got those buddhas wouldn't it be lovely to pop one of those buddhas here with a tassel love a buddha if they'd have come in time, I'd have brought them with me and put one on. But, you know, I just put a bead and a fringe, but you might just want, you know, to have three of these because they're beautiful in their own right. You might want to wire wrap in there. You might want to put one big gemstone and wire wrap it in the centre. So it's a very easy technique. Just putting those beads, tying it, tying in your ends, lark's head knot on the top, and then you've got a lovely sort of movable, very wearable, I think, necklace. Thank you, darling you Debbie. You are welcome. So, it's so easy to wear that look, and it is kind of boho as well, which I feel like is... Listen, Very... apparently the summer's coming back. I don't know, I heard on the radio today, apparently we've got a heat wave coming, not this week, but the week after. Oh, very nice. Well, hopefully, anyway, we shall, we shall hope and pray, won't we? We will. Now, we've more kits. So I've got... Two strands of little hearts. Yes, I see this. I love these hearts, I do. It's all about the stackers. Now, we've got stacker bracelets over here. They're beautiful. Easy makes. 
I'm actually wearing my favourite one. <laughs> Funny that. Look at this. I mean, if you saw Ooh, that's the, gorgeous. look at it. If you saw that in a boutique, sorry. <laughs> if you saw that in a boutique, hold on. Let me get the heart down. It look. Look. Oh. <gasps> If you saw that I in a booty, how much would that be in... Um, expensive. What's it called? Thomas Sabo. Yeah, it really is. expensive. be £120. This strand. Oh, my goodness. These are sterling silver, you know. I know. <gasps> All of these kits I'm giving you now... So posh. With the, with the stack of <laughs> bracelets are... Um, so somebody actually was asking yesterday, what is a stacker bracelet? Is it a stretchy? Is it, it doesn't matter as long as you stack it up. So usually smaller gemstones. Yeah. So if I was wearing something like this, I probably wouldn't want to stack five of these up because my arm would be pretty heavy <laughs> so i think this is the coins i've got on is probably the largest i'd go in the stacker but you've got here in this kit two very prestigious now this is a kit isn't it liam so we are classing this as a kit which means what it comes with a free strand so you're getting three free uh, three strands all in uh, in in all now i want to show you rose quartz and amethyst both Big crystal healing gemstones. We've got love and peace there. Mm, yeah. And we love a bit of love and peace, Debbie. That's what life should be all about, right? Very soothing, this one. Very soothing. If you want to be calm, if you know, if you're going through the menopause like moi, and you want, you know, and you stop here and there to do your breathing, if you have neck a uh, bracelet like this, just hold on to it. Um, you know, and just it reminds you to breathe just for like 20 seconds or something just bring your breathing down bring your heart rate down and these are the idle gemstones to just chill you out i know not everyone believes this this is what i choose to believe it's a belief rather than a fact yeah, yeah. i believe it uh, well, obviously some people don't fa some it's people not do. a fact and i wouldn't want to say my brother it's a thinks i'm absolutely absurd even for reading my horoscopes each day yeah but so, i do you know, believe in stuff but like also that. i've done courses on color therapy and these are very calming colors mm -hmm. yes okay. they are now Look at the rose gold heart and I want to show you something a little bit extra special about this heart because from the front You've got that lovely diamond cut, but look how thick it is Look how engravable this you is could stamp somebody's on that. initials right mum mm. on it Anything get your get your stamps out and stamp into it engrave into it We're gonna give you the price for the heart alone and the two strands Well, in fact three strands you're getting for free now. That is a solid sterling silver heart with real rose gold overlay, $14.99 for all three with a free strand. £14.99, TVXC52. It's called the Love Hearts uh, and it is absolutely beautiful. So out of this, you'll get at least two stretchy bracelets out of each strand. So that's four stretchy bracelets, yeah. only one with the heart in it though. Yeah, but if you're stacking, then you usually just have you one, only want one heart, then. One yeah, heart yeah, and then you just stack the gemstones. You're so right, as always. So <laughs> divide fourteen ninety nine by four, please, Lily. That's three pounds seventy five a bracelet. Come on, sell it as a stack. I've seen these at craft fairs, oh, and they have that. maybe two to four bracelets, and then they wrap a little lovely piece of ribbon around mm -hmm. all four. I know what you mean. And yes. sell it as a stack. Yes, I see it. And they just fly out yeah they're good because they're gorgeous yeah so easy to wear in the summer and beautiful and they're comfortable they are nicole you've got yours elaine leah in Berkshire. i've got victoria west midlands stacy julie Kerry, maker in bedfordshire suzanne linda two lindas hilma june kirsty lynn edith lots of you there so debbie's favorite was the multi-gem which is debbie's uh so we're going to go to that now multi-gem stone oh so liam you know that, sorry, I'm pointing at you. Um, Monica Veneda has a rainbow collection of findings like this. She's she got does. earrings, yeah. she's got findings, and they're quite pricey. So I don't know whether we can have a look at, if you look Monica Veneda rainbow, it might be under, something like that. I've laid my bracelet out on my mat now, Ben, if you want to have a look at it off my wrist. <laughs> oh, let's have a look. <laughs> The off the wrist experience, there it them. is. And yeah. how have you clasped that, Deb? So I put a magnetic on. Lovely. Um, because, you know, for me, that's the easiest clasp mm. to put on yourself. You Absolutely. don't need anyone else, do you? Quite right. Quite right. Multi gems. You have got one. in here an array of carnelian, amethyst, opal, jasper. You've got uh, some... <gasps> Appetite, you've got Isn't it loads beautiful? in here. It's beautiful. You've got golden rutile quartz, you've got some tiger's eye, you've got some quartz there. This is this is beautiful. 
Beautiful. Look at this finding. Now, if you go to Monica Veneda, you will find rainbow earrings, rainbow all sorts of things with connectors and with findings just like this. And they are very quite, very quite expensive. To be fair, for a designer, she's the lowest price of the, of the designers yeah. that I think are out yeah. there. But look at that craftsmanship. Look at all of that solid sterling silver and rose gold. GCX C37. It's called the Rose Rainbow. It's beautiful. And you've got Swarovski. So you've got that amazing Swarovski. I thought they were Swarovski in there, you They're know. They're Swarovski. They you twinkle and sparkle. And you know, you know, you're not going to be able to get hold of Swarovski for actual making no, purposes. Not. I mean, we're going to Preciosa, who are beautiful. But to get things with uh, Swarovski in now are very collectible. Really collectible. Really collectible. Right, I found two things on Monica Veneda that I think you might like to look at. One of them is a bracelet made out of pretty much, oh, sorry, it's a necklace, a very short necklace, actually, uh, made up of pretty much a strand just like this. It's 150 pounds, got a lovely clasp, and it looks exactly like something that you could make out of this strand. So it's called an amulet freedom necklace. So it's a, it's a crystal healing freedom necklace, and it's 150 pounds. You are getting that finding, you are getting uh, 30 carats in your multi-stone, and you're getting the Swarovski for 11 .99. Now, you will be able to make at least two bracelets with some left over, so if you wanted to make a third bracelet with a small element, then you can. This is such super value. 130 of these, over 70 now in unchecked baskets. Hello to Kirsty. In Hertfordshire, Nottingham, you've got yours. Well done to Stacey, Helen, Kerry, Nicole, Veronica, Karen, Christine, Elaine, Maker in Buckinghamshire, Debbie in Worcestershire. I've got Therese, I've got uh, Ellie, I've got Jill, I've got Lynn, Janice. I've got, uh, gosh, there's so many of you and your names are going bling, bling, bling. You do get a free strand with this. You absolutely do. I'm trying to find some more of Monica Veneda's rainbow collection. So it was the earrings we were looking at before, wasn't it? Uh, if you watch this show quite often. There's um, a Thomas Sabo rainbow collection. They let's have really a look at that. Expensive. Let's look at old Thomas then. I love his stuff, but it's, oh, crumbs, I couldn't afford it. <laughs> That's the thing, you, because, and I'll tell you why, I think you, with Thomas Sabo, you kind of think I could make that. Whereas, do you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. It, yeah, he's got like rainbow connectors because I'm on all of these because I like to see what... He's got a know, rainbow ring. Rainbow ring. He's got rainbow um, connector bracelet because I'm on the web, the websites of all these people, you know, the mailing list because I yeah. like to see what's out there and what's in trend. You've got to. It's the smart thing to do, yeah. isn't it? So there's, there's literally so much jewellery. Set into silver, says Liam. He's found something. Uh, 47, 279 pounds. It's lovely, but it's quite pricey, isn't it? It's lovely. Mm. You've got that look. That rainbow look is everywhere right now. It really is. Make sure you're checking out baskets. It's, we are, so, oh, that's look, about to sell out now. Oh, let's give you another one. So here we go, we've got Jasper, which is a protective stone. A st is it a stone of abundance, Jasper? Or did I make that up? Uh, not a protection, definitely. It's protection, isn't it? Uh, now, was it, I, I yeah. Yesterday I went, <laughs> um, yesterday Rose Quartz got a bit saucy. It got a bit, it was the word, it was, it was the word erotic came up and then everyone was like, <gasps> You know, it's a, that's a clean word. It's I can say that. It's love stone. It's love and passion love. and eroticism. And Ben was like, oh, stop. <laughs> Not in the afternoon on a Wednesday of all days. Now, so this is your gold. Look, I'm going to flip it over. Engrave it. Look at all of that space. It's sterling silver and 18 karat gold. Let me show you these gorgeous strands. You're going to love these. So definitely a bit of Gemma Crow there in that nutty woodland strand of four millimetres. Then you've got your lapis lazuli, but frosted. These are fantastic. I blinking love them. So lapis lazuli, we know we, we can literally 
date this back to so far, can't we? Lapis Lazuli has a huge reputation. $14.99, two strands, your connector and your free strand. This is classed as a kit, don't forget. So you are getting, so let me, let me go to my oracle and tell you about Lapis Lazuli. Yesterday we spoke a lot about Jasper, so you will have seen there was a lot of, um, a lot of blurb on that when it comes to crystal healing. And crystal healing is, of course, just a, a belief. It's not. It's not a, a fact. So lapis is an excellent stone for um, for executives, journalists, um, psychologists. It stimulates wisdom and good judgment. It's a powerful crystal for activating the higher mind and enhancing your intellectual ability. It's a stone of truth and encourages honesty of the spirit. So there we go. That's just a few things. Uh, Fourteen ninety nine. NFC <coughs> seventy eight. Next one is, do, do, do. oh, again, this is, this is really, looks a lot like that Monica Veneda look, doesn't it? So I've got Moonstone and then I've got the most beautiful gold connector. And again, don't forget, these are solid sterling silver with an 18 karat gold overlay. SQX C18 is your item code for this one. You've got all those beautiful, just sparkling CZs. Look at those colors. You've got the reds, you've got the greens, you've got all those gemstone colors there. Uh, and then you've got, Moonstone. No, it was Moonstone. It's Moonstone because it was about fertility and it was Moonstone that was about eroticism. So this is the gemstone that's said to help with fertility, said to help bond two partners together that might not be so happy. Ha happy, yeah. Uh, um, they might be a not so frisky or whatever, frolicking. Oh, Need right, I okay, right, with you. continue? Yeah. $12.99. SQXC18 is your item code. This is the one that you want. If you want to, let's get it on. <laughs> uh, now, <laughs> here we go. If you believe in crystal healing, right, Liam says this one's going to sell out really quickly. Okay, because it's lapis, yeah, because it's sterling silver and because it's got labradorite in it. Ooh. And I think how like so summary, do you? These could be anklets, not just bracelets, by the way. Look at this labradorite. Did you get this strand? I did, but I Ooh, saved la, it in case I had la. to do a demo on it. Look! It's gorgeous. I can see the flashes coming at me out of the packet. It's like staring into a crystal yeah, wall. Yeah, it's amazing. In terms, of, in terms of gemstones, in the healing world, this is a shamanic gemstone and is said to be the most magic of all the crystal it's healing beautiful. gemstones. It's, it's said yeah. to possess the, the most amount of power for the most amount of energies. And you've got the most incredible strand here. Look at that. Then you've got the howlite. Wait a moment, I haven't even shown you this gorgeous silver piece that you've got here. 12 pounds and 99 pence. This will go really well with the Moonstone kit, you know. I'm trying to grab it, come on you. Look at that. I would put this with the Moonstone kit as well, Liam. Yeah, I agree so with I. you. But Ben says his favourite's how like, so perhaps that could be more masculine. 12, now he loves the way that the grey goes with the, with the Labradorite greys, and he's not wrong. You're not wrong. But uh, you well can make done. stretches with the how like, can't you? If you want mm. to just use Anklets, the Labradorite. I was reckoning, if you've got so a brown pretty. ankle, you know when you've oh, tanned yeah. your legs or if you've got lovely dark skin? Yes. How light looks great. Yeah. Joanne, Alison, Karen, Maker in Suffolk, Erica, Karen, uh, Maker in Buckinghamshire, Lynn Takes Two, Stacey, Janine, Jackie. Hang on a minute. I paid more than that for this Labradorite, by the way. I don't understand how this one's 12 dollars right? And we've just, we've just like skipped over the fact that you're getting the most I'm amazing not kit. <laughs> I'm not moaning. I'm not, not moaning. moaning. Don't change it. I just it. don't understand. <laughs> the sterling silver element alone. No, if no, you were no. to go walk don't into Pandora and just buy the smallest silver charm they've got, that would cost you more than this. And this is solid sterling silver all the way through. It's always going to be the same. It's always going to look gorgeous. It might, you can even oxidise it if you want to. You're always going to be able to polish it up to a beautiful shine. It is a precious metal. Now, Liam says... Is this, this my second one, favourite? Appetite, yes. <gasps> this is this my is second favourite. I made a brace, double, double strand bracelet with this and still had some left. Let's have a look. Oh, this is the one for an anklet as well. Look. That could go around my ankle, Debbie. So I just frankly. that could that it, I've just put the clasp, it's stone silver clasp onto the heart, Love so the it. clasp's at the front. You don't have to do that, and you can wear that as a choker as well. It's long enough. 
I love it. Oh, I love that. I love that. I love the colour. It's beautiful, isn't it? I love the connector. I love the gemstone. So because of how we get appetite, it's connected to our, our relationships oh, with, with animals. Yeah. Because it derives it. from tusks, bones, dinosaur bones. Yeah, it's said to help us, you know, closer to our lovely, lovely doggies, perhaps, or any other animals you've got at home. ORX, our, our cats, our, some people have got parrots and birds. Look at that ORX C37, it's beautiful. Oh. Beautiful and such a fresh summer colour. Oh, it's beautiful. Even though it's grey outside, brighten up your days. The strand's been sold at $14.99 on its own before. You're still getting a free strand with it and you've got your sterling silver finding. £12.99. I think we can all agree that is a really, really super price. Maker in Yorkshire, Karen Takes Two in Dartmoor. Uh, Stacey, Judith, Maker in Buckinghamshire, Kirsty in Hertfordshire. Debbie, you've got yours. Jane, Therese, Donna, Maureen, Maker in Angus, Karen in Denbighshire. Uh, Essex, you've got yours. Denbighshire isn't Bedfordshire, Benny. You don't go up the Woodneal to Denbighshire, do you? Twelve ninety nine is your price, O R X. Uh, C thirty seven, beautiful colour though. I think these colours, these would go with howlite because I think yeah. if you put these with like another bright colour, but just imagine them with a really dark amethyst as well. Oh, that would be incredible. Oh yeah, really purple, really oh. deep, deep like Brazilian amethyst. We have got the most beautiful... Uh, now, I'm going to tell you something. I have not seen Rainbow Feldspar since I came back here two years ago. Pretty much it's my two-year anniversary soon. Um, just before I leave, yeah. Um, now... <laughs> thanks, Ben. Just swore in my ear. Um, now... <laughs> he's, a bit, he's a bit upset. Now, um, I haven't seen Rainbow Feldspar since I came back. And I've got it in my show and I've got it in the next hour for you. We don't have loads. We've got two strands uh, for you to choose between. But during the break, I want you to go back, revise all the kits that we've just uh, shown you. And remember, and all Elle's kits this morning. Did Elle have any kits this morning? No kits this morning. So all of the kits that I've just given you, I want you to go and have a look online and make sure you're making the most of that free strand. You've still got a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you don't love the strand, uh, then you can simply send it back. But I think it's pretty risk-free, isn't it? Go and have a look. But don't go too far, because I will see you on the other side of this. Join me this Sunday morning. It's going to be an amazing show. We're kicking off at 8 a.m. with a Jasper Showcase. We've got Gemma Crow with us throughout the rest of the show. In the 10 and 11, a Santa Maria Aquamarine Showcase and Last in Stock Pearls. And at 12 o'clock, we've got a Gallery Wire Outlet. It's going to be an amazing Sunday on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver, or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. You may be wondering how to buy here at Jewellery Maker. So here is a quick overview of what to do. When you see a product that comes on screen, the graphics will appear, you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk, whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. 
Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that no matter how many times you purchase, no matter how many times you check out, you only pay one postage and packaging per day. Say that you've purchased an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we've got some really exciting news. After 10 and a half years, we can finally launch Split Pay. The whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from Jewelry Maker. So you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest-free payments depending on the item's value. It's that simple. Thank you, Carols. We are so excited about this opportunity and we know that you will be as well. So enjoy this new way of shopping on Jewelry Maker. So from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Welcome back, you're watching Jewelry Maker. Did you go and have a look on our website, have a look at the kits? And remember, we've got more kits coming up in the next hour and every kit comes with a free strand throughout the whole of July. I don't know how we're doing it, but we are, it's brilliant. What have we run out of strands? What then? We just order some more. Oh, have we actually got enough strands? What if a million people <laughs> buy kits? What then? Oh, we've only got, okay, we're only gonna have as many strands, as many kits as we've got strands, oh, okay. Right. While stocks while last. stocks last, okay. Wait, while stocks last, that means that they could run out. Get your kits now. Oh. Now, Feldspar. Debbie, when was the last time you saw Feldspar on, Ooh, on our screens? Uh, not for a really long time. You're gonna love this, you wait till you see it. It's like if somebody said to me, I've got a fossilized dragon's egg, I've got rainbow feldspar. Look, 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 look. But not just that one, everyone. I'm trying to angle it so you can see. Every single one. These are flashy and fat. Can you see the, because I've got loads of green coming off this and I just looked on the screen and you can't see it, which is quite annoying. Um, but you can see, do you know what the funny thing is? This one here is the one I can see least in my eyes, I mean, in the neck with the naked eye, and the most on the screen. How bizarre is that? These are flashy and fancy. Get as close as you like. You'll see them. You'll see them. They are fabulous. I am a bit of this, Debbie. I am a bit of this. It's very much like one of those magical gemstones, again, like Labradorite and Rainbow Moonstone, where you have that kind of magic. I always exactly. say, oh, they're the magical ones. Exactly. Look at that, isn't oh, it beautiful? Oh. <laughs> Look, they're all like that though. If you, but I've got to move some of them some way. They are so, yeah, but do you know what? Liam's like, how come that's not coming across? And across? I'll tell you why. Because they all have their unique shiller and some of them want to be moved this way. Some of them want to be moved this way. You're never going to get them. Um, so I would do, I would make jewelry to the specification of the shiller. But that is, is like, Middle Earth Schiller. It's like we're in Mordor. Look at that. Isn't this amazing? I am a big fan. Hey, I don't think, Debbie, there's a lot of feldspar out there on the market for us to make jewellery out of. No, and I like making jewellery out of something unusual, something that tells a story. And you've got like a talking point there as well, haven't you? And, you know, people will ask you, when I used to do my stores, they ask you lots of questions about the gemstones. And then people kind of crowd round because most people are interesting. Even people who don't wear jewellery are interested in gemstones. Especially unusual ones like this, really beautiful. This is 
Absolutely amazing. So feldspar as a mineral is very is is very common, mm. but not rainbow feldspar. No. That, and that's something we've never really been able to get in great big quantities. Now I've got to tell you that this is going under thirty pounds today. It's not just going under thirty pounds. It's going under twenty pounds. I'm going to guarantee you this strand of 12 millimeter, 38 centimeter strands, 12 millimeter rainbow feldspar. Now remember there is a, a, an am amazing rarity to this in terms of, not in terms of the mineral feldspar, but in terms of it being cut, polished, drill hold, and displaying that rainbow. These are totally and utterly natural. And they're from Iran. Now, of course, because of the current situation in Iran, it's not easy for us to, to get gemstones no. from there. It's not easy for them to mine them. So we really have got perhaps the only strand, couple of strands we're going to have. The parcel we've received is probably the only parcel we're going to get this year. Now, that's how, that's how special this is. Have these been on before yet? So this is, I'm giving you the absolute showcase. Not only are they a jewellery maker exclusive right now, but this is a world TV exclusive. You cannot get these anywhere else. They are utterly exclusive to us here. And you're not going to believe the price. You've got to make sure you're checking out baskets. We're never going to, $12.99. You've, you've got to be as quick as you can. Because that's not even your price. We can do better. The, we've only got two strands. Remember what I said, we don't see this gemstone often. There's a reason for it. We can't get it. We can't get it in this kind of quality. We can't get it outside of its rough rock form uh, in, in any kind of quality to be able to drill hole it and polish it up like this. Every piece, now I've got to move them all quite uniquely, but every piece here is displaying the most amazing shiller. I'm getting greens and I'm getting purples. I'm getting hazes. Can you see that? It's just stunningly beautiful. And I, I'm, if you love labradorite and you love moonstone and you love sunstone and you love gemstones that give you that extra little bit of a wink, that little bit of more magic, then this is for you. This is neither masculine or feminine. And it's, it, it, I'm gonna tell you this now. I absolutely love it. I love it. And you know me, you know straight away if I love something or not. I love it. They're whopping 12 mils. I wanna use these in wish bracelets, just one in each wish bracelet. AFG, P63, this price is bananas. <laughs> we do not get this gemstone. Right, okay, when I was prepping this with Liam, he said it's going under 30 pounds. I was like, everyone, they're gonna go for that madly. Half the stock went. Half the stock went before we did that price crash. We are going to sell out of this strand today. It is absolutely unique. It is so beautiful. This is a new treasure for your collection. You've never seen it before. Well over half the stock now gone. Wendy takes two, Janice takes two. Veronica, um, I've got Veronica there in Lancashire. I've got Jackie in the West Midlands. I've got Jacqueline in Merseyside. I've got Kent with two. Anne in Lanarkshire with two. Jackie, you've got yours. Janice in Greater London with two. Julie in the Wirral. I've got Maria with two, Pete in Norfolk, Virginia with two, Kathy in Yorkshire, Leah in Berkshire, Marion in London, I've got uh, Anita, I've got Carol, I've got South Yorkshire, I've got Sandra in Surrey, Virginia adds two to a basket, Dartmoor takes three, there is a queue on the phone lines, if you hit your number one button, three quarters of the stock has now gone and sold out, we're so busy for this strand, I am so excited that you've got this, I've got a smaller strand of feldspar to bring you, this one is just more than breathtaking. Every one, you've got to move them all in their own unique way. They're beautiful, I love it, I love it. Well done to Sandra, well done to um, but Leah in Berkshire, makers who have pressed their number one button, uh, lots of anonymous buyers there as well. Loads of you taking advantage of this incredible gemstone, this wonderful treasure. And you've got decent drill holes in here as well. M mine would be, oh, shall I count them if you're doing wish bracelets? One, two, three, oh, look at that one. Sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 31, 31. Look at them. See, if I row them up there, you can see it, can't you? What's that each? 25 pence each. That's 31 wish bracelets, which I would sell at eight pounds each. Yeah. So what's eight pounds? 
What's eight pounds um, times 31? 248. That's your potato, minus your 7.99. You could, you could make a profit on that. Right, that one is now just approaching limited stock, which means it's less than 10% of the stock. It will go. Please don't forget, we've got your wildfire coming up in the show for you to get uh, today as well. Are you mad? Liam's just gone, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put that wildfire on pre-order, but it'll sell out before we come on air, I'm telling you. Don't do it. I don't think you should do it. How many have you got? It's not enough. He's put it on pre-order. I'm put the birthday set on pre-order, yeah. There's only 46. Ah. We're gonna, gonna have any products left in the hour. <laughs> the wildfire's gonna go. The minute Jen Garrett sniffs that one out, we're all in for it. She's probably done a Facebook announcement on it, as we are. <laughs> <laughs> she makes us laugh. These. Oh, they're so cute, look. What are they, four mil or six, uh, four mil? Six mil. Can you see? <laughs> Love them. Do you know, they, they are kind of, they're like a more earthy Labradorite, aren't they? Yeah. Aren't Lovely they for modulars, wouldn't they? Marlas, yes, this is ideal for Marlas. Mm. The other one could be for your guru bead, yeah. and then you could lead up with this. Get both yes. Of them. Look at that. Yeah, they're earthy. I love it. And you know what, Deb? In the summer, you can think of this as your wooden beads, put it with some turquoisey yeah. colours. Yeah. But in the winter, these are your earths. Put them with some burnt oranges. Put them with some reds. Think cinnamon. Exactly. And I just think, oh, even if you used it as your guru bead, you've got like that shiller coming off of it, which yeah. just adds to sort of the story of the necklace. That Definitely. Would be so lovely. This is one of Earth's treasures, isn't it? Now, you're going to have to be really quick. If what? Your man's gone mad. Your man's gone mad. If you don't buy these, do you even love gemstones? Three ninety nine. Three ninety tiny nine. He's as mad as a dog out the bath. That one. He's as nuts as a squirrel's what, Ben? Tummy. Uh, nuts as a squirrel's tummy. Three ninety tiny nine. This is absolutely fabulous. He is more rascally than a Jack Russell outside a butcher's. Yes, he is. <laughs> That's what you are. You wag the tail of the rascally dog there. Look. Look at what he's done. $3.99. It's a pocket money price. It's absolutely wonderful. Uh, Jackie's got three. Mary, you've got yours. Kathleen's got two. Lanarkshire's got three. Virginia's got five. Go on, Virginia. Maker and Midlands, you've got yours. Judith, Joanne, Janice has got three. Jane's got four. Gavin's got two. Alison's got four. Julie's got two. Everyone's multi-buying, it seems. Dartmoor's got three. Maria's got four. Sandra, you've got yours. Claire's got four. Maker and Surrey's got three. Three. Go on, jewelry makers. Catherine Tyne and Wear three for you. Oxfordshire takes four. I have got Stephen in Hertfordshire. I've got Anita in Yorkshire. Karen in Yorkshire. Judith in Tyne and Wear joins the queue. I have got Jeanette. I have got Helen. Surrey takes three. Kaylee in Cambridge joins us. Are we out on them punts yet? Uh, well done to Sandra in Surrey also. Um, take a punt on this, says the boys. <laughs> yeah, go on, Ben. Very funny. I love the punts. Cambridge is the most rom Cambridge is so romantic. I'm telling you. Three, it's so romantic. Three pounds and 99 pence. I can't believe that. Ben, uh, Liam said, I've just spotted something in the schedule that the Wayne's popped in. He's a rascal. Jadeite. Yes, Wayne. Wait, this isn't, look, it's the same as my Jadeite. So is it, is it, um... Where's it from? It's Burmese, isn't it? Burmese jadeite. So I'm wearing my jadeite, I wear it every single day because they say that this gemstone, so I'm giving you these, look at the color. This gemstone is said to bless whomever it touches with good fortune, abundance, good luck, success, which is why the Chinese but it's a Chinese tradition, mm -hmm. and it's and it's given as the as the gift for anniversaries, wedding gifts, new babies, anything like Lovely. that. It's beautiful as well. That strand, I love the colours. These guys are going. Jen is really lucky. I'm gonna get. I'm also very unlucky. That's why I buy. Like things happen to me. I 
are not those things that you're saying. Now, they're all, do you know what the boys are going? Can we get Debbie to make us all one? Then we can all get a chandelier. I want you to, guys to come over and we'll have like, you can come and see my chandelier and my peacock tapestry. Ooh. Can we just say, that's why I'm poor, because I'm so bad with money. <laughs> I'm not poor, but you know, like, I don't have any extra, because I just spend it. I didn't mean it to sound like, oh, I'm not poor. No, you're not, you're not poor if you've got food in your fridge no. and, you've, and your bills are paid. That's right. It doesn't matter what you've got, if you can walk into your house and it's warm and it's clean and, it's, and you can eat. You're richer and than you've three got quarters someone who loves of the world. You. Yeah. You can have as much money as you like. Let me tell you this, but if you're lonely, it's a very hard world. Yeah, I agree. We're lucky and blessed, aren't we? Even though, you know, I do live by those rules, but you will catch me swearing all the time at home. <laughs> it's like the Osborne's in my house. <laughs> I paint this picture of us all skipping around. Like, literally, me and my kids say we love you every day, but we swear at each other every oh, day yeah. as well. <laughs> bleep! Will you pick your bleeping And teenagers. Bleep up? Teenagers are just, my daughter came home from school and they had an argument within the first five minutes. This is my middle son who's 16. And so she locked him, he's got a thing, a lock on the outside of his door. So he, she locked him in his room. <laughs> and I, I'm trying to work going, will you stop it? I love that, but you'll miss it. You'll miss it. It's the noise and the bants and the drama. Anyway, we are all blessed in our own ways. This is said to be the luckiest gemstone, uh, you know, it, and, and it's said to give you the... the 300 carats, yeah. What? Oh, no. EAK Y73, Burma. Let's talk about the location. Burmese gemstones. We know mm. Burmese sapphire, Burmese ruby, the best ruby you can buy. But jade, Burmese jade is the top jade. That's the jade everyone wants. It's the true jade. And ordinarily, of course, we know most jade goes to the to the Chinese market, to the Japanese market, to Thailand uh, and all the surrounding countries because there it really is seen probably uh, it probably has more of a regard than a diamond in those countries mm. and of course it's cheaper than a diamond every household pretty much will have some jade for luck for prosperity for abundance for love for all of the things that we want to gain in our life success mm. happiness that's not your price. Are you ready? Jade. Genuine Burmese jade. Not treated, Liam. It's not treated, is it, darling? It's totally natural, because if you want crystal healing, you want it to be natural. <gasps> wow. One piece of Burmese jadeite for $24.99 is a great price anywhere outside of Jewelry Maker. It is. I promise you. $24.99. Right, let, do me a favour. Do me a massive favour, Jewelry Makers. If you're putting this in your basket today and you want to sell this jewellery on as Burmese Jade, you must get your certificate of authenticity. I want you to show your customers what you've got so that they know you have got the most sought after Jade in the world. They know that it is natural. Less than 40 chances left. They know it's natural and you can just one piece in a, witch, in a wish bracelet makes the most amazing gift. So if you want to create a whole collection of Jade gifts, People are going to buy them. If you're online on your Etsy shop, if you've got your website, your pop-up shop, you're selling at the artisan fairs, this is something that is going to be the most, one of the most remarkable ingredients on your stand, on your stall, on your Etsy page, because it is world-renowned. It is sought after, culture after culture after culture, for its incredible healing properties, for its association with good fortune, with good luck, with wealth, with prosperity, three, with love as well. If you're ever feel, do you know, if I'm ever feeling a little bit like, please, Mira, I give my jadeite bracelet a rub. I'm never without a piece of jade on at any time. You know this, you see me here, you've seen me. I do it, I do it. I bathe in it. I make sure it's in my bath. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful as well. I mean, look at the colours of it. You can it's tell beautiful. it's natural, can't you? Yeah. Boys, you can have a piece of this and pop it in the bath. We can knock the strand. No one will tell. I'm not grassing anyone up. EAK Y73. Put a little piece in your pocket and see if you see if you get good fortune. You can have some of this one. I'll snip you some off now, will I? 
The boys, are, the boys want me to snip them some off. I'll, I'll do it later. Oh, apparently they want me to give it to you to make three stretches. Um, or well, she could just do wish bracelets with cord. Somebody get the talents and cord, please. Here we go. No, I know, I'm actually thinking I'll make myself one while I'm here. Yeah, make us all a wish bracelet. <laughs> okay, who wants prosperity? I want prosperity. <laughs> I've got prosperity. I'm going <laughs> to... Who wants the wealth? It goes with my top. Go and, find, go and find nice Deb neck. some cord. She needs some cord. 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 Yeah, cord. Now I've got another brilliant healer, Rainbow Obsidian. Obsidian, if you... Now, I've been looking on Facebook and some, like, when I made my announcement yesterday, me and Al were just having a little bit of a talk about it before the show, weren't we? Some people like some things about us, some people don't. And they're quite verbal about uh, what they were saying they didn't... Every single one of us presenters got some, somebody saying something they didn't like about us. And somebody said on, uh, she hates, doesn't like watching me because she didn't say hate. She can't stand crystal healing. So this is, I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but some people love it. I get so many messages and I know it's not for everyone. I live in a household full of, like my son is like, what are all these? Will you get your trinkets out the bath? What's wrong with you? There's something, are you okay? That's what I get. And it, it said exactly like that, are you okay? <laughs> Shall I call someone? So I do know <laughs> that not everybody... That's what I get. Do you get that? Oh, I mean, yeah. I'm literally going, like, you've done it this time. Are you OK? Shall I call someone for you? Yes. I need parent line. <laughs> now, so I know. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. And I know some people think I'm absolutely bonkers and it can annoy some people. And I'm so sorry about that. But for those of you that, like myself, like Debbie, Gemma Crow's madly into it, so, so is Susie... Um, Laura Binding's madly into it, um, so is Caro, I think, you know, there's a lot of us that really believe in gemstone powers, and, and that's just because we might be a bit bonkers, I don't know. I like being bonkers though. Anyway, Rainbow Obsidian, or any obsidian, is said to help you see yourself how the world sees you, mm. which is so important. Take yourself outside of your circle and go, okay, I can be a little bit like this. I can be a little mm. bit like that. Because sometimes we get so caught up in our emotions, we always think we're right. Or we always think, you know, you know, a certain thing. Or sometimes perhaps it's that we're being too kind and people are taking advantage and we need to see that. That's true. Or sometimes we're being the other way. We're being too closed and we need to open up to people. Yeah. But the important thing is to actually recognise this, to see yourself how others might see you. And let me just tell you, two stacker bracelets with some out, uh, some extra. Two ninety tiny nine. Another pocket money price. Again, if this doesn't sell out today, I don't know for you. Surround your cabochons with this. Use this in your suitash. Use this for your um, seed for your embroidery because you can use this in beaded embroidery. Use these for the eyes of your wire work pieces. Oh yeah, that would be lovely. They could be. Fresh water pearls coming up at four o'clock. I have got your gemstone birth collection, which I nearly, I nearly just called that something else then. I nearly, nearly called that birth control collection and it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what it is. Uh, wildfire coming up. It's on pre-order. $2.99. UQG P092.99 pence for the gemstones also featured on Game of Thrones, Dragon's yeah. Glass, or Dragon Glass. Caroline, you've got yours. Lynn, Maker in Yorkshire. Jackie in Suffolk takes two. Elaine, Joanne. Uh, I've got Fiona. I've got Marie. I've got Anne. I've got loads of makers. I've got Victoria. Uh, I've got Leah in Berkshire. You're shopping. Don't forget to send us a text in. We love hearing from you. Send us a nice text now. I have got, oh, I like this a very lot. Here's how you text us. I love this strand I do. I would make earrings out of this, all those little tiny pendants that I keep going on about. I love it. I love it. Liam says this is his favorite. He puts it on all the time. I love it. Do you think earrings, right, starting from the smaller and going right down to just a pair of earrings, look how much you get on the strand. The, I mean, they'd be really long earrings. They're gorgeous. We've only got 12 of these left. Because Liam, you've got sapphire oh, and ruby wow. in here. Look, all sapphire and ruby. I blinking love this. It's lush, isn't it? It's beautiful. In the briolettes, yeah. Oh, it's bedazzling in a briolette. Look at it. Ravishing. Love it. Every colour juicy. I love this strand. Yellow sapphire, by the way, is hot to trot at the moment, isn't it? It's a hot rock right now. 
blue. Yeah, there's rubies in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it goes over to that, it goes, goes to, it's ruby red, right? It's ruby. Beautiful. Flower That's petals. That's ruby, yeah. Flower petals. Mm. <gasps> A brooch. Oh, I love these. Three by four to five by six. There are twelve. I you could make individual pendants out of these. Aren't they lovely? Right, I just I just was doing this to Liam. <laughs> these traded. Because I couldn't see it. He said, Jenny, this is the mad thing. They're completely natural. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at that Ceylon style blue it's natural there's no heat look at those ruby reds there's no filling there's no fisher filling on those there's no heat on the yellow they're completely natural get your certificate of authenticity right there why have we even got these left that's mad one pendant is you'd pay more than that for look at this yellow to get a natural yellow sapphire without any heating look at the yellow sapphire there's no heating on that there's no heating on that yellow sapphire. Look at the blue. Look how deep it is. There's no filling. There's no heat. Look at these vibrant colors. They're a celebration of life itself. There's, there's September's birth gemstone, a gemstone that's said to stir up passion, isn't it, sapphire? Passion. It's Suzanne. Passionate. Passion. We all love a bit of passion now and then, don't we? Anne in Lanarkshire. Karen, you've got yours. Lynn, Caroline in Northamptonshire. You're shopping for this. Suzanne in North Yorkshire. Uh, these are going to sell out today. 40 carats. They're beautiful. Uh, please get your certificate with those because they're untreated and that should bump the value up massively, I think. Now, oh. hearts. Always say this. One of these in a pendant. One of these is a charm. And you've got your piece of jewellery. Now you've got obsidian here. Is it rainbow obsidian, y'all? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> look. Oh, look at the shiller. These are gorgeous. That's good colour, right? And hearts, they're symbolic, Debbie, aren't they? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, hearts and stars and moons are the things that always sell and people mm -hmm. always ask for when you're doing yeah. commissions. And hearts, of course, especially if you've not been able to see people or you don't live near your family and you want to send just a little gift. And a charm is lovely with this. Handbag you know, charm, yeah. Handbag charm. Or just put a lobster clasp on the top and put it on a, on a pin and then you can sort of attach it to a bracelet or necklace as oh, you yeah. please. That's a lovely idea. Hat pin. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Be lovely for a hat pin, a bit of a fedora. YPG P61 is your item code, rainbow obsidian. These puffy hearts are 14 millimeters, spread across a 38 centimeter strand. And you're not gonna believe the price. They're 6.99, I'm gonna give them a count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 30, on the nose. 30, 6.99. What's that each then? And the fact they're hand carved straight up into a, that's 23 pence a charm. Sell them as on, yeah, key rings. Oh, you, listen, key rings are more expensive than three pounds. Yeah, they are. Liam's going, you can sell them for three pounds a key ring. You, do you know what? So just a rubbish key ring is three pounds in a card shop, right? Yeah, a yeah. rubbishy one, right? A nice key ring, 10 pound. A nice one. Cats. Hi guys, is it true that Jenny's leaving JM? We'll really miss her if it's true. It, 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 I'm not pregnant. <laughs> all, they spread a rumour that I'm pregnant and I can tell you that I'm not. Um, I am leaving. I'm not going on maternity. <laughs> um, they're such wind-ups. Listen, I've just, I, my daughter's 20. I think I've done my time. My well, son's 16. Can you imagine the gap? Not that that's a bad thing, but for me. Um, it took me 20 years to get over that. Now, um, no, I am leaving. I am, yeah. On the 19th is my last day, which I think is a Monday. 6 99 They're being very cheeky to me in my ear today, let me tell you that. John and Rita's got two. Jackie, you've got yours. Caroline, uh, Lynn in Conway. Susie, you've got yours in Will. Oh, that's our Susie. She's shopping. Terry in New Mexico. Hi, Susie. We were just talking about you. Literally just. Where, what's she saying here? Tiger's eye here. Give him a flash. All right. These will be a lovely Marla, talking to Susie. Did you get uh, Susie's Marla DVD? We love our Sue's. She's a very um, lovely lady. I, I've, 
I don't know her very well, but I always know you'd get on you too, like I a house on I fire. I just noticed that she's so giving with her talent, and yeah. she's always available when people ask her questions and that. She's and lovely. she's very kind, a little bit bonkers like us. Good, that means I like her. <laughs> and do you know she's allergic to alcohol? <gasps> is she? Yeah. And literally, once her, she went out and her husband was like, this is just a silly thing you're making up. And she had half a drink and literally hit the deck. Oh. I know. So there you go. That's not good. I tell you what, though, I bet she's always the blinking designated driver, bless her. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I bet she is. <laughs> Although alcohols, when you think about it, it is basically poison, isn't it? Because it's something you drink that makes you go funny. So probably we are all allergic to it, and that's what... I mean, this is just my theory. I am not a scientist, just... or any kind of expert. But anyway, look at this beautiful strand. Multicoloured beryl. I've got another gorgeous strand that will go in between that. QG P39, 150 carats of multi-bearer, £12.99. How good is that price? It's wonderful, isn't it? St stretchy bracelets, yes. Pendants, yes. Earrings, yes. Absolutely loads of you there for this one. Don't forget, under the Beryl family, uh, Am Amethyst, what am I saying? Aquamarine, I meant. Heliodor, that's the yellow you're seeing going around there. The Goshenite, those beautiful pink Morganites. And uh, Emerald, in fact, is also a Beryl. 12.99 XQGV39. Keep your messages coming, we'd love to hear from you. We absolutely love it. Terry's shopping from New Mexico, by the way. New Mexico, how wonderful. 12.99. Don't forget, on pre-order, and they're going under £100 and buy quite a lot. And you've got the biggest black diamond. I really want this, but I can't have one, can I? Can this be my leaving present, please? Ah. <laughs> oh, Liam said please. no. Please. Too expensive for my, for my leaving present. OK. <laughs> it's not going to be expensive for what it is. Then we have got wildfire on pre-order. How many have sold already on pre-order? Is it at the price that it's going to finish at? It's not at the correct price. You know what price it normally goes to, so I would make sure you uh, check that out. Thermally bonded and all that. Now, can we do 10, please? Love them. This is one for you, Debbie. You know we love, like, going round and round and round and round, round, round. Look. Oh. Anklets, bracelets, the design you did like that. That's very, that's the longest. Is it the micro faceted gemstones? Yeah, that's in a, the longest strand I've ever seen. Me too. This is the best. Just strand. put it over your head. Just That's what I do with it. What, just, just straight, straight, over. straight over? Well, I was thinking you could wrap them and wrap them and wrap them you as could, well. You could. But yeah, you're right. Straight over into a necklace. Oh, it's beautiful. I want this. How much is this, Liam? Look at all of that. Oh, I love it. Oh, and it's tourmaline. Wow. All these colours go so well together. So if you get one of those blocks, the crafter's block, where you go, colour, why are you my enemy? Why can't I get you? Which I do. You probably don't get that, Debbie. And people like Hannah Osborne don't get that. <laughs> um, you know, but I do. I am not. I'm, I, I panic about colour very much. I don't trust myself with anything like that or home decor or anything. This is totally, can you see indicolite blues? Oh, oh, you rascal. See what I mean? Like, you just... I've just put that straight over my there's head. There's so many different looks, and then you can now, have you the top... would you knot it as well? You could you either it knot like it, or you can get the top one and, like, pull it so that it's a choker and a long bit, or you can have two long bits. I think that's amazing. I think I might do that, that's right? So and quick. then that. Best of both worlds, in the, wor in the words of Miley Cyrus again. 152 centimetres into... Oh, I like that. I feel like a lady who lunches, because I'm all like, look at me, I'm finished. It's lovely on that black top. Really lovely. Do you know what I mean? Can't take a close-up of that, because it's too chesty. <laughs> oh, no, and now I've gone on my microphone. I do apologise, everyone. Here we go. Don't worry, I'll be gone soon. Now. <laughs> <laughs> HTP 005. Every I'm not time letting I you go. You. Oh, I know, but I'm going to... I'm not letting you go. It's <laughs> as simple as that. Um... There we go, I've got it off. I'm so sorry, mm. I do apologise. Twelve ninety nine. No, you've got more than four strands. How many, okay, hang on a minute. One hundred and fifty two centimeters. Normally we, we're thirty eight centimeters. So that's four strands. Bang on, is it? See, you can't go wrong with that. 
What's 12.99 divided by four? Three. <gasps> three, thirty, three. Three, thirty, I masked. Ben, I masked. Without you and your calculator. Oh, 3.25 apparently. Oh. Oh yeah, because it's four, not three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, close though. I was close at mathing, wasn't I? Nearly mathing. It was a near hit. Now. <laughs> Uh, Lynn, you've got yours. Maker and Greater Manchester, you've got yours. By the way, everybody, have I told you that I'm brilliant at golf? One lesson. Mm -hmm. Apparently, I haven't stopped going on about it. Yeah, she, my daughter was fuming. <laughs> uh, now, barricade the doors, <laughs> lads. Don't let the bonkers one out of the building. <laughs> this is Cersei, this is. Uh, we will miss you. Thank you. Uh, but all the very best with you. Thank you very much. Cersei in Cheshire is the most amazing glass worker. She literally is fabulous. Sarah, send us your website so I can tell everyone what it is. Because this lady is not only the most amazing lemon drizzle maker, she is also... I'm telling you, Sarah sent me some lemon and drizzle when I broke my leg on another channel, right? Well, it got yeah. me through. She put glitter on it and everything. Aww. And it was in a Highland cow. It was, uh, the boys were all like, tell us, send me some to get me through my life. The lemon <laughs> drizzle was the best I've ever tasted. And my mum will be offended by that. But it was next level. The woman's a genius. And she also made the plaque that goes on my, so in our house, our um, motto is be a salmon. Like, don't swim with the tide. Swim against it. Get stronger. Um, don't get eaten by a bear at the end of it. And don't just flop up and give up. Be a salmon. Swim against the tide. So she made a plaque that's, um, that's in my house. It hangs from the wall and it says, be a salmon with a salmon on it. Oh, and some people absolutely love She's just it. a gorgeous human being. Yeah. And, yeah, so that's my family motto. That and have a great Dave. Your family motto is not really very inspiring then. We've got very Try really hard ones. at life and then get um, not in the right place where you want to be, says Liam. Liam's being a very, you're being quite sad today. I feel like we need to, and you're really, really, you know, you're really hard working. So let's not have this. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't pick the right one off. I do apologize. Oh, let's bring these saucy saucers. Does tourmaline remind you of like stained glass windows in a cathedral? Yeah. Oh, I love it. I haven't been to a good cathedral in ages. Is it bad that I just love churches and cathedrals? I just love them. I love the smell of them. I love the windows. I love the music. I love everything so about do I. them. If you come to Yorkshire, you've got to go to Haworth, to the little church there, and to York Cathedral Minster. Oh, I'm going to go. It's amazing. I've never been there. It's be oh, you stand there and it's just like the light coming through the windows. It's colours like this. It's just beautiful. The only place in Yorkshire I've been is Doncaster. Oh, to the race course? Yeah. My of son course. was there yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I need to go. I did the craft show out there for a couple of years. Oh, yeah, of and course. It's massive, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Seven ninety nine for this YMG P zero seven twenty two carats of multicolored tourmaline. These are perfect for doing the uh, hoop earring designs that everyone's been doing. Now, my darlings, let's give you... Hey, Mickey, you're so fun, you're so fun. <laughs> oh, no, I don't know what I did with it. I put it somewhere. <laughs> what does it look like? I never, I don't know. I put it to my left, apparently. Ah, no. Oh, I put it in here. What were you doing? You're, why are you, I don't want an extreme close-up. Don't, I haven't. It just felt dramatic. I know, but I feel like there's not enough Botox and filler in the world for you to get that close, I'm afraid. I don't have that either. I can frown, I promise you. <laughs> I need to have it. Look, I can frown. Multicolored beryl. These rondelles are beautiful, and they would definitely go with the pearls. Wait, I've got tourmaline. You've got... The beryl is here in front of me on the, on the doobry. I've got it. We've got it, darling, don't worry. It's all right, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. We're all all right, we're peace and love here at Jewelry Maker, we're peace and love. Oh, look how feminine this is. Lovely and soft, very, I always say this with Beryl, but it's the, it's the probably the gemstone collection I'd wear to a wedding. Yeah, it is. Colors it's of confetti. Bridal. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I really want to go to a good wedding. Can someone please get married? Not you again, Ben. 
XEGP87. <laughs> After the last time. <laughs> He's like our Ross from Friends now. That is you, Ben. <laughs> 4 99 for Beryl Aquamarine. We have got, I say that with jest and nothing but actual love for my lovely crew. We've got Morganite, we've got um, Aquamarine. Are you waving? Yeah, you're waving gleefully, look. <laughs> there he is, Ross, I mean Ben. Uh, 4.99 XCG, a P87. Aquamarine, Heliodor. You've got Morganite in there. You've got Goshenite in there. Just a wonderful collection for a tiny price. I can't believe this price, actually. You know something? Anklets, stacker bracelets. They're so feminine. They're so gorgeous. And you've got a lot of myth and ledge behind there as well. If you want to know, Judith in Bedfordshire. At this time? Terry's in New Mexico. Kaz has got five. Virginia, Natasha, Pat, Lynn. You've all got yours. Never be... Is this the lowest ever price? Why is it only 4 99 What happened? Was it in the clearance or something? You just decided. Okay. It was a special, special selection. Okay. Really good. Fantastic. You can feel it getting warm, you know, in your... So I've got a lot of Morganite in mind. So let's have a look at what... And again, if you don't like crystal healing, avert your eyes and ears. Not eyes, but definitely ears. Ben, you are into it. He pretends he's not. And then when I say something is good fortune, he asks for it. You can't have it both ways, I'm afraid. <laughs> you are all after a jade bracelet. Now... Wearing Morganite evokes a sense of peace. That's lovely, isn't it? Okay, boys, do you want to listen to why you might want to have this then? Wearing Morganite, especially in gem form, evokes a sense of peace, joy, and inner strength. Worn for extended periods of time, so in a bracelet, for instance, it can encourage a growth in confidence and power that comes from constant awareness of the connection of the divine love. Now, it was named, of course, as we know, uh, after J.P. Morgan, the American uh, banker in t it, that was working together with uh, Tiffany & Co. It's said to encourage fair treatment of others. It's uh, a crystal that is supportive for girls entering into that certain uh, teenage time, um, especially if they do not have a mother and, it, um, and also young mums uh, who are struggling. Uh, Morganite is a gemstone that may assist our understanding of the aspects of love that when implemented could be used to heal and maintain the earth. Um, so this is, this is lovely, a lovely meaning behind this one, isn't there? A lot of, a lot of calmness and again, love and support stone. Uh, Susan in Essex, you've got your Suffolk antics too. Lynn, Natasha, Judith. Uh, Judith's in Bedfordshire, guys. At this time. Thank you. Constance is in Devon. I love, I love Lucy behind us at this time. Uh, <laughs> Nikki, you've got yours. Rosamond Joe in Cornwall. We could be in Cornwall right now, couldn't we, Dad? Oh, I love Cornwall. That'd be a bit of us, that word. My brother lives in Cornwall. Does he? Yeah. He does now. He's got a boat in Portugal. Is that your brother who's married to Martha? Yeah. Who I spoke to a couple who's of days ago. Who's staying in my house tonight. Oh, she's lovely. Who spoke to she, you? Yeah, oh. yeah. She, no, on, on, I'll tell oh. you later. <laughs> okay, I'll see her tonight. She works on another shopping channel. Yeah. Oh, does she? Yeah. My sister, yeah, my, um, my sister-in-law works on another crafty shopping channel. She she's, used to work for us, didn't well, she? Well, she was my producer and she met my brother when I was working for the different channel. And I knew they'd hit it off. I knew I was creating a monster, and I did create a monster. Oh, so a lovely. horrible monster I've created, <laughs> where they're in the room, and you just wish you were like... Oh, really? Oh, I love your brother. He's so handsome. And I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? Oh, uh, so I'll nice. tell you what. We'll get over that with a star by. Oh, sorry, something a bit rude happened then. Now, we're going to give you... Are we doing this now? Tiger's eye first. Okay. Okay. Okay, darling. Okay. That'll be at the top of the... That'll be after the break. Okay. <laughs> 
Now these are a little bit sensual, look at them. Tiger's eye, natural, just the way they move, look. If we could move like that, all sleek and sophisticated and move, I wish I could move like caramel, like these do. They are just, there's something just a little bit sleek about these, a little bit sexy about them. They could be masculine, they could be feminine. They're absolutely mesmeric. You wanna look at them, you wanna see the way they move, they almost sachet with their amazing, Schiller that they've got. These are fabulous. The Chatoyant gemstone, it, it moves around like an eye, like the Mona Lisa, but in a gemstone. It stares with you, it follows your gaze. Now these are four millimeters. Now the blue ones dyed or are the blue ones natural? Okay, it's natural, which is, again, a rarity to see blue tiger's eye naturally. Uh, these are, have you ever made a chakra bracelet? Because if you have, you'll, have, you'll know that tiger's eye is included in the chakras. But if not, I would make a chakra stacker. That's what I'd do. And I would use that obsidian we had earlier for your base, your black. Look how special these are. This is a great sensory bracelet. Twist it and yeah. turn it and just get lost in it. Whether you believe in, you know, kind of healing or not, the fact is that you can get anything that you can sit and get lost in. So like in a trance with, take yourself out of the zone. Just look at it. That's mindfulness, that is. My mum used to get, can literally go into trances like that. She's the only person I've ever known. I actually thought everyone did it. She'll literally be there like this. Be like, sorry, I'm in a trance about seven times a day. She's always done it since I'm, no, because I'll be like that. Mum, oh, sorry, I was in a trance. She suddenly literally just does this. Is that normal? Yeah. Do you do I, I I've never go I, in a trance. Yeah, I've done that. And, and it's really relaxing. You don't want to move your eyes and then someone's talking to you, you just want to stay like that. She does it all the time. She's chilled, your mum. But I, I was her kid, so I never stopped talking. So she must've just thought, <laughs> please someone help me. <laughs> <laughs> the woman's exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Poor old Mary Cleary. Um, no, I was the youngest as well, and I was uh, definitely problematic. So, yeah, maybe that's what... But, um, but instead of my mum going into a trance, perhaps I could have given her a bracelet like this, and she could just get lost in that for a minute. Just get lost. Just take yourself away. Get yourself absolutely entranced by this gemstone. 40 carats of yellow and blue. Natural tiger's eye for 2 dollars Wake up to that price. Get this in a basket. If you don't get this, do you even love gemstones? If you can afford it today, make sure. Have you paid your PMP already? If the answer is yes, here we go. This one goes in your basket. No extra PMP to pay. This is brilliant. Hang on a minute, right? So even if you made just two stretchy bracelets with some left over. Hang on a minute. Right, so if you get 10 of these, you make probably 25 stretchy bracelets. You sell those stretchy bracelets for five pounds each. What's five times 25? That is 125, yeah? Is that correct? Right, so that's pure, that's um, an amazing profit. And Tiger's Eye is, you know, you see it on a lot of the gents' jewellery. Yeah. You know, if you go into, I like to go into um, TK Maxx and Home oh, Sense. I'm obsessed with it there. They, they do some lovely jewellery. Mm. And the men's jewellery often has the Tiger's Eye in it. And, you know, $16.99 for yeah. a bracelet is good because it's sort of a, a lesser price than actual designers. And it would have started out much more expensive. It would have started out maybe this 30 This is my favourite thing about TK Maxx. was £400, pounds, now 20 yeah. And you're like, huh. Yeah, I'm going to tell everyone it was four hundred pound. Well, how comes that this is so inexpensive? <laughs> I mean, two ninety nine for actual know. gems. I don't know how we've done this yeah, to be fair, because actually crazy. it shouldn't be this price. Okay. Heather's got two. Lisa in Bedfordshire. At this time. Heather in Essex takes two. Uh, Maker in Greater London two for you. Devon, hey, listen, don't worry. If it's getting on your nerves, that I'll be gone soon. Conway, you've got four. Pull, I can really pull on that card, can't I? Don't worry. I know I'm annoying, but I'll be out your hair soon. Uh, Anne-Marie, two for you. Linda, Sandra, you've got yours. Charlotte and Devon, Gillian and Essex. Anne-Marie, uh, did I say you, Anne-Marie? Caroline takes two. I have got Lucy there. Paula, you've got yours. Veronica and Lynn, uh, loads of you. Leah, you're there, Derbyshire. Glenda's shopping on the phones. Lavinia. You've got two. That's a gorgeous name, by the way. Uh, Angus, you've got yours. Debbie in West Midlands, you've got yours. There's so many of you there. We're going to leave this one with you. We're going to leave one now? 
Oh, in two seconds. Valerie and Cyril in Greater Manchester take two. Derbyshire take two. Uh, Angus, you've now got three. Well done to Valerie. Edith, Cersei and Cheshire's shopping. There she is. Two for you, my darling one, to go with your lemon drizzles. Wonder if she's still baking those lemon drizzles. Uh, Valerie and Cyril, it's all about the glass now for Sarah and Cheshire. She's too, truly talented. Now, we will see you with this. I've got something on my elbow. Uh, you just wait. You just wait. A big fat diamond, a big fat ruby, an amazing tanzanite, a sapphire, an emerald, and more after this. If you have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewellerymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Join me this coming Friday morning live on Jewelry Maker. At 8 a.m. we have an under five pound super show. Coming up in the nine o'clock hour, we've got a big five showcase and join myself and Dave Troth from 10 o'clock bringing you the very best Grand Didierite and Garnet. Don't go anywhere, we'll see you then. Did you know that we are live every day from 8 a.m. through to 5 p.m.? We can be watched on Sky, Freesat and Virgin. You can also watch us on Freeview SD from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. and Freeview HD from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Or you can join us online at www.jewelrymaker.com or download our app from the App Store. Join me this coming Friday morning live on Jewelry Maker. At 8 a.m. we have an under five pound super show. Coming up in the nine o'clock hour, we've got a big five showcase and join myself and Dave Troth from 10 o'clock bringing you the very best Grand Didierite and Garnet. Don't go anywhere, we'll see you then. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Join me this Sunday morning. It's going to be an amazing show. We're kicking off at 8 a.m. with a Jasper showcase. We've got Gemma Crow with us throughout the rest of the show. In the 10 and 11, a Santa Maria Aquamarine showcase and last in stock pearls. And at 12 o'clock, we've got a gallery wire outlet. It's going to be an amazing Sunday on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, we have a new Facebook group dedicated to sharing your makes and jewelry making advice. To join the group, simply head over to the page and hit request. You'll then be able to share your designs with our JM community and join like-minded people. Create, wear, share. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence.
This is my favorite box full of gemstones bar none because you've got every special one in there and because, hands up if you're an April baby. How many of us are fed up with getting glass instead of our actual <laughs> gemstone or something that is not our birth gemstone just because our one gemstone is our one gemstone for our birth gemstone is diamond and then they start making things up like oh you can now replace diamond with oil for April no it's diamond just give me the diamond now that's what I'm going to give you right now. <laughs> you never see it in gift shops. You never see diamonds like this outside. It's more than just the diamond, a great big flawless tanzanite, the most beautiful citrine, an aquamarine, the most amazing rainbow moonstone. Hayley Kruger designs you can design with these uh, because you can do your tube setting. Look at this ruby, the ruby is oof. And the designs that Hayley Kruger did the other day. Ooh, la, la. Size of the black diamond. Size of the ruby. Look at that sapphire. Look at that aquamarine. Look, look at this. It, right, now can I just say something? When you put an opal on white <gasps> with a thing it. on top of it, it's not gonna be as fiery as in real life. That, is a fiery, feisty, beautiful, beautiful opal. Citrine for November. Peridot, look at that gorgeous emerald. The ruby just wants to get in my life. Then you've got the most amazingly deep, deep blue, uh, blue, <laughs> red garnet. So there's your aquamarine, there's your moonstone. There's your amethyst there. There's your blue sapphire. There's your tanzanite. It's flawless. This is some hot collection and I blinking well love it. I love this collection. We've only got 40 of these left. Look at that. Look, look at it. Look. Really, we should be singing opera as this goes around. Really, you should be, you know when you go into church, talking about this earlier, and a choir starts singing. That should be happening right now as you see this spinning around. We should be on our hands and knees, just not begging for forgiveness, begging for the opportunity and probably a bit of forgiveness. Uh, now, you've got 12, of course, five millimeter gemstones. That black diamond alone. Right, now let's, let's just get a little bit serious. Now the black diamond, is it a natural black diamond? The black diamond alone you would pay the price of the whole lot. For the tanzanite alone, you would pay the price of the whole lot. For the opal, for the ruby. Look at that emerald. Oh, I love this. I love this opportunity. I really want this. The guys aren't having any of letting me have it though. Isn't this the bomb? This is literally the mic drop of deals that we're about to do. Are we ever gonna be able to better this? I don't know. You've seen it before, but these are the last remaining 40. And we're ready to shop. If you had this before, you've already used some, maybe you've used your tube setting, maybe you've used Hayley Kruger's mounts, then you want to replenish them. If you've had this before, or have you missed out the last time they were here? Here is your final opportunity. Your final call for the birthstone collection. This will be the last time we think that you're gonna see them. You've got a Zambian amethyst, they're all five millimeter rounds. You've got a red garnet, an aquamarine, a black diamond, a Sakota emerald, a rainbow moonstone, a ruby, a peridot, a sapphire, an Ethiopian opal, a citrine for November, and a tanzanite for December. At this price, that's still only 1566 a gemstone, and it's not your price. And yes, I'm gonna give you split pay as well. Let's talk about a diamond for 16 pounds. Can I look at the carat weight of each one? Well, I can measure it. I've got a, I've got a doobry. Where is my doobry? Well, I did have a doobry. Doobry. It's. Oh. I got it. I mean, I went round the houses for it, didn't I? Now let's have a look. 
let's look at the carrot way. It, different gemstones weigh different things, so of course it's taped together. I mean, if, why wouldn't it be? Do you know what this is? It's an anti-cleary seal. I'm trying to go open for you, jewelry makers. Oh, now I've got my lipstick all over it. Sorry. <laughs> 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 now, sorry jewelry makers, it's literally that this is clamped shut and I really would like to get a carrot weight for you. Ben, me. Ben. It's grand. I just want to, because I think that diamond, if you were to buy that anywhere else, you're looking at at least £100. So beautiful, aren't they? It's a black diamond. The tanzanite, insane. I can't wait for you to get this. And <coughs> let me just talk to you about split pay while Ben opens the box. Because we don't do checks or anything like that. All we ask you for is a debit card or a credit card registered to a UK address. If you've got that, you can split the payments over that credit card or debit card. So we don't do any, so if you've got that, then you're eligible to spread the cost. And by the way, we don't charge you any interest and we don't charge you a fee to split the cost. He's only gone and done it. Now, we're just going to have a look at a tanzanite. Shall I, shall I weigh the tanzanite then? Then we can give it a good... You've got... What is that? Half a carrot? Yeah? Right there. Oh, I can't see this because the batteries are running low on it. Hang on, ounce. It's going well, this. Grams. They're all five mil. Carrot, right, I've got it, carrot. Guess what it is? Bang on half a carrot. Wow. Bang on half a carrot, tanzanite. Okay, then I'm gonna do that. So I reckon they're all half a carrot, aren't they? Seventy points. That's nearly three quarters of a carrot. The black diamond here is seventy points. Oof. Let's go in on the on the uh, emerald. Different gemstones are different densities, which is why they can be the same size and weight. Imagine if we had an amber in here. That'd be light as a feather, so it wouldn't be anything oh, near right. a carrot. Forty points on the on the emerald because some people might be. Hang on a minute. How come that's half a carrot? How come that's that? Because different gemstones are different densities. How they're cut. sixty mm. points. How they're cut. Well, they're all round, brilliant cut. You see. Um, now you've got sixty points on the ruby. This is mad. The madness. They're all. A bit, they're all at least half a carrot. At least. And that's not your price. Do you know, I mean, I can get a certificate of authenticity with these, can't I? Right, if everybody checks out, just so you know, we're over allocated. Six pounds, 66 of gemstone, if you wow. want to take these all apart and sell them separately on your stand, maybe you've got a rock and gem fair, that's your prerogative. We don't have angel policies with gemstones. They're from Mother Nature, we can't. 2666, KDC, I20, uh, sorry, I47 is your item code. You've got to shop smart, you've got to shop quick. We are over allocated already. I've got Julian Ayrshire, Kathleen with two. Christine, you've got yours, Lynn and Conway. I've got Joanne with two, I've got Shelley with two, I've got Lisa with two. Pauline, you've got yours, in fact, you've got two. Lynn in Hampshire, Carola's got two. Lynn, you've got yours. Karen in Dartmoor, you've got three. Karen's got one, Fiona's got one. One. Jackie's got one, Kathleen's got one. You need to, Kathleen's got you, sorry, you've got three. My mistake there. there was, I, I thought there was two Kathleen's, there's not. Uh, now you need to be quick. Teresa joins, Shelley's got three. We, we are aware that we're, we are totally and utterly over allocated, particularly as most of you have got more than one in a basket. Now is the time to be checking out. Uh, I've got Nala, you've got yours. I've got Carolyn Norfolk, you've got yours. 
Sorry, it's Nula, isn't it? Uh, Shelley's got three in a basket. Listen, we are over allocated by a mile and a half. You've got over half a carat of precious gemstones here, a black diamond, a beautiful tanzanite, a peridot there sparkling away, the most amazing uh, opal that you can see, a beautiful emerald, a gorgeous ruby. Uh, the depth and legs on that, uh, on that garnet is something else. The tanzanite is breathtaking. They're all breathtaking. Citrine there too. Uh, sapphire there, of course, also. What am I missing out? Anything? Uh, you've got Got all of that, all of that for just 26.66 today on split pay, 18 left. Uh, we're down to the last 17 now and I've got, these are my unchecked baskets. Mary Lynette, Teresa, Shelley with three, Lisa with two, Pauline with two, Hampshire, Corolla with two, Lynn, Karen, uh, two Karens, Fiona, Jackie, I, I need you all to check out, otherwise you are going to miss out. 11 chances now and I've got way more than 20, in, how many in baskets? All to, I can't work it out because there's so many people with threes and fours. 35 in baskets and I've got nine left. KDC I 47, 79.99. We are so, so over allocated. We are very limited stock on this. Debbie in Worcestershire joins the queue. Teresa joins the queue. You're coming through on the phone lines now as well. Hit your number one button. Uh, we are really badly over allocated by a mile and a half. Uh, six chances, five chances now. Who's gonna take the luck? Jane joins us now too. So so does Elaine, Rachel's in, Mary's in, oh my gosh, how many are we over allocated by? Loads. I'm so sorry that a lot of you are going to be disappointed and not, uh, not get yours. Jane's taken two, Jane took two. Uh, we have got three remaining now, 79.99. And I've got, Lisa, you've got three in a basket. So that's, these could all three of them be yours. But equally, I have got other, uh, Corolla's got two in a basket. Fiona's got one in a basket. Uh, I have got Lynn with one in a basket. Jackie with one in a basket. Uh, I mean, you're all gonna miss out. If you don't, two left, that's over allocated. We're gonna let that sell itself out. Now, a lot of you have been looking at Debbie, uh, Debbie's beautiful piece that she made on uh, social media and you, uh, we've had quite a few, quite a few of you asking when that kit's coming up. It is coming up now. Have a look at that showstopper piece. Oh, isn't it fabulous? Now, I'm gonna give you the wildfire because it is selling like wildfire. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Black. Is, was it bad? Am I the only one that's ever done that joke? Probably not. I thought it was all right. Family bonded wildfire. 50 yards. And it's uh, your, no, uh, it's your point 0.15. 7 pounds, 99 pence. Already half the stock went on pre-order. NIB N94 is your item code for that one. Loads of you coming in uh, and grabbing twos and threes and fours. I see you. Uh, one of the utter essentials of your jewelry making in black. Great to go with your needle projects. Great to go with your bead embroidery uh, and so much more. Uh, of course, your seed beading. Lady Garrett's probably got this in the droves. Seven ninety nine, dollars uh, but she does funny memes that are like, wake me yeah. up when the wildfire's back on, or the, yeah. not, uh, the both of them, it doesn't, uh, which was the other one we sell, it's not wildfire, it's fire, fire line. line. Mm -hmm. They're both very similar. Um, here we go, what's this in weight? It is, I don't know what it is in weight. 10 pound fire lines, it's gonna really hold on to those heavier projects. Seven pounds, 99 pence, NIB, N94. Now, it's time, it's kit o'clock. It's what it is, which one first? So, DLXC67. This is the main event, I think. This is the one you've been waiting for. Well, you had cord with your kits. We haven't had cord with kits in ages. And these um, necklaces, these crochet necklaces with the cord are so big. I've seen them on the H&M website, on the Zara yeah. website. I've seen them wrapped around journals as journal decoration. Oh. Um, so, you know, you can you obviously use the um, S-long thread separately, but if you want to, you'll have gemstones left over. So you, there's loads you can do with this. Fantastic. I love that you've got cord. We haven't seen cord in kits for ages we haven't had cord in stock for a while actually mm. and it's been because everyone went mad for macrame over lockdown yeah. Yeah. it's so easy then you've got your wisteria i love the gray and the purple together you've got your wisteria there um, which is actually called orchid lined crystal atos then you've got your galvanized pink 
I really love this kit. Again, great colours. But when I looked at that, I was like, oh, that's nice. But when I tipped the seed beads and the Labradorite out together, and then if you have a look at the necklace and you look at the tubes, it's completely different. Yeah, do you know what? You're right. It casts... Yeah, you're completely right. Look at that there, going round on your spinny spinny. Now let's look at that necklace. And it almost brings it... It's a... You've... you've you're literally, you've breathed life into that like Aslan. Look. Can you see how it looks completely different when you've put them all together? Definitely. And tipped them out and just put them all together yeah. than they did in the tubes. You're and getting the depth, you're getting the softness, yeah. but you're getting the pop as well. It's great. I love it. I love it. Rose quartz. You've got, uh, oh, this kit comes with a free strand, as does every kit oh, as well, don't forget. Yeah. You've got your Eslon thread there as well, which is 0.4 Eslon. So you can do your micro macrame with that. You can do skinny kumahimo with that. DLX C67. Liam just went, oh my days. These prices are insane. Um, Liam's looking for the H&M piece that Debbie's... I, I came across it yesterday when I was just browsing their clothing. Just go into their accessories or their jewellery. They don't actually have a lot of jewellery in there. Um, and it's a, like there's a mod on. She's wearing just a long um, Eslon crochet necklace. I doubt it's gemstones on there. And, there you know, I, I didn't look at the price. I really I like H&M, I do. So do I. Yeah, yeah I really it's do. well trendy. And I like the prices on yeah, too me bad too. in there as well. Yeah. But it's just very wearable and, and obviously if you're wearing a crochet necklace, it's comfortable against the skin because mm. it's light. Mm. Exactly. We are going to give you such a brilliant price, says Liam. I don't know what these are going to I don't know to. either. Mm. <gasps> How can you do that? Two gemstone strands you pay $12.99 for. They're both endless strands. I'd say that for the laboratory. You exactly <laughs> two strands, two tubes of seed beads, That's and the Eslon cord, and your free strand. You'd have thought we'd only be doing high end kits because they all come with a free strand. And I've seen some of those free strands, and I have seen things like Opal and Topaz going in those free strands. Twelve ninety ninety nine. You've still got your thirty day money back guarantee. If you want to risk it for a biscuit for your free strand, I blinking well would. Dove Grey, twelve ninety nine. We are absolutely flying, buzzing, busy for this kit. Three ways to shop: 0800 644 655, if you're shopping online. But of course, you can open up the app and tap it. Make sure you're checking out Basquets. Dove Grey with your rose quartz and labradorite chips. Jane, Alison, Christine, Veronica, uh, Maker in West Yorkshire, Beverly and Stamps, Debbie in Worcestershire, and you've got yours. Maker in Kentucky. Oh, I'd love to go to the Kentucky Derby. Oh, wow, yeah. So badly. Kaylee and Kames, you've got yours. Leah in Berkshire. I've got Lynn in Conway. Kathy's in Florida. Oh, I we are go globally for busy. for that. Because Neither can I. you've got two strands of gemstones that you use all the time. I mean, that's two of my absolute favourites. Mm -hmm. And two lots of seed beads as well. That, and, oh, and cord, I forgot about the, got cord. the cord. Do you know what? This doesn't help us if for the future when we've got normal <laughs> prices, because these aren't normal <laughs> prices. So these are really, uh, these are discount prices, basically, aren't they? So when we go to normal prices, you're all going to be like, I'm not paying that. Because you'll think that this, is, this isn't real. I, this isn't a real price. I mean, these are real gemstones. This shouldn't be real, the price. Which one next, darling? Every kit. I'm going to do this one because I love the combination. This is one of my favourite combinations ever. VHX C64, Peridot and Garnet together. Oh, I oh, love yeah. them. Beautiful. I love them together. You could do like a Christmassy type design with this, like a Christmassy type flower, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. So you could do like a Ponsettia or <laughs> some sort of Christmassy flower. So that would be lovely. I just love this kit. Then look, right, I'm going to give you something that we don't get often that gets snapped up. Seed bead pearls. Oh, you've got yeah. the pearls in there. So you've got the seed bead pearls, which literally are like gold dust here. But look at this ruby colour. What, what size are these, Lily? The ruby colour ones? They look like eights. I think they're eight O's, aren't they? Let's see. Matte ruby seed beads, eight O's. You were right. But then your S long cord in ruby as well. Oh, that's so I love yeah, this kit. Warm. I love it. I went straight to it. I love my greens. I love my reds. I think this is beautiful. And, you know, you are starting to think it could be Christmassy. Yeah, it could. But all used separately, they could. 
$12.99, I just don't get it. But you've got seed bead pearls in here. They're more expensive than normal seed beads. And these are things that you collect. They're not often on air because they sell out. So look at that ruby color. Oh, I oh, love it. Crochet and I love it. Crochet oh, rose. Oh, a rose, a crochet rose would be amazing. A red rose would a red be beautiful rose with that one. With the stem in peridot. Yeah, that would be absolutely lovely. Jane, you've got yours, Alison, Maureen, Lavinia. Uh, Jane in Lincolnshire, Christina. Yorkshire, you're shopping. Great to see Karen in Dartmoor. You're gonna get a free strand with this kit as well. VHXC64. Loads of you coming through. A couple of you multi-buying there as well. 12 dollars that's a pocket money price for a kit. And both of those strands, by the way. Oh, sorry, not the peridot, but the uh, garnet is an endless strand. The peridot is about 38 centimeters. And you get your free strand. You get your free strand. Brilliant. Doesn't get better than that, does it? I've got more kits for you though. Uh, we have got, did the birth gemstone collection totally sell out? Cause I am actually gonna get it if it didn't. We'll have a look in a sec. JVXC02 is the next one. And I think, did you have this one? No, I no, had, didn't. I had the Moo Kite. Moody Blue. Oh, that's a lovely I haven't got a Moo Kite one. Yeah, oh, there, Bermuda look behind your Oh, it's there, I didn't it. see that. <gasps> What's this lovely gemstone? Is this Carnelian? Carnelian it is. No, I've got Carnelian and... I haven't seen Carnelian in chips for a while. And I tell you what, doesn't it just go? Appetite chips. Mmm, love these. Then, one of the best blues, I think, you've got your Bermuda... Your matte, sorry, slate blue. So you get... Hang on a minute, I'm missing... I should have cobalt blue as well, which I haven't got. Did you get three tubes? You get three tubes of uh, seed beads with this, and I've got two. So you've got your matte slate blue, but you should also get, and you've got your cobalt blue here, but I'm seeing here that I should get Bermuda, oh no, there's Bermuda blue nylon cord, sorry. My bad. I stopped reading. 0.4 in Bermuda, do you remember Bermuda shorts? Oh yeah. Who brought them out? <laughs> what was going on? Yeah. Bermuda shorts, Love that's them. a blast from the park. It is, Timmy Mallet is Bermuda shorts. $12.99, you've got a big, heavy amount of gemstones in here. Eight O's and 11 O's, you've got your Eslon there. Okay, we, we are limited stock on this one now. Alison, uh, Maker in Bristol, Mandy, Jane, Erica, Margaret, Maker in Yorkshire, Sharon, Alison. Lots of you there, but we are about to run out of stock. JVXC02, 12 pounds and 99 pence, 24 chances remaining for your Bermuda Blue with your S long cord. And that S long cord goes so far. You know, I always tell you about wish bracelets. This is what you blinking want for it. S long cord goes through most gemstones with ease mm. because it's nice and skinny, not either side, done. Easy peasy. But you can pull squeezing. it apart as well. So yeah. if it doesn't, you just pull apart, use a couple of strands. Also for like Kumihimo, for McCormick. Yeah. Do you know, I'll just to say, I'm obsessed with those matte seed beads that you've got in that kit on your hand. Oh, the me too, <gasps> the blue, yeah. I love I think the it's matte one of the best colours. I think it goes so nicely with sea foam. Seven chances left on that one. Two more left for you. Should we do the Moo Kite next? Because this is what, the one that Deb has used. Love the crochet bracelet. Ah, see that. Whoops. I don't know what happened there, I just flip-flopped it. Now, Moo Kite chips are just lush. I aren't love Moo Kite anyway. Me too. It's just amazing. Such a lovely gemstone. Moo Kite, all that texture. Have a look. And yes, you're right, that is smoky quartz. What a great combination that is. And then, Debbie's used the seed beads in the bright orange. Looks great, doesn't it? But look at this. Topaz Gold Luster, then the Mustard s -long cord. Love it, I love it. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So you'd only have to sprinkle like a few of those bright orange ones in amongst the gold to get a pop. If well, that's you're doing exactly crochet. what you've done, yeah. So you don't need many and it just brings out, and if you're gonna use Moo Kite as well, it will bring just bring out the oranges in the Moo Kite. Moo Kite, a gemstone from the outback in Australia, just outside of Mooka Creek. And the Smoky Quartz, of course, the national gemstone of Scotland. A gemstone used by the likes of Gucci. They had a big collection. We really shouldn't be at this price. You're paying for the Moo Kite alone and everything else is free. 
and you're getting a free strand. Please don't forget throughout the whole of July, starting today, free strand with each kit, £12.99. Moorkite from Australia, of course it always is, it's only from Australia, it's also known as Australian Jasper. 175 carats in your smoky quartz, that is a, uh, a long strand, actually a 34 inch strand, so one of the endless strands, and your S long cord. All of your S long cords, by the way, you're getting how many yards? 775 yards, I think it is, so a lot. You get a lot. Wendy in Berkshire, Debbie, uh, Kathleen, you've got yours, Mary, Hazel, Jane, Alan, Maker in Yorkshire, Alison. Oh, sorry, 77 yards. Because a yard is quite long, isn't it? It's bigger than a metre, isn't it, a yard? Jane in Suffolk, you've got yours, Jenny in the Highlands, going to the haberdashery and getting a yard of something. Mm. Do you remember that? Mm. A yard of fabric. My, my granny used to always take me to the haberdashery. And then they measure on the big... Yeah, on the big, on and the he used table. to sit there flicking through magazines of the patterns and then go and yeah. pick up the pattern. My nanny I, used to I miss do that. that that doesn't yeah. happen anymore. And then my, my granny would be like, I'm going to make you a dress. Oh. Go and pick a dress. And I'd be like, OK. And off I go. Not my grandma. She couldn't do things like that. But my gran could. REXC 90, 12 pounds and 99 pence for glowing ambers. Mukite and smoky quartz. One more kit. And it's got emerald in it. Oh, nearly. Oh, drat. Oh. <laughs> it's alive. <laughs> Too many things to flip. That's what... Oh, I love green. Look at that lovely colour. I love it. Country colours. That's what these are and I love them. So, we've got emerald. Real emerald. It's totally natural, save for a little oiling, which is nothing I don't do when I get out of the bath, as you all know. Then you've got... Not that you've all had a bath with me, but I tell you what, often. Uh, now, you've got bronzite in there as well. Bronzite is a gemstone we aren't blessed with having a lot of stock of. Really earthy tones. I love this kit. I especially love the emerald. I think these work really well together, but they work really well individually as well. Love that colour in the S-Long cord. Then we've got a very Christmas tree green there. And then we've got a gunmetal in your seed beads. So there's a lot to love about this kit. A lot to love. That's very sort of like you could end up if you, with your crochet designs using all the greens together with a real like kind of tree vine like mm. look. And if you make your trees of life, of course, you could use them yes. for that this colour as well because you've got kind yeah. of those tree like foliage colours. Really nice. Yeah. Do you know what? You're not wrong. This just because we're giving you it as it is. It doesn't mean that's what it has no, to be. No, you can do whatever. And you have so much yeah. left when you've done sort of the inspiration piece. You could, you, can do, you could do so many Tree yeah, of Life designs. Absolutely. EXXC09, Arvo Smash, Avocado Smash, we're calling this. It's a great price, $14.99, isn't it? Perfect. You've got bronzite in there as well. You've got emerald in there. It's called Avocado Smash, and I do love a, a smashed avocado on toast with a bit of lemon and some black pepper. Now, I have got somebody had multiples in their basket... So somebody had four in their basket of the, of the gemstone collection and uh, their order has bounced back. I've still got 17 in basket. So this is your final call for your birthstone set. I'm going to call your name because do you know what? Somebody had four in a basket. They went to check it out and I think something happened with their card. Now, if that's you, go try and find another. We do take PayPal and all of that, but... That has now opened up a window of opportunity to those that have now got, that have an unchecked basket. Maybe you tried to check it out and told you they were sold out. I speak to you, maker in Surrey. Shelley with three in a basket. We've got four left, Shell. Uh, Lisa with three. Pauline, Lynn, Corolla with two in a basket. Lynn in Conway, Karen in Dartmoor, Karen in Fife, Fiona in Hampshire, Jackie in Dumbartonshire. So all of you, we've only got four. Four of these left. Somebody had four in a basket. Their order didn't go through. So their misfortune could be your great fortune today, but you need to check, check them out. It's your final call. Shelley and Lisa were both looking to get three, and I think it was probably telling you we didn't... Well, we didn't have the stock of them then, but we have now. So now's the time to check them out. Otherwise, you've missed out. You can take that opportunity uh, to, to pay for these in three split payments, 26 66 if you'd like to spread the cost uh, we don't ask for any checks all we ask for is that you have got a debit card or a credit card registered to a uk address if that's yes we don't do credit checks or anything like that uh, then you can get this and spread the cost today six pounds 66 each gemstone this works out 26 66 today if you want to take out split pay you can pay the uh, full price if you'd like to but if you spread the cost we don't charge you for it there's no interest there's no fee nothing here we go 
Check your baskets out. Linda's now come in and popped one in a basket. Maker in Surrey has also popped one in a basket. So we are really, really limited stock. I just wanted to give you the opportunity of gra grabbing that if you missed out uh, because it told you that this had sold out. We had four bounce back. I'm going to leave those four with you now. And we're going to go over uh, to Debbie and have a demonstration. We'll leave these on the screen until they sell out, will we, Liam? And um, so if it's on the screen, it means it hasn't sold out yet. Uh, but I do see a lot of you coming through for them. Debbie, so many of our customers, so many on Facebook as well, of our wonderful jewellery makers have been asking about this fabulous piece. What are you going to show us? Well, what I'm going to do, because this isn't the masterclass, so I haven't got half an hour, but a lot of you, and I, I've taken this on board, that we do crochet shows and then we run out of time and then we don't show you how to finish it because we just tell you. So I'm going to start and show you how to finish this. Okay, great. And uh, someone's just offered me a drink. I'd love a cup of tea, please, if that's, yeah. A weak one. Are you sugar. all right with the aircon on? Because I, I, I have it cold. Are you all right I'm with the cold? Yeah, yeah okay, I'm good. really good. Right, so what you're going to need for this, um, um, on the necklace that, that you've all really liked, I've used monofilament to crochet my um, chips and my seed beads. But if I show you how to do it in monofilament, it's see-through, obviously, and you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to show you how to do it with the cord that you get in the kit. And you also get a completely different look, but it's exactly the same. Now, we also do a crochet hook, which is 2.5 millimetres that you can get from us. But I'm going to be using a larger one, so again, you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to go over this really quickly because there are a lot of tutorials on, on our YouTube because we've, we've done crochet before. So you need to start off with a slip knot and all that is is to just bring your cord into a circle like that and then just reach behind and grab your cord through the middle and that's a slip knot it's called a slip knot because you can pull it up and pull it down and a basic crochet is just a chain stitch and you don't have to have crocheted before it's just a chain stitch where we actually um, attach the beads so it's all about the mu muscle memory in your hands so just have a practice and you'll soon get used to it I wrap it um, around my little finger and then around my pointy finger and then I hold on to the tail and once you get going you'll find that you get into a rhythm so all you want to do is yarn over so you bring that yarn towards you grab the yarn with your hook and pull it through the loop like that and the main mistake that people make with crochet is they have this loop extra tight so when they go to put the cord through the loop they can't get the cord through so you just want a very loose loop there okay so I'm going to do a couple of those so you just yarn over grab the yarn with the hook and pull it through and that is a basic chain stitch yarn over towards you grab it with the hook and pull it through and add we add the beads we're doing exactly the same thing but we're just adding a component of the beads so this is one way that you can add your clasp this is the most questions that I got yesterday about this you can actually string on your clasp onto your um, material. So it was monofilament on the necklace that I showed you, but this is obviously the S on, it doesn't matter what you're using. So you just drop that down and you do exactly the same again. You yarn over, hook the cord and pull it through the loop. So now your actual clasp is caught in that stitch and it's there okay so then it's up to you if you want to put a stitch in between each bead or you want to put a bead in every stitch in the necklace that I just showed you I put a bead in a stitch and then a stitch without a bead then a bead in a stitch and a stitch without a bead okay so I'll just show you a couple more of these um, crochet stitches with beads now you don't have to just drop one bead down you can drop two you can drop three it's completely up to you so I'm dropping two down there just bring it down to your hook and then I'm going to do exactly the same again and just yarn over grab my thread and pull it through and what it's done there is actually just trap the beads inside your crochet stitch now I'm going to grab my necklace and I just pop it here because you might think that looks nothing like what you've done here but it is all I've done is actually grabbed these beads and these chips and randomly I've not even chosen to do like color this then a chip I've just randomly put them on 
um, and that is monofilament. That's the only difference there. The stitch and the technique is exactly the same. Now, the longest part of crochet is actually to load on your beads first. So if it's monofilament, you would load onto monofilament. I'm using the Esalon thread here. And you have to load on all your beads first. And the best way to do that is either to use um, a bead spinner if you're just using seed beads, or use a needle, and then just put all of your beads. So I suppose for the ne that necklace, I used about a meter and a half of um, just continuous length of beads. And now I'm gonna show you how to finish off so if you want to see more in-depth crochet, go onto our YouTube channel. I've done a crochet necklaces, so has Katie Parker. So just have a look for those tutorials. And this is the bit that we never show because we always just talk through it because we're so busy showing the crochet. Now I've actually just crocheted this with um, wool so that I can show you quickly. But imagine you've done your metre and a half length and you'll end up with one big long length of your crochet thread with your beads. And if you're lucky, you'll get a dog hair in there just like mine. <laughs> um, and then people are saying to me, well, I've got this great big long length of crocheted thread. How do I make it look like that necklace? So this is what you do. You take your length and just fold it in half there. Now you need to decide how many pieces you want um, to make your waterfall design. So if I wanted four, I'd just fold it in half again. If I wanted more than that, I could fold it in half again so that I'd have lots of my strands with my beads on. But let's just do four here so that you can see what we're doing. So now we've got all of these chains with our beads in between. And this is the way that I secure them. I take a piece of wire, or you can use an eye pin if you want to, that's fine. And I start to form a loop, but go right up to the top end of your pliers. Or actually even bail making pliers would be good for this. And just sort of half turn a loop, but don't make it round. You just want to make it sort of that kind of shape and keep it open. And then what you're going to do is find your end here and just take your loops and pop them, go through the loop and pop them onto your little loop there or your head pin or your eye pin like that. So I've got two and then three. And then you want to just pop them right down into that loop so you've grabbed them all now you can close it and you can wrap loop it okay so what I do with my wrap loops is I like to just hold the loop itself with my pliers and then I'm going to just wrap around like that what gauge wire, please, So darling? any any wire. It depends what you want to put on here, like what gemstone you want to put on here. This is 0 0.8, but I wouldn't be able to get my 11 OC beads on here if I wanted to put them on here. 0 0.6. You could even go for 0 0.4, but I, I would say probably 0 0.6 being the lowest, just because you want to be able to hold the weight. Now, obviously, this is wool, so it's not heavy. But if you've put a lot of gemstone chips on, you're going to have a little bit of weight to it. So if you can see there, that's holding one side. Now you can clip, I haven't clipped my ends off there, but you will have clipped your ends off. And with crochet, you can bob a little knot on there if you want to, but crochet doesn't usually come undone once you've, you've finished your end knot. So you're attached on one side and then you've got like these ends as well. And you're just gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to just go a bit quicker. I'm just gonna make a bit of a loop. And then I'm going to find my ends here. So these are attached, so there I'm only putting two. I'm just going through the stitch, which is why I did it in wool, so that you can see. Let me just see that on mollo filament. I'm just going through. You don't have to be exacting. And then once you've got those down, you're going to wrap a loop again. So this is, as I said before, 0.8. But you can decide that when you know what gemstone you're going to put on. And I'll show you that in a sec. So I'm just going to wrap that around very, very quickly. You'll be neater than me. And then I'm just going to trim off my ends. And so that leaves you with your secured ending. Now I'm going to get the actual thing now and show you here. If we look at this one, is there any way we can come in on that at all? 
Okay, so what um, I'm going to show you is what it looks on the actual monofilament there. So can you see, I've used a 0.6 there, and I have just captured all of those little ends of the monofilament in that loop. Now, I don't have anything covering these ends for this necklace. I've just put on a stopper bead, and then I've done another loop, and I've just crimped on, because I thought it was lovely to have the gemstones, I've just crimped on a length of the um, rose quartz beads. Now, another way that you can do it, and I wonder if Katie, Jen, could you pass me that Katie Parker's there? That, of course I thank can, Thank you Gail. so much. You can use the um, cone making tool. Whoops. And can you see? And you can actually cover up that loop by either putting a really pretty bead cap or making a cone and putting it on there. So that's like a, this is Katie Parker's necklace. Um, so you can actually cover up even more like your sort of your ends, but you don't have to because it, you know, it doesn't look bad. And I've just like left that, let me get that in frame. I've left that just, just um, like that to be shown. And then you could just add chain. If you don't want to do anything fiddly you can just add some chain there and then your class now as far as the flower goes i do not have time to show you that but it's a french beaded flower if you go oh, you've done french beading before with us yeah i love it yeah so if you go onto youtube and put in french beaded flowers they will you'll there's lots of tutorials that will come up for those um if i get a chance i'll try and include a french beaded flower in my master class um, when I next come and do a masterclass with seed beads or if you're really desperate come and find me on Facebook and I'll do a live for you of how to make the flower this is actually a very simple French beaded flower and I've just used 0.4 wire and the seed beads in the kit so if you really want to know how to make this flower come and find me on Facebook and I will do a live or a pre-recorded little video for you for that but of course you can use the cord that you get in the kit and just crochet a flower you can wire a flower you could use a ribbon flower you don't even have to have the flower like don't look at the flower isn't that gorgeous beautiful I just think you that could attach it on like um something like you know like the the brooch pins so you can put it on and off yes. if you wanted to you couldn't you yeah you really could do that and you know with this as well I just think that I didn't know that it was going to look this pretty when I just looked at it in the tubes I just think it's so pretty the labradorite you can see the flashes coming off it and the rose quartz and then these little like these pink seed beads that sort of color that's not my favorite color pink but when you intersperse them with this it's just so so pretty so I hope that I've managed to answer your questions on finishing because that tends to be the last thing we show you and we always talk you through it um, so that's me actually yeah, you've showing you completed the project and then you think I'm, I'm stuck I don't know how to finish yeah, this and, yeah then and it's just going to stay there on your project and people desk. said to me yesterday that they've got like meters and meters of crochet gemstones and they don't know how to finish it so that is how to finish it you either just pop it into that loop if you've only got a few you could even open um, an eye pin and then you can put a decorative cone or a decorative bead cap if you want to but you don't have to I've just done a wrap loop on the other end of the wire and then you continue with chain macrame gemstones whatever you want if you've got any more questions because I'm aware we can't do this for a long time um, please come and find me on Facebook and I'll be happy happy to answer you or just put them in the jewelry maker um, share your makes group and I'll be happy to happy to answer you well let's talk about how we can get in touch with Debbie outside of jewelry makers live shows Debbie Kershaw is on Facebook you're on Instagram as well aren't you Debbie Kershaw I'm on Instagram Debbie Kershaw jewelry um, I have a, a guest designer Debbie Kershaw page so you can find me in any of those places and I'm very have you on Etsy or anything like that or a YouTube channel no, no, not yet, no. Not yet. My sons keep saying, do YouTube. <laughs> yeah, you should do YouTube. Now, um, we have got a crochet hook, which is what you're going to need if you're crocheting. Yeah, that's a really good one. And uh, it comes with wire. So here we go. So this goes with your kit if you want to crochet with your wire or with your s in fact, or with anything that you can get your hands on. It could be monofilament, crochet hooks. Do we know what size? It's crochet a 3.5, isn't it? A 3.5 crochet hook, and it also comes with a needle and some wire. 
and it's $2.99. That is nuts. Brilliant. Debbie, thank you so much for the fab demo. I can now finish off my two crochets. I knew it. I knew people would have <laughs> their unfinished projects there. Well because done, Debbie. Because we do the masterclass. Yeah. And we try and get it all in, but you know what it's like? And then we get to the end and we talk you through it and we go, well, you've crocheted it. And a few of and us have done that. Yeah. So yeah. I thought, let's start with the ending because then everyone can finish off their crochet. Do you know, <laughs> it's such a good point. And um, the... the when you're not as experienced as, as our guest designers like me, I'd be, I'd be going, I, don't know, I can't remember how I fin how do I finish this off. I'm going to guess, and then you think, oh, I don't want to guess because then if I get it wrong, I've spent all that time. And you spent all this that lovely... time crocheting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Or oh, put put your make if you don't mind. Put your make, Debbie, in the um, jewelry maker show your makes uh, page. Oh, yes, if you want be great. it, because I'd love to see what you made. We're always on there. We're always reading the comments. We have a giggle about them. Some we were talking we about do. them just before the show. So clever, our viewers. So, so clever, and so many of you should really be on air yeah, demonstrating. <laughs> I'm like, you don't need me. <laughs> I mean, but the thing is, everybody's good at their different thing, aren't they? they? Are. So, they are. I mean, you look at some things, you know, wow. Yeah. And, you know, even on Etsy, all sorts of things that people are making. I'm a mad fan of the Solange, uh, so Sol Angel candles there. Oh, that yeah. It's all genuine gemstones. No, it's Sol Angel candles, I think. They obsessed have the gemstones with them. in there. They got the gemstones yeah. in them, and she, oh, they smell amazing. I bought one with lapis lazuli in it. Oh, it smells so good. Now, uh, other candle companies, of course, are available. Now, before we go away from this collection, we're going to give you some more chips because you could crochet these easily and you could replicate that Katie Parker piece. Katie Parker piece. Katie Parker is another very talented lady. She is wonderful, and also on the gram of Insta. Hi, Jen. Oh, come on air. Let's have a customer takeover day. Oh, That's not yeah. a bad idea. But then, as long as you don't swear, customer takeover. And I used takeover. to like it when you used to do, the, in the old studio, the you Sunday used, used to do the Sunday sofa, yeah. and they used to do the, the um, oh, I can't, menopause. The, oh. You Sunday know, sofa. Well, you and, teach and everybody went in. The, did a yeah. workshop in the workshop, Sunday sofa. That's yeah. the word. And you go in. We used to go in. And they used Liam to come on air. And everyone would go on air. You'd be able to walk into the workshop room. It's brilliant. And you used to meet everybody. It was so lovely. The days of having a big studio yeah, and the luxury lovely. of a sofa and all of this. <laughs> 210 carats of neon appetite small. Oh, we had we had our whole workshop room with a big mirror, a, a big window on it yeah. so they could see into. And they used to come and say hello and come into the studio, didn't they? And then we used to meet, I used to go in for my show and meet yeah, everyone. Yeah, it was, it was so lovely. lovely. Yeah, it was good. We'd always get cakes. Someone would always bring cakes yeah, or something cake. delicious. Somebody once bought me cheese. Alex <gasps> from bought me some cheese. I, I was cheese. delighted. I, I prefer was. cheese to cake. I think I do too. I love Send cheese. Send me. Cheese in a wax seal. Oh, you know you get those yes. waxed ones that come in a little the posh cheese. Oh, yeah. Ooh, you're making me hungry now. Love a cheese. Well, actually, in fact, I've got a lot of cheese in the fridge here, so we're grand. Nice. Instead of eating crisps, I've just taken to eat, just biting into a block of cheese. Oh, I love cheese. Which, you know, it goes with my diet, but who knows how that works. <laughs> 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 a whole block of cheese, but I can. Uh, PTP015 is your item code. 210 carats of Neon Appetite Small Chips. These are perfect for your summer pieces. They're perfect for your crochet. They're only 12 99 And they are on a 60-inch strand, so really long strand there. Maker in Bristol, you've got your Suffolk Sharon in the Shire. Debbie in Worcestershire, you've got yours. Maker in Ayrshire. Jane in Lincolnshire. Uh, Maker in Wiltshire. Loads and loads and loads of you are there. PTP 015. Isn't it amazing value? Super value. I'm very excited for you all to get this home because you're, you're going to get the summer vibes from that. Is that a, one of the long strands? Yeah, 60 yeah. inches. See, that's perfect for your crochet. I absolutely love this colour. I think it's so uplifting. This is what Katie Parker used this. Uh, I think it always goes with purple. She used this size to do that necklace. Yeah. <clears throat> but hers is in sky blue appetite. This yeah. is neon appetite. Uh, 12 99 PTP 015. Is it mad that appetite grows in bones and stuff? It just blows my mind. Does it? It derives from fossilised bones That's and incredible. tusks and things like that. Wow. <clears throat> Don't you think it's lovely? That is lovely. It's actually, kind of mad, isn't it? Yeah. Dinosaur bones it's been found in. Wow. Appetite has. And it's beautiful colour, absolutely love it. Great colour. But it's natural. Can you imagine picking up a bone from the floor and seeing all these blue crystals inside? You'd think you would... Yeah, you think you it was think like you're hallucinating, wouldn't you? Think what's going thing. on here? Yeah. Twelve ninety nine, two hundred and ten carats. 
Well done to everyone that's got theirs. Maker, uh, you've got yours. Lisa, you've got yours. Sharon, you've got yours. Loads of you, loads of you. It's great to have your company. Great with deep purples as well. In the next hour, it's viewer's choice. Debbie Kershaw will be co-presenting with me. And we're gonna be loading everything onto the website. So do look out for that. If you want, right, so with that said, for two hours after this, after this, the top of this hour, you won't be able to access any of the kits or anything else that Elle bought you. So if you are looking to get kits today to get your free strands, you need to go on the website now. Now, let's give you Malachite. This is a gemstone that's being used by Gucci. Von Cleef has a huge Malachite collection at this moment in time, and it's super expensive. If Gucci uses this gemstone, if Von Cleef uses this gemstone, all the greats are using it, then there's a reason, right? Yeah. It's that pop of colour, and it's in the World Cup. You can't argue with that, can you? It's a gemstone that is utilised all over the world for its strength of colour, it's very unique colour. This is a very, very easy to spot green, you know, instantly this is malachite when you see it. It can't be mistaken for any other gemstone. Now, they are shiny as a billiard ball, these are. Super shiny, and these could be unisex too, couldn't they? 270 carats of malachite. These are eight mil rounds. They've got a decent drill hole on them, on them as well. And they're 14.99. Remember, Von Cleef uses this gemstone. The Von Cleef, like, it's like a clover. It's yeah. thousands. I love Von Cleef. So do I. 14.99. Isn't that a super price? So it's the green in the World Cup. It's, it's been carved into things like baths. And wasn't there um, in, in one of the palaces in Russia an, an entire room made out of this? So like the fireplace was malachite. Yeah, and columns. They've made columns yeah. for their houses with the Can malachite. Can you imagine being that oh. wealthy? Being that wealthy, right? I have to rein it in on a food shop. <laughs> Let too. alone buy in malachite columns. I have, I have to, to control think, myself in Aldi. Do you ever do this when you go to Aldi because everything's <laughs> yeah. so cheap? And then you put it on the thing and think, Please don't be over eighty pounds. Please don't be over eighty pounds. Please don't be over eighty. Like, because that's it's expensive, isn't it? When you've got kids and they eat so much. Yeah. But do you do that? And then you're like looking at the register, thinking, oh. And sometimes you put think, I don't need that wine. Put it back. Oh no, you always need wine. <laughs> no, I'm off the wine. I'm off it. Gin only. It's too, wine's too fattening. <laughs> I really want a glass of wine now. I've got a nice one in my fridge, and I keep looking at it, going, you'd be so good with cheese, but I can't have you. Oh, FP 063, 14 pounds and 99 pence for this malachite in plain rounds, eight millimeters on a 38 centimeter strand. It's not the only strand of malachite I've got for you. Can I do the chips as well, Lily? Thanks, just squeeze another one, in, one or two in. Let me just do that. Another endless strand of malachite. Have we got the Von Cleef piece or will I look it up? Will I look it, I'll look it up, don't worry. Malachite. Von Cleef. I want to show you, uh, right, my objective isn't to show you like, oh, you can make this because you clearly can't make what I'm about to show you out of a strand of chips. But what, what I wanted to show you was that if this is a gemstone that's used by one of the world's most renowned jewelers, Von Cleef is, is a jeweler to the celebrities, really, really bougie jewelers. Um, so I've got this piece here. It's called the Magic Alhambra Necklace. And you've got malachite within it so its main feature everything is the design itself the clover and look how expensive it is five thousand six hundred oh. pounds and it's not even that big i think it will show you on the model no it's actually quite tiny they've doubled it up there but yeah there she is on the model it's iconic isn't it oh actually it's not that tiny isn't it lush though i yeah, love lovely, it yeah. i love that symbol that sort of that four leaf clover mm. symbol and i love the green and i love the gold von cleaver you know they're big news. They're a big deal. They're kind of a big deal. 470 carats of malachite, small chips. Let's go shopping. We're not going to charge you Von Cleef price. Oh, by the way, Von Cleef get their malachite. We all get our malachite from Mother Nature. We all get our malachite from the same place. This is the thing. The gold, the design, that's all Von Cleef. The malachite, that's all Mother Nature. You've got to remember that, 6 dollars tiny nine. And you've got more malachite here than you've got in that Von Cleef piece. Yes, granted, it's in, in gold. It's a gorgeous design. There's no way I'd be parting 5,000 pounds for any kind of jewelry though. I can't, I can't do it, I can't justify it. I just couldn't. 
I, I even think if I was a multi-millionaire, I'd be quite... I'd still worry about spending these because I always think I could give that money to someone else that's instead very of just true. waste it on that's very something true. that's going to adorn me. I just couldn't do it. I don't. I do it with myself when I think I buy something for myself. I think, oh, I could have given that to the kids. I could have got them something. I, I always, do that. We all do it, don't we? I think we? mums do that, don't they? Yeah. But th to make such an elaborate purchase as something that's going to adorn you and you've spent like thousands of pounds on it. <laughs> You really have to love that, or it has to be a present for someone or something. I couldn't, in yeah. my head, justify that kind of money on an adornment. Sen I sentimental value, I think, if someone bought it for you. Exactly. But yeah, I could buy it for somebody. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Six ninety nine. I'd much rather somebody made me something though than spent that kind of money. Six ninety nine. Now one more. Liam says his favourite is number 13. Oh, yeah, these are great cufflinks. Oh, there's Malachite Gucci cufflinks. Are you back on or are you not? Yeah, Malachite Gucci cufflinks. Gucci Gucci. Oh, and they are gold colour on base metal. Oh, they're lovely. Aren't they spectacular? They are lovely. Rich as anything. Yeah, that, see, for Gucci, they're cheap. They're only £345. But yes, but look why. They're not, they're not real gold. They're just gold on base metal. They're nice, though, aren't they? Or they, they, these aren't the ones I was thinking of, but they're not even silver or anything. They're just a normal metal, aren't they? Aren't they lovely? I really like them. But you could do, like, a square version of these. I think it'd look mm. great. Wait there, you've got loads on here. Twenty-eight I've got on here. They're less than a pound each. Gucci are doing cufflinks for three hundred pounds, three hundred and something. Uh, Sixty-eight p each. You can't, you can't go wrong with that value. And again, we're getting our malachite from the same place Von Cleef gets, it, gets their malachite. We're getting our malachite from the same place Gucci gets their malachite. Mother blinking nature. That's where we all get our malachite from the same place. So, yes, you're getting the design, you're getting the label that's Gucci or Von Cleef. But the main component of that jewellery is the same as what we've got. The same ingredient. Pamela, Stephanie, Milo, Lynn... Belinda, Carol, Pat, Jan, another Lynn. Great to see you. Thank you for shopping with Jewelry Maker in the next hour. It's all about you, baby, in the words of McFly. Uh, we are going to do a takeover. You're going to take over. You're going to tell us what's going on the screens. And Debbie will be co-presenting with me. I'll see you after this. Don't want to miss a Jewellery Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations and of course all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker. Jewellery Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewellery Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewellery Maker. If you have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. 
it couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Jewelry Makers, exciting news. We're going to be bringing you the opportunity to acquire further treats on web exclusive deals. They'll be loaded on the 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. hour. You will be able to acquire all of your usual essentials plus extra treats between those limited time restraints. All you have to do is go to jewelrymaker.com at the hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Click on Watch Live and you'll see all the deals available for that hour. That's 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. each and every day. Here at Jewelry Maker, we want to still be able to support you in your jewelry making journey. We understand that during these unprecedented times, the priority is to keep everyone safe. We want to still give you the option to learn, experience and join like-minded people by offering our online workshops. Our online workshops are still run by our amazing designers who will guide you step by step and give you all the support needed to develop your skills. For more information, contact our workshop coordination team by emailing sarah.bingham at jewelrymaker.com. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Makers. Did you know that no matter how many times you purchase, no matter how many times you check out, you only pay one postage and packaging per day? Say that you've purchased an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we've got some really exciting news. After 10 and a half years, we can finally launch split pay. The whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from Jewelry Maker. So you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest-free payments depending on the item's value. It's that simple. Thank you, Carols. We are so excited about this opportunity and we know that you will be as well. So enjoy this new way of shopping on Jewelry Maker. So from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it. Jewelry Makers, we have a new Facebook group dedicated to sharing your makes and jewelry making advice. To join the group, simply head over to the page and hit request. You'll then be able to share your designs with our JM community and join like-minded people. Create, wear, share. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, Jewelry Makers. We are delighted to bring you into the last hour of the day, and it's viewer's choice, which means it's all about you. Get yourself onto uh, the website. <coughs> Sorry, I just need to have a little cough there. Uh, get yourself onto the website www.jewelrymaker.com. Uh, no, it's because I just sipped my tea and it's gone down the wrong way and I was talking too much. <coughs> just need it. It's right there. Um, everything's on the web. Let's have a look at the website. Uh, so, Debbie's going to be co presenting this hour with me. Uh, she's got half of the. Have you got two boxes? I have. You've two boxes, I've two boxes. So, um, if you would like to see something in particular, you can see they're all numbered. Text us in 60777. It's not 60777, that's our old one. 78070, start your message with the word JM Studio. And uh, we will put that piece on air for you. We'll talk around it. Everything's on the web. It's only available at those prices for one hour. Everything's at the price it should be, apart from number one to six, because they're all special pearly buys. So we're going to start with a pearly buy. We're going to start with which one shall we start with? Doop, 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 doop. These are my favourites. 
These are the biggest pearls that we've got, so seven to eight mils. Uh, they represent, do you know what? I think they're so bridal, especially in the gold. They are such, this is a really lovely vintage gold. And if you wore these on your wedding day, you just look like an absolute princess, wouldn't you? These would be great for the mother of the bride as well or the mother of the groom, although I shall be wearing black the day my son gets married. <laughs> Always say that to him. I will be dressed in mourning, so will his sister, for our prince is leaving us. Now, we literally say this to him all the time. It's just like, oh, pretty sure he won't get married anyway. He'll never leave me. Look at this gold. No, I hope he does. I'm only joking, a little bit. Uh, now, you've got really round pearls here. <laughs> Ben's going, doesn't sound healthy. Did I say it was healthy? Have a look. <laughs> Any mother of a boy knows that you literally are a psycho. And there's no two ways about it. You try not to be. So the, so the gold, it says on the... I mean, so these have had a coating on them to give them a gold coating. The description there, dyed gold, doesn't sound very, very inviting. But these are absolutely beautiful. They are... You can see straight away that these are real pearls and that they've got that lovely metallic coating on them, which is going to last and last. You, because you don't ever wear pearls in the bath. You don't ever wear pearls in the shower. You never put hairspray around them. You take them off. They're the last thing you put on and they're the first thing you take off at night. So these will last years and years and years, decades, decades. PWG P09 is your item code. $29.99 on the web at the moment. But we did tell you... It's not your price. Are you ready? Let's do this. Let's give you, let's give you a pearly discount. Necklaces, earrings, 10.99, 10.99. Do you know what? This could be an accent, a gold pearl in amongst the white pearls. We've got the white pearls coming up for you and they just go together so well, don't they? Vintage brides, have you got, just imagine these with that vintage rose color with the gold, beautiful. 10 pounds 99 pence means that all the bridesmaids could perhaps get to wear pearls. Jane in Leicestershire, Shannon Norfolk takes two. Helen shopping, Jackie's shopping, Patricia takes two. You need to make sure you are checking out baskets for this one. Don't forget to check the web and send us your text messages in uh, for all the goodies that you'd like to see. We've white pearls, the pearls, so one to six, we're going to drop the price on everything else at the price it should be, uh, but only for one hour. Let's go. Is that the big ones? Yeah. So let's give you the white now. We're going to go. Liam's just said in my ear, this is silly. This is going to be a big deal. This is a big deal, what we're about to do. So get yourselves ready for white freshwater pearls. Oh, they are absolutely beautiful. They're, they're very gorgeous. round. I'd like to see these knotted. And I think yeah. the thing is, it doesn't matter what colour cord you use. It always looks great. Use our silk preloaded needles. They're available on the websites. Um, and these, uh, again, if you love Susie, we see all those gorgeous pearl pieces that the lovely Susie does, don't we? We see the wonderful Sheila and the wonderful Linda creating with pearls too and, and most of our guest designers will flock to pearls to me pearls are an heirloom my granny i was talking to you uh, about my gran earlier and all the wonderful things she used to do and the dresses she used to make she wore pearls all the time she handed me down a brooch in 18 karat gold with an 18 karat bird on it lovely. and three pearls as eggs in the bird's oh, nest how lovely with, uh, like and ruby eyes it's mm. got oh. lush yes. it's like it was passed to her from her like it's right back oh, generations generations lovely. One minute till the pearly madness. $19.99 is not your price. Antoinette in Belfast, my darling woman. Lynn in Conway, Helen and Shan with three for your wedding day, perhaps. Are you ready? You don't think they're ready for the price? Uh, what is the price? Tell me in my ear. Oh, no, you rascal. Isn't. Right, okay, stop everything. Just let me have your attention for a minute. Let me have your attention for a minute. This price for pearls, we've stopped the clock and everything. I need to tell you, if you love pearls or if you think you could make a profit on pearls today, when we give you the price, we're giving you the price of an agate strand for pearls in a second. In fact, in just under 30 seconds time. These should go in your basket because they're going under 10 pounds and not by a little bit. No. You need to be on the phone, you need to be on the ball. You need to trust me, my voice is gone. <clears throat> and in Lanarkshire, Alison, James, Stephanie, Derbyshire, maker in Dar another maker in Derbyshire, 
Greater London, Lanarkshire, Linda in Yorkshire, loads of you there. Make sure you're quick. I am telling you now, you will never see white freshwater pearls at this. These are real pearls. This is nothing but a profit maker for those that sell their jewelry. 7.90 tiny nine everybody for genuine pearls. They are not, you'd pay that. Can I just say, you would pay that for shell pearls. Yeah. You would pay that for mm. glass pearls. Yeah. You would pay that for resin pearls. You would pay 12 99 in Marks and Spencers for a faux pearl necklace. Yeah, oh, more than that. You'd be lucky to get one for 12 99 7 99 for real, That's genuine incredible. pearls. This is absolute lunacy. Shan takes five, they've sold out and gone. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I'm gonna put the other white ones next to these ones because I want you to see that alternating them is a great idea. Also using these for your bracelets and for your earrings. I'm going bracelets and earrings, like you don't know what bracelets and earrings are. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. <laughs> Because I'm that one that if you're if you're saying that I'm mouthing the words to you. Yeah, that's me. Sorry. So these are them next to each other. These are the ones you've just bought. And these are the ones we're doing now. So I'm now going to say, I always think it's good if you've got something similar to put them next to each other to show the clear difference. So these are just beautiful. They, uh, and again, you know, these are going to go in your hair combs if you're a bride. These are going to go in your earrings if you're yeah. a bride. They're delicate. Yeah. They're beautiful, they're classy, they're not overbearing, they're not heavy on the ear. They're the perfect mm. size for a little earring, just to add that touch. But if you are a bride that wants pearls incorporated into your bridal gown, you could stitch these in. Yeah, you could. They would look ideal, M maybe on the lace-up or maybe on the bodice. They look perfect around the garter. Should we I mean, shop? Cultured potato pearl. They're, I mean, real, yeah, they're real pearls. You would expect it to be shell pearls. Exactly. But let me just tell you something. I don't think these are potato pearls. Potato pearls are different shapes and sizes, mm. thus representing a bag of potatoes, different shapes and sizes. Six ninety nine. Shop, shop, shop till you drop, drop, drop. These aren't potato pearls. They are beautiful oval pearls. They're be really beautiful. beautiful. I like rice pearls, pearls, I'd say, if, if, if anything. Lynn, you've got yours. Helen's got two. Uh, I've got two Lynn's. One in Midlands, one in Conway. Uh, the one in Conway's got two. Kathleen takes three. Someone's going to tell you off for that. Shan takes five. Don't worry about it. You can take it, Liam. If you've got tomorrow off. Susie in Cheshire is multi-buying. Yes, she is. Uh, James, Pauline, Olga in Hertfordshire, Catherine. Antoinette in Belfast, maker in Cornwall. Anne takes three. They've sold out and gone. Now... We're going to go with the peacock pearls. <laughs> yeah. These are the mother of the bride or the bridesmaids. This is a great bridesmaid colour, isn't it? Yeah. For a I winter really like, wedding. Yeah. And How lovely would that be? They're lovely for bead embroidery as well. Gorgeous. For your, uh, I mean, maybe you'll, you'll be at your son's wedding one of these days. Number 26, Jenny, please. I'm just chilling out in the garden with your, my iPad and sunshine. Jane, that is the exact kind of message I love. You ask for your number and you give us a little bit of information as well, because I want that. What are you having as a snack? Because you get out into the garden, you get all relaxed, and then you think, oh, I wish I'd taken a snack out. A pistachio nut, maybe? A Pringle? <laughs> what, just one? No. I was a gonna Pringle say, box? I've never eaten one in no. my life. <laughs> I love a peacock pearl because it adds elegance. I think these are particularly great in the winter time. Yes, and if you're not, if you're looking for something a bit like pearls, can be everything. They can be classic. They can be funky. You can do so much with this. Mm. I mean, you could do a really modern design, but you could still keep it classic. You could. You're absolutely right. Those steely blues, those yeah. metallic blues, they could be. They could be really, uh, really modern, couldn't they? Are you ready? Let's go down. Absolute madness for you at just seven pounds and 99 pence. Yes, I said it early because I wanted you to get a head start. I said it like one second early. Um, Lynn, you've got two. Gail, you've got two. Maker in Cornwall, Nicole. Debbie takes two. John, Kathleen takes two. Catherine, you've got yours. Sharon in the Shire, you've got yours. Sarsie in Cheshire, you've got yours. Uh, Susan in Essex, you've got yours. Catherine in Buckinghamshire's on the phone line. Monmouthshire takes two again. Sally Ann. Oh, Monmouthshire, you've got a parcel coming to you today, girl. Uh, Cat 7.99. YCG P51. These are now limited stock. Carolyn Bristol, you've got yours. Linda takes two. You're taking a pound off. Why? Because you can. For Bance, apparently. <laughs> For Bance. 
699. Six, he's singing He Does All the Bants, He Does All the Bants, like I Get All the Girls, that song. Dyed Peacock, Freshwater Bills. You are funny. Yes, you are. Uh, Roni, you've got yours. And in Bedfordshire. Nothing. He's stopped already. Diane in Greater London. Stopped already. Hey. It's too late. Uh, you let me uh, down, bruh. Uh, YCG. <laughs> <Pete 50. laughs> They're going, you're leaving, no one cares anymore. They don't have to keep you happy anymore. What? Does that mean no more back massages? No more foot massages? Not during COVID, obviously. Of course. Not with the social distancing in place. Uh, they didn't give me back massages, really. I'm, uh, I, <laughs> I can't believe that. <sighs> That's the end of my days. No more, no more... Uh... Get her out, they're saying. <laughs> Maker in Tyrone, you've got yours. No more, no more spit roast chicken. Oh, Ugh. now I love that when it goes around on the rotary. Rotary chicken is the best. Pink pearls. Sorry, jewellery makers. <laughs> Something just happened in our ears. <laughs> and uh, we absolutely cannot repeat it, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness mm. me. <laughs> oh, dear. Look, apology price, please, because we can't share the joke, and I, feel, I find that quite rude, actually. I'm so sorry, jewellery makers. Sometimes things just go a little bit wrong, and we can't tell you about them. Four night <gasps> there you go. Apology, please accept it. Purple. These four, again, the mother of the bride wearing pink or wearing something spectacular, or maybe your sister's getting married or something. Do you know what I mean? These mm. are, I love the colour pink. It's such a fun colour. And you don't always have to like wear a really sort of dazzling outfit. You can be sort of a bit more sophisticated, a bit plainer, and then just mm. jazz it up with your jewellery. Well, you, you can imagine this with navy blue. It would look fabulous. It would fabulous. be gorgeous, yeah. Fabulous. Pamela? We're going to miss you. Thank you for the wonderful welcome you gave me. You're welcome, Pamela. I'm, I'm still here for, until the 19th. I've got the weekend off, obviously. Um, what, should we have, what should we do on my last day? Should we do some, like, pizzas and that? Should I bring something in? 19th is a Monday. Oh, I'm in on the 20th. Oh, oh. track and blast. No, I'm Something's because... happening on the 20th and it could spill into your show, which I'm hoping it will. No, but it, it, is it is my show. <laughs> I, oh, no, it is your show. It is I, was, my show. I, was, your, I meant to say the same thing to Gemma Crow. I was going to get Gemma to say, let's spill that thing. Ah. But the thing that could be spilled is... Yeah, we can't say yet. Could be spilled into Gemma Crow as well as you. Yes, it could. Because that person is associated. Yes. Oh, it's not a person, no. What's wrong with me? I can't, I can't, you can't tell me secrets. <laughs> take me off the group chat. I can't bear it. I can't bear it. You've got to take me off the group chat. I can't, I can't know secrets. I can't know them. Royal blue, darlings. Now. I'm so bad. Is it definitely happening though? It's definitely happening, so why can't we talk about it? Have we got to cross the T's and dot the I's? No, it's happening. So can't we talk about it? I don't know. Can I say the long and short of it without revealing the person? I basically just did it, didn't I? Right. On Debbie and Gemma, uh, possibly Gemma's show, we have one of the most magnificent guests ever. They are going to rock up here <laughs> and rock your world and leave you with a big smile on your face and you're going to be so happy to see them. That's all I'm going to say. 20th. I'm gutted that I'm not here for that. Who's I'm going to gutted. be presenting? I don't know. Oh, just stay an extra day. <laughs> I can Skype you in. I can't, otherwise I would. More will be revealed soon, but I am 
gutted I'm not here. Keep an eye out on my social media. Keep an eye out on Liam's social media. Keep an eye out on I'll Elle's lie. I'll social share media. It. I'll share it. I'll still be sharing. And sharing is caring. Three ninety nine. I dropped them like they were hot potatoes. Where's Elle? What am I talking about? Elle's going to be the presenter. Elle's presenting that show, but I don't know who's taking over me. All right. Blue freshwater pearls. WVG P73, three tiny 99. <gasps> Leading Airshow 2 for you. Jane in Shropshire, you've got yours. Christine, you've got yours. Loads and loads and loads of you there. I'm absolutely delighted to see these wonderful deals. But of course, it's viewer's choice. This was the last. Everything else on the website is the price it should be. Now we had, was it 29? We had, what was the first text that you put on air? Or 39? It was 29 or 39? 29, which is one of yours. 26, Debbie, that's one I've of yours. I've got it here in my hands, ready for Are action. Are you ready? Fair play to you. So, Debbie, I will hand you over to my co-presenter, Debbie Kershaw. Look at that. Is that chrome diopside? That's what I think it is. Is it? <gasps> it is. 18 carats. Is that the price for this strand, Liam? There we go. Your monitor's actually where it's supposed oh, to be. Amazing. £9.99, oh my goodness, chrome dye upside. This is such a recognisable stone. I mean, the greens of chrome dye upside. I didn't think that chrome dye upside would be in an hour like this. That is incredible. So you've got 18 carats there, and these are faceted rondelles. They're graduated. £9.99, and look, I know this is a small thing, but you get these gorgeous tassels on the end, and I know that you know, tassels are in and we make tassels and they take ages and they're just amazing and they're on the end. So AQRU69 is your code and £9.99 and pence, can't believe I'm saying that, is your price. I absolutely love using this. Um, you know, like with the pearls, if you just got the pearls and you could use some of these for spaces between those cultured pearls, it would be so beautiful. So if you just got the pearls, look at this. I mean, how Audrey Hepburn and just as Jenny would say, bougie. <laughs> bougie. Oh. Mm, look, that is so gorgeous. What does that say? Can I see number 33 and 40? Is that all me? It's all you, darling. <laughs> okay. That's from our <laughs> Kerry. Thanks, Kerry. Oh, these are amazing. Awesome. <gasps> you know what this reminds me of? Um, they've got like little galaxies inside as well. Absolutely gorgeous. So these are your golden obsidian plain round. So approximately 16 millimeters. It's a 38 centimeter strand. So you've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 24, 25 on my strand there. For 9.99 again, Liam, is that correct? What is going on with the 9.99s today? I mean, I love these because you, when you look in, it's a bit like Labradorite. You've got all of these amazing little galaxy colors. Like it's a magical strand, I would call it. Are you, what what is a vital bit of information about this hour liam <gasps> it's an under 10 pound hour really what everything okay so liam's just told me that everything in this hour is under 10 pounds i don't know how everything the prices have gone like this it's absolutely crazy it's wonderful oh you're loving this wendy's got one ronnie's got one absolutely gorgeous so pbky37 is your code and 9.99 is your price absolutely gorgeous look at those little galaxy so loads you can do with that and watch what, what's the next one Oh, this is for Kerry as well. Oh, yeah, well, you need to see these two together, really, don't you? So this is kind of the smaller version of what I've just shown you. So really workable strand, this one. So this is your 320 carats, plain rounds, and approximately 12 millimetres on these. So, again, very usable. I think when you've got your rounds, again, if you're just starting out with your jewelry, look at those little flashes coming off there. Just completely put me off what I was saying. Can you see them? Yeah, Absolutely so gorgeous. that's silver and the other one was gold, is it? It's like a little, um, yeah. So this one's got like little silver flecks in there Fabulous. and the larger one's gold. So I think it's, I always say this, but to have the same gemstone in two different sizes, mm -hmm. even if you've got the gold and silver flecks, there's so many design possibilities that you could do with this. Is this under, this is 7 99 So 7 99 for this strand. Wow. JXKY27 is your item number. That is absolutely amazing. So 38 centimetre strand. Again, this is a kind of strand that you could use to make your sort of choker designs. Just put some little spaces in between there. 
absolutely stunning. They're beautiful. They're very Hepburn, aren't they? The big rounds. Number 14, please. And that's uh, from Anne. So I shall take this to join. That's my side. Yeah, things are selling out. The moo kite's already gone. Uh, now, really earthy. Look at this. You can play Cat's Cradle with it. It's that. Remember Cat's Cradle? I do. That's Marlas. how long it is. That is a Marla This right is there. the Marla necklace. I literally can play Cat's Cradle with how long it is. It could go straight over your head. You can knot it into a, 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 you know, a straight up wear. But definitely Marla's. Did you get Suze's Marla DVD? The answer is yes. Then you're looking for as many rounds as you can get your hands on. These are only $7.99. That's for 60 inches. Now, I, I don't like working in inches. What's that in centimetres again? I'm not an inch girl. I'm a centimetre yeah. girl. About 100, we think it's 152. Where's my measuring stick? 152, it is. See, Liam, Liam knew. One and a half, over a metre and a half of six millimetre gemstones. Uh, and these are great for rosary linking. Yeah. These are great for all sorts of designs. Uh, 7.99, KDP 039. You've got those earthy tones. You've got a decent drill hole. Another text message in. Number 13 and 14, please, thanks. Uh, you're welcome, Jane. Please, thanks. 13 and 14. Oh, yeah, I love these. These are just fabulous. Look. Be as quick as you can. There's only 10. So we've only got 10 now. Oh, I love these. Golden Obsidian. You've just had some Golden Obsidian from Debbie in the rounds. These are going to work really well with those. Look at the luster that you're getting from the checkerboard faceting. Fabulous. Really good drill hole. These are great for stretchy bracelets. They're fabulous for when you're going out. They're fabulous. Oh, sounds exciting, <laughs> says Pamela. That's about the 20th. Have a little guess. We played guess. Guess what? Yesterday. And I, I'd come up with they come up with all sorts of things I was getting married I was having a baby it's doing all these things I am not <laughs> they've, they've spread a rumor in this building right that I'm having a child I do keep getting like oh my god you're pregnant I'm like I'm, I'm not but you shouldn't say these things because imagine if my kids like someone told them and they and, and it's not even true <laughs> and, and do you know what I mean like 499 DMG P15 can you imagine I'd be in right trouble? My daughter would go mad. I'm most, I'm most scared of her than anyone, than anyone. Now, it's like telling your mother. <laughs> Look at these emeralds. We were talking about cufflinks earlier and I think this is such a super strand. 2 for that. Hang on a minute, where, I've got emeralds. Where are you talking about Botswana? What, what? Oh, I got 17, sorry. 2 I, do, I can't get over these prices. Oh, Everything's I under love ten pounds. We didn't realise because somebody else scheduled the hour, and you know, it's been a long day. Botswana agate just looks so earthy, so natural, and it's a toad. It's my favourite of all of the agates. It, it is absolutely stunning. This isn't. Do you know what I was saying about an agate price earlier for a strand of? But this isn't an agate price. This is a price of not even glass. Yeah. You can't even buy glass no. or, beads for or that even price. Or plastic strand. No beads. pony beads. This is crazy. I'm just delighted that you're... Rachel, well done. Sharon, Stephen, Joanne. You've got to see this for the absolute bargain that it is. Maeve in Durham. Jennifer, you've got yours. Maeve, I love that name so much. And if I was going to have another child, I would have called it Maeve, but I called it my dog instead because I love the name. Queen Maeve. Uh, now, next up, I love the, I love the pink. Very classy pink. Look at these colours. They're, they're, they're just delicious looking. It reminds me of Neapolitan ice cream when you mix it up and you've got all that lovely strawberry. Look at these tones. Now, I always think if you've got jade eye, these two go together so beautifully. $3.99 is an absolute treat for rhodonite, your small rounds. And this is a long strand. It says 30, but I just thought that was a 38 with tassels. Uh, so these are eight millimeters to eight and a half. We're just being very precise there. BYN V05. Uh, Lynn has got four. Lanark has got, oh, Leah, Jane, Debbie is, uh, it's all about you now. Oh, I love that. Look at it. I'm just giving you your iPad there so you can see the names. Thank you. I mean, I can't, 
Oh my, look at that. Aren't they amazing? They're hand blown. Sorry, my well, not voice blown, went crafted. up because I got so That's excited. glass, mine. And I know what, I went into the factory once and watched them actually blowing glass <gasps> and there's, it's such a technique. So to think that you can get this for 9 99 and it's called the, I love that. And it's that leather, yeah, it's on leather mm. cord. I've got yeah, an give extra it a sniff, piece. You can smell it. You get two leather cords You with do. It. I've got two pieces of leather here. Like, look at the back is flat. So when it sits against your skin there, it's going to be really comfortable. Mm, but also, it. that's what's making that, you be able to see like the glitter flex there. Look, that's amazing. Isn't it just? L-O-G-P-O-1, 9.99. There's only nine left, so you need to be quick if you want this. You get an extra piece of leather as well. So, I mean, this is fantastic for, you know, your spacer beads, for your gents jewellery. If you just want to put, like we were talking about the jade earlier, the lucky jade, if you just want to pop one of your larger gemstones on there, that is absolutely perfect. But I actually can't get over that. I mean, to think of the work that we're going to that, you've got quite a large hole at the top there as well. Mm. So you could get a chain through there. So that's one option. And we're going to do another option, a very similar, and this is very, very limited, Liam is telling me. So let me pop this one back. Oh, there's only two of this. Do you know what, oh wow, this one's gorgeous. Oh, has it got a little moon in it? Okay, I can't cope with the little moon. Look at the little moon. So th that's the last that's one you're That's the saying. last one. <gasps> oh! How many of these, Liam? Two. Oh, I want this. One. Oh, look at the moon in the background. Okay, I, I love need it. to stop getting so excited. <laughs> I mean, that is done in layers, isn't it? And you've got the moon there and you've got, like, the galaxy in the background. Gone. <laughs> Sold out. Gone. Me again, number 31. Oh! <gasps> This is for Mark. Oh, these are beautiful. Look at the facets on that. Margaret's. Oh, I'm missing her already. I'm not going. I'm just going to lock her in the building. Oh, thank you, Margaret. That's really kind. So this is clear quartz. Uh, just so beautiful. I mean, look at the facets. It's just throwing light. Complete. This is one of those strands that if you were wearing a bracelet or a necklace, it would just throw light wherever you were. Um, lovely for petals. I think I'd use this mm. for petals on flowers. So you've got 75 carats there of your clear quartz. It's your faceted rice beads. Um, they're graduated approximately 10.5 to 20.5, 21 centimetre strand, 9.99. That's crazy. BVRU59 on that strand. Oh, that's so beautiful. Isn't it? That just... looks like a really expensive strand, doesn't it? Yeah, it reminds me of, of my chandelier. <laughs> so you could buy a few of these and make a chandelier like Jenny's. How amazing. <laughs> so I... we've got number 38. That's me. I as got well. lucky on that chandelier. I don't want you to think I was being a show off there. I got I got lucky Ooh, on it. Oh, is this like a little um a little scoop? You get what? Okay, you get all of this for eight ninety nine. I mean, obviously they'll all be different, won't they? But look, are they all drilled? Shall I tip them out? Have you got what's that? What's that Jasper called? <gasps> the, the chocolatey one and the honey one. It looks amazing. I love it. Look at that. Oh, that's fossil jasper. That fossil isn't it amazing. Jasper. I've got a piece of this that I bought at a bead fair, and I think it cost me thirty pounds. What for one piece? For one piece. Um, and my son really liked it, so it's in his bedroom. But there's only two of these left, so you get all of these, including this. Obviously, they'll be different. 250 carats in total of your multicolour multi gem, and it's from Madagascar. It's a gem scoop, don't we just love gem scoops? Mm -hmm. Eight pounds ninety nine is your price. ASB R seventeen is your code. Oh, wow! Beautiful. That's that ruby. Yeah, there's I. <gasps> there's that's bumblebee, it, bumblebee just, Jasper. Oh, I love it. Absolutely gorgeous. Does the one look to you like if you ever melt caramel and chocolate together? There's yeah, one in yeah. there that looks like that, and I just think, oh, it looks still. It makes me hungry to look at it. Is it this one? Yeah, I love it. I don't have tweezers. If you were to melt a Cabris caramel. Look at that. Yummy. Number 35 coming up. Okay. 35. Is it Debbie from Debbie? Ooh. So Debbie oh. would like Debbie's 35. Micro fast. I, that's lots of gasping from me when I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Load of gasping from me when I love these micro faceted gemstones. Absolutely stunning. So this is your black rutile quartz. I mean, you can tell it straight away. But what I love about these, you've got eight carats here, but they're two millimeter gemstones. So they're perfect for your seed bead designs, but you're using 
genuine gemstones rather than seed beads. So that's, a, that's better there. But you can also use those in your bead embroidery. You can use them for sort of as your chandelier earrings. You can use them as tassels. Absolutely beautiful. Two, what? I didn't see the price. £2.99. Tiny. These Tiny. are GP81. You need to be quick. These are really, really popular. I'm not surprised for £2.99. Everyone's, Kaz bought five of them. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Two ninety nine. It's crazy. Now, um, we've been asked for number one. Who asked for number one again? Hi, Sue. Yes. Uh, we've uh, we've already shown them, so there's not many left. In fact, they're very, very limited. I think we've only got... Is it single figures, is it? How many? I thought they'd sold out, to be fair. 10 99 for the gold freshwater pearls. PWG, P09. They are about to sell out, so if you want them, you need to literally check out ASAP. PWG, P09. Everything apart from these are under 10... Uh, it's under 10 hour. Apart from these. <laughs> 10.99. Liam, you didn't get the memo, did you? Still amazing. 10.99. Beautiful. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm right. I went silent then because I was going, Liam. We've got this up. You, we can't give you something unless I verbalised it. Everything is under 10 So we've now put it... If you bought this at 10.99, everybody pays 9.99. I can't... We, we said it was an under £10 hour and this wasn't under £10. So um, I was just like... Liam, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> like that look you give your kids when they... And you go... Yeah, the mum look. No, I didn't say that. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Do you know why kids used to always grasp you up for stuff like, you know? When I was little, my auntie said to my mum, why don't you come and see me more? And I went, because mummy doesn't want to. And she didn't say that. I just didn't know what to say. And my mum gave me the mum look. Like, yeah, <laughs> I did not say that. Don't you dare start family around. Why don't you come see me anymore? Because mummy doesn't want to. Yeah. Because she says she doesn't really like you anymore. Yeah, she doesn't yeah, like you. Yeah, normally when kids say something, it is pretty true. Yeah, you know, like, oh, very honest they Kids are. say and you're like, oh, please stop. Please stop talking, like, you know, and you're like, oh, they don't know what they're saying. Get home now. Watch your mouth. <laughs> PWG, P09. Kids are bad like that, aren't they? They oh. literally out you for everything. Daisy told her nursery teacher that she went to a farm in Africa on holiday, and her nursery teacher went, oh, it's here you've been to a farm in Africa, and we'd been to Cornwall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. And I went to her, so why funny. did you say that? She was only four, and she went, I don't know. <laughs> That's too She'll funny. She'll kill me for telling you that. Max used to have this thing where he wouldn't, didn't want to go and stay with his nanny. And um, she was lovely. Mm. And um, he said, nanny hits me. <gasps> and I was like... But he was never on his own because his granddad was always there yeah. as well. He was obsessed with my mum. <laughs> and I don't know if he felt disloyal or what. And I was like, are you sure? Because I'm going to call the police now. And Nanny's going to get arrested. And Nanny, they were all there. Uh, and we pretended that the police were coming. And he did not back down. That kid was going, <laughs> yeah, she hit me right in my face. And I was like, and then afterwards, I was like, you mustn't tell lies like that, Max. And he still wasn't backing down. Isn't it funny? But she was, yeah. But he was definitely not telling the truth. And now he remembers it and he laughs yeah. about it. Um, number nine and 12, please, Jenny. Jenny, I'm really going to miss you. I love seeing you on our screens. Thank you, Kaylee. I'm still going to be on screens, just not this one. Now. <laughs> Number nine it is. Oh, what a good choice. Oh, lovely. Lovely. <gasps> I love the colour of that. Oh, that's stunning. Look at the sparkle on this Stacking as well. Stacking bracelets. Love it with a bit of pink. Oh, yeah. 5 99 20 carats of Russian Amazonite. These fasted rounds are three millimeters. Uh, KEP 075 is your item code. You've got some sparkle on here. I love this. Can I put it next to this? What a price. What do you mean, no, I am. <laughs> I don't know why I asked. I'm gonna do it anyway. Look at this. Yes, kids are funny like that, aren't they? And he never used to want to eat her dinners because he used to hate her cooking. So he used to pretend he felt sick all the time every time she started cooking. So I need to go home. I don't feel very well. But she, what, that, I will admit this, she could not cook. <laughs> and she used to smoke so um, quite a lot and you could taste it in the food oh, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, Max yeah. just wouldn't eat it, he refused. Like, <laughs> he was such a mummy's boy though. Now, 
Uh, oh, we'll do what I just gave you there. Funny, isn't it? Funny things, those children. That's, is that 2 99 for rose quartz. We've gone mad. You can't even get a strand of crystal for that. Like Chinese crystal, you'd expect no. that. You know, the, the you can't. Not very nice stuff you'd expect to get for 2 99 But no, you've not glass, not resin. No, that's you've got two cool. stretchy bracelets here that are stacker bracelets. You've paid £1.50 to make them. Yes. Out of pure gemstones. This is amazing. We've only got 34 of these, 20, 20 carats for uh, 2 99 BJP 017 it is your item code. Liam's gone quite mad. Lorraine, Karen, Natasha's got two. But Natasha or Natasha? Depends how posh you are. Depends, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Veronica, you've got yours. Catherine, you've got yours. Pat, Sally Ann. Camilla, you've got yours. Kaylee, uh, Maker's got three. Ingrid, Surrey, you've got yours. In fact, Camilla's got two. Uh, lots of you there. Great to see you. Thank you so much for shopping with us here at Jewelry Maker. Uh, don't forget that we have got a free strand with every kit in the month of July, which is brilliant, isn't it? That's really good, isn't it? Yeah, That's really a good is. incentive to get started making jewelry, isn't it? A hundred percent, hundred percent. Next up, multi-gem. This is super value because you've got so many different... I've got Dalmatian Jasper, I've got Sodalite, I've got Rose Quartz, I've got Amazonite, I've got Carnelian, I've got Obsidian, I've got... Is that Tiger's Eye? Gosh, you've got a lot in here. Goodness me. Look at this one. Are you doing a double shift today, Lucy? I bet you're exhausted. You only had three hours sleep. <gasps> Why could you not sleep last night? Just couldn't sleep. Just couldn't sleep. To sleep. Too much pressure to sleep, wasn't it? Because yeah. you knew you were going to have a long day yeah. today. I feel that. I feel you. And I was excited to see you. I got you. Were you? Yeah. I'd have bought you a present if I'd have known you were doing oh, a double. Gosh. Bought you some chocolate or something. There's no, there's no pizza incentive. Yeah. And I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. You're doing a double too. You'll all get presents. Don't worry. Food present. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Liam. Liam's a machine, double. isn't he? He lives for the job, Working to be fair. very hard. To be fair. But he started, he started getting a hobby because we were all like, Liam, you've got to stop living for the job. So now he's wakeboarding. He's really good at it. Yeah, amazing. He is, he is to wakeboarding what I am to golf. Did you know I had a calling mm. to golf? No. Because I tell everyone. Since when? So listen to this. My daughter came home, didn't she? And she was like, <laughs> right, we're going for golf lessons. Everyone that rides, everyone which she show jumps. So she's like, everyone can play golf and I don't want to go with them because like, she has to be good at everything or she won't do it. She's like, we go. And I was like, okay, what, what should I wear? Just leggings. She's like, no, we're taking this seriously. You've got to wear golf stuff. I was like, what? Be serious? She's like, no, I mean it. We're taking this seriously. <laughs> and when I got there, the guy was like, have you really never played golf before? I'm not even kidding you. First ball, 150 yards. I was hitting it 200 yards. Wow. I was like a pro. I was doing everything, all of the right, lifting my leg, everything. And he was like, you are outstanding. <laughs> Mia looked like she could get me by the throat until there was no air. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> that, she was fuming, <gasps> furious. She was like, this is so, I wanted to be good. I was like, is this you, Debbie? Lapis Lazuli? What number was it, Lily? That's you. Sorry, I do apologise. 28. It is me. Oh, it's beautiful. It's lapis. Do you know, every time I have some lapis, my husband goes, that's the one that Cleopatra used to grind down mm. and use for her eyeshadow. It's He's been a, listening. Yeah, it's such a well-recognised stone, yeah. isn't it, this lapis? Tutankhamun's I mean, sarcophagus, let's not forget that. It's just amazing. And again, one of the most well-recognised stones. So beautiful. I mean, you can do so much with these. It's a great size because you've got about 140 carats there. Lapis lazuli. Is that from Afghanistan? And yeah. What? Three pound forty nine. Three pound forty nine. That's an amazing nine. price. Isn't it? I G P O seven is your item code. Have we got a few of these, Liam? Oh, we've got quite a few. So I think I'd multi buy this. I've got a video of me playing golf, and I really want to show everybody. I want to see what you were wearing. Of course, it's got no swearing. It's got no sound. I don't think. <laughs> Why would it have swearing in it? No, nah, it's got no swearing in it. I want to see the golf video. Ready? Yeah. You ready for me to press play? This is me playing golf. Oh, you look good. I thought you were going to have like pattern trousers. I've never played it before. I want you to know that. Oof. I can <gasps> play golf. Oh, you have done it before. I swear on my children's life. I've never done it before. You must have been a golfer in a past life. Was it a strong look? She made me dress with a cap and everything. She dressed me. I rocked up there. And do you know what? I have my brother's golf club, so I look like all the gear, no idea. <laughs> and the guy was like, I was like, I've never done this 
before? He's he didn't like, oh, believe you. Brilliant. No, he was like Devo because I rocked up with him. It wasn't expensive. But do you know who was there? Do you know who was there at the same time as us? Chris Hughes. Oh, really? He's, he's at my golf club. So, mm. yeah. I mean, I didn't talk to him, but... So do, like, satellites. I can, I can play golf, y'all. I was so gassed. Catherine Zeta-Jones plays golf. Does she? Yeah. I'm she, so Zeta-Jones. She plays it very well, apparently. I'm thoroughly Jones. It wasn't expensive because we split... There was three of us, so we split... It was 20 quid each for an hour's lesson. That's, that, it's not like it was hundreds of pounds. I was all right with that. You know, what with me being outstanding and all. BMG, <laughs> it's the only thing I've ever been good at straight away. I've That's never amazing. been good at anything straight away. BMG P37, uh, 9 90 carats of sodalite, fasted satellites. Uh, these are 7 by 8 on a 38 centimetre strand. Pauline's got two. Uh, Maker has got two. There's lots of you there, lots of sparkle. These satellites have been super popular since we launched them a couple of months ago. And mm. I think, you know, once all the satellites have gone, we haven't got them back on reorder because uh, we're waiting for all the other new things to come in. So I think it'll be a couple of months before we see these again once they're gone. I, I, you know, as a jewellery maker, if you've been making jewellery for a long time, you get used to what you work with and something mm. new is really exciting, it isn't is. it? A new shape. And it's baffling because I don't know why this is a new shape. It's not like the no. shape's never been invented before, but no. it's never been seen in a bead before. So it's really, you know, sometimes the most... The, the simplest of solutions is right in front of you the whole time. Like um, the little saucers that we have as well oh, yeah, and the little those. pips. And you think, well, look, we've always known these are shapes. Why have we not done these before? But, of course, it's down to the lapidary. Yeah. It, if, if it can't be cut like that, it can't be cut or has never been cut like that, then you're really, really asking for something very specific. Mm. And, you know, of course, if, if somebody's cutting lots and lots of rounds for lots and lots of countries, lots and lots of... Then fine, they'll give you rounds. They do mm. it all the time. Mm. But it's such a specific request. Mm. I love them. I think they're really unusual. Me too. 9.99, 90 carats of sodalite, like fasted satellite beads. Now, we are going to give you number 34, Debbie Debbie Kershaw. That's Debbie Kershaw. Me, 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 me. Ooh, I like these. Again, I think these would be lovely for Marlowe's, for your stretchy bracelets. Absolutely stunning. Bronzite. Now, I don't know much about bronzite. I absolutely love the colour. It's very uni... 319. It's 399, it's everyone. Price. You don't need to know anything about it, apart from the fact it's a gemstone for 399. MCGP 81, 399. I mean, you know, look at that. I love it. It reminds me a bit of tiger's eye, actually, It is a little bit like tiger's eye. And also, it's got, like... It's got this... I think it's it's got bronze in it, of course. Because and it's got, got this sort of amazing chatoyancy, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it really has. They're absolutely lovely. And again, you could use any sort of coloured metal with that. Oh, that's better. I mean, I love the flex. Mm. And I think, again, when you were working with it, you could cherry pick which ones you like. So if you were going to just use one on a pendant or two for earrings, and you could sort of pick the two that you like that went with your findings. I think it would go beautifully with the bright gold. It would be lovely with your uh, rose gold. Mm. But you could also freshen it up with silver. So I think that's a really versatile strand. And copper. Warm. Do you think copper would copper go with be it? Lovely. It'd be quite vintage with copper. It would be yeah. lovely. And again, I keep saying about the pearls, but I think maybe one of these with one of those little potato pearls at the top would be a lovely pendant. I think they would you think, you know, men's makes, Debbie, would that work? Definitely, because it's like a very unisex strand, this, isn't it? Yeah. And cord, you know, let's have a look at the size of the drill. Yeah, it's got a really decent size hole. So you definitely get like your Eslon thread or your cord mm -hmm. through there as well. So you could do your macrame, your kumahima, anything at all, really. That's an amazing price. So 210 carats that you've got there. Um, 38 centimetre strand as usual and 8 millimetre rounds. So again, rounds being the most used shape in jewellery making, Definitely. I would say. Definitely. Now, you're running out of time and 15 minutes time, all of these prices will disappear. They will be gone. They'll be gone. Next up, we're going to give you... That's you, 27 Is again. Me? Oh, I can I just have this. a little rest over here. <gasps> I've been looking at, at this. Oh my I got gosh, the box. what shape is that? It's like an irregular, is it an irregular? Oh, it's an irregular central drilled nugget. So wow. the drill hole Similar. goes straight through. I've never seen middle. that strand. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. I, I like the seed Amazon. pearls in between as well. Yeah, so you get so you can see what you could do with them. Mm. I mean you could put any of your seed beads in there. You could put your little what didn't we have a kit with little seed beads? We pearls? surely did, yeah. That was we really did. pretty. So these would go with your kits. Again, it's a lovely unusual shape. And four ninety four four ninety nine. That's way below mm. the ten pounds. 
um, for the strand. It's just beautiful. 130 carats there. You've got, is it irregular? Yeah. So basically, if you've got your drill hole through the middle, you can turn it the other way and actually have it facing downwards. So waterfall design. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ever so pretty. TUKY13. Four ninety nine. That's a bit of an add to your order price. That is, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I think you could just make a straight up necklace looking like that. I mean, you're well, kind you of could. inspired by the way it's laid out already, aren't you? Yeah, and it just looks again. I love gemstones that have just been plucked out of the ground. Me you know, too. Like those organic shapes. Yeah. So this is that sort of organic. I never used to be able to get them. I used to, they, I used to look for the organic shaped gemstones. Sometimes I get them at bead fairs, but you can get them sort of more freely here at Jewelry Maker now. But I do absolutely love this, and it goes with my top. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. It's those, it's those so fresh, sexy colours, aren't they? Yeah, gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Now, we've got more for you, but head to the website, www.jewelrymaker.com, to have a look at all of the deals that are there. In about 10 minutes' time, 15 minutes' time, those deals are going to disappear. 25 is you, Debbie. Oh, it's me. I'll just oh, start. yeah. Is this the, that, rest? It's that shape again. It's that satellite bead wow. again. And a, you've got your Amazonite again but in this I love this because I just think if you've been making jewelry for a long time and as I was saying before to have something in a gemstone we see different shapes don't we in our crystals and beads and in our sort of different resin beads but to actually see a different shape in a gemstone is really something quite special I think that's probably why these have been so popular jewelry maker that's why I personally really love them DEGP07 and it's only $8.99 for this strand and Amazonite is becoming one of my top three you know because I just think the color it's like a happy strand yeah it makes me happy to look at these colors they're just absolutely beautiful and amazing you can put your little spaces in there they also sit quite nicely together as well so that you can uh, you can do sort of put them together make beady beads stunning I think they kind of look jadeite-esque, and I, I love do. them with pink. I think yeah, Peruvian pink opal just goes really well with that Amazonite fresh colour. Yeah, it's like, it's like a blossom tree. Yeah. We don't have a lot of, of Chinese Amazonite either. This is, it, it's a beautiful colour, isn't it? Very fresh, Very kind fresh. of on the cusp of aquamarine meets jadeite. Yeah. It is, yeah, it did remind me of aquamarine, actually. It's got that about it, hasn't it? That freshness. I think it's, again, one for the summer. Definitely one for the summer. Yeah, definitely. Now, next up is 19, which is me. And we've got Golden Obsidian. So, th very, very, very good quality this is, look. Can you see? See those golden flecks? Mm. The looking glass stone is what this is dubbed, if you like your healing. Uh, but this is a gemstone shape and size that's going to work really well in Marlinette because it's really, really well in stacker bracelets, really well if you want to rosary link with a nice skinny, um, a skinny wire. There's going to be loads of opportunities for you to go around a big cabochon, halo a big cabochon. It's a great one for you to stitch into your backing foundation and use in larger beaded embroideries. Great for eyes as well. Mm. If you've got your, if you're doing like wire work animals or wire work creatures, 399 BSK Y41. Don't forget we are running out of time. These deals will disappear in 10 minutes time. We're off air in about six minutes. So you need to make sure you are securing yours. We have a little bit of pizzazz now. Do you remember the ice cream, the pizzazz, the little ice cream that you could get? I used to love that. Yeah, I don't remember It's called a pizzazz. pizzazz. Yeah, it was all different colors. Do you remember a Texan bar? No. Oh no, yeah, um, I kind of can. It had like a... Uh, Wafer in it. Yeah, and like nougat, and it was... No one ever remembers that. I do remember a Texan bar. Mm. I remember the Spira. It was my favourite because I used to suck tea through it. Mm. Cabri Spira. 4 99 OUGP07. Uh, but nothing beats a trio. 4 99 for rainbow-coated hematite. Nice and heavy, these are. They're 6 millimetres. They're on a 38 centimetre strand. And they're going to give you that weight to your jewellery. But also, they're a lot of fun. I think these will work with home decor. I think these will be great for wine glass charms. I think these will be great in the, um, in the garden. If you're doing like garden furniture, you know, like not garden furniture, but like garden picnic wear. So my friend Stuart Hillard, who does sewing, did a whole range of garden, like um, mats, table mats mm -hmm. and things like that. He's sewn mm -hmm. uh, and runners. How lovely then to be going in with your beads Ooh, as well. Yeah. And something like this is going to be more durable, isn't it? Yeah. 18 is next, which is me. Not Sorry me. to talk numbers to you, jewelry makers, because numbers mean nothing to you, but they, they, they're what keep us organised here. 
Now, here we have, oh, this is mm -mm, appetite. Look how sparkly it is. Oh, that's gorgeous. Dot com. Uh, now you've got 30 carrots here, utterly sparkly. UWN V93 699. Karen in Dartmoor, Sharon, Gillian, Vicky, Sue, you've got yours. Have a look at that now. 29, Debbie, that's you, darling. It's me. It's me. Ooh, it looks like more Amazonite. Oh, lush. Love I thought they were emerald these. from over here. Oh, I absolutely love these. So are these faceted rounds? I mean, again, look, I mean, if you're looking at my bracelets, I think these would be great for stackers. And this is how I like to wear my little sort of four to five millimeter gemstone bracelets. You can either put it on a stretchy. I think it would be beautiful rosary linked, which is what I tend to do. And it's the kind of strand that you could just wear all the time. But of course, you've got your four to five mil, so that's a very, very workable strand. There's so many things you can do with that. And such a summery colour. I think if you put silver with that, then you're going to get a really fresh look. Mm -hmm. But if you put a gold with it, then you get a little bit more of a vintage look. It can look quite Egyptian with gold, can't it? I think it? It, can. it can. Yeah, I think you can really sort of give it some personality. So $9.99 for that one. I've got uh, some citrine over here, which I think will go really well with Debbie's strand, actually. Uh, have a look at this citrine in these. So again, I, you've got that lantern shape. Mm. I love this strand. I love the sparkle on it. I think it's phenomenal. Love it. Absolutely love it. Citrine is a very uplifting gemstone. It's the sunshine strand that, isn't it? Little droplets of sunshine. I've got a little droplet of sunshine in my ear right now. And her name is Lucy and she is... She's just taken over. Liam's just gone up and left. He, he hasn't really. Uh, ZGGP <laughs> 17, nine pounds and 99 pence. Uh, 35 carats citrine to me. Uh, so it's called the merchant's gemstone. It's the gemstone of abundance. Yeah. So whatever you, well, I, I planted the rose of abundance and it's flowered like a good one. Is it yellow? It is, or like a creamy yellow, oh, yeah. Right. I always have a little piece of citrine in my purse. Yes, because it's said to bring in the money. Yeah. Now, one last one, did you say, darling? I can pick it, apparently. OK, darling, I will. Let's have a little pick. Let's have a little pick. What shall I pick? I will pick the emerald in 17, please. You wanted to pick that too. I love emerald. It's May's birth gemstone. It's under £10, of course. These would be great for uh, cufflinks. These would be wonderful for putting in rings as well. Go around with your bezeling wire. They're huge, great pieces of emerald. Great for brooches. 8 99 VDV. X07 is your item code. 95 carats of beautiful emerald. Henry VIII's favourite when coupled with ruby. Oh, I'm not surprised. Very, I did have an obsession posh. with Henry VIII when I was younger. I think I had a crush on him. Ooh. Well, a young Henry. Not really? the killy one. He, no, I mean he was a meanie. Well, he wasn't. didn't start as a meanie, I don't think. No. You the know, power went to his head. The heart wants what the heart wants, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help my weird obsession with Henry VIII. <laughs> now, make sure you are checking out baskets because we are coming to the end of the show. Debbie is back on the 20th. Is that, the, is that it? That's the show, the 20th. You can follow Debbie on social media, Debbie Kershaw, JM Guest Designer Debbie Kershaw, or just Debbie Kershaw. And she is, of course, on uh, Instagram as the same. Debbie Kershaw can be found in one of the largest catalogue retailers in the UK, if you'd like to find her kits. <laughs> Rhymes with Flagos. Go and have a look at Debbie, uh, Debbie Shaw's uh, wonderful goodies. You can find me on Facebook, and that's where I'll be giving you the latest updates of where I am going. I'm Jenny Cleary, presenter. Give me a tick and a like. Like our page on Facebook as well, Jewelry Maker uh, UK. And of course, you can follow us on Instagram. I'll see you in a, in, oh, after the weekend. <laughs> the Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner up receives £50. 
If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Jewelry Makers, exciting news! We're going to be bringing you the opportunity to acquire further treats on web exclusive deals. They'll be loaded on the 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. hour. You will be able to acquire all of your usual essentials plus extra treats between those limited time restraints. All you have to do is go to jewelrymaker.com at the hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Click on Watch Live and you'll see all the deals available for that hour. That's 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. each and every day. My name is Jake Thompson and I'm Jewelry Maker's lead gemstone investor. I'd like to invite you to join me on a new show every Thursday morning, nine till midday, called The Gem Guide Show. In this show, we explore the wonderful world of loose gemstones and fine jewelry. I've already invited my friends, international gemstone dealers, and members of the British jewelry trade, and now I want to invite you as we go on this incredible journey of discovery. You may be wondering how to buy here at Jewelry Maker. So here is a quick overview of what to do. When you see a product that comes on screen, the graphics will appear, you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk, whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we want to still be able to support you in your jewelry making journey. We understand that during these unprecedented times, the priority is to keep everyone safe. We want to still give you the option to learn, experience and join like-minded people by offering our online workshops. Our online workshops are still run by our amazing designers who will guide you step by step and give you all the support needed to develop your skills. For more information, contact our workshop coordination team by emailing sarah.bingham at jewelrymaker.com. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome back, Jewelry Makers. Oh, as always, I say the same thing every Thursday morning that I have the privilege of being in this studio. It is with in immense pleasure, and I tell you what, you're about to see the most beautiful showcase of gemstones that I've ever seen. And I'm, I'm, I said that when, when actually, Jake, you launched Oregon Sunstone to us a, a couple of weeks ago. But this is just taking that level even further. It's Jake Thompson, everybody. Good morning, Al. The privilege is all mine, entirely mine. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, this is the first time we have ever done this in over a year of bringing you your Gem Guide shows. We are having a two-part session, and this is the second half of that. Now, with a gem as beautiful as Oregon Sunstone, it's really hard to have a favorite, to have a best. But you know me, I never sit on the fence. I believe if you sit on the fence, you'll get splinters. And with that in mind, I have saved the best until last. 
if this is your first time tuning into these shows, good morning. My name is Jake Thompson, the lead gemstone investor here at the Gempory Partnership, and it's my role to help you build a portfolio of fine gems and fine jewelry, including, and this might seem way out there, but it's amazing as an opportunity, you crafting your own heirloom worthy pieces. That is my aspiration for you. That is very much the attainable and achievable ambition that we hope to be able to make you do in this show. So with that in mind, let's dive into this. I'm going to try and keep this brief because we have so not so many pieces, but so many opportunities. A lot of these two, three, one in quantity. That is the nature of this gem. And of course, I have talked to you about Oregon Sunstone before. In fact, when I brought you Serenite, which is a form of Oregon Sunstone, as we're going to realize today, when I brought you Serenite, I shared with you this investment guide. I want to be absolutely clear. I, this, isn't my, this isn't my advice to you. I'm sharing. I am a gem investor, a professional gem investor for a decade. This is the kind of resource that I use to help me make the right decisions. I want to share those resources, really empower you with the same resources that I, as a, as a professional gem investor for a decade, use on a daily basis. So I've shared this with you before, but let's have a look at it one more time. It's a buying and investing guide in Oregon Sunstone because I do agree that you should be educated before you get your next gem. Knowledge is power. And they say Oregon Sunstone is a fully to semi-transparent colored variety of, uh, of Labradorite Feldsplat, of, 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 the, of the Plagioclase family. Let's come down a little bit. The second line, the gem is found in a wide variety of colors, you know, pastel golds, pink oranges, reds, the usual color mixes like watermelon, who knows what's gonna happen in this show. Um, Oregon Sunstone is currently only mined at two mining locations in Southeast Oregon High Desert. It is extremely rare, fully transparent, top gem gemmy quality of coloured and or copper shiller sunstone is not found anywhere else in the world. We are talking single source location for this gem and the value for this gemstone ranges from $8 a carat all the way through to four and a half thousand US dollars a carat. Now, when I've shared this with you in the context of Serenite, which is the, the champagne uh, material that they, that they talk about there, that pastel gold, when I've talked about that, I've been very clear and I've said to you, look, this is not the Serenite, this is not the $4,500 a carat material. Not the $8 a carat material, because it was very clean, but it's not the $4,500 a carat material. I've shared that with you before. What I'm sharing with you today is the material that can be up to four and a half thousand dollars a carat. Now in terms of industry sources, I don't just want to give you the one, I want to give you as much information so that you are empowered to make the right decisions for you and for your family because that's the kind of caliber gemstone we're talking about here today. So we're going to be talking, uh, we're going to be talking a lot about this particular journal. This is an, a, a peer-reviewed journal uh, published by the ICA. It's called In Colour, and they publish it every quarter. Now, who are the ICA? Because it matters when we're talking about sources. Who are the ICA? The ICA are the International Coloured Gemstone Association. They are global in their scope, and they are, uh, it, it's a non-profit organisation, non-profit organisation, and it's the only worldwide body that's specifically created to benefit the coloured gemstone industry. So it's founded in 1984, it's uh, over 35 years old, and it's comprised of nearly 700 gem industry leaders from mine to market. So you have miners informing the ICA, gem cutters, suppliers, retailers, trade associations, gem labs themselves, gemological academics, and even museums from 47 different countries all contributing to this body of authority that is the ICA. So it goes without saying that when the, uh, you know, and they're devoted to advancing and promoting the knowledge and appreciation of colored gemstones. That is the purpose of the ICA. So when I say the ICA it is a huge authority in the industry, when I say this is what the ICA are telling us, and not just about Oregon Sunstone, about any gem, I'm sure you can appreciate, we have to stand up and listen, don't we? We have to sit up and listen because the ICA have got such a, a wealth of knowledge. 
gem labs, not one, multiple gem labs feeding into that knowledge source. So that's who the ICA are, and they publish this journal every quarter. And in, in, uh, over the Christmas, over the winter that's just gone, they ran a feature about this very next gem. Here it is, Oregon Sunstone in that ICA journal, just gone, Oregon Sunstone, a rare and beautiful American gem. And we're really going to be talking around this because essentially this is guidance to gem investors like myself. And the, uh, the old world of jewellery and gemstone trading was very much a closed circle. It's very much the ICA would produce this, the gem dealers would read it, they'd get their investment guidance and they'd never share it out there. I don't believe in that world. I believe there's a better way. I believe that we should be sharing that with you. I think if I invite you behind the curtain, if I give you all the tools that I have, whether you're getting them today, whether you're getting them another day, or whether you're getting from another source, you are buying from an empowered position. And that's what I want for you in your journey to be able to craft your own pieces of fine gemstone jewelry. So within this article, uh, Arles Krivenek, who is actually a former mine owner, uh, former partner mine, and we're going to hear about the partner mine uh, later on. Arles 